Oh, right, there's a, there's a cloud bot. Oh, no, I don't have it activated. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, save, save, save. Oogly boogly, smeagly, smeagly. Smeagle? Whatever you mean. Snoggle bloggle. Okay, mm. it's, it's probably still unlisted. Ugh. Interesting. Is now, it, uh... No one will ever know what we have to say <clears throat> about in a beat. Well, see, if they roll it back, they will be able to see what we said when uh, it finally goes public, so, yeah. Nothing is sacred. <clears throat> Except um. the mouse. All oh, hail shit. Disney. <laughs> All hail Milan. Hopefully, hopefully they don't go back, because I accidentally had the, <laughs> the new assets on instead of the old one. Oh no, sneak peek for all of you who are, for all of you super fans. Those 20 people who are here already, you've already seen don't, it. Don't, don't spoil it for everyone else. Okay. Yeah, shut up, don't for, say it. Hey, exclusive 20 people, pretend like you saw nothing, okay? Be like, huh, yeah. what? No, nothing's going on. What? No. That don't amount to a whole hill of beans. Exactly. Back to normal EFAB! Also, yeah, hello everyone! It's EFAB 101! It's been a while since episode 100, isn't it, Ranks? It has been. It's been years. Years and years. It was really fun, though! We got so much shit done! So many crazy things happened. I'm excited. Yeah. But yeah, I was gonna say, we, uh, we failed our mission. You know, we were supposed to get... We were supposed to fix Meteor in 100 episodes. We fucked up. It's still shit, Mom. Mm -hmm, still that, shit. That, that wasn't a mic really contract. Bad. So, I, I don't agree. Uh, most people say it's because we let Metal in. He's apparently been sabotaging the whole system. He wants bad media to exist. He's apparently a big what fan is, of Batwoman. This angle? Oh, well, we're big fans of Batwoman. I was going to say, apparently we that's should... antithetical to our cause. And I was like, but, but I mean, but... So we got to rethink this, oh, okay? Well, we should come together as fellow Batwoman fans. Dun, 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 Focus on what dun, dun, we agree on. Bartman. I was actually told, by the way, through a screenshot, um, I think it was on your server, Rags, that uh, uh, they began filming season two again. So, um, Ooh, boy, pure I'm excitement. Excited. Cannot wait. I wonder if the fucking trailer for season two will be as anti-med as season one was. <laughs> I wonder if they'll be like, maybe let's roll back on that, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe season one was almost like a proof of concept. <laughs> and now that they know that there's some audience for it, mm -hmm. they um, can go all the way. They can't even have her steal everything from a man again. Uh, in, like, you know, I'm going to do what a man did, but better. It's like, you're going to steal it from Kate Kane now. Who's no, Kate Kane's going to give it away freely. Oh. <laughs> Kate Kane's going to realize that Dude. her real calling is somewhere else. They're not going to have. I don't think they're going to have. A lesbian steal from another lesbian. They'll Even though they a, have that. They have all of her scenes and she's clearly dubbed in and facing her back to the screen every time we see her as she gives stuff away. We're just like, hmm. Ruby Rose acting weird. <laughs> You're um, the real woman. It's time Batwoman it's time Batwoman was uh was represented by a a strong lesbian woman of color, something <laughs> something that can the downtrodden can identify with something they're they're gonna i think they're probably gonna try something like that can you imagine if like people get really upset with season two like the the actual main fans from like the subreddits and stuff and they're like we want kate kane back and she eventually like makes a return in season four as being like legacy batwoman back to the good stuff that'd be so awesome <laughs> legacy batwoman like she's the one who built this and you're taking it from her she didn't want to do other things. Like I said, we'll we'll be. I think it's the end of this year. We'll be watching a movie where uh, he's like an action hero taking on uh, Jean Reno. So uh, that's going to be so oh, much she's fun. She's not acting. That's just her. That's how incredible <laughs> she is. It's just a documentary. I mean, you know, we talk about like best actors a lot, but like worst performances ever. People often say like Tommy Wiseau in the room, but Kate Kane as Batwoman is one of the worst things I've ever seen for acting, and I love it. <laughs> it is really, it is shockingly bad. She's wonder, so funny. Who, who did she beat out? Um. Oh right. Yeah. Well, she was only hired for star power. I think. I doubt it was ability. And when I say star oh, power, no. I, I'm referring to what comes Name across as star power to people who make Batwoman. They're like, oh my god, she was in John Wick too. She's famous. Oh, oh no! Don't mention that movie. I don't even Her know. Name is Ruby Rose. Wow. What what even uh impressive. What is she in? 
outside of this. There's other Orange is the New Black, right? That was that was something she was in. Yeah, but she got famous for being a model and also a very open lesbian. Sweet. Orange that's how is you... the New Black. That's how you can tell. No, no, no. Before that's how she got the gig in Orange is the New Black. Mm -hmm. Oh, because because in my apartment, <laughs> Kevin's the New Black. Gay. Mm. Yeah, Orange, is, Orange is the New Black is a, like a lesbian show, right? Is that the? <laughs> I don't know anything about it. I just know it's like, is it prison? Orange is the New Lesbian? Is that what you said? <laughs> <laughs> Her name is Orange. They're all named after colors. <laughs> um, Orange is the New Black. Black so, died, and they had to have who Orange replace her. I don't know. So E five one hundred, we missed out on a couple of people being able to to jump in. Two of them are here today. How wonderful! I'll just go from left to right. E R, how you doing, you horrible person? I'm doing great. I'm glad to be here for the great Avatar debate. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. The Avatar debate. That's why you brought me on. Um. <laughs> well, it really depends on priorities because someone said you're wrong about Star Wars. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, My I have to God. defend my honor there. Uh oh, Star Wars is that's the one. And you know what? It'll bleed over because um, if Rags is being told he's wrong about Captain Marvel, when we all pretty much share his perspective, that means we're all wrong about Captain Marvel. Huzzah! Damn. <laughs> also, yes, I did hear about the newest Amnesia game. I'll be playing that shit when it releases, October twentieth, I want to say. And then Metal and I will be playing uh, the Dark Pictures new game on Halloweeny. Because Yay. that's out on the October thirtieth. Also, excited. um, we're gonna be watching fucking this, the the haunting of Bly Manor and all of the boys season two once October 9th rolls around, I believe. So October's gonna be busy with all kinds of things. Hopefully, they're all good. Hopefully, we go. Hey, October of twenty twenty wasn't too bad. Ooh. You know, it, it wasn't the worst thing ever. Um. Oh boy. Oh yeah, I suppose. I don't think this has been asked. Awesome. ER, what do you prefer, Halloween or Christmas? Christmas. Oh. Yeah. No question. There you yeah, go. Yeah, no, it, it really isn't a question. It's really kind of obvious. <laughs> Why would you prefer Halloween? What's... I know, right? Because it's better. I believe a person of shadow In would say what that. way? Yeah, In I'm curious too. Like, hmm? is there even a way that Christmas can be Halloween? I don't know. I, I really don't see it. I'd have to be given a lecture, probably, and then I wouldn't believe it. <laughs> Like the chat. propaganda. Yes, no, yes, no. <laughs> Boo. Yeah, the the audience is definitely split on this. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, at least we got the answers. That's great. Uh, Kurt, so we, have you had you been asked before, um, Anna, or was this the first time? No, this is like the twentieth time. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Well, let's do it again. <laughs> still wrong after all this time. No, no, still right. Based oh, correctness. It's, just, it's really like a super discount version of how uh, of Christmas. Thank you, know? you for that Freudian no, slip no. of the truth. <laughs> <laughs> how, the, if the slip went through, it'd be Halloween is a discount version of Halloween. No, it wouldn't. You would have swapped both of them. I already know no. this because I went to the future in an alternate universe where the Freudian slip carried on. No, I don't think so. I, I don't think there's any possible universe where I would have uh, said it the other way. I've been there. I went there because... In uh, I was going to make some kind of reference to Doc. ER, have you seen Doc? That sounds like something you'd go off and try and check out. Dark. No, I don't think so. Oh. I was going to make a joke. Netflix it's, yeah, it's the, it's the German-made Netflix TV show that's all about time travel. Um, right. Yeah, that's how I do know the name, but I haven't seen it, now. I found it super interesting right up until dimensional travel got introduced, and then I lost my shit and I couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't make any sense of anything. I, I think you guys could imagine, once you have time and dimensional travel, um, well, <laughs> isn't that like the plot of Doctor Who? Well, Doctor Who doesn't travel through dimensions, right? Isn't it just time? He's a time lord, not a dimension lord. Yeah, idiot. Very, very important. A real fan would know that. Oh, you know what? This debate He's... has been raging on Twitter, so I'll, 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 <laughs> I'll answer. I'll read this out now for Southpaw. He really wants to know. Which is the superior, so Reese's chocolate or, or Twix? Reese's. Reese's. I vote for Reese's. Mm -hmm. Though, you right, know, you... Tw Twix I'm is gonna cool. Go with, I'm going to go cool. with Twix. No. And what the is... reason is because <laughs> Twix has both nougat and caramel. 
Um, or it has like that. It has like that crunch, right? Oh, like a graham cracker, oh, something like really. graham, graham crackery thing in there. Like I can see why someone may vote for the inferior Twix, but Reese's man, just damn, just, just combining more. the peanut butter and the chocolate. Oh, they did a good job, you know. I think it's just too simple. You know, it's just it's just basically it's peanut butter with a bit of chocolate around it, which is good. But I, I guess I want a little more more than that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're not a I simple man. <laughs> and I feel like I am a simple person. Don't, don't say that. It could be but interpreted. you like the complicated. Um, Twix is not we, complicated. We, we only got You're only simple. recently got Reese's stuff in our shops, like the last couple of years. It wasn't even a thing over here, but I do like them a lot. How come Reese's pieces don't have to social distance and they can just buddy up in those packages? I know, it's fucked up. Because this world is fucked up, yeah. What else is there to say? I don't know. You're just gonna like, <laughs> oh, this is a protest. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently... Ugh, God damn it, it never ends. There's a new video that people want us to talk about called Why Ray is not a Mary Sue, the official guide. Mm. The official guide. <laughs> Man, okay. you've got your work cut out for you if you're going to try to explain how someone's <laughs> more powerful than death. I find that uh, people keep wanting to try new naming conventions to get the you know videos into the algorithm. Do you remember like the obsession with and here's why? That's still going, but um, a new one that's happening is comma actually. They put at the end of whatever statement they want to make. I've been seeing that one crop up a lot of places. Um, this movie is good, then actually. We, then we had the, is good, actually. the guy that we responded to um, about TLJ on like episode 64-ish, they called it a guide to The Last Jedi. As if to imply that, you know, people are getting it, they need a guide. You're like, okay. And then someone else we covered had a guide to The Rise of Skywalker uh, later on. And so now we got I a guide. Feel like I, needed a, I don't think I feel like I needed a guide to enjoy A New Hope and... Yeah, well, those films back. are simple and shitty, so that makes sense. Yeah, that's fair enough. So they're short, they just wanted to get it over with. But yeah, now the newest Dude. one is an official guide to how Rey is not a Mary Sue. It's like, alrighty. Oh, she's the ultimate Mary Sue. She's like the poster child of Mary Well, I don't know, I mean, do, do we, uh, did we ask if Milan was a bigger Mary Ooh. Sue than Rey? Moulin. Um. Because they're both pretty, they're both high up there. Um, I, th I think Ray beats Ray her out. Might edge it out yeah, because yeah. she dies and gets to come back. Yeah, the, if you take all three films, it's like holy shit, is Ray like ticking the shit? Because it, you know, it almost feels like gatekeeping in a really weird way for the Mary Sue title. Like if you don't tick every single box that I found on the Wikipedia page, then you can't count. And it's like okay, I think we know that colloquially, uh, if you go, oh, that character's kind of a Mary Sue, that all of us know what we're expecting from it in terms of, like, uh, attributes, you, you'd be like, oh, they're probably this, 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 and you're like, yeah. Um, oh, but not that one as much, or something. For example, like, will they be loved by every single character in the in the whole story? It's like, well, if they're not loved by, like, one gremlin dude, it's like, well, you, you still get, we're trying to highlight an issue. And I always feel like that's, like, the main fucking argument that's, that's presented. It's like, they don't follow this particular... They would, uh, you know, if, based on the... Because they always refer to the fanfiction Star no Trek shit, right? Biker. I would argue that, um, certainly, colloquially, she's completely supplanted what Mary Sue was originally based on. Now people think of, like, Rey, and if they match yeah. the attributes of Rey, they are a Mary Sue. I think so. She's the poster child for Mary Suery. And, uh... Soonus? <laughs> so, yeah, I consider it a bit of a waste of time to be like, she doesn't count as the labels. Like, okay, but what about all of the criticisms? It doesn't seem like a strong victory or defense of... Oh, she's only, she's only 90% Mary Sue. Oh. I just like it when they say stuff like, Oh, they're super duper powerful in the universe? That's explained because they're the granddaughter of Palpatine. It's like, that's not... Um, that doesn't change f fucking anything. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah. So while we've been away, just, just different things happening. Lots of little minis been coming out. I see you guys been enjoying the Batwamans and the... And the Ghostbusters, um, still got more. The, the, only, the only fun bait I can give, I guess, is uh, Doom Annihilation with YMS, that's coming up. Um, Moulin with Metal, uh, Crymore... Oh wait, uh, Metal's in the Doom one too. Fucking, he's just all over the place. Uh, Hello! Who was, who was on the, the Moulin one? It was, it, was, it was Moriarty and... 
Jay Longbone. Ah, yes. So, but what's cool about that one is there's two movies in one. You actually, and I already know that they're going to be able, Death Bulge is going to be able to edit quite a, quite a little journey from uh, the first one to the <laughs> second one, because we had lots of fun with the first one. Talking about, fuck it, there was actually a joke in the first one that had us all like laughing for ages. It was, it was uh, quite good shit. It was surprising. So get excited for, for, for stuff that's on the way. Plenty more to come uh -huh. as well. New Moulin's not very good. That's um, just, just saying. Yeah, it's really bad, guys. It's really <laughs> bad. Don't um, even and yeah, someone just said, remember to invite Nerdrotic for Battlefield Earth. Yes, yes. We'll, we, we, we'll sort that out eventually. All kinds of movies to cover. Uh, Mothies. And yeah. So anyway, I, I wanted to show everyone, and if you guys want to see it as well, just, just pull up the stream temporarily. We got us a bit of a new look for refap. Um, <gasps> of course, if you wanted to cheat, I accidentally had it on in the opening like minute of this stream, so <laughs> you can go and see it there. But shh, I'm about to do it anyway. So it's just gonna be the same sort of thing, but different. And uh, here she exactly. is, in all of her splendor. You see, guys, it moves. It moves yeah, now. It actually That's... changes on my stream. That means we're a professional podcast because things move. Oh my god. Although, it looks as if it might not be centered even by a couple of, like, small centimeters. I'll, I'll fix Pixels. that eventually. But for now, I think he looks quite nice. Had some, had some high quality stuff. Super slick work. Check it out. We've even got one for movies. Grade. Oh, look at the blue. Oh so beautiful. And then we got the minis. Oh, still all of it moving. The, the, the um, And then, of course, gaming, which will be really important because we do loads of gaming episodes, don't we? Loads. We, we will do oh, more. Man. Do not you worry, people. We, we will got, do more. We got an <laughs> average of um, four per year. So, uh, no, four per two years. So <laughs> like, you can expect two more this year, at the very least. Plans have been discussed. And so, yeah, uh, that's how EFAP's gonna look now. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, Pre-100 is over. We are in a new world. I think it's pretty cool, though. Um, I think it's super duper cool. Thanks to Omega Ridley and Axel, the two artists that got this all sorted out. Looks wonderful. Yeah. And, um, is this the part where we become millionaires? Is that yes. That awesome. I'm gonna uh, quit my job right now. EFAP has broken new ground. What podcast has ever looked so <laughs> cool? There are none. There are none. I agree. Uh, There's no other podcast. So, something else that is Nita Reno. Uh, I wanted to. I guess I should pop this in the description. I shall while explaining it. Ooh. We got. Uh, someone has actually taken the time to set it up, and uh, I was going to, but I just never quite got around to it. So at this point, I'm just going to be like, until I do, this is easily a resource. Someone <laughs> set up. Audio faps, as in the audio versions only of everything to do with, with EFAP. And uh, they're on SoundCloud. This, this is the profile I'm posting away. Of course, anyone listening to this right now who's like, God, I wish there were audio EFAPs, then uh, there is a link at the top of the descriptionis. Or at least there will be. Um, so you can Erotic use that now. The link at the top of the I'm, I'm currently changing it. Audio faps. That's a, that's a really good thing to put at the top of the description. So, check it out if you wanna, if you need it. Ooh. Um, and yeah, I guess they'll get updated as they go along. The because I know some people they don't have the um, how dare I call it the bit rate or, or the not the bit rate the, the the limit the data to be able to watch full videos. Um, so they just want the audio versions, which is now possible. So that's good. Um, and then of course. Um, unfortunately, with different things that have been happening, it seems that a, a friend to good old EFAP is uh, in, in some trouble. I'm gonna post this here. Uh, good old Beowen. Um, so I'll just, I guess I'll just read this. You know, um, I've had confirmation that neighbors while away on holiday with family, a massive wildfire tore through our wee mountain community, and Floof is officially homeless. I'll be busy helping mates and family move what is left of this stuffery and try to salvage anything of mine, and... So until I get a GoFundMe going, Floof would greatly appreciate any spare coin you can throw um, into the PayPal. And then, of course, is a Gmail link. Um, it's a 
potentially disastrous. The uh, obviously any support help anyone can can spare would be uh, fantastic. I imagine in this position. I don't I don't know many more specifics. I don't know if like the entire house was just completely destroyed or not. But um, there is. Uh, another link at the top of the description if anyone can the way it works is like you go into paypal and you just send a particular email the uh any amount that you can to support sorry for that and obviously baywin's provided shit tons of uh fun memes since fucking i want to say like episode was the first one episode seven or something the um the creepy gas alien with the butt you remember rex <laughs> Oh, I remember. How could you forget? It's burned into my memory. <laughs> so, um, yeah, sorry to hear it, and um, hopefully things will be on an upturn. Uh, if, yeah, like I said, link links in descriptionis. Or, well, not really link, PayPal email. You take that to PayPal. Uh, trying to think if there's anything else. Um, doo -doo -doo. Oh, I suppose there's this to, to lighten the mood. Uh, where is this? So, <laughs> I showed Rags this before, but we, we decided it would be funny to put on EFAP. So this is from, um, I, th I, th I think it was a comment underneath, uh, I can't remember if someone shared this on Discord or if I found it, but it was, it's a comment in relation to, I believe, my Captain Marvel video. Ooh! Rags, if you wanna, wanna give it your best read. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, uh, all right. Here we go. Dude. <clears throat> it's a fucking stupid superhero movie made by a human being. <laughs> greater man, greater man, greater man. <laughs> Making sense out of it is like drinking wine to prove it's water. Greater than, greater than, greater than. It isn't. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, statement. It checks. The, lo the logic checks. Right. Uh, watch the movie. If you want some sci-fi bullshit, otherwise, stay the hell away from it. Because you're just gonna be tired and stressed trying to give them some sense and make them a reality-related concern. Hmm. Maybe you don't realize it, but I'm actually trying to help you here. <laughs> I'm, I'm in your side. Oh, oh, oh no. that's what's been bothering me this week. I want you to relax and not get stressed over so fucking stupid shit that you do not want to even be bothered by. I just don't really bother by that. He's trying to help me relax. He's in your side, man. <laughs> I've never seen someone said so shit by by knocking oh, out the T. This is, this is your spleen. Make them a Stop worrying about the related you. concern. That's that's not what you're doing. <laughs> That's not Here. even remotely what you're doing. Here at EFAP, we encourage all of our viewers <laughs> to make our streams a reality-related concern to you. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. That was special. Yeah, he's just looking after me, and I appreciate that. Thank you very much. And this was for what movie? I think Captain Marvel. Oh yeah, Captain Marvel is definitely not a reality-related concern. <laughs> yes, it's. Uh... Hey. I would say it finds reality poisonous. Um, so yeah, I, I mean that, that that that's really all I I was I was going to be talking about today before jumping into videos. Was was there anything you guys wanted to talk about? Something gay? I thought or... that was it for today. I'm yeah, not, I mean that's really... it. Thank you for watching, guys. Efab one hundred and one. Yeah, Good awesome. shit. Uh, right. Send your that. send Thanks. your comment <laughs> in the comment section. Where gonna, comments are normally located. I'm gonna drop a watch together link in there because I thought we'd try something different today. I was yeah, gonna play a video and pause at certain intervals and then comment on it with you guys. What do you reckon? Hmm. Mm, Thank you for trying. I'm in. Sounds pretty. Uh, I know, pretty crazy, but uh, I'm thinking it might work. Um. <laughs> so, because <laughs> because you never quite know exactly who's gonna be around for for how long. I figure we'll start with with this one. This is, uh, <laughs> the title of this one is Why the Alexa, Star Wars but, Oh huh? I got Alexa, what day lights on, lights yeah, off Alexa, I, I, tell I, me about Alexa Oh, don't worry, that's that's a that's a, I guess There's a, a sign, there's a sign here that says Dog people and cat people don't see eye to eye On a lot of things But the one thing they can agree on Is there's nobody weirder than bird people Is this true? Do we know this? Is a bird people weird? Know. I had birds. I didn't like them. 
Oh. Fucking hated him. Oh no. <laughs> Fucking every when I when I go to YouTube and see all the bird videos, the birds are nice and they love they're love they're funny and they're smart. Oh, and they shit. play around. They're so cute and wonderful. My birds were fucking assholes. <laughs> Mate, they used to be dinosaurs. I don't see why they'd be calm, you know? You'd think they'd mellow out after a few million years. They're like, we used to be so cool. <laughs> so <laughs> lame. Now if we're nice, these big giants just give us everything we want. Yeah. Um. But anyway, the, the, the name of this video we're going to be covering is called Why the Star Wars Reviews by E.R. Mola, etc. are wrong about everything. Man, I wish I had a review about Star Wars. That would be in the so, title. Like, I know ER is a horrible person, but he must have made one point that was okay. Just even no half averages. a point, something. Um, in all Eventually of my you make enough arguments, one will be correct. I was gonna say you'd think with the uh, the machine gunning nature of of EFAP and and my videos, you'd think I said one thing that was worthwhile. But you know, I I understand. So, I think it's good for everybody to check out. It's it's like an audit, you know, sometimes it's like, yeah, we make some mistakes, so let's, let's give it a shot, see where we fucked up. You guys ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, God. I'm ready. I'm ready hey. to see where y'all fucked up. I've been hearing about how terrible that the Disney Star Wars movies are, and two YouTube channels are being referenced on repeat. Mahler is one of them, and he is the pioneer of objective criticism. <laughs> okay, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> You sound young. It shows. The pioneer. Calm down. <laughs> the the pioneer of objective criticism. The pioneer oh of being critical without letting your biases, uh, you know, fucking. Yeah, you're the first one. Yep. It was probably back in the caveman days when one caveman was like trying to start a fire, and the other caveman was like, "Oh, maybe you not use feathers. Maybe you use sticks to rub together." <laughs> and he was like, oh, shit, that's like a good idea, Carl. That's fucking brilliant. And then they, they were, that objective criticism led to the invention of fire. <laughs> fucking all or it was is the like, last Jedi. I don't like fire. It hurt. That's you subjective, like fire. fire hurt finger. But fire make food taste good. <laughs> good light, make warm. I don't make know if cave, you guys have warmer. ever seen this meme, but it's my favorite one about cavemen. Let me send it. Uh... I don't care if it make doesn't... food taste good. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is good shit. <laughs> this is good shit. I'm the best. <laughs> 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 I love I love the brow. <laughs> yeah, the big brow, the super big. <laughs> like, yep, I'm the best. <laughs> See, even cavemen, you know, they they had trouble with being objective until I came along, of course. Yeah. Go check out his video on art analysis to understand the Is that supposed to be that blurry? <laughs> uh... Wait a minute. <laughs> wait, wait a second. Hold on. L let me check the original so I can see if it's supposed to be that. Oh my is god, that... it actually is supposed... No, it... The quality on this video only goes to 240p. Oh no. <laughs> my gracious. No, what did you make this with? A, a calculator? Is <laughs> Black guy with dreads. <laughs> it's just I like the thumbnail says and art. Mm. <laughs> this guy taped his smoke alarm and a tape measure together and made this video with it. <laughs> he was like banging his table. The video eventually <laughs> came out. Objective is bad. <laughs> Objectivity and subjectivity. Now I watched this video and I've come to the conclusion that Mueller is only fifty percent correct. He says that you said it was wrong about everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, when he says everything, he means half. Oh, half. okay. That's, 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 that's what all the... You know how literally can literally mean the opposite, <laughs> unironically? Well, now full can mean half. I mean, I guess it's just clickbait. It's fine. We're in now. So 50%. ER is still wrong about everything from what we know. <laughs> yeah, I have to be. That when there are problems in the script, he isn't stating Wait, his opinions. Was that a skip for everyone else? Oh, let me uh, roll it back for you. Because his voice skip. Because his voice is also in 240p, <laughs> so it might be it, like skip around a bit. And that Mahler is only 50% correct. He says that when there are problems in the script, he isn't stating his opinions, and that he concludes that the movies he reviews are objectively bad. While he does argue, so he's saying you're not stating your opinions. I mean. I guess it There's, depends on what particular comment. Opinions. Yeah, like, 
it was, this just comes down to the definition shit again. Because a lot of people, say for example, you said, um, you know, uh, Ray is the most powerful character, and someone said it in your opinion, be like, it, I, uh, <laughs> I guess, I don't know. <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's also muddled up. Um, but it, 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 whatever you want to call what I'm saying, it's pretty fucking provable, is, is the main, uh, at least in relation to like the flaws of, of the plot or the, the, the consistency of elements. Because I'm not entirely sure if he's like running with it. That seems to be where he's going, probably. It's just like, you can't say it's bad? I don't, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Yes, we will. Argue well. He hasn't given any actual reasons why it's definitively bad. He's given okay, so just continuity fuck-ups. If a story is meant to be a series of events and continuity is key to generate it, anything that's discontinuity is a problem. I mean, but, uh, I think it was in our our episode 100 catch-up where we said, like, the the most base definition of a story is a... is it's an account of events. Yeah. Like that's a, I think that's as simple as you could possibly get it down to. So in that sense, you have to have, you know, it then it's necessary that you have cer it has certain attributes. For um, example, it can't we can't be told two things are definitive when they contradict each other. Like that you you're now fucking up everything. Yeah. Um I I would say if if you would like to argue that a story doesn't have to adhere to the universal law of non-contradiction and exclude middle, fucking go for it. Um, but have fun with that. <laughs> that's going to be a tough sell, I think. So let's um yeah let's let's take a look here. Oh by the way, in in the definition of opinion that I think we use is just a really standard quick go to Google definition, which is a view or judgment formed about something, not necessarily based on fact or knowledge. Mm -hmm. Nice yeah. and simple. Nice and simple. Given plenty of reasons for why someone would dislike the movie, but not why it's actually bad. This will be explained towards the last part of the video, but well, those two things aren't necessarily mutually exclusive either. Mm -hmm. so. But for most of this video, I'm going to focus on the popular YouTube ranter. No, there, there's no focus in this video right now. It is <laughs> hey, man, very blurry. Look, this uh, is his intro. He, he's probably going to, I'm, I'm, he's going to spray his, his intellectual focus all over us in a second. You ready? Here we go. I'm ready. No. For ER. Oh, no. It stars this nice. guy, John Boyega, <laughs> and this chick, Daisy Ridley. And oh my god, this girl cannot act her way out of a biodegradable paper bag. This is a ship that made the castle run in 14 parsecs. We're just gonna rewatch my Here we go. Um, that was funny though. I'm gonna. <laughs> uh, you guys can keep it up. I'm gonna. I'm gonna mute on my end in case copyright. Do you know if the, the song is copyright or not? Yeah. Uh, uh, with the Benny Hill theme. Yeah. I, I doubt it. I don't think I've ever been copyrighted me... by it. I'll, let, I'll just. It, I'll just be safe. Like I said, it'll be on for you guys. But uh, the stream is just gonna show. Cause I remember this part. You just show the many ways she acts in the exit. He's fucking crushed it down to 240, though. <laughs> it's like, thanks. I can barely see a yeah. face. Well, what's worse is that up to the video resolution on YouTube is 240, and then he's got, like, a 240 version of that, so we're looking in a 240 version of a 240 recording, basically. Mm. Yeah, like, hence why everything's all fucking blotchy as shit, but at least we've all, we're all familiar with the movies. She does, she does this a, a lot. <laughs> Imagine what you'd have to work with now that you got the three movies. It's just like, yep. <laughs> this is the thing. I reckon she's probably capable of being an actress. It's just the yeah. Uh, I think it's direction. Yeah, like direction's not exactly. Mm -hmm. They're the having her do the exact same fucking thing every scene. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he's really gonna just show all of it, huh? I was gonna say, like, this is a really unusual, like, from a <clears throat> uh, from a strategic point of view, this is an interesting step he's taking. Yeah, ER makes point, ER proves point. What are you gonna do? Yeah. <laughs> I'm confused how you'll fight against this, but okay, I'm interested. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, there, that's better. <laughs> Although she's not very good and rather obnoxious, to some people she delivers her lines rather well. I don't know about obnoxious. Especially when compared to how the lines are delivered in the prequels. Wait, what do you mean to some people? But, but, the, but... 
So, so the counter is some people think she's good and she's better than the people in the prequels. That's the counter. Also, as um, I think we also discussed in our episode 100 Super Fat Ketchup, now available on Mueller, <laughs> uh, is that we said, I don't think there's a way to objectively qualify acting. It's a really tough I one. Think, yeah, I think the closest you could get is if an actor was playing a real person and it would be about matching that other person but even then i would probably even say that that's an adaptation argument and and um, the so best you could like probably do is pointing out like for example her doing the exact same expression means we can't really distinguish like how she actually feels about anything if that's just her default face and so that would be um highlightable as as, as a sort of issue and and of course because we went over this but um we can all see you know fucking ian mckellen in any fucking role, compared to Tommy Wiseau, and be like, yeah, I can spot the good actor from the bad actor, but it's really hard to, like, quantify that, um, even though we can all, like, recognize it. And, and the standard, I suppose, that we all try and go to is just conveyance of emotion. But uh, then we I mean, run into trouble with, like, Terminator. Where... Someone mentions in chat, like, if you had Will Smith playing <clears throat> Will Smith, like, could he... Is it even possible for Will Smith to not play himself objectively perfectly? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, oh, but you know. Anyway, the, I just the, the idea that well, if we all agree she's bad, but there's some people who don't, and that's the defense. It's just like, all right, I nailed it. I guess. As the stormtroopers slaughter a village for this chart, one of them has second thoughts on the ethical and moral pretexts of what they're doing. Coincidentally, he's the only one on the extermination team to suddenly sprout a conscience. Oh my God, we're murderers! Also, I thought the stormtroopers <laughs> were all clones of this cold-blooded assassin guy, but it turns out the clones were decommissioned oh, off screen, and now these. A lot of people like to pick you up on this, don't they? Um, yeah, it was just a set up for a joke, but... Uh. Well, you know, well, I was about to say, because the, um, the oh my god, we're murderers thing is funny, but at the same time, I'm imagining you're trying to get people to think about, hey, is it, is it weird that he's like the only one who's picking up on this? And of course, yeah. they, they argue in the third film that that's because the Force told him to, and the Force only does that with a certain amount of stormtroopers at certain times. The rest of them can get fucked. Did so they even dumb. <laughs> the Force is a very poor parenting. <laughs> yeah. You can't figure out morality unless you have to force. Pretty much. They have to release them from their brainwashing or some shit. I don't even know. Like, I'm just gunning from that conversation. Was it Jaina? Jana? I can't remember the girl's name in. John, I think. Jana. Jana. Um. Yeah, she she's like the reason we all didn't kill a bunch of innocent people is because of a feeling, and then that's what that's what Finn said he got on TFA too, and it's just like I I don't. Uh... So, so like all the Force ghosts from the people who were killed at the beginning of the Force Awakens, they're like, oh wow, Force, wow, you stopped that other massacre, but all right, I guess we weren't important enough. Ooh, that's what I mean. When you introduce the idea that there's an all powerful Force that's actually helping people in this way, you're like, wait, why isn't it doing it more? What, what, yeah, oof. I think it was... They sort of touched on it in the Phantom Menace, but especially in the sequels, they turn the Force into an outright agent, a thinking, plotting agent who has desires and is working towards a goal, which further complicates things immensely. It certainly does when you've got the dark side the and the light the, side. It's like, wait a minute. The Force is a fucking cock. Alright? <laughs> Fuck that guy. He's a dick. The Force isn't like even a force anymore, which is almost a weird thing. It makes the name seem incongruent with what it actually is. Well, yeah, because I, I always just assumed it was like it was just an element of, of everything. It's just that's the, it's, it is not it wants. Yeah, it's just the thing. It's something that exists. It is a force, which was the perfect name for it. Now it's an agent. Murderers. Also, I thought the stormtroopers were all clones of this cold-blooded assassin guy. But it turns out the clones were decommissioned to off-screen, and now these are just programmable humans. Which is a shame, because retconning the stormtroopers to all be young black men- Why do people give you flack for that? You said you thought something, but what actually the case well, is this. if you remember, right, we've covered this before, actually. I don't know if I ever told you we are, but um, when we covered Cosmonaut, he went after you for this one, I think. And uh, you can actually break up what you say as completely benign, because you just say, oh yeah, I just thought that it was that way, but I guess not. And then you make a joke. It's like, it, it to me, feels as though someone saw your video, got annoyed of all your, your points, then found ones that were even respond to a bullet, were like, aha, the whole video's shit. Yeah, even, even then, this was all just a setup for a 
classless joke. Mm-hmm. And that's it. Classless joke, comrade. Turns out the clones were like decommissioned it. to off-screen, and now these are just programmable humans. Which is a shame because retconning the stormtroopers to all be young black men would. Oh, and people are asking like the like speeding up thing. This isn't us. He's speeding ER. Yeah, up. this isn't us. We would never. No. Speeding no, ER up, like what the fuck? What are you doing? Have made total <clears throat> sense as to why they can't shoot for shit. <laughs> Who'd have thought these space Nazis would be so racially diverse? <laughs> nigga, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Who'll consider us racist for driving him away? <laughs> I don't know. The, the drama and the subtitles don't line up. I don't know. It's just uh, amusing that someone watches this. They're like, uh, actually, uh, accuracy-wise, this is not on point. And you're like, oh. Damn it. <laughs> Where am I gonna find one to dress all in white? <laughs> oh, it's good stuff. This video this is wasn't worthless, I... we got some of this, so... Yeah. yeah! This has happened before on EFAB, where someone's responding to someone else, and we enjoy the, uh... the plague of the context more than we do the commentary. <laughs> like, more context, please. <laughs> This is what I'd call mixing comedy with actual criticism. There's no actual point being argued. That's what here. a lot of people would call it. Yeah. <laughs> you said there's no actual point being made. It's like some of the, some of the stuff in there had a point. I don't know, like the j just the idea that it's weird that he's the only one who's woken up about killing innocent people's bad. There's obviously a point and a joke at the same time. And people act like he's the ultimate critic for the new Star Wars. <laughs> Come on. The ultimate um, critic? <laughs> ultimate critic. Dude, congratulations. Wait, yeah, I thought, that, I thought he introduced this video that. saying I was. Which one is it? Is right. it both of us? You no, too. Well, you're the right. pioneer of Jeff. Oh. Yeah, I, I introduced it and you perfected contest. it, I guess. Well, I'm subjective comedic, evidently. I just like the idea that he's like, oh yeah, Mola came and then you became the ultimate when fucking, if anything, you came well before me. Like, I don't know fucking how, how this works. On. But turns to the dark side because Padman going to die. Sorry, I mean, that. I have no idea why Kylo Ren turned to the dark side. But who cares? Not two billion dollars. <laughs> why is it important that people know why he turned in this movie? You need to make an argument instead of... Because why should we care about him? Yeah. yeah. And and they, I mean, he's Han's son. It's really weird. It's just like, why, what is what is the story here? He's just evil, man. Yeah. Um, because I, I imagine someone would want to try and, like, compare to A New Hope. It's like, Vader was a foot soldier in, uh, in A New Hope. It wasn't a huge amount to him, it's Empire that fleshes him out. Mm -hmm. Uh, Kylo, though. Kylo's, uh, people argue Kylo's, like, the fucking, almost, the, like, the, like a protagonist of the three films, rather than the villain sort of thing. I mean, um, you've got, and, and again, this is all coming after the original three movies, and they just introduce, yeah, the big bad is essentially the son of Han Solo and Leia Organa. I don't know how the fuck that happened, but that's what it is. <laughs> I think, and I think that's boom, in the video, go. actually, as well. Uh, but yeah, it's it, it would have been neat to know why I should care that Han Solo's son is evil, and then also thinking about being good. Because they have that payoff, but we have no like history for it so it's just like i don't know he just will be or won't be i guess it's very asserty without any yeah. substancy um another example would just be like i'm gonna finish what you started you're like whoa let's let's pause right there what are you referring to because vader's a good man when he died so so like what are you trying yeah. to finish and then and why who told like what is what is this moment and it's obviously it's just jj being like Ooh, they're gonna love it raising the pitch in your voice. You are more of a comedian than a critic. Oof. I mean, that's not Dang, really... That's yeah. not so bad, actually. It's not really an insult. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's just like, um, alright, that... I guess it depends what you're going for. Um, but... Like... He sped it up, so... The whole raise pitch thing. Mm -hmm. Unless you did that in your video, I can't remember. Mm -mm, nope. No, I don't think so. So he raised... He sped up the video to raise your pitch, and then he said that you're just raising your pitch. Did he say anything about raising my pitch? Yeah, he said a few, like... Oh, fuck it, we'll just have him repeat it. Back it up, time travel this business. In this movie, 
You need to make an argument instead of raising the pitch in your voice. You are more of a comedian than a critic. Uh, I mean, yeah, you sped him up. Pitch in my voice. I mean, well, yeah. take take the criticism on you, yeah? please. Like next video, go go deep. Go. Hello. You gotta you gotta drop the bass. All right, I will need some uh, lessons from you, Mahler. I mean, I raise my pitch a lot, so I, I'm not doing I it right. I think I'm comfortably at soprano alter. Yeah, probably alto, you know. I'm. I. But I don't know what I'm at, low. but uh, I need to go lower. Clearly. And they become fast friends or gay lovers. It's too early to tell. Stop making gay jokes. And no, that's true no, though. It's not a gay joke. <laughs> no. What he just What's said is joke? true. They they fucking bathed the whole like ever wanted fit and poda hookup. Even um, I think John Boyega was asked about it, right? And he was like, I'd have, I'd have been fine with it. I well, guess. I think it was. Oscar Isaacs, who had talked about it. Oscar Isaac yeah, wanted John it, Boyega and Finn said like, he was okay with no. it. Yeah. Well, yeah, either way, it didn't happen. Um, but fucking loads of fans wanted it to happen. And uh, Brian Johnson was like, no, no gays. Not doing gays. Gays? <laughs> <laughs> Why? People automatically go to, oh, you mentioned gays. You're trying to make a gay joke. <laughs> That's not yeah. Believe me, we're experienced with people making gay jokes on EFAB. Holy shit, the the Lord of the Rings video it was nothing but attempts at making gay jokes. This is just pointing out that, like, yeah, that's that's. If you were to summarize Oscar Isaac's position in the story, it's um, he, he fights the rebellion, possibly gay, saves the world by blowing up Star Killer. There you go. Make actual arguments. Elsewhere in Jakku, there's Luke Skywalker. Sorry, I mean Rey. Some scavenger urchin girl who's coincidentally not a slave on this extremely remote desert planet. Why is she even here? I don't know. Who cares? Not two billion dollars! Again, why is this important? <laughs> why is it important why the protagonist is where they are at the beginning of the trilogy? Yeah. So, yeah, again, like, you, you highlight that she's a clone of Luke's story, and we don't even have a justification for any of it. Like, so you can't even look at, um, how they try to justify the cloning of it. They don't have anything. So it's just mm -hmm. like, yeah, and, and, and of course, the jab being, um, your implication is that it doesn't, they don't have to, because they're gonna make money regardless. Especially if they're, they're doing, and again, the way you do it is kind of funny, but you're also making a point. I don't know, it seems mm -hmm. simple to me. Stop raising the pitch in your voice for comedy. <laughs> Kylo Ren. Okay. Um, <laughs> putting putting aside the weird dishonesty of having him speed up your footage to raise your pitch and then saying you're raising your pitch, um, it would be really useful if you're trying to prove a point in your video. You should probably say something along the lines of, here's why that's not important. Here's why that's wrong. Instead of just going, no. -uh. Probably helpful. And having failed repeatedly for his targets, goes to have a chat with his boss, some hologram of a giant Peter Jackson CG monster. And I honestly don't remember what the fuck happens in this scene. Then go back and rewatch it. You're playing no. it in your video. Well, you, do, you don't need to because that's not a part of your point, right? You move on to just talk about how this... Uh, what, I can't remember what you, you say about this one. I'm assuming he's going to have the context, but... There's a difference between, I can't remember what happened, so I think this is bad, versus you know which parts you're actually commenting on, but you can't remember all of the film. Like, it, right. So, if you got shit wrong, fair enough. But uh, as long as all you talk about is accurate, you're fine. And other than some exposition to establish that Kylo is Han and Leia's son. Yeah, they're pretending that this and this made this. Leia, is there something you want to tell us? Is this a casting criticism? <laughs> I wish he had a I I wish he had an icon or something instead of cutting to black. It is kind of it is is a little disappointing. I wish we had like a webcam so we could examine what his room is. I just, I don't know. I I think it's funny because every time it cuts it, back it is, to him, it's always so deadpan and stupid. It's it like, is kind of funny. I just I I'm so curious. Is this a casting <laughs> criticism? What kind of argument and comedy twisting is this? And then Emo Vader shows up and there's a scene between him and Han. Now, this scene, this scene, would have been worth the price of admission and so much more because I have never laughed harder in my life. Looks like Kylo shot first. Greedo, you have been avenged. You are too good for this world. Why did this make you laugh? Explain yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Explain yourself. Why did you laugh at this very serious scene? Explain I, yourself. I can definitely explain myself because this... Han of all people getting one-shotted by anybody, number one. 
is just ridiculous to me. But then by his own son. Put the lightsaber over a pit. <laughs> I know, well, I know that a lot of people uh, felt that it was a little off as well, because it's just, it's uh, so clear. Like, you're watching this and you're like, he's going to die. He's going to die. Especially with people knowing the meta knowledge. And the fact that there was, like, a campaign to spoil this shit, that was, like, a meme on the internet, was, was like, Han Solo dies. So, yeah, watching the scene, it, as if you have to justify why you find something funny. It's a weird, weird one, but you seem to upset no, him. explain yourself. How dare you laugh at Batwoman? How dare you laugh at Milan? Of course. Or Free Larson. If someone finds it very dramatic, or if someone feels nothing, it's like, yeah, they're all valid. Um, and I feel like you did explain yourself, so I don't know. It's a weird one. But this is where the prequels come out ahead. At least it tried to hang the original trilogy from new rope. Sure, some of it was just ripping off certain elements and stuffing them fucking everywhere, but a lot of George's distortions were brand spanking new, too. Like the Jedi Council, politics, midichlorians, <laughs> politics, droids, politics, even fucking Jar Jar. I am so fucking sick of hearing this damn reasoning. <laughs> it's impossible to defend- You couldn't sound more, uh, passionate there, buddy. <laughs> I am sick of hearing this reasoning the prequels and this is easily the worst defense what i'm gonna skip his role wait, wait yeah what sorry what defense? what was the, i'm rolling what, back what was the defense politics droids politics even fucking jar jar i am so fucking sick of hearing this damn reasoning it's impossible to defend the prequels and this is easily uh <laughs> i mean he's not i don't er wasn't sounding like he was defending the prequel there yeah just saying that they did some new stuff, that's all. I think this guy's a little slow. Also, impossible to defend the prequels? I mean, I wouldn't even... I, I don't agree. I, I think I could, if, if I was to play devil's advocate for the prequels, I think I could do a decent job. Yeah, like, we we can, we, 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 we've already said that, like, we, we think the prequels are kind of shitty, but uh, there's still plenty to, to, to yeah. praise about some of the stuff that happens in this story-wise. I... I you know I wouldn't even say it about the sequels, but it's way closer to be impossible to defend the sequels, like from a writing standpoint. But oh hell yeah, I would much rather you know if a million dollars was on the line, I'll defend the prequels any day. I ain't defending the sequels. I don't know if I can. Yeah, like if I was to choose between those two teams, I'd be like, why the fuck would I defend the sequels? That's impossible. <laughs> like, There's not even like a, a a core in there to defend. Really, the worst defense. I'm gonna skip his Rogue One video since Rogue One deserves to get torn apart because it's terrible. Oh, all right. I okay. agree, buddy. <laughs> all right, then. All right. Yeah. Sure. The Last Jedi is the first movie of his that I've pushed myself to finish, and if I didn't have this YouTube channel. <laughs> you. The Last Jedi is too long, but you can watch Mauler. <laughs> 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 oh, you sure got okay. me there. Damn, bro. They, well, yeah. That's entertaining. Well, I mean, uh, you know, you can't watch anything that is two and a half hours long is, is kind of what he assumed your point was. Is it not your point? Uh, it is my point for this movie. Wait a minute. You're saying that it's not that it's two and a half hours long, it's that it's two and a half hours of bullshit. Exactly. Damn. Are you implying that two and a half hours is literally not always the same experience? Not always. Oh well, my god. I guess we've cracked it, guys. Science wins once again. The Galactic Empire, I mean, the First Order, are busy eradicating the remnants of the Rebellion. I mean, the Resistance. Wait, what? Really? Did I, uh, miss a movie? Why are the First Order leisurely facing off with the Resistance? Isn't the First Order supposed to be weakened right here? They just lost their mega Death Star. Remember? The planet turned to laser cannon. Re this is where the good guys are. Deal with it. Stop. <laughs> what? Deal with it. Oh my god. I was... This is, this is so disappointing. <laughs> He's like, oh, that's the way it is. Deal with it. It's like, shit, I didn't need your video for that. I was going to say, we, we could, yeah, anyone can say that shit, man. Jeez. Um, yeah, so that's the confusing part of the, of the world building. The First Order are incredibly powerful and, and, like, they just, they're all over the galaxy. But also, it's only until Rise of Skywalker that they actually manage to take control of systems. It's like, oh, okay. And of course, once they blow up Starkiller, you're 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 looking for information on exactly what we're dealing with in the First Order, and, and TLJ is just like, I don't know, it's just some, they're just huge. And you're like, okay, because in the originals, they're an empire, 
So blowing up their big laser <laughs> is like, which was brand new in A New Hope, is like, well, I guess there's still an empire. With the First yeah. Order, like, we are premiering our enormous weapon, and this is a message to the galaxy that we're taking over. And then you blow up their weapon, and you're like, ha, what are you going to do now? And it's like, well, we'll just use our enormous galaxy-trotting army. Yeah, we'll use like, the oh. rest of our massive military force that spans the galaxy. Until the point where we, we can't use it to pursue the resistance. And then it'll be back for the next movie, though. The First Order power level is forever fluctuating up and down and very, very confusing. Very underutilized. You have no sense of scale. So he just cored you. You gotta deal with it. <laughs> no, he did. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop opening up your movies with action sequences like this. It's a lot of shouting and pretty lights and that's nice and all, but I want real stakes. I want investment. At least some bare bones setup is necessary to care one flying flip about these flying flips. More than none. If you absolutely have to use an action sequence opener, use your main characters. I reckon most moviegoers don't easily recognize Hux. He was really only in a few minutes of episode 7. Same with Poe, who disappeared for a huge bulk of TFA. And I mean disappeared. Right out of his clothes. Frickin' teleported. Paul was the guy who saved the entire rebellion in the last movie. He was super important. It's not that, what that doesn't address said. anything. Super important. Yeah, that doesn't address anything you just said. Yeah, Snoke is super important in the Force Awakens. He's barely in it. Mm-hmm. Fucking hell! <laughs> I assume he thinks that's a counter. So, when you open up with TLJ, if you saw TFA two years prior, I seriously fucking doubt you knew who Poe and Hux were. You'd be like, uh, they're, they're the ones... Hmm. Especially for those who are casual viewers and did only see it the one time. Just be like, I don't know, I'm pretty sure those that's just good guys and bad guys, I guess. Um, for people who are paying attention, you'll be like, huh, I guess we're, we're following Poe. Um, the, the opening sequence of TLJ is fucking garbage, but then again, I feel like that's redundant because the whole thing is, uh, the... The idea that he's important because he blew up the, the star, star Killer as well, but it's like any of them could have, because uh, the opening was built, right, by um, Han, and just had to get a fighter in there to blow up everything. Mm. And then, of course, you tie in the fact that he was supposed to die in the original version. Um, I don't know. Feel feel like that's just, we're not getting that addressed. supposed to die? Yeah, Poe was originally supposed to die. He he. Um, yeah, that's why he's gone. That's why he disappears for like most of the scripts. Oh, and, that yeah. would have Man, a lot. Yeah, I thought you knew that. I could have sworn I fucking. I didn't know, I didn't know that. No. Huh. Well, um, yeah. From what I remember reading, he was upset that he gets killed, and he asked JJ to not kill him because he keeps dying in the movies he's in, which <laughs> is really funny to think about because Oscar Isaac wants fucking nothing to do with Star Wars at this point. So I think uh, Mr. Jackson, um, listen, I know you were gonna kill Boromir and everything, but. Uh... <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Have you noticed I died a lot of stuff? And he's like, yes. That is why. And all this meaningless action is- This is not meaningless. It kicks off the entire movie. Overall, ER is nothing but a comedian pretending to be a critic. Now that, that's not even- Harsh words. I don't it's even not know meaningless. That you... It kicks off the whole movie. Well, they, <laughs> you could have had- You could have gotten to the point where you- are at through a through through different avenues of approach here the action scene is just it's not meaningful just because it happens first it's hard to he doesn't use a lot of words and the words he uses can be interpreted in multiple ways so it makes it difficult to really get what his actual point yeah. is yeah um i wish he wasn't so glib ultimately though you know he came out okay he, he, is it really that bad if you're less a critic and more of a comedian it's just like oh well yeah yeah, I thought I was going to get really lambasted, but yeah, yeah. I'll take I feel like you came out okay. I'm not looking forward to when he, because he said he's going to come back to me. Um, and now we got Shad. Oh, God, Shad. Hope you're going to be okay, buddy. Now we'll <laughs> enter into the realm of fight choreography and military tactics. Shadiversity is one of those YouTubers that I feel should really get off YouTube. He thinks that dissecting. Damn. <laughs> Whoa. Damn, no, Chad. Chad, he, no, you, this please. guy thinks ER can stay, but you gotta go. <laughs> wow. I, I am really rough. curious what the metric is there. Like, Shad has to go. He's he's ruining everything. <laughs> I think every single move in a fight scene from a swordsmanship perspective is a way to stop debate on the internet. Stop debate? What? what? No. <laughs> That's no, it, start, it, cre it, it does the what? opposite. It starts with debate. Yeah. It, it begins the discussion that's centered around the criticism of something in the film. 
See, so we're at the point again in EFAP, as as per usual, where someone says something and you would you tell one of your friends about this, they won't believe you. By talking about yeah. swordsmanship, Shad is trying to prevent debate from happening. You're like Yeah. What? I mean, and maybe he means he's trying to stop debate by ending a discussion through the use of it's it's like if you present like a hundred proofs that the earth is a globe right and you say i'm ending the debate because you so because you have presented your arguments in your discussion so you know so fully and so thoroughly is, yeah but shad's criteria will be like accurate choreography in that regard he will provide all the proof he can that it fails and then if if shad was to say and that's the end of the debate i seriously don't think shad would be like there's no way you can respond to me in any way shape or form i think you'd be like oh yeah you can and i'd be interested well, to see what you have to say to people on the channel <clears throat> i mean because people say it about us like our goal is to suppress other people's opinions and stuff and it's like no the debate goes on it always does no. if we wanted to suppress opinions we just fucking work at youtube yeah on twitter Twitter. It's not. Twitch. Nitpicking isn't Facebook. a way to judge a movie fairly. These um, characters are of course well, flawed in their fighting techniques. This is a galaxy far, far away. What? <laughs> wait, wait, oh what? Can, wait, can you roll back there for a couple of seconds, please? This is, oh, there's so much to say. Holy shit. Dissecting every single move in a fight scene from a swordsmanship perspective is a way to stop debate on the internet. <laughs> it's not. Nitpicking isn't a way to judge a movie fairly. These characters have, of yeah, course, flawed in their fighting techniques. This is a galaxy far, far away. So, he uh, thinks the idea... So, we're not looking at someone failing to do a particular sword move, or losing because they weren't able to counter a move that was too complicated. Let's just look at the classic example. A knife disappearing that would have been stabbed into the back of Rey. Is, is this because Rey is so good at sword fighting and the guy isn't? Is that what we're arguing? Hey man, things just don't work the way you'd expect them to in a galaxy far, far away. Also, I like this image of Kylo. It's funny. Yeah, why would yeah, he zoom funny. on this? To make his point. Yeah, I feel like. <laughs> yeah, this is uh These fights have to do with the survival of very important main characters. It, it's not a nitpick, and I don't know if I don't know if it's Ray's incompetence that means she can kick one person and three people fly back. <laughs> I, I don't, don't know if know. that's her incompetence. I would say it's the opposite. One might even say she could be Mary Sue material. No, how incredibly no, no, powerful no, no. she is. Mm. But, um... Yeah, also, why... Would you specifically target the the fighting scenes and you talk about those? That's not nitpicking. That's just analyzing the specific part of the movie in this part. But you're not enjoying it from a visual level, and that's what me film media is, and that's how you don't understand how to critique film. You're, you're focusing on Oh, did the sword go in the right place? Like, fucking nerd. Go back to... Go back, go back to not YouTube, because you don't belong here. Yeah, I'll go watch uh, better choreography and like the rate and stuff. But yeah, um, people have torn this scene to shreds, many different channels, including Shad's, and it is, it's just one of those things where it just keeps getting worse every single yeah. time. It's just like, holy shit, they fucked up. I like how, I like how almost everybody who watched that scene first and was like, oh, that was kind of neat, and then you watch it the second time, it's like, oh, oh, that mm -hmm. wasn't neat at all. <laughs> I think I had positives this things to say about it in my review. But... I certainly did. I said it's the only part of the movie I liked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That didn't hold up. Yeah, because people are like, did you notice how the blah blah blah, and then the blah blah blah, and then it's like, a whole fight in slow motion, you just spot these millions of fucking stupid moves, you're like, oh no. Yeah. Where people fight with their swords differently than how people fight in the real world. Nitpicking a fight. They wouldn't scene. be alive. That's not to fight with the swords. <laughs> that argument doesn't address everything. I'm sorry. It doesn't even address much stuff. Like the idea that you see, it's a mystical weapon in a mystical world. So watching them fucking stab themselves in the face makes sense. <laughs> You're like, no. Oh, that's an interesting fighting technique. I should try that once. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like things being like making sense sort of transcends galaxies. Yeah. Um. My thing hit you, you die. It's kind of yeah. just. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's like, yep. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. It takes one hour and doesn't prove anything. Similarly, these people analyze these movies and complain about stupid bullshit, like flying into a hangar and shooting a missile, or ramming into a fleet of ships with a hyperdrive. Stop complaining about the military, enjoy the movie. No! <laughs> Come zoom! Come zoom! I can't. We did it! 
consume. Yeah. Uh, uh just enjoy the movie. It doesn't make sense and stupid, but just enjoy it. I'm sick of hearing this. It fucks me off. Is that better or worse <laughs> than pretend it's what you want and enjoy it? Someone just telling you to enjoy it. It's better. It's better. One one comes across as more dismissive. The other one comes across as a lot more earnest. Like when the guy, it, it's almost pleading. Like, please, just pretend that you like it and then see where it goes from there. That yeah. comes across as like <laughs> pathetic begging in a way. Well, this, this is guy just sort of dismissive. Yeah. Like, just like it. Just like it. As and if Poe and the other like fighters are scrambled. Brain, oh shit! Here we go. Oh, he's this? he's pitched me up as well. But sadly, for the last fucking fighters in the fleet, they are destroyed by Kylo firing some shots into the fucking <laughs> hangar bay. Since when is this a fucking thing? You can't just fly up to a hangar bay, fire a missile or two, and destroy the entire thing. Otherwise, this would be in literally every space battle on both sides. We have seen ships enter the hangars at great risk, but not this stupid shit. Are there no shields to this sort of thing anymore? Are there no countermeasures at all? What the fuck? And people here then hyperdrives into the Star Destroyer ship thing, and honestly, this is the most incredible shot in the film. Gorgeous, creative, and dumb as fuck. If this is something they could have been doing, then why the hell haven't they made ships specifically designed to hyperdrive into all of the large and destructive ships for battle? Hell, this might actually work on the fucking Death Stars. What are you doing, film? Now we come to- Wait, oh, what? Did he <laughs> you not gonna <laughs> at all? Clip. What's the point of- How Wait, is this okay, wrong? That's what he's just, he's just, he's what? Just, <laughs> when you talk about the military, show smallest clip, and then it's like, oh, an anomaly, by the way. It's like, what, what was that? Uh, How? It didn't prove anything? That didn't... Uh, I, <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm, 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 What's the point of the that's video? That's why I got alcohol again. Fuck this. Uh, what do we do with this? <laughs> I don't know. I, d I don't know what's happening. I had an aneurysm while I was trying to talk just, you know, I was like, what the fuck? Do you think that he thinks the point is so bad that it refutes itself or something? I don't know. <laughs> you with, I don't know. He made a statement, showed your clip, and now we're moving on, I guess. Because that's funny as fuck, man. I'm putting that right in Gadal before. I'm gonna be like, uh, here's an example of like a really shitty argument, and I play it, or, or like an, an, an encounter to it, and then I just play it, and then I just move on to the next section. <laughs> like, okay. Wow. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna yell in German. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright then. To the criminals of Star Wars criticism. Anomaly Inc. Wait, did you say he's a criminal? <laughs> back, back it up, back it up. <laughs> Bring on the fucking the Death in. Stars. What are you doing, film? Now we come to the criminals of Star Wars criticism. <laughs> the criminal. criminal. Right. Right. Internet jail with you. Maybe so, he's, just, he's just being a, a hyperbolic. You I, know, don't, I don't even I know. I, I just, I don't even, like, the, the, the criticism of E.L. was, he's more of a comedian. For me, it was, I don't even know. I, I, I'm not <laughs> yeah, sure. At least you could stay on YouTube. Yeah, Sh Shad is he needs to Shad's leave YouTube, go. and Anomaly is Shad's the criminal. Like, he like, can stay, but Shad's gotta go. I just like, these are all like monikers <laughs> to this person. It's like, Anomaly Inc, the criminal. <laughs> the Fuck criminal. that guy. Anomaly Inc is a stereotypical prequel defending child idiot who contradicts himself about something. <laughs> oh, 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 I can't nice. read this! What, what is that? <laughs> I can't read this! I don't even know who's child <laughs> this is! <laughs> Dude, that is so that is so deep fried. Like, I don't it's like I'm looking at it underwater through frosted glass. I don't even know what's happening. How do, how do you how do you make this? Like, even my old PC could do a better job. Like, I don't well, understand. Well, you just you just copy it and paste it, and it's like one to one. And then it... because because the whole video is. 240p. I don't know why I would do it on and this 240p. Is, this is a mobile. Did, maybe he made this on a phone, and this is like he took a mobile screenshot here. Someone said, "Is this a picture for ads?" It's like no, ads can't even read this because they would no. go really close. It would just be a blurry line. <laughs> yeah, I know modern phones could do a better job than this if they're capable of <laughs> editing. Like, dude. Yeah, like that's a six, actually six I, to ten year old PC could pro could probably still muster up. 480 or 720p. I'm pretty sure you can, um... It takes longer, but, dude, come like, on. Most, like, modern smartphones, certain apps, I think you could actually make a better video than this on a phone. Like... I think I'm probably... I'm not, because I haven't done it yeah. myself, but I'm pretty sure you can now. Uh, so this is just awkward. Yeah. 
people's videos. Like, how, do and you, the how do you look at this Star and it's like, yeah, I'm going to upload this. I can't read shit, but... Uh, hmm. Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker Massacre, I think? All right. The mass, uh, yeah, something, it's a challenge, uh, you see, a puzzle for us to unlock. Defending child idiot who contradicts himself child throughout idiot. several Revenge of the Prequels videos and the Massacre of Star Wars videos. In Revenge of the Prequels, he's covered I them? Hate Everything, Star Wars Only, <laughs> so Nostalgia rest. Critic. <laughs> <laughs> what's the what even is the point in showing them uh if you're gonna be this low like because i originally put a put a note for it um for like uh doing it in general but now i'm like i gotta do it several times and get up now jeremy johns watch mojo and cosmonaut variety hour while insulting people for not sharing his opinion you just called him a child idiot <laughs> yeah, I mean, a criminal you told, you, child, you a crim to criminal to child idiot. Going to the juvie. Oh my god! You also, you also said shatters just go away from YouTube. <laughs> like, maybe not your your uh, your stance to take here while you insult other people. But hey. Then in his massacre of Star Wars videos, he made eight videos each 30 to 40 minutes long, angrily nitpicking apart the Rise of Skywalker. Oh no. It's also always nitpicks. It... Go fuck yourself. There are oh, no valid criticisms of, of things he likes, okay? I feel like I finally reached my breaking point. <laughs> it's <laughs> always nitpick. Have you seen I that? Have you seen that German dude who made the John Wick 3 video? He nitpicked the shit out of it. Shut up! These videos are the most frustrating. The one that sort of they just lack any kind of description or clarification or qualification on anything. Yeah, like we were, you, we were I promised so much. Mola and Ia were wrong about everything. I feel like we've not gotten <laughs> much. <Anything. sighs> I want an argument. Just one. Everybody else is wrong. I don't even think Mahler's critique of the Force Awakens will topple this kind of length. Yeah. I'm not that it matters, <laughs> but, <laughs> but normally Inc. Rise of Skywalker, I'm assuming. Um, <laughs> I'm curious how, what is he, so it's, I mean, the the 20 minute parts, or one of them's 40 minutes. Like, does he know that one of my parts, like, this is not a, a fucking criticism of normally Inc., of course, because he can do whatever the fuck he wants, but this guy is like, oh, it'll... Be longer. I'm pretty sure one of my TFA parts is longer than his series. <laughs> so, your joke sucks. The prequels are objectively worse than the sequels. Oh, objectively? Whoa. Friday Jesus. hours video on the prequels are all that you need to understand why. Oh! Those movies are. Sh th that video was shit. That video is one of the worst we've covered. Cosmodor. We had to defend the prequels a lot <laughs> because of that video. He, like. He didn't fucking pay attention to like anything that happens in the prequels. It was baffling. Um, oh, we, how long did it take us? Like ten hours to go through that retarded video? <laughs> There's no, so much it, wrong with it. It's one of the worst videos we covered. Cosmonaut is shockingly talentless at this. He um, Christ, I'm trying to remember like some of the really stupid. Remember when like the degrees of separation for the assassination? He highlights that as being stupid, and he doesn't explain why. He's just like that's just stupid. He says um that he doesn't know like the individual motivations for the um the separatist planets and so he doesn't know like he doesn't, like we don't know enough about the the conflict as if we need to know every single fucking planet's motivations for joining the separatist army when there's thousands of them like, of course you can't do it that way he said um oh, fuck what was the yeah that that um killing executed dooku morally fine <laughs> it's like, there shouldn't be any question that that's totally okay. Execute on prisoners. There's no, there's no worry there. He even criticized the film for, for, for showing it to be something that was pretty dubious, but yeah. Uh, not a good video. That's just from memory. I know there was like a thousand points made that we had issues with, but... Uh, it makes sense that someone who was inspired by that video made this video, I think. It all follows. Mahler's critique of The Force Awakens will topple this kind of length. The prequels are objectively worse than the sequels. Cosmonaut Variety Hour's video on the prequels are all that you need to understand why. Anomaly yeah. will always claim that he isn't a brainwasher while he washes people's brain with his condescending arguments. 
He, wa he washes he's people washing. brain. <laughs> yeah, he says that he's not a brain washer, but he washes brains. No, dude, no. knock off the ass, because he did too. He washes people's brain. <laughs> it's brain a funny sentence. This gotta be troll. This is... Wait, wait. Yeah, this is all comedy. This can't be, this can't be real. All for comedy's sake. He's a comedian, he's not a critic, okay? What Cosmonaut meant by brainwashed is that you have to be told what the plot and what the character traits in the prequels are because you can't figure them out yourself. Like, no, Cosmonaut oh said, um, Cosmonaut said you have to be brainwashed to like the prequels. That's what he said. Yeah. Which is absurd. You can, yeah. even we won't go that far. You can like whatever. Uh, you don't have to be fucking brainwashed. There's an uncountable amount of reasons why you might like anything. Yep. Since the movies are so incredibly vague and undermined by the CGI action scenes. And incredibly vague? What do you mean? He's this this video is incredibly vague. I was gonna say, yeah, that's pretty true. We've had to wonder what his points are most <laughs> of the time. You're like, what is your point? What do you mean? Use your words. <laughs> Lights are ridiculous. The prequels can literally only be enjoyed by children. He also has this fucking. Uh, it's not true. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's not true. I enjoy a lot of aspects of the prequels, even in Phantom Menace. Like I am Bobby. cool. Yeah, I'm cool with rewatching them. I prefer not to rewatch the sequels. Yeah, I'd, I'd watch the prequels easily before I watch the sequels. Not even close. No contest. I don't know EFAP what to say. Live stream where he can't stay fucking focused on the topics at hand. EFAP ripoff. I mean, if you stream and talk about someone's video, um, <laughs> we I, I don't feel comfortable saying that we've patented that. That seems a little no, retarded. A bit silly. <laughs> we are pioneers of criticizing people in live streams. There's people who've been doing it for so fucking long, oh, as if Eve, right. just because, ah, oh, it's dumb, whatever. Where he will watch people defending the Disney Star Wars movies, which is proper because they're so unfairly maligned. <laughs> which is proper. <laughs> this this oh, does right. seem like a bit of a cloud video at this point. Wait, wait. People are defending the sequels. Which is proper. I, I just like I just like that sentence. I like I see those people in chat just arriving. It's like why is it so blurry? <laughs> <laughs> Everything is fucking blurry in this video. And then uh, insult them and attempt to correct them, like how a hamster runs on wheels. What? What? <laughs> what? Are what? Why is he unfairly maligning hamsters? Hamsters are all right by me. Yeah. Yeah. Little, little guys just run around his wheel and he's his exercise, you know? Little, little hamsters. That's gotta be a troll. I don't like that. I'm not taking this seriously anymore. Like, I just wrote it out to be short. Sure. Anomaly consults people like in an attempt to change their mind, like a hamster runs on a wheel. Is he trying to say, like, it's pointless? Even though hamster yeah. running on a wheel isn't pointless? Yeah. Um, or maybe the hamster runs on a wheel to change your mind. Ah, uh, similar to how like a jab running in your head after being watered will have your mind running at full capacity, and thus you might change it. That sort of thing. Is that how? Is it? Is it all in the law? This is a weird video. Where he will watch people defending the Disney Star Wars movies, which is proper because they're so unfairly maligned, <laughs> and then insult them and attempt to correct them, like how a hamster runs on wheels. Pretty cool. <laughs> And it's all it's only one wheel. It, it, it's <laughs> a hamster runs on wheels. I'm picturing a hamster with wheels for feet running. <laughs> like, no, like a, a hamster's on a, a hamster's on a motorcycle, that's his wheels. <laughs> <laughs> it runs on wheels. Maybe one hamster just loves wheels a lot and he goes to all the ones he's got one at a time. <laughs> You can't run on this hamster. It's a forest out of wheels. When you're a hamster, every day is leg day. Oh, yes. <laughs> cool defenders think they're so incredibly fucking smart that they can find hidden subtleties in the videos. So <laughs> what? Hiddle <laughs> subtleties? <laughs> what was that? These are hiddle subtleties? Hiddle subtleties. Let me roll that back a bit. I want to hear hiddle subtleties again. <laughs> Be, this is the EFAP mascot is Hibble Subbledy. <laughs> Dude, that's another philosopher, Hibble Subbledy. <laughs> Hibble Subbledy. Really maligned. And then insult them and oh attempt to God. correct them, like how a hamster runs on wheels. 
Prequel defenders think they're so incredibly fucking smart that they can find hidden subtleties in the video. <laughs> hidden subtleties. Hidden subtleties. Oh, that's why it took us so long to learn about this philosopher, Hiddle Subtlety. <laughs> <laughs> Episode 101 to find him. Can, can someone draw us Hiddle Subtlety? We, need, we need an official... Hiddle how is it spelled, Rags? How is Hiddle Subtlety spelled? I would probably say... Um... Um... Uh... Like something like this, I don't know. That was Hiddle Subtlety. Hiddle. Yeah, subtleties. Oh, we've all we've all got different entries. That this one was mine. Uh... Hiddle, I I like Hiddle like it's German. H i d d e l. It gives it that kind of yeah yeah. Hiddle, like ah, it is Frau Hiddle. Ah, should we get um? <laughs> should we get like all of these in a in a straw poll and get chat to vote on how to spell Hiddle subtleties? Yes. Yeah. All right. Um. You, do you want to set that up, the the four of them? I, yeah, let, let me do that real quick. <clears throat> um, so, see, it wasn't worthless. <laughs> Thank you, video, for inventing a new EFF scholar. Hi, little. Hi, <laughs> little. I just wrote that in chat. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't see who it was, but that was good. That was, that was good shit. <laughs> 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 Subtleties. Oh boy. Oh, you type these out. Hit on subtleties. This is, you know what? Thank you to this guy. This is a great start for the next 105 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> next to Begidius and Mihai me me Cheek sent me high. It's gonna be. <laughs> Begidius so... and his son hid <laughs> subtleties. <laughs> Hit all subtleties. <laughs> hit, hit all subtleties is my mentor. Mentor. My, my senpai. Fucking Heil Hiddle is getting to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I just saw it fly by. Heil Hiddler? On, on what? Shadow play. It was great. I Heil need Hiddler? A... <laughs> Heil Hiddle. <laughs> Heil Hiddle. <laughs> uh... <laughs> There I think is. he fucked it's it up because he's angry, like talking yeah. about how people are being mean to the sequels. Just... <laughs> we got it, or yes, it's, it's I, in chat already. Yeah, yeah. yeah this yeah. is the link oh. for you guys. If you want to do anything <laughs> with it, all right. So all right. Uh, oh, that. Oh, it's wild. It's wild. No. Vote. We got to find out the name of Hiddle Subbledies. No clear winners yet. Well, I'll just put that on screen, I guess. Yeah, I will. Uh, we've already got two hundred and fifty votes. <laughs> Eighty, ninety. So, someone joining the stream right now, being like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> <laughs> Subble D. <D's. laughs> Double these nuts. What I will say about I, the current winner that I like is the triple double letter, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Hiddle yeah, double these. <laughs> Very strong Germanic. Hiddle <laughs> <laughs> ah hey, Hiddle. Hiddle ah, super tease. I guess he's German then. Are we going with that? Is this? Hiddle, I, I, I think Hiddle. 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 I'm just trying to figure out how to say that last name in German. Super des. Super des. Hiddle super des. Hiddle super des. Hello. Er, er Subaldis. Er Subaldis. Subaldis. <laughs> he's like, Subaldis nuts. Ooh. I just made that joke. You just made it louder. That's wow. What you did? Oh, I didn't yeah. even hear you. I think we we're almost... We gotta louder so I hear you. We're almost to the point where we can safely call it. It's almost, yeah. Uh, let's go to a thousand. Yeah, we well, can get a couple people. I'll post it one last time in the chat for everybody. So I just said, Hiddle Moschnitzel. Hiddle <laughs> 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 Moschnitzel. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> this is some good shit. Yeah. Where was he our whole lives? Little siblings. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, Marcus, that's funny. Leave the correct oh. hand. Good job. 1,000 votes. All right. 50% going to Hiddle Subbledies. Hiddle Subbledies. <laughs>
<laughs> well, I'm happy yeah. to welcome him into EFAP canon. <laughs> Everyone always says hi rags. No one ever says Heil rags. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I'm pretty sure we've had a Heil rags before. I'm almost sure. just sitting there silently rubbing his fingers. <laughs> Still been bench. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Heidel, yeah. All right, let's let's just listen to its birth one more time. Like how a hamster runs on wheels. Prequel wheels. defenders think they're so incredibly fucking smart that they can find hidden subtleties in the video <laughs> that makes them better. One of them is that apparently Yoda is sticking to the Jedi code and Qui Gon following the will of the Force. Where does it say this? Nowhere. There is no throwaway line in these movies that gives that distinction. There's nothing to enjoy in the prequels, so stop. Oh Wait, my goodness. Oh, that was what? late. I, I, don't... I have to hear that again. I'm so confused. Yeah, what is to enjoy in the prequels? But what did he oh, say right. before that? He said he said there's no proof I'm... that Yoda is what? Yeah, I've rolled it back. So oh, geez, let's go. That makes them better. One of them is that apparently Yoda is sticking to the Jedi code and Qui Gon following the will of the Force. Where does it say this? Nowhere. There is no throwaway line in these movies that gives that distinction. What is happening? There's nothing I have to enjoy no in the prequels. What he's referring to Yoda sticking to the Jedi code and Obi Wan following the will of the Force. Oh, quite I have no idea. I thought he said. Oh well, either way, I'm I'm confused either way. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. I. My brain is. Hurt. I, I don't know what to make of this point. <laughs> I'm just like okay. So stop making shit up to praise. If version ideas make a movie good, then Cats is fantastic. Actually, what? What I'm, was I, that I, argument? I, 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 Cat, so Cats, Cats is an adaptation. I don't, I don't know what point he's trying to make about the prequels or what he's referring to. But Cat, Cats is an adaptation. It's, it's a play. Yeah. Like I'm assuming he's referring to the the fucking movie. Does he does he think that like Cats was bad from because people loved Cats the 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 the, the play the 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 creepy CGI creatures in the movie, like that's not what they do in theaters. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> they, they they dress up. They don't they don't look as horrifying. Uh, but why would you cite Cats as an example of an original work? Because I don't even disagree with the point. Being original doesn't mean you're gonna be great. Like of course. But uh, okay. I need to elaborate on this ridiculous idea of good ideas in the prequels. It's false. Who in their right mind thought Damn. that killing Darth Maul was a good idea? Who thought that politics was a good idea? I did. What? I, I like I like space politics. I think it's very interesting. I, I'd like to get more of it. Yeah, surely, surely we don't actually think that like any political information is automatically bad. Like, what what is that? Surely it's about execution. And yeah. I don't mean to do a pun, but that would be the same for Darth Maul too. Is the uh, the execution of his execution? Which, by the way, I don't have any problem with uh, Darth Maul dying in Phantom Menace at the end of that fight. I think it's pretty good. Right with it. Yeah. Um, so that was, I don't know, these comments are strange. Who thought that Metachlorians were a good idea? Who thought net not letting Jedi love was a good idea? Who thought that introducing Qui I mean, so Metachlorians is a really confusing one. Because, um, like I said, people are still figuring out to this day exactly what is meant by that couple of lines from Qui Gon. Um, secondly, the, the, uh, Jedi aren't allowed to love thing. <clears throat> I thought that was uh, eventually like shown as a flaw in terms of generating something like a Darth Vader as a result, rather than it being portrayed as a smart decision that ultimately. Also, isn't it like material attachments rather than feeling? I don't know. This is all very like people are gonna get very upset with these these broad claims. You got to be careful because there's there's so much shit in the movies that it's. Uh, not entirely clear as to exactly what they're telling you, but no love, for example, it's like, yeah, you, you, I think we've talked about it, it's like, I don't even know how you'd possibly be able to suppress that, uh, for, for beings that are, you know, got them, got them tismy little hearts in them. But, it's uh, hard to really like, focus in on what his point is. This is the problem, I'm kind of like, this is like a scatter shot, and it's funny because no matter how many you come up with for the prequels, you do get there's like a thousand for the sequels, uh, ratio-wise, so I'd be curious how he rationalizes all of this. Gon Jinn and contradicting the original trilogy was a good idea. There's a child sized helmet in the cockpit of the Naboo Starfighter, and George could have had the helmet not fit Anakin too well to the point that he has trouble seeing when he was flying. This what? creates more tension. George has so many. So, what the fuck is he talking about? 
So he's talking about so, the, the, the Anakin puts on a helmet, and it's... The, I'm pretty sure this is a misconception. Um, a, lo a lot of people... Because it started with Plinkett. Plinkett said that um, it's retarded that there's a kid-sized helmet in the cockpit, but he's, uh, he's wearing an adult-sized one. As far as... I remember someone telling me that. Like, they compared images of the adult to the ones that Anakin was wearing. Anakin's head's not small. And, like, the helmet doesn't fit perfectly. Um, so there's a strap. Like, it's... it's it's fine. He's saying that if you did have it so it didn't fit properly and it fucked up his ability to like see, that would be more interesting, I, I guess is his point. As if Anakin needed more acting against him in those scenes. Well, in fairness, uh, I do... <laughs> he does achieve a shit ton in that scene, which is it's a little bit absurd with the yeah, blowing up. Yeah, against all odds. I mean, yeah, like, it, I would agree with that. This is not like, there's that moment where he's getting like swarmed by a uh, fighters it's not like his helmet fucking up would now make us go oh my god this is no, this is no, bad now so many great ideas to work with but he fucked off and didn't do it okay they are like the lord of the rings of criticism movies that Amazing. are sitting thank you <laughs> yeah, i will i will gladly be the lord of the rings of criticism Jeez, yeah i don't know what could you say about that i, I mean right, if, if it's said you. about you you're just like oh well i don't know yeah, I'd, I'd really gladly be the Lord of the Rings of anything. Except, like, the Lord Charlie of the Ford. Rings of Criticism. Movies that are secretly really bad, but everybody likes because they're long. <laughs> so I guess Lord of the Rings is bad? Prequels? It's got a comedy. So the Lord of the Rings are movies that are really long, uh, they're really bad that everyone likes because they're long. Wow. Yeah. Talk among yourselves, I'm writing that out. <laughs> I uh, I feel like that opens an up, up another can of worms that I'm not prepared to delve into. Because <laughs> we've already had two EFAPs sort of about it. Well, and does it make sense to you that someone who loves the sequel trilogy would hate Lord of the Rings as a trilogy? It's like, hmm, yeah, that about lines up. I don't even, if you don't like Lord of the Rings, I have no idea what movies you'd like or dislike. I have no idea what your <laughs> internal methodology is for determining if a movie's good or not. What does that even mean? You like it because it's long? What? What, what, you know? I just, I don't understand. Well, you just want something to fill up your time. I guess, the, but why would, why would you like anything just, at that you're point? you're bored, you don't have anything to do, and you just want a movie to take up time so you can get to tomorrow faster. Seemingly. And of course, he's reflecting that then on, I assume, me out of, of the selection of people, because, um, or, or maybe a nominee link to just that people only like our stuff because it's long. What a weird, uh, I don't know, whatever, fine. <laughs> just move on. Lord of the Rings is as terribly written as a prequel trilogy, and Saruman is as corny of a villain as Palpatine. When you look at I, a good, you know, how is Saruman corny? Saruman and Palpatine, not even close. To each other, like how they hold themselves. Totally different villains, but very well. <laughs> it's getting to the point where you're just like, let's. He's not substantiate anything, so yeah, let's just move on, on, I guess. Just carry on. YouTube channel, it takes them up to 20 minutes to review a movie. <gasps> However, these fucking assholes think that making five hours of content will somehow end debate on the internet. Not looking no. to end debate. <clears throat> Looking to exhaust all of the details, get all of the debate out as possible. Li we like talking. We're, we're, we put a thumbs up to that concept. What's the satisfaction of the process? Just, um, like, it's fun to do. As, as if you could, you could see all of EFAP and be like, their goal is to end debate. <laughs> be like, not quite. No. It reinforces debate, especially when you say that all Good, our opinions I like to reinforce are debate. wrong. This is no, not all of your opinions are well. Your opinions aren't too great. <laughs> like a lot of the stuff you said has been pretty tizzy. Yeah, it's hard to tell what your actual opinions are in a lot of things because you don't like tell us what they are. Sort of. Mm -hmm. It's not a fantasy world where everyone can agree on one thing and be happily oh, ever after. He's drinking. They're not everyone could agree and be happily ever after. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's like Tonald, early. <laughs> yeah, this, this dude's been drinking. Not everyone could drink is to be happily ever after. <laughs> Hiddle. Five hours. Exist Hiddle psychological subbies. states that make people think they're smarter than they really are. I hate it. <laughs> oh, I want to like, I want to pat him on the head. It's okay. That's oh, no, alright. You're gonna be alright. We'll be right. okay. We'll be fine.
long videos could be good if they are filled with only criticisms of the actual movie, but no, they have to fucking plethora of rapeless jokes and sexist jokes. What was that sentence? I'm sorry. So, <laughs> like, what was what that? Was that? His, yeah, his, <laughs> his tongue is slipping all over the place. I think he said my videos are filled with a plethora of racist and sexist jokes. Which, or, or, um... The beginning of that sentence where he said something about movies. Uh, let's roll him back. This slow down his <laughs> yeah. like 40%. This one was a weird one. ...and be happily ever after. There exist psychological states that make people think they're smarter than they really are. I hate it. These long videos could be good if they were filled with only criticisms of the actual movie, but no, they have to fucking <laughs> plethora of racist jokes movie. and sexist jokes. What the hell was that? Chris's actual... He, he does sound like he's drunk. He does. Is, you're slow in your speech. Next, this guy's next video, when you're sober. Do you think he'll... I know, he, that's why he, all the images are blurry, because right now everything's blurry to him. So it just fits in with everything else. If, um, if Begidius is like the super big brain sort of philosopher, do you think Hiddle is like the one that's drunk all the time? Like everything he says, he's like, Let's don't do the mm, murder well, by Well, what it. if his, his name isn't actually Hiddle Subaldies? It's that when people ask him his name, he says it. I am Hiddle Subaldies. <laughs> he's trying to say hidden subtleties. <laughs> yeah, say some kind of some other name that we will never know. That's the mystery of Hiddle Subaldies. It's like Henry we, Sanderson we, or something. <laughs> Frodinger's name. <laughs> this is not meant for humor. They know that Disney Star Wars haters have the attention spans of goldfish, so they have to keep swearing and keep using racist. And How do you explain like my fucking four hour videos with no swearing? Well, first things first, we have a slur against goldfish that I don't Damn. approve of, personally. <laughs> uh, but also that, yes. The only way they can keep their attention is by swearing at people because they have ADHD. You're like. Okay, I feel like that goes against the other stuff you said, but uh, alright. Jokes in order to keep their viewers' attention. Not to mention you- So so we have short attention spans, which is why we make five-hour videos? Yes. I don't- Hmm. Alright. Yeah. I mean, he's covering all, all ends of the spectrum, okay? It makes we sense. We have an interesting in keep... tactic. Mm-hmm. Their viewers' attention. Not to mention you can't make hours of critique for a movie without contradicting yourself. That's not true at all. Well, of course, yeah. theoretically speaking, you can. It's likely you might contradict yourself at some point in some way, but... Of course, yeah, you might. Yeah. I think... Oh, I think this this might be EFAP. It's too blurry. It, it's oh my hard gosh. To tell, but <laughs> this might be EFAP. Look at what they've done to you, chat. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> it turns you into blurry lines. Look what they did to my boy. Oh, I want a meme of HD chat holding SD chat in their arms. <laughs> like, <laughs> no. <laughs> He's child. Okay, but joking aside, this is supposed to be the main driving force for the plot. These separatists don't want to be part of the Republic, but why not? Well, I hope you are prepared to die with that question in your mind because this movie is not interested in telling us. This is what I mean. I'm like, I don't even know why I want this information. I don't know that I need it. Look, I get it. This is silly to get hung up on, right? Let's just get on with the war part of Star Wars. But for me and many others, we wanted to have a reason to remain invested in the world. When it came to the original films, we would ask, what are all the elements of this world? Maybe there are more systems, more characters that could get involved. What is this empire exactly, and how can they be stopped when they're this large? These questions would be answered by virtue of the scenes. Comparatively, when watching the modern trilogy, we would ask, What is going on with the Story writers? The Why haven't they bridged the gap between the two films? No, he's not gonna give so in one. the sequels you want to know this information, but in the prequels you don't? No, we do. So, we, well, we wait. have them. In, in the prequels, <clears throat> we have the info. We'll, we'll go trilogy by trilogy. So, the OT, we need to know what the Empire is, and how far it stretches, and how powerful it is, and what the Rebels are. They give us that. In the prequels, we need to know how, how powerful the Separatists or the CIS are versus the Republic. We get that. In the sequels, we need to know the power of the Republic, the Resistance, and the First Order. I don't think throughout the entire trilogy we ever get that. We, we never really know. They keep resetting all of them. Um, except the Republic, which gets literally deleted, even though it's one system, and it brawls across the entire fucking galaxy somehow at the same time. I'm, I, it's, I don't understand it at all. And um, what I'm referring to, I'm pretty sure, in that podcast, is the specific... We went over this earlier, actually. The, the specific motivations for each of the planets in the Separatists' uh, collective. Like, of course I don't need to know that. That's insane. Uh... <laughs> That's it. I, I don't I don't know what was hard about that. I, like it, it just um 
we, as we were talking about earlier with, with the with the first order, they get their big ray gun knocked out, and we're like, oh, is that it for them? It's like, nope, not even close. You're like, oh, okay. Then they get their entire big army blown up by the end of TLJ, and you're like, oh god, you know, this must have been a pretty big blow. It's like, nope, Exegol, baby, we've got thousands of Star Deaths Destroyer things. You're like, oh, okay. I Feel, feels feels like I'm talking about very clearly different things, but, you know, if you just... never mind. Mahler, do you realize that the prequels had the same problem, but worse? Like I said in the last video, you no. have to be brainwashed said, into like, life. It was just simple. Yeah, the, it was really simple. We In the opening crawl of The Phantom Menace, we knew what they wanted. When they fucking deactivate the droids and kill all of the Separatist leaders, we're, we're being translated that the CIS is over. Okay? <laughs> but the First Order lose again and again and again and again and again. It's only at the end of Rise of Skywalker that they're like, I guess that's it now. You're like, oh, alright. We did it. And I'll just roll it back. You want to know this information, but in the prequels you don't? Mauler, do you realize that the prequels had the same problem, but worse? Like I said in the not last really. video, you have to be brainwashed oh, so into like liking empty, these then. movies. Good. I so, oh. they're not Ooh. bad movies then. Awesome. Also, empty, oh, that's no. bad. Also, you just said you have to be brainwashed into liking these movies. Oh, like, no. okay. Like, I, I disagree so fucking heavily. Liking them? Really? You have to be brainwashed. It should be clear that when your own headcanon is the only thing preventing the film from falling apart entirely, that you may be a little bit brainwashed. And my What's personal- What's the contradiction? Yeah, those two statements aren't the same thing. Yeah, I don't- yeah. I guess- So, not only am I very upset that Fringy didn't say no, <laughs> um, but I don't know what the contradiction here is that he's trying to highlight. He'd have to walk me through that one. So, yeah, yeah. So I said, when the entire reason any of it has any structure to you is all shit you've made up, it's like, yeah, that's basically just being brainwashed. Um, if you like something, like one of the most simplistic and fundamental emotions toward a piece of content, you don't have to be brainwashed. That's absurd. I don't understand how to those two things... <laughs> Just move on. No favorite. He said that he hates TLJ because it's tone deaf, but he likes Batman and Robin. <laughs> okay, Batman and Robin is hilarious for, like, the wrong reasons. Does he it's think I think Batman and Robin's a great movie? <laughs> no, we enjoy it, but, like, listen, we enjoy Batwoman, alright? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, no, we do not enjoy it for the 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 typical reason people cite when they say they enjoyed something. <laughs> enjoy because it it's so silly. Fucking destroyed me, man. Yes. I um. Gotcha. Whatever the tone of Batman and Robin, that being in TLJ, you know that I should be okay with both films at that point. It only makes sense. Same thing, really. Mola is hypocrite. Hashtag. <laughs> That's running. Yeah, man. Let's go, guys. Molar is hypocrite. <laughs> <laughs> is that it? When you analyze a film, you have to look at the acting, the dialogue, and the chemistry between actors, the editing, the direction, the cinematography. When you start to oh, drift to well, the stuff we do. We focus on writing, but we do comment on those things. And we usually are specific about that. Like, if ever you're like, wait, when you say bad movie, you mean every single element of filmmaking? We're usually going to be like, well, mainly the writing, the storytelling, is what we're aiming for. Away from <sighs> the subject, you drift away from true film criticism. That's what Mahler and ER do in these videos. Their Star Wars videos are just really long cinema sins. <laughs> yeah, oh, fucked. <laughs> what, an, what a horrible insult. Um. It, oh, uh, I got a little bit fun here. I like the uh, true film criticism. Like he's he's unironically no true Scotsman, I guess. Like, you, you can't come into the club of true film critics. Like, okay, we'll just we'll stand out here and carry on doing our thing. Sorry, I don't I don't I don't require the label of film critic. I'll be okay. They don't critique the films. Chris Duckman and guys like him are the ones that are better at criticizing film. Is this a <sighs> like a is this a bait Hello. video? Oh, um, no. uh, it might be. I'm thinking this might be because he's he's saying all the right names. Yeah. I mean, that's why I just went quite, kind of quiet like the last five minutes of it. I was like, this is too, this is too precise of the names. And How the... many times we've only had one person in the history of EFAP who made a video that turned out to be a troll? 
very... It's, there's a lot of people out there who do feel this way about stuff. I'm sorry. I know, but this is just... Uh... And a lot of these counter-arguments, quote-unquote, <laughs> this stuff that I can... <laughs> 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 Um, the counter arguments haven't been, uh, like, EFAP references or something. A lot of these are just really strange. So, yeah, I don't know. Um. <laughs> I know, the whole, the, the whole thing, like, 240p, it's... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe this is real. I... I... I mean, yeah. I'll say a good troll if true, but there's people in chat who've been saying, like, he's, this is real, he's got several videos that are, like, all arguing in favor of a lot of the films that we shit on. Uh, irrelevant of us specifically, just talking about how they're, they're strong, so I don't know, we, you know, we'll find out, I guess. Teeth the films. Chris Duckman and guys like him are the ones that are better at criticism. Also, I know that, like, at this point, you guys might find it to be a troll to recommend Chris Duckman, but there are people who love Chris Duckman, so... <clears throat> like, he's pretty yeah, popular. Yeah, that's true. He's Last got... Time. He's got legit, um... <laughs> fans who... I guess they see something. Why, why does Hiddle Subtleties <laughs> look like that? <laughs> I'm not oh, against then. it, I just find it amusing. Criticizing film. All they do is circle jerk the same boring complaints. When it comes to all the things that they complain about, the prequels fail while the sequels succeed. Your terrible complaints will influence Disney on what directions they're going to take for the new movies. While Red Letter Media is infamous for causing the third Star Wars trilogy, EFAP and their community will be infamous for causing the fourth Star Wars trilogy. I thought you said you liked the third one. And what do you mean cause them? How does that he even make sense? That, he thinks our criticism of the sequels are going to create, like, continue to create these sorts of things? Well, I'm assuming he's referring to, like, um, TFA doesn't have politics in it. It doesn't have, uh, you know, jar jar. It doesn't, like, a lot of people looked at the pre, and it doesn't have any reference to the prequels. So a lot of people looked at it as, like, ah, they've listened. And uh, they were the main complaints that were, you could say, popularized by Red Letter Media. And so people would argue, it's like, we got this because of their complaint. Fucking even Plinkett addressed the fact that he said J.J. Abrams should direct Star Wars, and then he later on was like, okay, I didn't, like, that's not like this. <laughs> like, that's kind of where we with that. We've, the idea that we're going to influence whatever they decide to do with the next trilogy, I fucking, I seriously doubt it, but, uh, because they, they seem, they seem to decide to do whatever the fuck they want to, but if it means films that make fucking sense, I, oh, oh man, I'm not, I'm not exactly against that concept. That's it, by the way. His video ended. Well, um... Oh, hold on. It's hard to tell if, if he was just going quiet, or if you know, <laughs> the video was over. Um, do you feel that he has proven you were wrong about everything, yeah? Mm, well, I mean... When are you taking down your videos? <laughs> uh, they're just for comedy, I guess. Yeah, Is he's giving you the right? ultimate yeah. excuse. You, like, I didn't have to leave like Shad Diversity did. Mm-hmm. You're not destroying anything. Chat is. You're not ending debate, you're just having a laugh. So, no, no. Yeah. It all worked out, really. Um, so, yeah, it looks like me and Yara have been destroyed, as well as Shad and uh, Anomaly Inc. Is it time for you, Rags? Is it time? Is someone it time for me to get destroyed? To shred we'll you? See. One of these days, someone might manage it. We'll um, see if this is the one. This is the big takedown. So... Oh shit, okay. So I got... What is what is the context for this one? Um, it's... it's We got... Someone upset... So well, this was about my brown table video. Yes, yeah, so I was gonna say, brown table was covered on EFAP. It was a really fucking stupid Captain Marvel video. Rags made a actual, like, like video response to it rather than just the podcast. And then someone responded to that? Oh. Something like that, yeah. They, uh, this is, um... Hashtag Brie Larson Defense Squad. And um, yeah, it's a it's a it's a critique of your uh, positions on Captain Marvel, and from what I understand, it wasn't well received, and uh, they tried to edit out a couple of mistakes and put up a different version. Um, but uh, we have the wonderful original, so we get all the good arguments and whatever happened in this upload that was was designed to be <laughs> hidden at some point, which amuses uh, and intrigues. Also, Anna's back. Hello. 
Hello. Sorry, it decided to update randomly. <gasps> oh no. Um. So yeah, let's let's do it. Captain Marvel, do guys, it. we're jumping back in. Uh, we're still missing Anna and the watch together. At least one oh. icon is gray, so I'm not sure. Got a, we've got a fire Griffin doggo oh, here. There go. Dragon. Yeah, no, no, we should be. This, that's, is that the Teostra from Monster Hunter? Yes. Hey, my Monster Hunter knowledge is not completely useless. I'm assuming this music is copyright free, but I'll find out eventually. Um, but, uh, what does this have to do with uh, rags? Yeah, well, <laughs> it's all about. This is like I'm the monster thingy, <gasps> and I'm I'm the big bad, and this is our our heroine, and she is gonna take me down mm. with her big sword. Hmm. I'd be using a, like a bow or something. I wouldn't want to get close to that. Oh. Oh. All right. This is Karina. Karina. All right. I'm glad that my long intros are way better than that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because that wasn't impressive gameplay or anything. You just showed a cutscene. Yeah, just like, okay. it was just a very a short cutscene of two things looking at each other. Mm-hmm. Hello, everybody. Let's oh. play a game. Hi, I'm Karina McDaniels again, but you can refer to me as Smug Nergigante today, if you want to. That's All fine right. by me. Nergigante. So today, I, Karina McDaniels, was issued... A challenge. That's correct. In my comment there. section, I think his name was like the awesome guy or something like that. Some cringy fucking name. He was saying that Brie Larson was a yeah, horrible was person. How dare you day. defend her? You should watch it Defending the Indefensible by Rags. And I was immediately intrigued. I was like, ooh. Rags. Yeah, my video is pretty fucking amazing. Is your I, video, I, does your video address Brie Larson being an annoying piece of shit to people? I can't remember. No, I don't think so. I don't think that's no. the point of your video. It's all about yeah, it, it's about just responding to Brown Table. That's what that video was. Yeah, so. Hmm, okay. Eggs now. Now that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Hmm. Uh, so, if you don't know, me and Rags actually have a bit of a history together. Oh, so who is this guy, Rags? I have no fucking clue. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> not personally or anything but oh. i used to watch his channel god forbid i actually used to be subscribed to him oh i'm so sorry god forbid you used to be oh, no. god forbid hmm. the reason why was because he made um some console fanboy debunk videos on why pc why why bother keeping your icon like that if you're gonna show gameplay why bother having like a sixth of your screen just be a gray box Yo, yeah why don't you with cut your around icon? it yeah. Why, why have it there at all? If you can't do that, then just have it be gone. There's no one else talking that I'm going to confuse you with, I assume. That's true, actually. Yeah, there's no real reason. <laughs> I'm going to get more to drink. <laughs> PC, whenever they say I consoles are better than PC, he actually uh, gave very good reasons and very good arguments as to why he's right and all that stuff. And debunking a bunch of like really dumb console fanboys like Mooch. It was, there was crap. Those were the days, eh, Ranks? Those were the Those days. Those were the days. Nah, those were the days. Gamer, there was also um, JTech TV. Yeah, those guys, they're pretty weirdos, very much weirdos. And I thought, hey, this guy's pretty smart. I like that. And very I smart. actually got into PC gaming very shortly after, and the, the reason I'm here right now. But um, then, unfortunately, he had to make anti SJW debunk content. Oh, oh, oh you fucked up. Lord. Why didn't I make the same fucking PC console video forever for the next five years or whatever? You were okay Man. until you changed. That's, that's why I stopped doing the console PC stuff, because it it stopped being entertaining because it was the same thing over and over, and it really was sort of like the same arguments over and over. Mm -hmm. And I just lost uh, motivation to really keep doing them, so I changed it up. And it turned out to be the right choice. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Oh, uh, he's fallen. Yes, Rags has fallen. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, definitely. Yeah.
Mm. Fallen, he's fallen into Kool-Aid. Yeah, he's drank a lot of the Kool-Aid of the anti-SJW movement. And no, it's I think really... I can justify all of the reasons for why I believe all the things that I do. I, I think I have a really, I have a pretty well-rounded list of reasons and explanations as to why I am thoroughly convinced by that side. Yeah, uh, I would imagine most of us hold the positions we hold because for, for what we consider to be good reason. I feel like anyone could have, fucking Jared would say that you like were a PC elitist, so... No matter yeah, what phase would. of any of our careers, people will be like, ugh, ugh, you're doing the thing, stop it. <laughs> like, okay. I have to be an anti-SJW, I'm not a racist or a sexist or Damn. anything like that, so I have gotta be on this side, that's how it's gotta be. Yeah. He really kinda turned dumb. He really, like, went... <laughs> oh, oh, wow. fucking... oh my god. What a sentence to go back to. <laughs> Super dumb. Man, you turned, turned dumb. dumb. Yeah. Really fucking dumb, to put it lightly. Um, why exactly? Well, how about we get into that right now? All right. Please, this is defending me. the indefensible. This is apparently what someone thinks <laughs> debunks all my arguments about Brie Larson, apparently, even though Brie Larson and Captain Marvel are too- What does this got to do with Brie Larson? Like, Brie Larson? I'm pretty sure your video is about Brown Table's specific argument. Yeah, I like he's downvoted your video, by the way. Yeah, I don't care if he has. It's- if- like, I, this is a brown table response. I can't even remember if I talk about Brie Larson as a person. I might, allow, I, I might refer to her as kind of being a bitchy cunt. Yeah. And even then, I don't know. Um, this is a brown table response. Yeah, I'm confused by the framing, but we'll allow it. Two different people. It's kind of scary how people don't know the difference. Uh, you might have noticed I already disliked the video. Uh, that's because I've watched this video already. I, I made it 12 minutes in before I- You haven't watched the video then. <laughs> you made it 12 minutes in? Well, I hope that we get some really good reasons why in those first 12 minutes. Sorry, you didn't. I can't it. quite make it out. How long is your video? Is it 1 11 40 or 1 12 40? Yeah, it's 1 hour 11 12 ish. I'm just- so- He's he's seen literally a sixth of too it. Too long either way. Okay. Way too long. Cool. I realized this piece of shit. You might have also noticed it's an hour long. <laughs> don't worry. Don't you worry. I don't hate you that much. We're not going to watch an hour of this, minutes. believe me. Um, okay. I'd be surprised if I made it 10 minutes. I'm glad you take pride in not addressing <laughs> the full thing. <laughs> Good yeah, for you, I, I guess. Mean... You could take the bet. You could watch it and just take like the best, the top three arguments I make. Or even if you're like, even if you just want to take one of them and say, "Hey, a particular thing I didn't like about this video," then we can just isolate that and we can talk about that. Like, I don't expect. I, I'm very reasonable. I don't expect ev if you want to do a response to me, to de to debunk or reply to every single thing in a video that that's that's that long. It would be cool if you did. But I understand it takes a lot of time, and you might not be interested in a lot of the stuff I say. You just want to focus on a couple particular points. Just forget, Maybe just do that. You put out the tweet, hashtag Muller is a hypocrite. Those people in your audience are going to be concerned that we hate each other again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to retweet you so people know that it's a, fucking not a disaster. It's like, it is funny. There's loads of EFAP references on it, but there's going to be so many people like, oh no. They're going to be sending me messages like, you and you like, do you hate each other? <laughs> Okay, but let's be fair. Let's be as fair and objective as we Gotta possibly could that. towards Sweet. our old boy Rags a Dags Dags. Let's do it. Yay. Oh boy, Dan Santago. Oh, no, no, we got no. colors. It's fucking great. What the? Wait, why'd you put that in? On March 8th of 2019, Captain Marvel hit theaters. In much the same way that a large turd might be dropped from a passing albatross onto the freshly cleaned hood of a Mercedes Benz, so too did Captain Marvel drop into theaters. It's I, fucking classic. Don't See, worry, it's this fucking video classic. is set up, so we're not gonna suffer through- No, we're not gonna suffer too badly, but anyway... Already calling Captain Marvel a fucking piece of shit already. No, the movie's like a turd on the movie industry. Yeah, you, he's, so allowed already fucked up. he's allowed you to do that. He's already fucked up! <laughs> Oh, was it, already fucked up. What's, what's wrong with so this, the opening of your video about Captain Marvel? You're like, yeah, the movie is shit. Uh, let's go over this. Like, that's fine. What's wrong? <sighs> um, all right. So if you want to know my opinion of Captain Marvel right off the bat, yeah, I think it was a decent movie. It was a six out of ten. Four. No, no. no. So, oh, no it's like three. 
Uh, yeah, I can't, I'd have to I'd fuck rewatching it, but like, oh <laughs> shit, nothing works in that movie. Every element is would, is broken. Well, would you say it gets up to a four, or is it all? Below? Fuck no, it's definitely okay. below four. I'm not sure if I pick it like two or three. I'm not sure about that. Three. We're looking. Is it Batwoman or is it um? Fuck, what was three? Three is. I thought. Oh, TLJ three was. Yeah. Yeah. So Cross is it TLJ, TLJ or is it or is it Batwoman? It's like um. TLJ. I, I guess it's sequel level, probably. Yeah, I'd probably say so. Batwoman's special because really it's just that it's that one little step above coherent. Yeah. <laughs> that Batwoman is 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 just it, it's that it's a I think I think the the two that a Batwoman is. Yeah, that one breaks. Tiny area where it's it's a just coherent enough to be almost just, just it breaks down at every level, but still coherent. Because um yeah, because because one is infinitism, so it breaks reality. Uh, Batwoman breaks a little bit of reality here and there, like in terms of yeah, fundamentals. And because there can't be a zero, because if it's a zero, then it doesn't even qualify as like a story. Yeah. Um, um, I don't know. Maybe we'll find a zero one day, but. <laughs> Technically, <laughs> Crisis is it's 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 a one out of ten. That shit was hilarious, though. I want more. <laughs> I don't really want more Captain Marvel, to be honest with you. But I'll take more Infinity Tisms. Unfortunately, it was very overshadowed by Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, Thor Ragnarok like kind of blew it out of the water in terms of that. I like the overshadowed in the by movie. Thor Ragnarok. No, it wasn't. Mm -hmm. Nothing overshadowed Captain Marvel. It made like a it billion dollars. Everyone was talking about. Yeah. Everyone was psyched. they they were ready for for Endgame. They were hyped up. They were psyched and ready. And then <laughs> Captain Marvel just drops in. <laughs> um. Yeah. I, I don't know about that one, but all right. I liked um Nick Fury. Obviously, I liked the buddy cop. The whole buddy cop dynamic between um yeah, all right. uh, Captain Marvel and I'm liking this Fury. impromptu review of Captain Marvel. <laughs> I'm just like okay. Nick Fury. I liked all that stuff. That was I all didn't... pretty fun. It was a fun oh. movie. It had really no, it good CGI. I thought this. Ooh. Movie... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> really good CGI. Uh, yeah. Like Black Panther. Um, huh? I'm not. I'm not gonna. I can't pick anything as bad as what's the worst in Black Panther and Captain Marvel. But there was there was some stuff I remember looking awkward as shit. I don't know. I, I... look on the car uh, on the, uh, the the the. the... The cat when when they take off in the ship and the cat hits the oh yeah plate. yeah you're right that that did look goofy as shit so but it is better than Black Panther Black Panther CGI was kind of embarrassing yeah a little bit the CGI yeah, was pretty good a lot of people scene, think CGI it was it was, it was like not PS2 finished or something something looked really really yeah not finished that's probably good it's CGI good now just like oh uh, they loathe it and stuff but I actually thought it was decently well done it can be well done. So I thought so, it can but be well um, unfortunately, I don't think it'll stand the test of time very much. It didn't stand. The it didn't, didn't start. <laughs> it never stood. I don't know. It's born without legs. It's nothing to stand on. Oh no! I think the story doesn't doesn't necessarily stand out too much as a yeah, um, was bad. superhero story. So I think it was a decent movie that was also marketed very poorly. Let's be real. It, I'm, just, I'm expecting Rex is going to come back into this video any second now. I'm sure of it. <laughs> After the Captain Marvel review is finished, we'll get <laughs> it was it was not marketed still. well. Um, but I agree. And obviously, Brie Larson is just like a fucking magnet for white boy hatred. So, uh, okay. fuck off, yeah, Anna. Fuck what? off with your white boy hatred. Yeah. So only white men hate Captain Marvel slash Brie Larson. Just FYI. I'm pretty sure Fringy didn't like Captain Marvel. Is he just a paradox? Or yeah. Is he a white boy? Damn. Sounds like it. Yeah, can't be possible. They hate it for obvious reasons, but me... Tell me, what is it? What, what are, are you... Obvious? Yeah, what are you implying there? Are we doing the hate women thing? It's like, yay. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Seems a little bit racist, but okay. Ten. Six out of ten is decent. It's above average, because I enjoyed it, but... No, yeah, it's not above average. Above average. average. Above average. average. I enjoyed it, good. so everybody enjoys it. That one's above uh, average, because I enjoyed it. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of the arguments here are just, I liked it. You're like, okay. I like it. Above that's average. fine. I like it, but... It... 
<sighs> it'll stand the test of time too well but calling it like a giant piece of shit is like incredibly disingenuous no, it was it not even close like it nobody who's like inside the internet circle i mean rags <laughs> is obviously biased let's be honest he inside made a lot of anti circle. but i didn't the movie isn't shit because it because because i would be looking at it from an anti-sjw lens the movie's shit because it's written like shit and it's nonsensical and the plot doesn't work and there's world building issues and there's retcons like that's why it's a terrible movie and the <sighs> the other stuff the the social stuff that's just like the poo sprinkles on top of the shit pie well, like, is the implication here that because you're anti-SJW, therefore will hate anything with, like, women protagonists? Is that where we're going with this? Maybe. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised if that's where this guy Well, goes. that's what you have to think if you only watch 10 minutes of the vi actual video. How could you get out even yeah. from 10 minutes? <laughs> I don't know. You need something to pull out of your ass to make an argument, I guess. I just... a weird one. I don't know. I, uh... We'll let him continue. W content. He made a lot of anti stuff, so obviously he's incredibly biased, and that's the big reason he thinks that. You you talk smack so, about white boys. I'm not. I'm, I guess I'm not so racist and sexist as you are. I don't know. Yeah, I'd say you're, you're definitely in the clear compared so far. So not bad. Good job, Rags. Didn't really have to do anything. Hooray. <laughs> so uh, other than that, anybody objectively viewing it who's not part of the internet fart circle would probably rate it at least a five they would I don't give care it a what a ra what does that even rated. mean I, <laughs> I don't care what an average person would rate it. average people are stupid like what do you want me to say when it comes to movies average people liked toy story 4 average people liked endgame oh one of my best friends liked trs and i told him no <laughs> told him no <laughs> yeah, 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 person might have even liked the rise of skywalker i bet a lot of people did you a lot of I don't care about what the average, what the average uh, casual one-time viewer of a movie in a theater says about the movie. I don't care. I just, I just don't care. Like that was decent. That was decent. But anyway, uh, let's keep going. All right. I've never seen so much hate and vitriol for a movie in such a long time. How are you time. recording you know, this? Uh, Ghostbusters and the. So, uh, this so is, like, this is that pro so... Streamyards, is it? <clears throat> So do they have gameplay footage in the back that's playing? Yeah, I've never used StreamYard, but I'm pretty sure you can do this. You have like a control panel. Yeah, there's StreamYard, you can see it by there. Um, I've never even heard of StreamYard. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's not bad for something that's all pre-built, you know? Yeah, it, that's what we use for the Friday Night Tights, right? Yes, that's, yes. Yeah, it seems like it's pretty simple and slick. Mm -hmm. For, you know, to do. That was decent. That was decent. But anyway... Uh, let's keep going. I've never seen so much hate and vitriol for a movie in such a long time. I don't know. Uh, Ghostbusters and The Last Jedi, those come to mind. Yeah, that's a perfect counter. Yeah. Congratulations, Rex. Yeah. <laughs> Man, now that I think about it, there were a lot of stinkers recently. Mm. You see, last year we had the Cloverfield Paradox, Oof. The Predator, Oof. Franklin Time, Oof. Robin Hood, oh. Slenderman, uh, Mortal Engines. God, that was awful. Holmes and Watson. Man, there were a lot of crappy movies last year. <laughs> those are just the ones that I remember. Yeah, Captain Marvel is really, really despised because it's one of the worst movies that's probably ever been made, certainly one of the worst that I've ever seen. And it's fundamentally broken at basically every level, but surely TLJ takes the cake on most hated movies of late. Hmm. People are still... By the way, this... We, we didn't intend this, but this is the, the sped up, EFAP, sped up, us stream. We had no idea. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the last time people like sped us up, but this is two movies in a row where that's what people do. Mm. They speed up our footage. So I guess that's it's, an interesting, yeah. that's a theme. That's this episode. This, this has been theme. happening. Remember the, the pointing thing? That was another weird one. Just, yeah. What a coincidence. Oh god, and there's going to be so many pointing in chat now. So much pointing. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's going to happen. One of the worst movies of our generation now, really. Wait, is that what you yeah. said? Um, I thought uh, you said worst movies what? of all time. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, yeah, I could. Yeah, so I guess old say of that. Yeah, well, um, I, 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 like, I'm, I'm thinking if I would, I would agree with that, and I'm like, probably. I mean, it's definitely down there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if there were, it's pretty I bad. Like ben up. <laughs> um, uh, the, I'd probably call it hyperbolic. The, there's probably, I'm trying to think of what I would think that would like, like, outclass Captain Marvel in badness. Um, well, if we're talking about. I guess we'll lay the 
like qualifications for being in the runnings, like theatrically theatrically released films that are, mm-hmm. you know, like not a not a troll movie so and not mainstream, some main, uh, high yeah. budget, like like well praised, oh. critically acclaimed of like of all of those. Which is the worst? Like Captain Marvel's well, definitely one of the one of the runners. Yeah. The they were widely released big films with budgets and commercials and everything. So I, I think I've set a pattern here that's pretty, pretty reasonable. Because it's funny, you threw Predator up on there, and I'm like, yeah, that's probably one of the ones that would compete with it. That film's fucking oh, garbage. Was... What about Fallen oh, Kingdom, yeah. Rags, huh? Oh, fuck. Yeah, at the time, I wasn't even thinking about it, and I hadn't seen it yeah. uh, when I made this video. I only saw Fallen Kingdom like two weeks ago, a week ago. Mm-hmm. But I would put Fallen Kingdom up there as one of the worst movies of the this this of, of recent time. Why am I blanking on what Fallen Kingdom is? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're no. lucky. It's... I wish I could on Fallen. Yeah, Kingdom. I'll be honest. When I rewatched it with Rags, even I was kind of taken aback by how fucking stupid the whole movie is. This oh I'm so much. I'm blanking on what it is. It's a oh, Jurassic it's World Jurassic sequel. World, yeah. Oh, Jurassic! I never saw that one. Which one Don't. is Fallen Kingdom? It's the <laughs> it's the newest one. one. Um. <clears throat> Came out twenty eighteen. Go back. Is this the one that Buffalo Bill was in? Yes. I did not watch it. Don't. Nobody should. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Rags, I'm starting to think you haven't watched very many movies. If you really think that, I've seen plenty. I've seen plenty. This one's really, really bad. Mm -hmm. Like, are you really trying to convince (laughs) me that Captain Marvel is worse than like Star Wars Holiday Special or? Uh. They're both pretty bad. I love the I idea mean, that you pause for thought, like, well, it's complicated. Yeah, like, I'd have to... I have never seen the Star Wars Holiday Special start to beginning. I've seen coverage of it, and mm-hmm. I know a lot of the, I know a lot of parts of it. But, um, that's a good question, actually. That's a good, unironic question to consider. It might be that the Star Wars Holiday Special is if we rank it by plot and characters, is actually superior to Captain Marvel. Yeah. I think that's actually a legitimate possibility. A lot of people in chat are saying yes. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to throw... I'm, I'm not going to throw that away as a possibility. Also, uh, chat, can I get a, a quick sort of uh, set of review? Um, how is my volume compared to all the guests? Because I saw someone say I'm way louder than them. I just want to check. Because according wow. to OBS, I should be around level with you guys. Double check. And and did I say movies this year or did I say worst movies ever? Because I'll stand by either one, but uh, <laughs> I guess I'm curious. Either way, I got to pee, so sort out your volume. Uh, good, fine, okay. good, bra, fine. Uh, some people said boost Anna. I shall. Oh, I'm just kind of sitting back away from my mic. Oh, yeah, it's all good as long as I can get you uh, a little higher <clears> so people can <throat> definitely hear you. Wait, so we have to wait for Rags to return now? That's fucked oh, up. Ah, damn it, Rugs. Um, you ruined it. How dare he. See so yeah, what's everyone been up to? Mm-hmm. Work. I had friends over last night and we got drunk. <laughs> it was good. And now I'm mm. drinking again because I'm a very responsible human being. Are you sad the Batwoman is finished? I am. But hopefully it's going to continue soon. You looking forward to watching more Hill House? I uh, really am. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Boost ER, we can't hear him at all. Yeah, he's been talking this whole fucking time, and <laughs> nobody can hear him, so fucking mute him. I'm I am a bad person. ER, what have you been doing lately? Uh, I've been uh, I don't know. Uh, I've been distraught over Ruth Bader Ginsburg's passing. I suppose. Mm. I meant more like with media, but sure. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Well, yeah. Uh, media. Ugh. What's even the last thing I've even seen? I didn't finish Mulan. I watched like 20 minutes of that. <laughs> <laughs> I well, wish I could have stopped at 20 minutes. <laughs> I was going to say, we did it for fat movies. It's coming. It's going to be good. But uh, what, what made you give up? What was the thing? Uh, everything. Uh, mm-hmm. Number one being that everyone has superpowers now. Chi. Yeah. Um, yeah, there, yeah, there's just nothing about it that was going to be any good. What threw us off was like, they were just like, there's a yeah. witch now. It's like, what? There's a witch. And when yeah. you see the original, you're like, why is, what is, huh? 
He has to she, she's following the main bad guy, even though she. I don't know. She Talk seems like her own army. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That well, she, yeah. She's a good guy by the end, so it's fine. Is she? The last okay. Of course she is, because she's a lady. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got myself a chewy bar in some I... You didn't get yourself I, a Twix? I, 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 the fuck? I, 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 I got a little bit of, the, of an animu itch uh, last week. So oh I, my god. <laughs> I, I watched uh, Mop Psycho 100. Pretty entertaining. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Uh, one of my favorites. I I did watch the last three episodes last night, but I don't remember them because I was drunk, so I'm going to rewatch them later. <laughs> Talk about something uh, you liked from it, and then have ER approve of it, so we have credibility when it comes to Adame as a podcast. Go. No. 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 He liked the main character's arc. What do you think, ER? I was actually about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> in Wait, in Milan? No, 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 Mob Psycho 100. Oh. Yeah. Well, hell yeah. That's pretty, Mom, pretty cool. Yeah. It's like overall just super crazy, so it's, it's, uh, it's just entertaining. Really, so, really entertaining. Are there like 100 of these shows then? And it only got good uh, at 100? Not yet. Not yet. Not it's quite. 24 hmm. by now. 25. Oh, well then. It's only uh, two seasons, so. Rags, you ready to be proven wrong? Oh, I'm ready. Or the room samurai cop or it's worse than like one of these fuck i wish i can remember another one right now bad. so yeah i i mean if i was i just assume rags was, was referring more so to uh whenever to we say title. like this is a really bad movie and someone's like have you seen this fucking thing that was made by someone in his back garden you're like um yeah okay you might have me there <laughs> i guess I mean, it might be very poorly produced, it might be totally internally consistent, and the characters might be 100%, um, you know, in character. Mm -hmm. No breaks of logic, no mm -hmm. plot holes or contradictions. So, and that's the I, thing. with these. I know Neil Breen's the funny go-to example, like here, but I'd have to actually watch through these, Neil, pass through these movies, may, maybe. But I, I'd need to actually watch them and see if they're just horribly produced and written, or if there's any really, really big problems structurally with like the plot and the characters. Because I don't know. Fundamentally broken. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> You could use that for a series title, Metal. Full Metal Analysis and uh, Fundamentally Broken. Fundamentally hey. Broken. Ooh. Hey. No, fundamentally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Fateful Findings is far more entertaining than Captain Marvel, just saying. Just put it out there, okay? Yeah, I'm fine with that. I'd much rather watch that. Also, do you guys like farts? Uh-huh. So funny. Mm -hmm. and, and let's be clear here. Let's use this guy's own rating. It's a 6 out of... Captain Marvel is a 6 out of 10 because I enjoyed it. Mm. Well, if I enjoy Fateful Findings more than Captain Marvel, then it's better. That's a really good, good metric to go by. It doesn't make fucking meaningless yeah. reviews or anything. Almost like it doesn't... It's why we never, ever use that. Oh my god. I can't even do this right now. Uh, try not to shit your pants from a lot of... Lot of fucking hell. <laughs> words. <laughs> Someone would seriously think that model is worse than that. It's okay. funny, because farts. But I liked it more, so that means it's better. We've established that. There you go. Don't tell me you're not going to adhere to your own standards. That wouldn't be very principled of you. Oh, well. More farts! We see it all the time on EFAP. Another on the pile. Um, I guess as someone, I can't find it now because it's already gone, but they were just like, why is it that um, the budget would matter if you're focusing on writing? And it's like, well... If we if if that's the criteria we're running with, out of interest of not including literally every single thing that was ever made by anybody in any scenario ever, versus AAA hyper expensive ones that do everything they can to you know focus test a movie that's designed mm -hmm. to make people happy, you're like if we go from that selection, this one is really fucking bad. That's the point being made. <clears throat> All right. I can't believe you committed suicide. I cannot believe you committed suicide. 
How could you have done this? How could you have committed suicide? Most of that rant had nothing to do with anything. He was that just like, well, you know. That, that is a broken movie. That was just one scene. Yeah, that's just bad acting. Yeah. And you can have terrible acting in a movie that is totally plot solid. Yeah, and also he just said, um, I know that rant was like irrelevant, and I thought he was referring to himself, um, but he's referring to you. Oh, I thought to... oh what rant? <laughs> so I was like, wait, what? My rant? Oh, I, I can't that. believe you committed suicide. I cannot believe you committed suicide. How could you have done this? How could you have committed suicide? Most of that rant had nothing to do with anything. He was just like, well, you know, uh, uh, Ghostbusters and Last Jedi had a lot no, of No, I was directly, res I was directly yeah. responding Let's to something that Brown Table said. I was replying to things that he had spoken. I wouldn't, if Brown Table's script had been completely different, then it's extremely possible, probably likely, that I wouldn't have even brought that up. I don't know how to do this without being condescending. Brown Table said he's never seen this kind of hate for a movie before, and then Rag cited a bunch of movies that got the same level of hate. And then he said, it's probably because they were really shit. And he said, actually, we've had loads of shit movies this year. It all follows. There's nothing there that's yeah. hard to understand why Rex said what he said. I don't understand. I'm lost on... Mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of simple. And, and relatively quick. And animated. So it's nice on the eyes. I don't, I don't really yeah. see the problem. I was... That, that was it. The, the movies coming in, and then the, the, the Watson and Holmes wipe at the end that resets everything. Like, I, it's relatively very simple, but, like, I had to learn how to do that. So I'm proud that it all kind of lined up and worked. And, like, mm. yay, I did a simple thing. I'm now <laughs> I'm, I'm now a level 2 out of 10 video editor. Nice. Hooray. Two, like, are you literally going <laughs> to... This is going to be one of those videos, isn't it? He's just going to pause Well, you don't know. You didn't just... watch it, you mong. Well, um, I mean, if, if I pause a lot and have something to say... Maybe that means there's a lot to be said. I was going to say, there's infinite levels of fun here. The fact that he was talking about how he's getting paused, uh, the guy is getting paused at every turn, and before he could even finish that sentence, we paused because Metal oh, wanted to comment on how <laughs> you haven't even seen Rags' full video. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, it's just infinite juice of joy. Yes, we can pause whatever the fuck we want if we want to say something. Everyone does this. You've been doing this. I don't even understand. Mm. <laughs> like, okay, everyone does it, so whatever. <laughs> Just be like, well, oh, you're technically wrong. Um, well, ha, shoot. He literally addressed a point, and you, you yeah. do it. I don't understand. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm just directly replying to things that are said in a clever and fun and entertaining way. Well, the last Jedi got a lot of hate too. It was just like, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Oh, yeah. this is gonna be fucking torture already. You didn't address- you may- <laughs> Dude, he noticed the point was <laughs> valid. Dead. He noticed. He was like, he... oh yeah, that's probably fair, actually. This is gonna be bad. Fuck it, whatever. Yeah. You know that was a fair thing to say back. You fucked up. Literally yeah. said, I've never seen this much hate for a film. And I'm like, man, EFAP was born of the hatred from other movies. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, three minutes in, um, not- Well, no, two minutes in, sorry. He's not- <laughs> Not really convincing me, Rags, but... What? Nothing's well, happened yet! <laughs> your, your intro is longer than mine! Yeah, we <laughs> What is this? Like, <laughs> you're not convincing like me! Yeah, I haven't gotten to the convincing points yet! So, if I were watching Rags' video with no context of anything else, like, I know the movie and I know Brown Table, let's just say that, and I don't know Rags, I'd be like, so the first point made is something that Rags has addressed and counted pretty effectively, moving on. If he was like, he hasn't convinced me, I'd be like, he hasn't convinced you of what? Like, what is it to convince you, don't you of think yet? TLJ and Ghostbusters got a lot of shit when they came out? Yes, like, what where you... have you been? <laughs> I just like, not convinced. Like, what do you mean? Uh, let's, let's let him. Still hating on this movie for the dumbest reasons now? Still hating. For the dumbest reasons now. What an odd. Yeah. I think that's pretty true. It's because of Brie Law. No, it's a broken sentence. They are no, still yeah. doing it now. As in, like, you, you'd, you'd cut one of those off. They're doing it now. Yeah. They're still doing it. Now. I said it was an odd sentence. That's yeah. what my commentary was. Like that was a really odd sentence. Larson, let's let mince words. It's because of Brie Larson. Sentence. Oh my god. Um, and it came out months ago. Spider Man's about to come out. Spider Man. Wow. <laughs> Spider Man's gonna. That's crazy. <laughs> now this was made before Spider Man Far From Home. Oh my god. Are you just gonna like pause after every? Yes, we're gonna pause you after every comment you yes. make <laughs> on him pausing on someone else's. What do you? What yeah. is conversation? Fucking hell. So, uh, why would you? <laughs> 
not want to highlight how weird of a comment that is. Why are people talking about this thing? Another thing is coming out. You're like, what? It's bizarre. That <laughs> it's was like a meme. Yeah. Spider-Man's coming out. Dude, yeah. even Brown Table memed it. He knew that it was a silly thing to say. It's a weird thing to say. It's... it's I, don't, <laughs> I, I can't... The irony is, like, chopping my brain away. The, the fact that he keeps pausing you to say you shouldn't be pausing people. Yeah, well, you know, at... Yeah, this... Yeah, there's different rules for me, and, yeah. Fucking sentence? This is really just stupid. This is one thing that Rags does that really fucking annoys me. He has to- You're literally you're doing, doing that it. now. That's <laughs> literally what you're doing right this second. That's exactly what you're doing here. So, this is the thing. Like, you have no self-awareness. The way you do this in video production you should make you go, Oh shit, I was doing it the whole time. Alright, so what I need to do is show every time Rags does it, and then have my commentary at the end saying, dude, you never listen to people's points, you just pause them halfway through, and you misunderstand them. That's how you would have done this. Instead, he's e-fapping you while saying e-fapping yeah. people is bad. It's like, what? Damn. Pause every and just have a comment. Have a snarky comment on every fucking well, sentence. Snarky. Oh, they are also correct. You know, it's just like, he's trying to make a- Why is this- why so angry when all you've done is really, really <laughs> passive so far. You you just offered yeah. counter comments. That's all you've really done. Poi, motherfucker, stop cutting him off. It's ridiculous. Oh, He's just gonna go on a fucking rant, and you'll notice in his other videos, Rags tends to do this a lot, where he'll just rant about a single sentence as if and pretend as if that's his entire argument. He'll actually no, do I that don't because no. then I debunk the things that they say after that as well. You need to actually highlight a point where I interrupt somebody that ruins and destroys the context of what I'm actually arguing against in a way that would make it fall apart. And, of and course, I haven't seen anyone do that yet. If you, uh, if someone made ten points and you addressed points one, three, and seven in one minute, and the rest of them in ten minutes except for point five that it took you half an hour, it, w it doesn't matter. It takes as long as it takes. Like the, the idea that you have to do it within a certain time frame, otherwise you're making it seem as though that's their entire argument, I don't even... You, you should be able to prove that. Be able to get Rags saying, like, this is the entire point of the video right here, this is the only thing he's saying. Instead of just arguing that that's what Rags does, it's like, hmm. That very thing in this video, let's get to that point. Boom, released. That's the Spider-Man movie I assume he's talking about. But, let's stop for one second here and think about it. Why would you guys talk about a movie that's been out for a while, that we have all the reviews for, all the articles about, all of the footage, right? We have the whole movie and all of the scenes, and now we have all the deleted scenes as well. All Before he comments on this, right? <laughs> you, you, like, your argument is so good. Yeah. <laughs> the, <laughs> the, all the information we need to have all the context and details is now out. So, this is the time to talk about it. Uh, yeah, exactly. All of this material, by which we can make discussions from, okay, right? Spider-Man, though, we've got what? I mean, at the time that this was made, we had some trailers, you know, little teasers to go by. Ooh, speculation. Yeah, that's worthy of some discussion, sure. But the way that Captain Marvel was pushed, and the way that Google altered search results on YouTube, the Disney influence that saw thousands upon thousands of reviews deleted, the shenanigans concerning... Oh, now that... Hmm, now, really? De YouTube deleting reviews, and Disney deleting... No, 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 no. Google altering search results, which they did for Brie Larson. Google through YouTube, YouTube, mm -hmm. Google. And you had uh, uh, the reviews being deleted from Rotten Tomatoes and other places yeah. like that in mass. Like, there's <laughs> a lot of, there was a lot of shenanigans that surrounded this movie. Yeah, your point, your point isn't even necessarily that those things definitely happened and they are bad. In the, like, your point here is that there are things to talk about. Yeah. Uh, so even if you were to de definitively prove that those things did not happen, the discussion about that is taking place, therefore that's why Captain Marvel's a hot topic. Like, that's the yeah. argument. We know, like, w the reviews are were deleted. Search results were changed, d depending on names and stuff. Like, reasons why, or s aside, or who eventually, and why those things were done, is separate to the idea that it was done, and as far as I know, this is unprecedented for a movie. Um, I mean, dude, if you're causing you, this kind of change online, you know, bringing that up to anybody who's interested in like film review is an interesting, it, it, instant like, whoa, really? Huh? How about that? Let's let's go over why that's not cool or why they're doing it for this movie. You know, discussion under the under the umbrella topic of Captain Marvel. That's that's a ridiculous accusation that kind of came out of nowhere. 
Huh? What? So nowhere. it didn't come out of nowhere. <laughs> Based on Wait, do you think you like I made it up? It. Yeah, I didn't make it up. Yeah, no. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to delve deep into it because it's not really the central point. It's just one small point on a pile of points yeah. that adds to a central point. Also, don't even pretend like it never happened before. Like, come on. Uh, let me not see. The first movie that happened with. Or a game or whatever you want. That's unfortunately a very real tactic they do to try to boost their movies. Okay, I, I just I just Googled it real quick. Captain Marvel YouTube search results algorithm because a lot of the time, it might sound odd, but when sometimes you want to Google things like you're Googling tags. Um, here is what pops up. You type that, and this is what pops up. <clears throat> YouTube, uh, YouTube fought Brie Larson trolls by changing its search. YouTube reportedly fighting Captain Marvel trolls in search. <clears throat> YouTube reportedly changes algorithm to combat Captain. Report. YouTube alters algorithm to combat Captain Marvel. YouTube adjusts algorithm due to angry Captain Marvel trolls. How YouTube <laughs> combated, etc., etc., etc. I just did a quick Google search to make sure. Like, this is interesting that YouTube would alter its algorithm before this movie came out. Supposedly yeah. to fight trolls. Like, you don't oh. think that's interesting to talk about? Um, so what kind of, like, team did you get together to, uh, get that information? What kind of money did you spend to access that? Because obviously no normal person could have achieved something like that in the time yeah, that you did. Yeah, I, I've got contacts, uh, <laughs> who are able to Google search for me. <laughs> I have, like, a dude just there. He's I've the... <laughs> got a guy on the inside. I need you to you Google know, something for me. I can't give away any names. And by guy, I'm using that, you know, ambiguously. Mm -hmm. Might be a man, might be a woman. I don't want to say, you know. If they sent you um, this, they sent you this this link back. This is like, let me Google that for you. Yeah, this it's definitely isn't something. <laughs> yeah, this, this this screenshot I just showed definitely isn't something that I just Googled on the fly right here at no cost at all and in only seconds. That no, that was just <laughs> I had to talk to a guy quite very quietly so y'all didn't hear me, and then he got back to me with this because he knows what's up. That screenshot is worth ten thousand dollars, so be happy you saw that. I was going to say, Rags, do I owe you money for having seen these results? No, 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 no. This one's a freebie. This oh, one, shit. this is just a taste of what I can, what, what I can access with my incredible knowledge powers. <laughs> James just wrote, I fund the entire EFEB research department. <laughs> <laughs> um. Actually, now that, that, you know, if he actually was right on this point, maybe I can give him some credit. But, oh, good. Um, I'm going to assume let's... that you're giving me credit because I just proved it right here. <laughs> look, look, <laughs> simple Google search. It took me 10 seconds and no money. <laughs> wow, we let's just do a pretty... quick little search on oh. Captain Marvel deleting reviews. Oh, uh, what do you know? Look at Captain the usual Marvel suspects, deleting reviews. the quartering. Oh, sorry. If the quartering said it, it can't be true. So if the oh, quartering yeah. says oxygen yeah. is important... <laughs> Fuck, we're done. Yeah, Tyrone Magnus. He's a he's a person of color. You need to listen to his voice. Yes. Oh god, Angry Joe said stuff. Oh, oh no. no. Uh oh. Well, so we got geeks and gamers. Oh, it's over. Amazing Lucas. Have, it's over. It's all over. A, rocks. Is that the name of this channel? Rotten Tomatoes deletes fifty four thousand Captain Marvel fan reviews. <laughs> Captain takes a like. Don't you think this is interesting? Yeah. Like <laughs> the fact that fifty k plus reviews were deleted. Yeah. It just like the idea that like let's just if it was Hitler's YouTube channel, <laughs> it's like I mean <laughs> maybe worth checking out. Just saying. I don't know who Tyrone is. There's Captain Marvel review by Angry Joe. Really good. Oh, review. you don't know who Tyrone um, is. What, 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 <laughs> if you don't know who he is, then he's saying the same thing. Like what uh, now? Wait. That, like, that, what now? That, that destroys the entire argument. Because okay, so we, we where we started was because this is so all of this is wrong. You, you, you get a bunch of results, and what he's trying to do is just say that these are from people you cannot trust, therefore the story's not true. There's so much wrong with that line of reasoning, but we can't even do that because one of the results is what we said, I don't know who that is. <laughs> well, I don't know who this guy is. Don't talk about, oh, he's not a white dude. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. What I said earlier, that does, uh-oh. Uh -oh. I doomed myself with that one. I don't know who that guy is. He's like, I, I can't actually see. Amazing like Lucas. 100, 150,000 views. Has, has the the check mark on on YouTube, so it's verified. Probably pretty com pretty known. I mean, I don't know who that is either, but who gives a shit? It's info right there. You have it there. I mean, why not? It's 
Check out that guy... video. Ron Tomas yeah. deletes 50k Captain Marvel user reviews question yeah. mark. Click it. It's... See what yeah. he says. I think it's really interesting how he talked about how, of course, the white boys hate it. But we have quartering, <laughs> white male, Tyrone Magnus, black male, um, Angry Joe, Angry Jew. <laughs> we have uh, the Geeks, I guess he's a white guy. The Amazing Lucas, black guy. So in the top one, two, three, four, five here, three of them are not white males. He also said, someone, someone just pointed this out. He said, ah, the usual suspects followed up by, don't know who this is. <laughs> <laughs> also, is he gonna, is he gonna do a, like a Google search at least or any other search? No, because that would prove YouTube. Rags' point. So he can't do that. He has to do a YouTube yeah, search, which still use... proves Rags' point. Uh, but he has to then discredit any of these sources. Yeah, I just, I, I just, go I mean, my team of forensic analysis on the internet, <laughs> they googled this for me using just the Google search function, so it, it wasn't internal to just YouTube, because uh, obviously something like this would have a lot of, like the the articles here are from The Verge, CNET, Cinema Blend, Bounding into Comics, Science, uh, A to Z, Screen Rant, Tube Filter, etc. So. But yeah, Nerd. this still proves my point. The amazing Lucas, Mr. Obvious. Hmm. That, oh, oh no. What, what, Dave Cullen, Nerd okay. Roddick, Joe. Right. No, Gary, no. <laughs> <laughs> you failed by going against the narrative. Sia rises. <laughs> oh. That was a very real laugh. Yeah, so like, mm -hmm. what's the problem? Yeah. Like, what do they say that's wrong here? Yeah. Address I mean, like, arguments. this is. It, even if you totally disagree with what their analysis is, it's still 54,000 reviews deleted, which is what I'm saying. It yeah. doesn't matter what their commentary is on it. Just that it happened. Well, we've jumped so far down the rabbit hole, reverse all the way back to why would you talk about Captain Marvel when Spider-Man is coming out? <laughs> Rag said, because interesting things are happening around Captain Marvel. This, yeah, we have the all counter the Captain... is yeah, but it's being said by evil people, <laughs> like uh -oh. the amazing Lucas. I don't. Uh, yeah, I got nothing for that one. But yeah. I, I guess this is a counter. Man, gr yeah, the usual suspects. All right, already like not the people good. I don't know. Already not good. <laughs> well, and someone's no, probably Google gonna be shouting right. in the comments, being like, "Karita, you're being unfair." No, you're being unfair. Yeah, you, you are being unfair. Yeah, you're being unfair. You're being insanely unfair. Yeah. <laughs> you're being ex you're being shockingly biased right now, and you have no self awareness whatsoever to notice that, which is a real well. It's entertaining for us, but it's a shame for you because it makes you look like a fucking idiot. Mm -hmm. You don't actually know anything. That doesn't prove anything just because it's by untrustworthy sources. You know, that doesn't mean No, it's everybody true. is saying this. This isn't hidden. <laughs> this is being look at look at the, the results I posted. This is being championed by some of these websites. Good on YouTube for doing this, for changing the algorithm to fight those trolls. This is not being hidden. It's being it is being lauded from the mountaintops. No, because qu quartering. No. Well, Geeks so I gamers. guess we can't trust The Verge, yeah. we can't trust Nerd CNET, we can't trust Cinema Blend, we can't trust Bounding into Comics, we can't trust Science A2Z, we can't trust Screen Rant, we can't trust Tube Filter. Nope. The list goes on and on and on. Who can we, who, who can we trust when they're all reporting that this has happened? <laughs> it's like, we can't trust those, 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 and I don't know the other seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like this, this was all over the second he was like, oh, I don't know who this is. <laughs> oh, maybe like, give him a shot, if, I don't know. If this this dude should have been like, okay, I don't actually know if this is if this happened or not. Let me do a quick search because I'm not sure this has happened. He could even say, I'm skeptical that this happened. I don't really know if this is true. And then he Googles it and everyone's talking about it. He's like, oh, huh. Mm. Everyone's talking about this thing that happened. That it's probably happened. Well, yeah, your Reasons point, aside, it happened. Your point as presented has now been uh, substantiated as a thing that's going on. That's, that's all you needed for your point to be valid. So I, I don't even yeah. know. Yeah, analysis aside of what the reason is, literally irrelevant. Okay, um, you actually have a point. So, yeah. in preparation for this, right. I dug up a Reddit thread right here. Oh, What's fucking okay, Reddit? Oh, Reddit, Reddit thread. Here we go. oh well, I don't. Oh, of course it's from Reddit. I don't care though. Wait, that See, means I can just say I don't like Reddit threads. Dude, that so. means the when they did the YouTube search, that wasn't impromptu. This was planned, and he still said the usual suspects. Wait, I don't know this one. Like, why? Why would you allow that? In just, uh, 
So what's this? Uh, what is up with the negative Captain Marvel reviews being deleted and YouTube hiding reviews? So that's not what you said, right? Yeah, so they altered search results. Yeah, so... Or they did. They changed the algorithm. All of these things that I pulled up, they have all, they've changed, uh, they've made changes to the algorithm. Is this true or is this just one person saying, I don't know, Google it and find out and, and look at all the fucking responses before Yeah, it's clearly more than Wait, one person. Yeah, message. all you need to do is find out what the quarterings evidence is, because I don't know what it is. Where did yeah, you get it from? It and even, and none of this matters because the fact that we're all talking about it is proving my point. Exactly. Captain Marvel review deleted and YouTube hiding reviews. So I sorted this. This is the best, uh, re this is the best comment on here right here. Since other comments have been hella oh, biased and leaving okay, tons apparently. of info, here's my answer. Brie oh, Larson. Nice. Okay, so basically, yeah. So here's Jeffree Star 94's answer on Reddit. Okay. <laughs> Since he's skipping over it. So. Brie Larson, who plays the titular Captain Marvel, is a fairly outspoken feminist, gender equality, equality, sexual assault activist in Hollywood, being one of the big voices in the Me Too movement, which already rubs a certain section of the internet the wrong way, so it's completely irrelevant. Recently, yeah, a quote from last summer resurfaced where she talked about incorporating an inclusion rider provision, basically where an actor filmmaker uses their bargaining power, barging power, to, to ask for a certain amount of racial, sexual, gender, disability, diversity in the staff. What has this got to do with it? Uh, this is where the shitstorm happens, and to lessen the chance someone on either side yells at me, I'm listening to the entire bit she said. Am I saying I hate white- What has this got to do with YouTube changing results, or, or Google? Oh, oh, hold up, don't- don't- it said 63.9% of America white male. So... It looks like white men are 31% of the American population. So just over double, so they are overrepresented in film reviewers, mm. which is like, all right, and yeah, I don't understand the problem there. Um, I was just, I was just out of curiosity to yeah. see how it matched. But um, if people want to be film I reviewers, go for it. <laughs> I don't know why we would want it to be equalized based on race. Yeah. I don't think humans work that way. But all right, just think it's interesting. Mm -hmm. I guess all that. something about so, this appeals to white men. Um, the, he actually provides every quote that Brie Larson says. Right? What is this? Go oh my god! I'm losing yeah, my mind. Yeah, I don't here. see what it. It doesn't matter. None of this matters. The point is already proven. <clears throat> about here, his basic point is that yeah, um, they were making bot accounts. Like a lot of them were making were they? bot accounts to downvote it one star because it's this is I don't a believe that. Because especially after the whole Russian bots Donald Trump thing, yeah. I just so I'm. I'm ex Extremely yeah. skeptical of anyone yeah. saying they used bots to downvote. Is the people. argument here that to counter people making bot accounts, they changed like the results artificially to to balance it out? Is that the argument? No, the so there there's two different things. You have YouTube changing the algorithm to give different results when you look up like Brie Larson's name and stuff or something related to Captain Marvel, and then you have reviews being deleted i believe on rotten tomatoes right so those were those are two separate things that are happening didn't um wasn't there like major proof of uh bot accounts reviewing was it tlj positively what was the movie no it was rise of skywalker wasn't it well rise of skywalker is super suspect because it yeah. was always 86 percent and it never deviated from 86 percent. i guess where i'm going with this is from my pov if ever they're getting um, like Shanghai into a, into a particular result, it's going to be uh, to the benefit of the people having made the movies, not the benefit of the public. Like they they want them. The idea that like oh Captain Marvel had to be protected from bots. I'm like okay, <laughs> I don't know about that. Could it be the movie was shit? I don't know. I guess not. And, and someone, I think I know what you're talking about. Someone uh, mentioned it. Tundra in chat said they kept. Making same phrases, like stuff talking about sagas and stuff like that. There are a lot of identical phrases that could be found. Yeah, some some gal made a really great video on it. I I forget her name because it's been so long, but she went through like all of these reviews and did like copy, you know, or control F find, and she would find all these phrases that kept popping up identically <laughs> all over the place that were positive for the movie. So, like that, like that's actual evidence that I've seen that. Rise of Skywalker has positive bots that are being used. And by the way, I'm not denying that there are not negative bots out there for Captain Marvel. I'm just saying yeah. I'm not convinced of it because I haven't seen any evidence for it. It's very possible that that is the case. And all we're doing just, this whole time is proving the original point you made. <laughs> like, it's, it's like, staggering. Why are we talking about Captain Marvel? 
as we talk about all of this stuff relating to Captain Marvel. I'm, I almost think that once we're done with this rabbit hole, they will return to your video and they will say, <laughs> you're wrong, like for whatever reason, <laughs> without remembering what you actually said. Common tactic known as review bombing, in case you don't know. So there's a good chance that- Because re review bombing is bad, but review- Anti-bombing? Yeah, review... blooming, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Review not the good review bombing. That's okay. But even if what he was saying was right and they are review bombing, I'm thinking it's most likely review bombs. People who are just creating bodies. Why? How have you arrived? How have you arrived that it's more likely that there's review? But you know, you can withhold judgment on a proposition until you have information, right? Uh -huh. Like, uh how have you arrived that it's at least fifty-one percent likely <laughs> that it's? That it's bots. What information are you going up? Jeffree Star, Bart Bag, XXX on Reddit talking about some post? Yeah, but that, he sorted by best, so. Yeah. Also, don't bother even showing it when you just go over. It's like, yeah, there's some words, and here's some words. All right, back to my profile picture. Like, like oh. is that what it takes to convince you one Reddit post that doesn't have any, like, statistic? Or any in-depth stuff? Because I've seen one video talking about the Rise of Skywalker stuff that seemed pretty compelling. So I'm leaning towards the side of, yeah, looks like there was a lot of bots that voted that upright. And then you have the 86% consistency, which is downright bizarre to me. And it all adds up. But I don't know. I, I'm, I'm going to imply that Smug Nerd Gigante's epistemology is fucking trash. <laughs> and they need to work on that. I love this. Oh, wait, what? Why can't I show it? There's some good ones. There, there's some good ones of these, by the way. I was looking through the EFAP memes um, a moment ago, and there's some quality <laughs> stuff in there. <laughs> there always is. <laughs> they could meme us. Uh, I got it. It's almost on screen. It just, it just makes me. <laughs> Blurry EFAP chat. No. <laughs> I'm going for what you have me to right some people now. Have been saying, <laughs> some people have been saying review boosting. I like that. I think that's a good name. Yeah, review yeah. boosting. Review boosting. I like that. Review bombing and review boost, boosting. 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 Wait a minute. Why is my screen all fucky? What? It doesn't fit anymore. What happened? What? What'd you oh, do? Oh, it's okay. I know what it was. Oh, thank Yay. you. Yay. Hooray. The whole world shattered for a moment there. Odd accounts <laughs> and fake accounts just to downvote something because it happens a lot. And ironically, now that we're on the subject, Rags has actually made a video on review bombing. And I yes. think I'll have For to games. think really far back, but I think his overall point was that review bombing can be good if you're trying to protest something and a good result. So, um, yeah. yeah, obviously yeah. Rotten Tomatoes has taken a stand against that because that's not really a fair way to represent a movie. So, I so here's the thing. I was talking specifically about Steam review bomb and Steam's, res okay. Steam's response to that was actually pretty good. Um, but review, but if you're a consumer, right? Like you have control over, especially if we're talking about games because the context of that video I made was in reference to a video game. I, f uh -huh. I forget which one it was a long time ago. I remember that I was playing dirty bomb. I had dirty bomb footage at the time I was showing it just cause I, that's how I remember things. But consumers only have so many avenues to really voice displeasure, uh, and to do stuff like that. And review bombing is one of the very few tools that they sort of have and can organize together. So I was like, yeah, I mean, I wish there were better ways, but review bombing is kind of the only thing a lot of people have. So if it, if it is an outcry against a very, as a result of a very unpopular decision that a dev or a publisher does, then it is what it is. And that's what people are going to do. That's the only option that they really have available in a lot of instances. And it's really easy and it makes a big point and it can dissuade other people from buying it. The negative aspect of review bombing, because obviously it's not an ideal situation, is that they might review a legitimately good game because of a bad business decision that was made or a bad political position that company took up or, you know, a lot of other meta reasons or monetary reasons, DLC reasons, things like that, which means that somebody might be dissuaded from buying a legitimately good game because they see, <clears throat> sorry, they see the results of a review bombed game and think it applies to the game itself in terms of its story and mechanics. That's 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 duh. I think in this aspect, you got to take the bad with the good. And the way to combat this is for what I've been advocating for since I started doing anything, and even before that, which is that if you're a consumer, you need to make informed buying decisions, and you need to find people you trust, and you need to do your research before you spend money. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Well, the, that. 
it seemed as though that was brought up as like, yeah, that's a plus. But with movies, it's misrepresenting the movie, so I was just like, wait, oh, wait, what? Someone in chat, someone in chat brought up that DMC Five is getting review bombed right now, and I think it's because one of the DLCs is only coming out for PlayStation. Yeah, the the big mm-hmm. DLC only comes out for consoles. I don't know if it's PS Five exclusively, and PC only gets the Virgil character, and yeah. it's. And they don't plan to put it on PC ever, from what I've heard. So, yeah, I, I get it. <laughs> yeah, so, like, that's really shitty. And if you got that on Xbox and if you got that on PC, like, you should be pissed. You're yeah. like, fuck, you have this thing and you're legit. You are for no other reason than exclusivity for this one platform punishing me because I just didn't have, I don't have that game box. I have a different game boxes. And this is the especially- shittiest way. Yeah, I find it especially shitty because you already have the base game. It's already on all the platforms. And then with the DLC, they go like, oh, no, there's this new console coming out. They gave us a lot of money, so they, only they get it. Because fuck the other ones. They get a character there. For, um, Shut up. A counterexample. We, 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 Capcom. we made two good things now. Now we can do a bad thing again. We have some leeway. That's what I feel like about this. It's like, come on, man. For a counterexample, or, well, let's just say a con- conversely, uh... The, the uh, season two of The Boys was getting review bombed because they didn't release all the episodes at once. Rather, it was three and then weekly, which is absurd to me mm-hmm. that you could review yeah, bomb it for that. Yeah, I think that's bizarre. That doesn't make any sense to me at all. Like, all I have to say to people is, like, like, chill the fuck out, okay? Yeah. <laughs> it's, you'll be fine. You can wait. Yeah. Review bombing, definitely not ideal, but for some people, it's all they've got. And I would be hesitant to take that away. I'm completely fine with them doing that. Because if a lot of them are troll accounts, and a lot of them are troll reviews, too. Like, you didn't expect that one star would be troll reviews and just a bunch of misogynist nonsense. So, for him what to if they really liked push it? What if they that, hated it first for of all, it's being pushed reasons. by Vin. Too bad. Why jump to that? Why jump no, to well, that? No, he's already established that you can't give it a 1 out of 10. It's a 6. Because <laughs> he liked it. Exactly. Well, it's just, I, like, I don't need to say any more than that. It's staggering. But, like, if you didn't give it the same score I did, you must be a troll. It's like, what? <sighs> I need another beer. <laughs> very illegitimate sources and from what i have like found, not read it it's very likely that a lot of the reviews that were deleted were trolls okay Are you sure this conjecture Are you man sure they were? this is pure conjecture <laughs> that's the thing i don't trust them to accurately report what is and isn't a troll review so why the fuck would we because assume they sure that as hell didn't because they sure as hell didn't give a shit about the troll reviews that were positive for the rise of skywalker also, holy shit, we're spending so much time on this point. Like, not us, I mean the video, kinda, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, mm. all I'm talking about is like, there's some shenanigans going around with Captain Marvel, and it's provable. Well, but like, for every I mean, additional second, He's your point- it. For every additional second this is talked about, your point is bolstered. That's the really fascinating part of all of this. This is possibly the most hypocritical video I've ever seen. <laughs> this, <laughs> is, this is definitely in the rankings for most <sighs> non-self-aware hypocritical videos we've ever watched i would agree with that and bots so um sorry rags uh you no where's you that info that coming case. from where's this quote coming from also, he says sorry Ra- like you haven't proven you anything just said it. you <laughs> and just this is, said it that's not what rags point even was <laughs> i can't handle this it's like even if all of what you said was true my point is still correct and um is he did the thing you went back to your video and just said you were wrong I knew it was gonna happen uh-oh movie tickets and theater seating this movie was the kind of oh yeah then there was the stuff about then there was the stuff about how there was a there was this really big controversy going around a lot of rumors and stuff about how disney was reportedly buying a shit ton of tickets and stuff right and how a lot of people were reporting back that theaters were empty but there was a lot of tickets bought and stuff like that yeah i forgot i kind of forgot about that people turn up to showings they're like where the hell is everyone yeah, like I, I hear it enough times to make me go. It isn't necessarily true, but it's very interesting. What a world generator that got lots of noggins jogging. See, got lots of noggins <laughs> yeah, jogging. And Makes also you think a lot of bullshit. But keep going. No, it's a bullshit. It wouldn't matter though. It wouldn't matter if that were true or not. That it were bullshit or not. It's still what people are talking about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's... Save me. Budweiser, uh, Budweiser, sorry, not Budweiser, I'm not drinking but, Budweiser. Budweiser? No, that's Budweiser. But, oh no. It's a, a Czech beer. These are my glasses. This uh, is it's my pronounced Budweiser. Czech beer, <laughs> not Czech beer. Idiot. Uh, it's your opinion. Czechoslovakia, that's how you pronounce Shut it. Shut up! 
Objective man. <laughs> Objective man away. <laughs> the movie itself was the cinematic equivalent of an exploding porta potty at the Tucson International Burrito Festival. Captain Marvel. That's a good analogy. Mm -hmm. Anti SJW jokes, everybody. He what? It? It's, about what? How, it's about how Mexican food makes you shit. How is that an anti SJW <laughs> joke? A exploding porta potty at the <laughs> Tucson Burrito Festival? How is that an anti SJW joke? It's about how burritos make you shit and gassy. <laughs> how is that an anti-SJW joke? If anything, I'm including ethnic food. I'm being inclusive. <laughs> Brenda's porta potties, ethnic food, Rex, Tucson, you... Arizona. You fucking racist rags! How dare you? I don't. <laughs> what isn't it? Uh, I. I thought that was a nice analogy myself, but I guess if I wasn't such an anti SJW, what what are the like a chud or a Chad a chud or whatever, I'd be one of those <laughs> poop jokes. Yeah, like Solar Saiyan says, poop jokes are anti SJW. Apparently, yeah, <laughs> apparently they are. Damn it! I don't, I don't know. I, like I got nothing to say. I just find that really funny. <laughs> Let's do it again. Oh my god stirred a lot of bullshit, but keep going. And of course, the movie itself was the cinematic equivalent of an exploding porta potty at the Tucson International Burrito Festival. Captain Marvel Anti-SJW jokes, everybody. He's so funny. <laughs> is one of the most <laughs> terrible films of our Yeah, generation. you wish you could be You know, funny. I guess I, I don't script these really. I just sort of go with the flow. I haven't really discussed why. Yeah, this... you're way yeah, better. Yeah, gee, I can fucking tell. <laughs> yeah, I can what? fucking tell with the way that you're <laughs> You might want to rewatch your video. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm really like wasting time uh, with no. what I'm saying in this video. I don't I don't linger on irrelevant stuff. I'm always talking about something. Exploding poop. Exploding poop. <laughs> <a> joke. <laughs> Hate black people. Oh, oh, that's that's so bad. Sort of just assume because my audience isn't fucking stupid that what a yeah, fucking boy. smug piece of shit. Your what? lame is literally smug! <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my god, your name is literally smug. This is, uh, this is this getting... Is great. I love this video so much. I love this video so much. It's so pathetic. I love it. This yeah. is like the Batwoman of This is video. the fucking Spider-Man meme. The, the pointing <laughs> Spider-Man meme. <laughs> So yeah, how smug of you to call your, uh, to call your audience intelligent, you oh. smug piece of shit. Did he forget his name? His <laughs> name is Smug. It's <laughs> literally his name. Oh. oh my god. Give me a second. I gotta... I, I'm gonna go turn off my air conditioning. Jesus. Juicy, juicy irony. God damn. I didn't expect this tonight. This is... Uh, no, great. I know. It's, you, you, you don't know what's gonna... You don't know what's gonna come all over you in, in EFAP, you know? It could be anything. I was actually at a point today. I was like, "Oh, I'm kind of tired. Maybe I don't do EFAP today." And I was like, "Ah, oh, no. I said I'll be around. That would be." You would have missed all yeah, of this. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I, I I I went through, and now I'm just drinking again. <laughs> I'm glad we got through that first worthless video because this is this is this is gold right here. This is a gold. I can't wait till we get to the Mauler one. Oh, unless uh, that was the Mauler one. Yeah. Oh, that was, oh man, damn it. I know. I'm so oh, sorry. A, the, yeah. Third strike. What the fuck kind of a statement is that? Like, well, you know, I just, huh, since my audience isn't fucking retarded, they know that this no, movie is a stupid. fucking piece of yeah, shit. Yeah, it's stupid. <laughs> what kind of a fucking- So, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming you're appealing to the idea that it wouldn't take much for the audience to spot that the movie is fucking nonsensical? Pretty yeah. much. I, um, I think my audience is, uh, fairly intelligent. I think that the crossover between my guys and your guys and our guys are pretty, pretty- Fairly smart bunch, you know. I I read the comments, I watch the chat. They're, they're you know, they they got something going on in that headspace up there. I like to think fairly highly of my audience. Well, that's racist. I certainly think our audience is better than I say better, and you know, probably in its own terms, but better than you know the you know the, the Chris Stuckman average viewer or something like that, or people <sighs> who just ingest cosmonaut videos. We're wow. like, oh, it was wrong, but I don't fucking care. The fucking cool. vanity on this doggo. The smug nature. <laughs> Destroy him. Remove him. Remove. I think that some audiences are better than others, and I wow. think we gotta... I think ours ranks pretty highly. Yeah, you would, Change racist. Oh, yeah. boy, it's a piece of shit. Smug fucking asshole. asshole. Do you have to be to say something like that. You sound like a complete piece of shit. Yeah. Like, the movie, first of all. Well, I just think, 
if people like you saying that I'm a piece of shit, like, I don't care. <laughs> I legitimately don't care. You should. I'm, I'm not trying to appeal to people who, people who hear that and get offended. I don't really care what your opinion is. You, you. Oh, the movie did that bad. It really it wasn't really that was. bad. It, it was. was. I, it, it was pretty it bad. It was shit. Yeah. It was horrible. Just because you didn't pick up on it, or you're not critical enough to analyze it well, or you're not, I don't, maybe smart enough to wow. see why the parts don't fit together. I don't, for whatever reason it may be, just because you liked it doesn't mean it was good. Because I know that's not a standard for movies that you're going to hold to. No. I guarantee it. Yeah, well, you already pointed that out with the whole, like, oh, it's it can't be as bad as The Room. It's like, people love The Room. By your own yeah, standard, so it, must be good. it loses to The Room, so I don't even know. If I love The yeah. Room more than he loved Captain Marvel, then The Room is better than a 6 out of 10. Pretty simple. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Like I said, I was a 6 out of 10. I watched Angry Joe's review. He gave it a 7 out of 10. Oh, boy. Well, he's wrong. <laughs> He's <laughs> look, Angry Joe is a cool dude. I like him a lot, and I like yeah, a lot of Angry his reviews. Nice. However, his, his gaming reviews, reviews are a lot stronger than his movie reviews. Yeah, uh, his, he's had. We've talked about his private. Like, what was it? Was Suicide Squad? I think was the first one. Where people were like, "Holy shit!" And then he eventually was like, "Yeah, okay, Suicide Squad wasn't good. I was wrong." <laughs> then he said the Predator was good, which blew my fucking mind. I was <laughs> like, "What? What have you been smoking? <laughs> like the Predator's so bad." There was, uh, what was the film? The people were telling us that he like reviewed relatively well. Was it Justice League that he reviewed well as it well? Was, we went through a bunch of his DC EU movies. Right. And got the numbers for him, and they were, let's say, way more positive than I think they had any right. Oh to shit! Be. Everyone's highlighting. He was one of the usual suspects. Familiar in the video. Right. Yeah. So, but but the, now the, now we're appealing to his opinion rather than just just ignoring it. That's interesting. I mean, or did this person just see the quartering at the top, and they are they just assume <laughs> that everybody else was like the quartering? Well, okay, so think of this lineup: person you you don't like, person you do like, and person you don't know. The usual suspects. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> this, uh, yeah, uh, th there's so many contradictions in this video. It's fascinating. So, what, what's this bullshit like? Oh, if you're not fucking stupid, you would think you would think that this movie is actually a piece of shit. I I think that you're proving my point. Damn. I think this video this video has this video of yours has sort of vindicated me in a way that I didn't think possible. Because I meant that as a joke. Just the thus the close up of my smug doggo face. I wasn't really being serious to insult people. Oh, I do think highly of my audience. That part is true. I, that was spoken in earnest. But you're sort of proving the point with this video here. I don't think you're very smart. And I have a lot of evidence to back up that claim now. <laughs> like how I think that. <laughs> you would think like me because I'm smart. Yeah. God, that's just like... You're just being a smug asshole. Stop I saying mean, that word. You, you've got the word in your name. Stop it. <laughs> And it's not funny. If it's you're doing it to try to be funny, it's not funny. It you is, do though. That's Correct. Correct. I thought it was funny. <laughs> I think I thought it was pretty great. There you go. Yeah, I, I have now provided the counter-argument of I thought this, it was funny. This, this guy's tears, to me, they are like a delicious soup. Mm. That gives me great sustenance. Is, is, is the soup loud? It is a very loud soup. Oh, yeah, it's a loud yes. soup. <laughs> it's a very loud soup. This soup won't shut the fuck up. <laughs> You realize just be asshole isn't funny, right, Rags? Like, what are no, you doing is. right now? It is <laughs> just being an asshole. No, this is this. He, I was doing it to be funny, but I wasn't funny. He's doing it, and it is righteous indignation. Okay, this man has the spirit of virtue in him. I understand. Oh my god, I can't believe I ever used to like you. Holy, Aww. I don't care if you used to like me. You like Captain Marvel, so what the fuck? I, 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 don't, care. I don't care what you like. Oh, that's hilarious. It's like, someone who likes Captain Marvel, I hope they don't like me. <laughs> it's like, I, yeah, what you like is at best shaky territory. Oh. Holy shit. If, what's funny is if anybody else talked like this, Rags would be dragging him through the mud. He would be like, I mean, if they were the wrong.
Yeah, well, we, we've right, talked about so. that before. Um, being, like, mean when you're right is one thing. Being mean when you're wrong is, like, embarrassing. Yeah. If you're, if you're correct and smug about it, you get, like, a plus one. But if you're smug and wrong, it's, like, a negative five. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? You have, a, you have more to lose than you do to gain. But I'm just built out of confidence, and I know what the fuck I'm talking about. So that's a gamble <laughs> that I'm taking. The shit out of them. But he's doing it here, unironically. He's doing yeah. the exact thing he used to make fun of other people for right. doing. He used to make fun of console fanboys for their fucking elitism. And whoa, 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 whoa. We've jumped from him being an yeah, asshole yeah. to him being elitist. Um, yeah, he's, he's going, he's digging a hole he doesn't want to be in right now. It's uh, just, uh, insanely <laughs> stupid. Hey, Rex, did you ever insult like, anybody oh, in your my videos? My audience is intelligent. Oh, assholes, the elitist. No. You, um, when you did responses with, with the PC vs. console, right? Do you, you ever throw any insult in there? Yeah. Oh, well, no, you didn't, apparently. Oh, all right. That was not something you I mean, to... like, I wasn't... I don't think I was... I can't... I can't remember if I was as inflammatory then as I am now. I don't think I am. But I think part of that is because I've just been on the internet long enough in a semi-public way to where I've just... I've got a, a, a hard, callous exterior. And it, and just I'm just mm. playing the game, and um, it's part of the culture in my heart right now. I don't know. You mean racism? Sure. Oh yeah, definitely. In the misogynisms. Oh yeah, <laughs> definitely those. And now he's unironically being an elitist asshole. It's just, about what? It's just. Is he? I mean, I think my I think my taste in movies. Let me put it this way: I think I'm better than you in this aspect. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I have a lot of information that I could use to supplement that opinion I hold. Well, so, th so this would be the comparison. Um, if I said a, a PC is going to offer you more features and function better than a console, uh, like when we compare price ranges or whatever, and you're like, you're being elitist, I'd be like, oh, um, I, don't know if, I don't know if that counts as elitist versus just being like, wouldn't elitist be more so your, um, how is that usually used as a term? Is that when, does I, it, is and, being right irrelevant of being elitist? Um, it might have, an elitist, I assume, elitist uh, relating to or supporting the view that a society or system should be led by an elite. Well, that's not what it means in this, that's not how we use it. Um, yeah, we don't really use it and it's more, in, in its general sense. Normally when we talk about elite, elitism, it is a, like, I'm better like than the... you because of... I don't... Honestly, that's a good question, because if I was asked to define elitism, it seems like it's just sort of being synonymous with, like, I just think that my way's better than yours, and your way is worse than mine, and people call that elitist. So that's kind of what I was getting at. It's like, if, if I just said, you know, the the best console out of the this whatever generation is this one, and I give no reasoning for it, and I never move from that position... That's what I'd rather call elitism versus someone like trying to lay out exactly what they all offer, what they do, and then trying to pick one based on those criteria. Uh, but it, do they both class as being elitist or like gatekeeping? I don't know. Um, I mean, if 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 you want to call me an elitist because I have all of these objective reasons why the PC is a better gaming platform than a console is, then call me an elitist. I that's don't what, care. That's what I'm I was going to say. If that's correct. what it means to be an elite, I'd be like, well, I guess that's fine. Because <laughs> if, if, if elitism is just, I think that something I think is correct and the thing, thing you think is wrong, then you're, everyone is an elitist about something. You can't not be. <laughs> oh my god, is this the first... This is, this is what we're... This is Hiddle Subaldies. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Look, guys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it'll, it'll, I like the way it's written. <laughs> yeah, it'll, 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. I love that. He knows his shit. That's fantastic. All right. Hey, look pretty. His, look, he looks <laughs> much, that guy, but he knows he's right. I think Hiddle Subtleties is an uh, elitist. We also have this incredible fan art for the 101. <laughs> <laughs> Just laugh. <laughs> <laughs> We've actually got um once we're through the video portion, I actually got a bit of fan art to uh, to show. Quite a quite a cool. chunk of roo. But yeah, this one's pretty pretty swag, pretty awesome. I'm oh. I'm the one on the left, right? <laughs> yeah, with small arms. <laughs> Rags, you are looking fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, man, I've ooh. A pointy tail. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why is yeah, Anna that's tiny? What I'm, that's what I'm known for with my extremely straight pointy tail. <laughs> really. what, why, I'm why, the only one doing social distancing, so you're all very inconsiderate, I think. So No, we just left you alone. <laughs> like, so, oh. I guess we got Mahler, then me, then ER, then J, then who's on the right that's metal. He's crying. Wait, why, why is the, the tiny... J? Tiny person J. Why is, yeah, why is the tiny woman J? I don't. I, I think it represents the panel here right now. Yes. Mm. Oh my god. Yeah. Wow. Anna, the, the, the tiny lady. Yeah, Rex. I don't know. Um, you're looking good. I'm just, I'm just saying. Yeah, I, I think some. I'm looking good too. I've got my pirate, uh, my eye patch on. I'm ready to sail, <laughs> sail the open seas. Ready to get some booty. <laughs> uh, really fucking the thing. All right. Well, let's let's let him let's let him keep going. Let's let Yay. him at least justify his opinion. Hopefully he does. Hopefully he actually gives some sort of reason. Yeah. You guys know that this film's terrible, especially if you've seen it. But for those who haven't seen it or who saw it and for some reason don't think it's awful or think it's decent. For those who saw it and for some reason don't think it's awful because you're probably a fucking idiot. I mean, he said it pretty casually. Like he didn't say it. Yeah, I, I kind of said it. <laughs> Because obviously, if you if you redo it, like if if you had said in your video, if you don't think it's fucking shit, then maybe I can change your stupid fucking mind. I'd yeah. be like, Rags, you need to chill. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, if you saw it and for whatever reason you somehow thought it was good, I mean, it's pretty a pretty inoffensive bit of a jabbery right there. Pretty pretty low tier, you know, with a nudge nudgery. Mm -hmm. And look at look at Hello. the face you've got on right now. You're like concerned. Oh hi. You're like, Welcome oh. back. I'm back. Hello. He's back. Someone drew you. Somebody drew me. <laughs> yeah, it's the last one there. You're next to you're next to uh, ER. Oh. You're to his right. <laughs> oh, they made me a little tall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. No heavy metal. <laughs> Rex, good. what is wrong with your butt? <laughs> No, my butt. No, no, that's my fourth leg. It's 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 like that for I've I've got a I've got a lymph noid problem. Noid. <laughs> Who's the person that's crying off to the side with headphones? No. Hey, that's me. I'm right here. Okay. I'm putting consult. In oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. These heads, me. these these uh, doggo heads for me seem to be popular uh, lately. <laughs> I like them. <laughs> Uncle Hitler. <laughs> That's the first thing we hear from ER when that's coming up. I <laughs> yeah. Daddy. It's like, ha ha, don't you mind? Yay. <laughs> so anyway. Well, I'm not invited to Deutsche Weihnachten. That's fucked up. Mm. <laughs> or average. Or, or hey, maybe you think it's a good movie. Well, if you've got some time to spare later, then I would highly recommend that you watch one of my buddy's videos on it. Oh no. Okay. So Plank then becomes godlike. She glows and destroys everything in her path. It's extremely nail-biting once again. Like she had to take the patch off to prevent it from limiting her, right? Oh no, that was just metaphor or something because the real world patch just explodes. I'm not kidding, this happens, it just explodes on her neck. Her belief in her own power overpowered the six year long power limiter, meaning that this is a power limiter that only limits the subject's power if they believe their power is limited. Who wrote this? <sighs> you might know. Okay, yeah. yeah, now he brings up Mauler. I mean, like, okay, oh. do you want to see something real quick? Um, oh my god, I'm excited. Here we go. <laughs> What's oh, gonna is, happen? Is your, your comment gonna be there? Oh god. I can't, I can't wait. I almost, oh, I'm so wait, excited. how far into your video rags has he gotten? Uh, four uh, minutes and 36 seconds. Yeah, sort of four, he skipped the intro. Big mistake, as always, because mm -hmm. they're great. Um, we, we watched all of his. It was shit. Um, but yeah, so basically he's done about four minutes, very loosely. I think he skipped around. Maybe, so he, I don't know. So fucking stupid, by the way. That she was the time warp. She wears that neck thing, and it doesn't actually do anything. <laughs> it's, it's actually pointless. He was actually in the uh, in the Yo! thingy down here. Hey. Let's see, where is it? An unbridled mass. So even he he's says, in even in his own title, it says mass. So he had a very average opinion of it. So what? Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> No, judging a YouTube video by its title. Oh no, he thinks I think Yo. it's fine. Oh no, it's why would he think that face. when you've introduced the video as a video that explains how bad the film is? It's so bad. Mother's <laughs> video shreds it.
We all do. On multiple EFAPs, we've talked about how terrible this movie yeah, is. Yeah, I, I tried to I explain it. I hit a button it as... on my keyboard by accident, and it reloaded the page. Oh no! I said that the uh, the film. I'm pretty sure I justified as the film didn't like make me angry. It was just shit. Like that's why it was a meh for me as a video. But it's really bad. That's the thing. Like, wow, you. <sighs> that's so embarrassing. So, for you saying it's like, <laughs> for you people who thought it was good, <laughs> what a bunch of fucking idiots. Um, well, no, apparently like your buddy didn't even like it. You'll notice that this video is an hour and 51 minutes long. Oh my uh, god, there's that many sorry. problems with the film. <laughs> oh my, hey, oh my hey, goodness. Hey, 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 shorter than the movie, so. <laughs> oh, that's okay. You're in the clear. I'm in the clear. Oh my god, oh, is yeah. Captain Marvel longer now, than an hour and 51 maybe, minutes? Let, let me check <laughs> something real quick. Runtime. Type oh, it. Oh, Type it. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, that's so. so uh, that could fucking. Everyone's window. spamming Long Man Bad. It's like, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Long Man uh, Bad. Episode 101. We're right back on track with Long Man Bad. Nothing's been missed. We're here. It's alive. You know, mm -hmm. this video is pretty long. <laughs> Come I mean, no. This this video is like what 38 minutes so that's i don't know that's mm, it's too long two yeah. minutes that's how long captain marvel is and this video is one hour 51 minutes this thing is literally almost as long as the movie it is okay so now, what's the point i was going <laughs> okay um no but also <laughs> doesn't matter so this no. thing is they it's think it's an argument yet. it's not yeah I hope my John Victoria is going to be 70 hours long. I know. They don't understand. Every time There's they complain, the longening happens for everything. Yeah. Just everything is just extending. Do you want this? Is this, is this what is going to happen? It only yeah. makes it longer. Two hours and five <laughs> minutes. That's how long Captain Marvel is. And this video is one hour, 51 minutes. This thing is literally almost as long as the movie it is. Now... What I was going to say before I rudely interrupted myself is I was going to say I'm not necessarily against that kind of content. Then why did you, you know, bring you... it up? What is the point? <laughs> why did you highlight it? Oh my. It's like, why? If you're not necessarily against it, and you have no idea what the content of the video is, and therefore you have no idea what that hour and 51 minutes is being spent on, then why the fuck are you bringing it up? Yeah, it'd be like, this movie is made by a white person, it's three hours, and it smells weird. And you're like, well, uh, <laughs> what What was the other two things? Why did you bring those up? You're like, oh, I, was, I was just, I don't know. Wait, this movie smells? <laughs> yeah, say. man. Mm, Ever been to a wow. smelly movie? Oof. I've, some movies look smelly. Mm -hmm. You can make long critiques about something that are actually really informative and really good. Mm -hmm. But if you make something that long, nearly two hours long, uh, he, Mahler, if you don't know, Mahler does that a lot. He'll, nearly he'll two do hours towards, long. Like, Wait, so are you life. against it or are you not? Yeah, so he said yeah. too long, but that's not a problem necessarily, but it is. <laughs> but if you make it that long, that's too long. He like, says, you I could make fucking... it. Mm. He said you could make a video that's very well, you know, like researched and has all this information, a lot of critique and stuff in it, oh. but an hour and 51 minutes? Like, clearly there's a, in this person's mind, there is a line somewhere. Mm -hmm. I would love to know the position of this line <clears throat> and where it is crossed. How long is too long? Because Last Jedi. Oh god, he's bringing up Last Jedi. Oh, fuck it, let's go. Last Jedi. Let's go <laughs> to uh, he's Mahler, if you don't know, Mahler does that a lot. He'll, he'll do this towards, like, I think he did towards The Last Jedi, he did it towards Rise of Skywalker, he did it, all that stuff. First of all, the point of a review is to inform you on whether or not you want to watch the movie. No. No. No, 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 it's that's not. up to you. <laughs> no, that's up to the viewer to decide. That's up to the creators. If you want to make your review definitively about whether or not you recommend the film, then you basically can't spoil anything, right? That would, that would be a part of it. And there are people who do that. That is not what I'm doing. So there's, there's a difference between a review and a critique, I would say. I mean, the the reviews that... I would say that reviews that don't have spoilers... Imagine that was for every product, right? <clears throat> Ads that didn't have spoilers for just any other product. Like, buy, our, buy this new John Deere riding lawn mower. We're not going to tell you how good it is. We're not going to tell you about the gas mileage or the reliability or what kind of gas it takes or how long it could run on batteries and stuff like that because we don't want to spoil it for you. 
<laughs> I, I could tell you how this gun shoots, but that would be uh, that would be spoiling. I could tell you about the reliability <laughs> issues, but I don't want to spoil the experience for you. Just give us your money. Can I, like the, the, I don't know how I would personally define review. Feels a little bit like it would probably be pretty broad, but most not people. Go with Oh, fuck Quentin's one. But I also say fuck the one that says it's a recommendation on whether or not you should buy or not. Like, I'd just be like, um, I would have, I would have way more preferred that to appeal. It is a person's perspective on the thing. Of course, yeah. you can, from that, get an idea of recommending or not. And some people will include that in their videos. They will say, I do recommend this or I don't. That's fine. But that's not all a review is. Yeah, I would, I would say a review is, I, if, if we had to get down to what, is necessary to make something review. I would I would say it's some form of analysis on us on the subject. Sure. Um, it could be totally with or without an intent to sway someone one direction or the other. It could be a totally straight. You know, this chair. I'm going to review this chair. It is this dimension by this dimension by this dimension. It is made of approximately 87% plastic, 10% metal. Da 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 da. da. To just nothing but pure straight fucking furniture facts. It's a review. It's a, it's an analysis of the object. So at most, if you want to be like a really critical good reviewer, you would only need like me. Did this person kill this oh, thing? Uh, he's gonna he's gonna say if you are a good reviewer, you only need X amount of time, even oh, though he's dude. not minutes. even though he's not against long reviews but apparently he is because yeah we're also on theme the previous video said to be a true critic blah 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 this one's saying to be a good critic i think he said let's just roll it back yeah i, I, I rolled it towards back the last to jedi yeah. he did it towards rise of skywalker he did it all that stuff first of all the point of a review also if just to just before this goes on did this person kill this monster then leave and then come back and killed it again I wasn't paying attention to the footage, honestly. Um, okay, well, that's they might have ran off to heal or something. Is to yeah, inform maybe. you on whether or not you want to watch the movie. So, uh, at most, if you want to be like a really critical, good reviewer, you would only need like maybe 20, 20 to thirty. No, by your standard, you'd need oh, yeah. you'd need literally less than thirty seconds by your standard. Yeah. I like this movie. It was good. Go watch it. Yeah, that's all you need. Patreon. How have you arrived at this number? <laughs> why? Why twenty minutes? <laughs> I, I don't why know. Of, I don't know why that would be. All the time that you can pick out. Tell me that. Like, why? Why twenty? Of all the times to pick, why a third of an hour? Why that? Because that's Cause how much good. he wants. Thirty minutes. Minutes at the very most to give like, very oh detailed, God. obviously spoiler heavy opinions. It's obnoxiously long to the point where if you're gonna make you just said out. that you don't care if it's a long review, if it's well made, and then you say it's too long, you can go fuck yourself. Just so rewatch your fucking watched, videos. Um... Oh my God, so fucking cringe. <sighs> what about like professional reviews, like when they do, uh, you know? The people that made the movie and then they're talking about like reviewing their entire process and the making of kind of stuff and the those commentary. are usually yeah. well, not just the commentary like when they have like professionals that have been working in the industry i remember uh watching a lot of those some um, like disney movies when they're talking about oh this is the difference between like mary blair disney movie and then like the uh other types of animation and they're doing a review of the genre of animation and you know those are like hours long well that's the thing when when you, you get know? into it if someone said like how long can the director talk about their movie it's like eh, 30 minutes i'd just be like no just however <laughs> fucking long they want to talk they can talk. why <sighs> it's as long as it is there are no rules for this shit two hours long isn't it just gonna be fucking yeah we're the... at that point we're the ones who constantly get lambasted for, oh, they say that there's objectively a right and a wrong and this, that, and the other thing. And they're the ones who also say 20 minutes is all you need for a review. <laughs> what, if, oh, what, what if it's oh. 25? Do they just... No bad. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Get to the point. You're five minutes over time. Some of us have things to do. You know Some for of us fact, have monsters to kill. You know for a fact if they were here right now, they'd say, um, that's cool. 25 is fine. It's like 30? Yeah, 30 is... Okay, 35? Hmm. What changed? <laughs> yeah, what well, changed. it was the line. What happened? All right, we found the line where you're going. Mm, so why? Why then? Why thirty-five? 
Tell me why. It's obnoxiously long. Because it's obnoxiously long. That's why. I think it's obnoxiously short. I want more. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Counted. To the point so, where if you're going to make something like two hours long, isn't it just going to be fucking nitpicky at that point? No. I don't know. Maybe if you watched it, you'd find Maybe. out. Who yeah. Knows? Yeah. I mean, like, I, I know you spent zero time on making this, basically, but you could put a little bit of time and just like, hey, I'm going to make this video on Rags' this thing. Maybe I could... Man, what a world if I could make a make a YouTube video and only have to do two hours of research. Wow, what a world. And that's my biggest critique of Mahler, is that he tends to just get really fucking nitpicky and he reiterates himself a lot. Prove it. Prove it. Find me a video where I... I... Uh, repeat my point without realizing I've made it and it, it, there's no additional context. People say about yeah, this about and, me constantly, but they never fucking prove it. And in a world where we have fucking knobheads like Hello Greedo saying, oh yeah, the, the hyperspace kamikaze, that's just a nitpick. I don't believe <laughs> anyone anymore when they say it, they're, you're just nitpicking. I don't think anyone's thought about their use of the term nitpick beyond the thing I don't like. Go away. Like, he, he hasn't even watched all, he's, he says he has watched my video. I don't believe him. But we well, said he watched, watched mine. Eleven minutes, yeah. right? He watched twelve. He of said, it. "Oh yeah, I watched twelve. Assuming this that they're not lying, and I'm not ready to give this person <laughs> the benefit of the doubt." Mm -hmm. um, they're a dragon. Yours. How dare you? I mean, like, there's a level of research you do on source material before you comment on it. Mm -hmm. You know that you should just do. It should just be a normal thing that you do. I don't know. Maybe I'm just old school. Maybe I'm an old boomer. I think you should study like it's nitpicking. Stop nitpicking, yeah. That's his. That's and my he, style. He doesn't say anything new. For the most part, he just recaps the entire plot of the movie and just says, "Well, I think this is dumb." Yeah, well, this I think guy this just read it. And my critique of that is that you miss the bigger point. When oh my like what? god! Like what? No, this is just the the forest for the trees shit, which every yeah. time it's brought up, it just reverses the like, argument. It's yeah, easy. yeah. Every tree is rotted and infested with insects. And it's diseased, and it's but going to rags. die, and it's a fire hazard. But look at the forest. There's there's a lot of shitty trees. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Oh if you think. It's look so at the, gorgeous. You're missing the message of Captain Marvel, which is women can stand up. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, that's what that sums it up. It's just like, okay, well, I guess that makes all the shitty writing okay. Mm -hmm. When we're literally just going through and writing down every critique you have of everything. That's yeah. It gets to the point where it's just long-winded for the sake of being long-winded, and you're no, not actually making it. No, it doesn't. We don't leave shit out. We want to be thorough. Yeah, so the point yeah. is that for every single, like, we, we categorize it down usually into the four. Um, so writing is the umbrella, and then the four pillars, if you will. Everything in the movie, writing-wise, will fall into one of the four being character plot, willed, theme, right? Um, so everything I comment on, is going to be the bolstering or tearing down one of those aspects. For example, you just find a scene where the world is getting broken. It's like, well, that doesn't affect Captain Marvel's character at all. But then you have a scene where Captain Marvel fucking destroys a man's jukebox to prove she's not an alien to a guy who has no idea what it means to be able to prove you're not or are a Skrull, and she's happy about it. It's like, wow, that's like that's like really bad for her character right now to the to the viewers. That makes her like kind of a fucking idiot and an asshole. But um, hmm. You know, and then overall we're supposed to find it to be heroic. It's like, so that's a serious problem. And if he's like, that's just, you're just nitpicking that scene. I'd be like, oh. Okay, well, I, I don't know. I just see these, every, every action she takes is going to be important to judging her as a character. That's how I would justify it. <clears throat> so, I was thinking, so like, it's okay for a story to be two hours and five minutes. That's okay. That's appropriate length. Yes. <clears throat> But you cannot review it in more than twenty, because even though two hours and five minutes, because because I could just I could just assert and say, based on nothing, that two hours and five minutes way too long for a story. I've got things to do. You're just giving me details that I don't need. I got places to be. Thirty minutes tops for a story. All right. Stop with this self masturbatory artsy fartsy nonsense. All right. Just tell me that she can stand up. All right. You can do this with anything. Your point any stronger? You're just kind of I would say um, no. It, no, reinforcement is definitely making a point stronger. If you give 12 examples of something, that point is really fucking strong now. Feels like you're really killing for time. That was 
my basic Also, all you have to, I really wish, like, because <laughs> everyone says this shit about all of my work. I'm just like, can you just throw an example on? Just one. Even, I'd probably yeah. be annoyed with it if I found it to be, like, fallacious or whatever. But it's still better than never getting one. <laughs> I'm always like, hmm. At least Jack Saint did. Back in the day, they were all terrible though, so I don't know. I don't yeah, know what I really prefer, bad. like yeah. a broad statement about how I definitely do a thing with no proof, or with faulty proof. What What is preferable? I don't know. I don't know. Um, maybe faulty proof at least gives you something to talk about. Yeah. But also, like, why why make it long? If if this is why the video is so long. Oh, why? everybody! Sorry, everybody's saying he sent a super chat. One sec. Mm -hmm. This the, guy sent a super chat? The Thought Plickens, as Rags would say. Uh, hi guys, little embarrassed here. This video was not that good, I admit. I cut this out of my video, I left it, and I left it unlisted. I appreciate the critique. Yeah, well, hey. I mean, okay. I'm cool with that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Do we do we continue then? What's what's the what's the mo um, here? I don't, know. I don't really care. I think we've. I I, I guess there, there's a curiosity part of me <clears throat> that wants to see what's said about my video because this is sort of a lot of this has gone into, like now now we're on the U we're on the U thread and we were on the one about the Captain Marvel reviews and stuff and the Reddit thing and the usual suspect stuff. We haven't talked about my video that, all that much and. Uh, I guess I'm, maybe I could skip around and see if they go back to my video, because I'd be curious what they have to say. Um, maybe we could just carry. Well, yeah, I don't know wherever you want to go. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll check a little bit more of it, or, or we can go back to where we were. I don't know. Something. So I expected better from you, Rags. I really did. But okay, um, we're we're not really that far through the video, so maybe maybe there's a remote chance where he'll at some point justify this video. By the well, way, I mean there's an did hour anybody and ten minutes video? <laughs> yeah, because like it's it's painful the the structure of just you've listened to four minutes. Rags has counted the arguments that have been presented so far, and you're like, what if you'll justify? I'm not even sure what what opinion um is being looked to just to be justified right now. I'm not sure. Um, I think. Like I, I don't, I don't recall doing this. But if an hour, if a video was let's say an hour long, and I was five minutes in, and I haven't gotten like anything juicy yet, that's okay, because I still have fifty-five more minutes of content, and it's full of something. You know, it's fifty-four minutes of something. So I'd assume, yeah, sure. In in the first, in the first five percent of your video or whatever, I I don't know if you. That's where all of your good stuff would be. You know, you'd want to. It, it, and plus, this this video is clearly following a structure, which is commenting off of his video. His video is the blueprint for mine. So if he says something in the middle of his video, then it won't be until around the middle of mine that I get to it. And if um, I cover their intros as well, then that's probably not going to be the most substantive stuff. Everyone's saying invite odd. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not against it. Uh... Yeah, we're fine with it. Could could watch the rest with him. Good. To well, so send me um send me a message on Discord. Um, I think it's was it Karina versus instead of I don't know if they call them Smug or not. <laughs> I don't know if that's their actual name. Um, yeah, drop drop a drop a thing. There should be a link to the Discord in uh, in the description. So, so poke me on on Discord. I'll keep an eye out for it. Remember what this kid was talking about before Rags just went on insufferable rants? Did any did anybody rants? I don't think they were even ranty. Honestly, hey, I think it was fairly succinct. I like your rants. Thank you. I'm glad that. Nobody <laughs> know what he was actually talking about. The last thing he mentioned well, he was, was Spider Man, and he's going into ridiculous detail about controversy and bullshit. Just... What are you? Why have you well, lost I'm the not, thread? No, You've lost not, the thread not... completely. <laughs> But it's not ridiculous detail. You even said you even had to like look it up and stuff yourself. I, I wasn't going into ridic ridic ridiculous detail. I was just referring to some of the controversies and saying, yeah, this is probably why people talked about it. It because made sense. It was very straightforward. It was very simple. Yeah. Oops. Just like you forgot.
kid was even talking about. No, I, like, I, I only remember Spider Man because <laughs> I've seen this video before. But no, Rags is like so. When Rags built this video, it would be he's playing it. He is what Brown Table says. Responds to it, then continues. There's no like it's going to be really hard for Rags to lose the plot. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is legitimately really difficult. I I really like this structure of video. Really easy to follow through with. And you, and sorry, I want to make a separation between what Rags is doing, what we are doing, right? So so Rags puts this into a timeline and then animates all the stuff on top of it, and thus has to listen, going through it. So, I listen to it so much because the, yeah. the visual animations here, animations to stretch, but putting the pictures on, I have to, like, it, it, it's matched up to the words. I have to pay a lot of attention to the words. Which helps me edit, by the way, because sometimes I catch things in mm -hmm. the, well, the visual part that I'm like, oh, wait, that didn't. Obviously, it's not a thing, but theoretically, like, if I was, if EFAB was the only thing we did, um, I could, after every one of them, rewatch them and chop out every last piece of, of pause or misspeaking and, and, you know, refine them as podcasts, which is, um, you know, just another format of, of video making. And uh, what I'm suggesting is that Rags would have heard his responses, he would have heard the arguments, and then he would have. It, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> That's what yeah. I was to say. It's just really, this format is really obnoxious. It is. Notice that this great. video is almost two hours long. By the way, this is my favorite. I think this is my favorite format to listen to other people do as well because I get like two videos in one. Well, yeah. funnily enough, yeah. That's because the, Captain um, Marvel. I don't know. Sound. The, 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 it's not going to sound biased because I, I made a similar type of thing before it even knew you existed. So yeah, we we both like this kind of thing. And then EFAP is that kind of thing. <laughs> the video plays, we talk, then we let the video carry on. Isn't this literally his format right now? Yes. So Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Um un momento. Wow, like I'm busy doing a thing. Why don't you fart or something? Uh <laughs> You're like an old man fart. Like, oh god! It's just like a, like a, like a squirt, an air yes. squirt. Um. Oh, okay. Hello. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, oh. Hello. I'm gonna have to. Yes, I go. Hi. One I can sec. barely hear him. Yeah, turn it up. Just turn up a mic. Sorry about that. Um, let's go. Let's see, I, I haven't used Discord very often, so this might be a little embarrassing. Voice and video. All right. Um, how you doing? Yeah, We've been cool. checking out your video. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, admittedly, I'm really embarrassed because this video, um, what you're seeing right now is the old version of this. I actually took it down and uploaded it because actually, um. Some people pointed out some very uh, blatant things to me, and I was like, oh my god, I'm a fucking idiot. Um, normally, uh, I just wanted to say that um, I'm only a person who gives an opinion, and for some reason, this one was uh, really dumb. This is not really representative of what I... This doesn't really represent me as well as it should. Um, All right. Uh, I'm trying to think of... So, uh, let's just try and... I'm trying to think of what was like in the video. So... Uh, the controversies with Captain Marvel, like, so do you, do you, Rags' point was that everyone's still talking about Captain Marvel because loads of shit happened around the movie, rather than just being the movie. Like, that was why... Uh, right, in addition right. to the, the trailers and the fact the film was out, and the deleted scenes had brought it back into this course of film, and there's a lot of info that we can use, and it, it's very content-rich. Mm -hmm. so right, it, yeah. Like, even Brown Table eventually thought that what he said here was kind of stupid the whole like why aren't people talking about spider-man it's coming out it's like there's nothing to say about spider-man other than like yeah it's cool that it's coming out looking forward to it but um captain marvel like i don't know if you remember when the deleted scene came out with the dawn and everything it just reignited the whole discussion yeah. yeah like a lot of people yeah. were defending it and defending saying oh captain marvel you go girl you you show that guy what and they were defending her behavior and actions and it was like really disgusting and that's what this whole video is about is Round table is essentially defending her actions, and that is, I mean, thus the name of the video. What Captain Marvel does in that scene is outright villainous and horrific. 
I can understand that. Yeah. And to be honest, I feel dumb because in that same video, I did. Um, I didn't get to the whole deleted scene. I probably should have showed the end of that, but I didn't. So that was a big dumb dumb move on my part. So I'm I'm gonna admit. That. All right. Well. But um. All right. at, at, at the same time, I do have an opinion on that deleted scene. It was kind of um. So I remember you saying you guys laughing at the the whole sexual harassment kind of thing, and I thought, well, wait a minute now. If well, that's because it's not sexual like harassment. Dog. Yeah, it's not sexual harassment. That's why we laughed at it. Well, I know. I think. Um, well, I have, a, I have a bit of a contentious thing about that because it's. Uh, if you like, could you picture yourself doing that, getting yourself in her face when she clearly ignores? He wasn't you in her face. He, he's not well, in her face really at all. In her face. That's that's not really the case. Not like in her face, in her face. But I mean, he, like, he's not in her face. She assaults him, it. dude. Yeah, they're, they're at a they're, they're at a totally I, normal distance between two what that two people would be at for any conversation in public. I will admit, um, assaulting him, I don't think he deserved that at all. <laughs> I would, I'm glad, I would, I'm glad agree, I would agree, yeah. It, uh, you know, no, you deserve that, and I'm just, um, that, that was big stupid. Was and and we stupid. said that, we even said that him with the map was like, I wouldn't do that myself. I don't think he should have done that, but I think that's such a tiny thing. Like if if I was if I was Captain Marvel, and especially knowing what my what I was capable of, like power level wise, knowing that this guy could not possibly even dream of harming me in any way, I would certainly not go to that level. But even if it was just like one person and another person, I would be like that. That'd be annoying, and I'd say, "What are you doing? Like you're being a weird person. Like this isn't isn't helping your case." Or I don't I don't want to talk. Um. But yeah, I, I think her reaction to his his slight slight was uh, extreme and villainous. Yeah, and I, I don't know if I would classify how about a smile as like like how we classifying flirting yeah, versus harassment. I, I just sorry, sorry. I, yeah. I wouldn't want us I, to, to go in this far because I feel like at that point, like ask, I don't know, man, just just, just like, being like, I, hey, a smile, you know. I feel like if if we call a man politely asking an attractive woman that he sees to smile if we call if that is our bar for what sexual harassment is then like oof man yeah i feel, I feel like a, if, if that's a... the case then what he what she did in response should just be classified as murder i guess <laughs> it's like fuck it let's just go crazy well it's violence i mean like i was looking at it at the perspective of i would definitely not do this in real life and if somebody did that to me in real life i would be Freaked out. If you're if you're a woman and some man approaches you like that, you would get a little. Bit All right, uneasy. I'm a woman. Let's talk about this. If a man approached me and asked me uh, if I was lost, making fun of what I'm wearing, because uh, if I was wearing that, then yeah, it, that seems like a logical thing. Uh, he was not sexually harassing her in any way. Uh, he was flirting with her. She was an asshole, and then she assaulted him, robbed him, physically harmed him, robbed from a store, and what took off with his motorcycle. He did absolutely nothing wrong. She was the one that offered uh, the handshake that initiated the contact. She was the one that was an asshole the entire time. So there is absolutely no excuse. And trying to say, oh, let me put myself in like the shoes of a woman. Eh, I don't know any woman that's going to watch that scene and think that, you know, he was the one doing anything wrong. Again, I don't think the... Um... What she what he did was that was that bad in retrospect and admittedly knowing that that happened afterwards and i didn't kind of show that made me look really bad i i will admit that straight up yeah and uh i and uh, one of the biggest criticisms when i only covered 11 minutes of the video and that's yeah and i'm talking like well you know i listened to this and i'm kind of like i already feel like he's kind of um, being a little bit dishonest with Brown Table. Admittedly, I didn't know who Brown Table was. Like, if I knew him better, maybe I would understand. Well, I don't know Brown Table really. I have. I've just going by what he says in his videos that he posts publicly and the stuff that he comments on. I don't feel like I have to know him to you know respond to the things he's saying. And if he doesn't believe them, then he shouldn't say them and present them as what you know what he believes and what he thinks. Um. I, I, I don't I don't feel like I have to get into his psyche to really I mean it might be interesting to know it might inform me as to why he's saying the things he's saying, but I, I don't think that would be like an excuse. Yeah, so that um I probably should have I, I could have done a lot better on that, well, this is, what this video was the reason I don't do live videos anymore because I found I get lazy with them. So 
Yeah, and admittedly, I did that. Well, that what is, um, is there anything that I say in the video that you do, uh, like still have a contention with? Anything that I say that you disagree with? Anything that still would hold up that we can talk about? I would say the only major thing is really that uh, Captain Marvel is one of the worst movies ever made. I was kind of like, eh, well, you, I think your point hinged on that quite a lot, saying that just like, um, no, this is still a piece Not of really, shit. actually. Um, it's, it's actually totally... Th so Captain Marvel could have been a 9 out of 10 incredible stellar movie, but this video is about the deleted scene, specifically Brown Table's opinion on the deleted scene and the stuff that he says about people who have an issue with it. Um, the quality of the film doesn't even really have anything to do with the points that I'm making. He just thinks that the film is good or that it's okay or whatever it is. And so I think that it's terrible. Um, if you ever do, I know an hour and 51 minutes is, you know, it's almost two hours of time to devote to something that you might not have an interest in, but there is a reason I do bring up Mahler's video. It is very comprehensive. Um, yeah, goes into a lot of the issues with the film. I suppose we can jump over to that. You, you, um, I, I suppose from my title, you thought that I was trying to say that I found it to be a middling movie. It represents my emotional response, but what I was talking about, like that structural was... with writing, is a disaster in that film. It takes me two hours to go through every single thing they they fuck up in the movie, but at the end, I'm like, yeah, it was Captain Captain Marvel's a very very like like it doesn't move me in in anger or in celebration or anything. It was it was such a meh experience, and yet the writing itself, though, is, like I said, structurally, characters plot willed and um, thematically trying to argue like the the issue is is uh, women need to believe that like that their power is just uh, being repressed. But it doesn't make sense because Captain Marvel beats the person who's telling her to to like hey chill out, stop stop expressing yourself, let's say, allegorically. She beats him, and at the end of the film, he's like, hey, give me a fair fight, and she says no, and beats him. There's no, I don't understand how that could possibly give anybody any sense of a message about, like, how to operate as a, as a woman in real life when facing oppression. She doesn't face any. Um, her, her, her neck brace, the thing that keeps her depowered, doesn't even work. And but but it wouldn't matter if it did because she's still more powerful than basically anybody in the movie prior to it being released and afterwards she's godlike. No one can beat her. We're lucky yeah, that Thanos and, managed to get the lucky punch off. Yeah, this like the issues with Captain Marvel they bleed over into other movies and even retcon prior ones. Um, it's not an isolated bad movie, which is unfortunate. Um, it's that's why some movies that are really terrible sort of get quote unquote a pass because they're sort of self contained. Uh, Captain Marvel as a movie kind of fucks with other shit, um, which is annoying, certainly. And it's definitely not something that we want to encourage. No, I take it. And um, originally, you guys saw the old version. I guess somebody downloaded it and sent it to you because, yeah, that version has been taken. No, I did. And that, oh, really? Yeah, I've got, uh, I've got it in... Uh, if, did, would, is there, that's why I'm, I was asking a moment ago, like, what I guess what what holds up that's why we've kind of stopped I suppose um what like holds up in terms of stuff I said that was wrong yeah. or incorrect or anything that I said that I guess is is still like you, that you still have an issue with because we could talk about it and we can uh we can see if it holds up or not uh the biggest thing admittedly I think the whole deleting reviews thing was a bit of misinformation because I saw um on uh on a Google, which part, yeah. which part was the information? Uh, which part was the misinformation? It was right around um, like them deleting reviews. It was about like the, to increase the tomato score, right? So they would say, "Oh, they're deleting negative reviews so they can increase the tomato score." That, they did. That, as least, far as um, I know, that's what they, happened. Yeah, are you actually disputing that they deleted like fifty thousand reviews? I'm not. I'm not disputing that. I said that was true. No, I said that was true. But like, that's the only point I, I, that needs to be true for my point to be accurate. And because yeah. my yeah, whole, to, the whole point really... that I was making was that because of that happening, reasons aside, motivations aside, the fact that it was done is enough to get you to be like, okay, so they deleted fifty-four thousand reviews. That's something that people are going to notice and they're going to talk about and. There's going to be speculation and people are going to present information on, you know, both sides. 
the reason doesn't really matter as long as it actually happens. It, no, not even that. Even if it didn't happen, but everybody was talking about it potentially happening, that's still a controversy that generates attention. Actually, yeah, it makes a lot more sense now. Um, yeah, it makes sense. Um, um, I guess, um, what was a, I think I was going to say something like that, but like, the whole, um, oh yeah, oh yeah. So I, I know uh, Rags, I'm pretty familiar with your channel. I've watched quite a few of your videos. I liked your videos back in the day. Um, so I, I know you know uh, what review bombing is, right? Um, I was just wanted to yeah. ask, how do you know they're, not, um, they're just deleting review bombing? That's what how I would do ask. I know you. they're not, I, I don't know. Yeah, but th then again, that's not related to your point. So yeah, I, I so yeah. my current belief <laughs> is I think that Rotten Tomatoes would especially because we're talking about disney here and the mouse knows no moral boundary um i agree we, with that i the rise of skywalker thinks a good example so i've seen some videos of people Mulan. who have milan is an excellent example um so with the rise of skywalker it has been perpetually on rotten tomatoes at 86 percent approval rate from pretty much its inception to i think it's still the case in fact i can check but The Rise of Skywalker, because I'm actually a little bit curious. Tomatoes. Let's give this a clicky click here. It is currently 86% positive after 98,259. So it's really suspect that you have an audience score that stays at perpetually 86% positive. Really, really weird. Especially with how panned it's getting by critics and with all of the all the stuff that's going on with, you know, in-film stuff. Um, in this doubly so after the the whether you hated it or loved it uh the divisiveness of the last jedi right so you have people coming out and saying so i went through a lot of these reviews and they have a lot of copy pasted stuff a lot of these reviews are super positive and they use the same like copy pasted comments that they've been able to control f fine stuff of that nature so i believe that rotten tomatoes absolutely has a they're not to be fully trusted when it comes to this stuff. And I know that Disney has a lot of say in the industry. They do a lot of shenanigans. Um, they don't really have any uh, moral scruples. So I totally believe that numbers are not always what they seem. I'm more convinced than not, especially nowadays, that when people say, oh, the bots, oh, the trolls, it's just used as a dismissive kind of you know, it sort of, it's used dismissively. Like, if we just call this group, maybe it's true, here's the thing. Maybe it's true that it is a huge amount of bot accounts, but I'm extremely suspect of whenever people use that as, a, as an excuse to do anything. That makes any sense? No, no, I hear you. And, you know, a lot of that is hard to argue with. So, um, I, Disney does have plenty of reason to, um, uh, Take down negative reviews and all that stuff, and you know that's that's really hard to argue with, yeah. Like if if this was a if this was a little indie film by um by by just some company or whatever, and I I mean I I think that the issue is that when Disney's involved with stuff, this is why I have a lot of I guess I don't borderline personal issues with we call them Disnoids here on EFAP <laughs> people who are like super fans of Disney products. When Disney is a very, very sketch company, right? Like uh, okay. I, whenever they're involved with things, my brow, poof, it goes up. I've got some, I've got some questions, and I'm very skeptical of a lot of stuff when it goes around with them. Disney has been very progressive in a lot of the ways that you know the force is female and da 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 da, da et cetera, et cetera. So with Captain Marvel and its very pro woman feministy kind of um, message, whether you agree with it or not. Um, I think that it would be in their best interest to really make it seem as if it did good. If it didn't, um, then again, it made a lot of money. So how much of that is owed to which sections? Is it because it became, it came right before end game? Is it because of the insane marketing done? Is it because of media hype reasons be what they may? There's a lot. I think of there's, and I yeah. There's a lot of variables. And I think a lot of it is, just being able to recognize, regardless of whether or not it's true, the controversy itself can be worth discussing either way. Um, and let's say that it is totally 100% true 
that 54,000 of those reviews that were deleted were actually totally, they, they were bots. They were downvote negative bots, in which case then I would be like, yeah, it was a good thing that they deleted them. But I don't trust Disney and I don't trust Rotten Tomatoes. They ruined that trustworthiness. And that's one of those long-term negative impacts that companies have on people when they're constantly pulling these, you know, shenanigans. Well, Actually, remember they removed the went to see? Oh, go ahead. Oh, sorry, that was my bad. No, no, you're fine. Go ahead. Someone talk. Yeah, go for it. Uh, give me a second, guys. I'll be right back. Yeah. Sure. Um, uh, Anna, what are you gonna say? Oh, I was just going to say, um, well, remember they removed the entire want to see because it got down to like 17%. So they just removed that entire yeah. feature from Rotten Tomatoes. Didn't they do something with TLJ where they got rid of, um, they added that, something happened. I think it was, I, I forget what it was. Um, I wish I could remember at the moment, but they changed, it might have been Rotten Tomatoes. They changed something about how reviews <laughs> were tallied or able to, able to be entered in because of TLJ. Um I don't know, maybe it'll come to me. Maybe someone in chat can jog my memory. I think I've heard a story about that too. Yeah, they changed it around that time, which uh I mean they change they change the rules sometimes. I'm kinda like it's kind of hard to say anything. Like uh, depending on which side of the internet you're on, you're gonna believe whatever is whatever your camp of the internet. Well, I mean, but that I, implies that you no. only get your information from people and you don't do the research yourself. That is true, which I try to avoid. And to be honest, uh, I kind of fucked up in that scenario. And I'm I'm going to admit it. And I took uh, a lot of things. There's a reason I took that Mahler bit out because, it, yeah, I didn't serve my point at all. And really, I actually like Mahler. I'm subscribed to his channel. I think uh -oh. he's pretty good. At oh I, okay, I have so many questions for you now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go, go. Um, I, I it wasn't the I thought you said that all I do is nitpick to pad out the time. Well, um, yeah, there's a reason. Uh, I, yeah, that's the reason. Probably the reason I stripped it out. Um, that's all. I feel like that's only sometimes true. There's a little bit. There's sometimes there's those little bits, but like then again, I'm not really against nitpicking, so I don't know why I said that. I was lying. Well, what's your definition of a nitpick, if I can ask? Like, what would be an example of something that was just a nitpick that Mahler had in his video? Uh, I wish I could point to a specific. Well, ending well what is a... fundamentally what would you classify as a nitpick? What uh, is a nitpick is kind of something that um, might go on on about at length for like longer than necessary. That doesn't really. Uh, I guess it will change between people, but like something extremely minor that you don't um, that you focus yeah, so on a little bit too much. To just the... like the way we say it is, it's a valid complaint, but it's a small complaint that has not a huge amount that affects much of anything but it's still valid so i can understand yeah. that you you it sounds like you were saying that um it's not just that it's the amount of time spent on it uh that almost makes you feel as though it's a it's maybe goes from nitpicking to uh, excessive nitpicking and um i suppose the, the reason Anna was probably looking for an example is that there may be nitpicks in, in my captain model review i feel like i i do nitpick in my videos but i don't consider it a bad thing so i usually try and be proportional with my time on it versus how effective it is in terms of fucking things up um but of course we were talking about this just before you arrived uh hello greedo considers the hyperspace kamikaze a nitpick which baffles us like that it's a major fuck up that that screws up space battles forever if if you were to say something like that about my captain Marvel video about a particular point we, we would all be like oh oh gosh that that's a nitpick um so yeah, that's probably where the confusion might lie. But um, a lot of people use nitpick to mean a lot of different things, that's all. Yeah, that's true. And admittedly, I took that section out because I didn't know what the fuck I was talking about, really. I was doing it live, and I didn't, I don't, I'm not good at talking live, really. So I try to do it to get out of my comfort zone because I try to bury up my content. But yeah, that whole oh. rant was really dumb, and that's why I took it out eventually. Yeah, then the rest of the video, I was kind of like, uh, yeah, it just wasn't that good. I just, <laughs> it's just funny because I got the impression I got the impression you really like, didn't like my videos, but you, <laughs> it's like I guess you do. No, like, okay. that's, that's actually not true at all. I probably should have clarified, but again, I was live. I, I'm very good live. If I was writing a script, I would have been better. I would have said, Mahler, I generally like his content. I like what he does. I've watched your thing on uh, H Bomber Guy's Dark Souls Two defense. I watched uh, that quite a lot. That was one of my favorites, along with Outlaw. Um, you talked about that one guy, uh, Norwal so guy. Like yeah, no. Uh, um, 
Yeah, well, yeah, I was going to say, it seems like you like the gaming ones more than the movie ones, maybe? Yeah, so maybe maybe I'm just not versed on the movie ones. I do like, um, I watched more of the gaming stuff, and I enjoyed them. I think they were really good. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's funny, a lot of people cite the, the DS2 stuff as their favorite things from, from my channel. I, I don't know if it's because they hate H. Palmer guy or not. No, it's, because, it's because I'm in it. I'll yes, because Mel's featured. <laughs> Um, I had a pretty up and down opinion on H Bomber guy. Uh, on one respect, I like him when he does when he does his research on stuff, but other times when he gets a bit obnoxious, I'm just uh, uh, but um, an up and down opinion. Yeah, uh, the only other thing I was I was interested in asking you is like, what do you think a review is supposed to be? Okay, so yeah, I I I would join the I join the what was it the stream at around that point where you guys are telling me like oh how long does a review have to be and yeah i i did not explain that very well at all so what i was basing that off of is i usually watch things like red letter media I watch angry, joe. angry joe's review was about 30 minutes long so i'm kind of like you know if you were to get into everything in a movie and get around to like every single thing and maybe even every critique you usually it would take 30 minutes at least i'm basing that off of the videos that i've watched on youtube that are around 25 to 30 minutes. I didn't explain that, and it sounds kind of dumb to have something. Yeah, you can talk about it as long as you want. Yeah, I just realized how dumb that's. Yeah, because I think the Red Light Media Rise of Skywalker one, isn't that 90 minutes? I, just, I, I think they actually call it the 90 minute Star Wars review or something. Oh, sorry. The they called it it's 70 minutes, so an hour and 10, which is still. If you would be okay with an hour and 10, I don't see why two hours would be unreasonable at that point, I guess. Yeah, and immediately I watched a little bit of the Captain Marvel. I, I, I probably sh uh, should have, and that was actually the big thing Rag cited. So if I were to go after him on, uh, oh, you didn't explain why Captain Marvel is? Well, he kind of cited a video, so that would be dumb of me to assume that he doesn't yeah, agree. And mostly it's just the quality of the film didn't really matter uh, to the point of the video. Uh, it could have been a great movie, but this scene was still been the yeah. scene, and that's all that it kind of needs to be. Um to you know, take care of that issue. Yeah, admittedly, I'm feeling embarrassed, man, because now everybody probably thinks, everybody I'm in chat probably thinks I'm a fucking retard. I <laughs> like, would probably think higher of you now. I was going to say, like, it, I mean, I wanted to clarify a few things, but I mean, you, you, I'm, I'm very thankful you came on and uh, wanted to talk yeah. about uh, corrections, addendums, whatever else. You Believe me, EFAB chat and the community are going to be very, very impressed that you uh, you come on. We've had, I want to say, like 15 instances of this compared to the like 100 of people who are like, I ain't talking to you guys, you, you horrible people. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm, one, one thing you should know about me, I'm a very open minded person. I am, I, you know, I make, I admittedly, I do make fun of people on my channel, you know, I do that stuff, but I don't ever do it for no good reason. And I don't hate anyone I ever talk about. I just, uh, I just give my opinion, and I'm a little bit annoying. I can be a little bit random, I can be a little bit dumb, and but um, I don't, I don't actively hate anybody. I'm just, I just like to give critiques. Obviously, I didn't do as good as I should have. Very All well. All right. Uh, yeah. Um, I would say though that I, I don't think that there's any uh, uh when it, when it comes to jokes about uh exploding porta potties at the Tucson <laughs> Burrito Festival. I, I don't think that's particular in an, particularly an anti SJW joke. I think that joke is so incredible that it transcends all sort of. <laughs> <laughs> I was live. I was live. I don't know why I fucking said. It. One of the things I say. This is why I don't do live anymore. Sometimes I just sound like a fucking. Oh, geez. I I guess it's just a matter of because I used to be more like this, and I think I've mellowed out a lot more in that aspect and tried to be more objective. And I think EFAP's helped me a lot with that. Um, I guess not to, I guess not to have, don't be wearing the goggles. Don't be, don't have the lenses on ironic as that might sound, but, uh, don't have these lenses on in front of you where you're, I guess, trying to <laughs> seek out the reasoning for everything. Uh, cause sometimes like we see it all the time with like movie analysis where people try to dig really deep into why some things happen. And sometimes it's just, you know, it's really simple. It's just, a sometimes it's just a joke or something like that. Um, because usually when something happens that's political, a lot of times it's really overt and obvious. And there's generally enough of those to be able to point to those without having to jump to too many conclusions. Because yeah. no, we've covered, uh, we covered no bullshit. And <laughs> he is hilariously bad. Um, oh, you guys have, actually... Yeah, we need to do, yeah. We need to do another a, episode for him sometime. He's, he's so funny. He's a fucking fool. 
Um, I actually, I actually talked about him recently. He talked about like how The Last of Us Two, like Naughty Dog hates fathers, based on like a tweet, and I'm like, what the fuck? Sorry, hates what? He hates like he can't, he showed this tweet of Naughty Dog. There's like this three second clip where it said, um, "Happy Father's Day" on the Naughty Dog Twitter, and people and he took that to mean, oh, he hates fathers because they know that Joel dies. And I'm just, oh, yeah, that's a weird oh, argument. Yeah, I, yeah, that's a weird one. I know. I I remember when that tweet came out and everybody was posting pictures of a beat up, bloody Joel, and they're like, "Yeah, yeah, Happy Father's oh, Day." Geez. That's what we were. That's what we were all feeling. Yeah, that that yeah. that game was a trip. The Last of Us 2, yeah, I thought the story was shit for the record, and um, I thought the gameplay was good. I mean, clearly they got to go through crunch time. Clearly the developers had to just kill themselves to make this game. Well, I could appreciate all the good animations, all of the world is wonderful and beautiful and everything, and like, it's been... Yeah, certainly uh, a lot of weight added to it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the story was just shit, and I can't redeem it. You know, I was gonna say, like, oh, the people were over-exaggerating, but no, that's actually not true. The story is just really shit. Damn. <laughs> All right. Hot take, I know. Hot take, guys. Hot take up in here. Well, no, I mean, I wouldn't have known where, where you'd stand. It is quite. It, a lot of people say it's the TLJ of games. Like, loads of people think it's a masterpiece. If, yeah, people yeah, think some people. Sorry, go ahead, Rex. Some people think it's amazing. A lot of people think it's terrible. Super divisive, uh, and it, it has certainly ruined the reputation of that company. So um, we, we've covered four big videos on. Lost of Us 2, they've been staggering their argumentation. They've been absolutely. Oof, they've been rough. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I saw it. Dog, you get it. Oh, yeah. Mainly, I saw Angry Joe ripping into it, and like hearing him explain it is just like, oh my god, they actually wrote this. Like, but when, granted, I can kind of forgive a bad story because games are this really tough to make, and they take multiple years, and they have staff changes in between that too. So like, things will get lost in translation. So like. Okay, the story's bad. You know, too bad the story was the biggest uh, upside to the first Last of Us. I was like, oh. Uh, but, um, yeah, if you fuck up that badly on a game that's very story-centric, uh, yeah, you deserve a lot of shit for that. So it's more character-focused than story-focused, really. Um, that's true, and I, yeah. uh, Especially the first game. Really, really simple story. It's just people are really attached to the characters, and really good character work can save a dull or even a bad storyline yeah man dull or bad plot yeah, uh, they've been working on that game for almost a decade they had plenty of time to get it right and they didn't well i think they executed exactly what they yeah they to. thought they, got they just it right. thought it was good yeah they thought like the from the from the hero mm -hmm. superhero cards of their names and everything and the way that they've been talking like man the writers for the last of us two thought they were hot shit oh, certainly do. druckman does yeah. So, it was in Christmas or Halloween. Christmas or Halloween question. Guests, main like guests, because if we asked everybody, it would just be stacked full. We can't be doing that. All right. Well, I appreciate you for letting me on, Mahler. I've taken every criticism, and um, um, I I object to very little of it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try not to be an idiot. In oh, future, and I'm glad you were able to let me on and stuff. Because uh, absolutely, it's all good. Big. Very few people do what you've done, and it has yeah. always ended up being a positive for the people who do it. One of them is actually one of our regulars. Um, yeah. But we've a uh, mul multiple. Um, let's see. There's Jay Moriarty. Um, Snowman Gaming just right could technically count with the theater. EU thing that happened. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, so. uh, closer look. Um, Thought Theater. Yes. Chat helps out. <laughs> We've got some, uh, tonal. Yeah, tonal. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. I. It's hard to even think that at one t at one point he was uh, on the other side of things, but, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Major League. Right. Some, some of the crime <laughs> oh, work. God. That's <laughs> uh, always um, uh, always good when people actually come on. It's always uh. Yeah. No. Thank you very, um right. for coming yeah. on. I appreciate it. I actually didn't think I, I, I would be able to get on here with 6,000 people watching me. I never thought that would ever happen, but um, I'm glad well, you guys... Chat picks up on, uh, on that when someone someone's video is on and uh, the person is in, in chat. Yeah, like, they help hey, us here, out Get him on, get her on, whatever. Who is this? So like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. I sent you two super chats, yeah, and I was saying, like, yeah, what, what you got there was the old video, but the newer video wasn't exactly any better, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I like, um, uh, yeah. 
My main goal is I try to be as objective as I can. And like negative comments, I'm not going to say they don't bother me, but like, you know, they they do get to me a a little bit. But I try to be um, as objective as I can be. I'm not closed minded. The the whole reason I do the series I do on my channel is to try to understand someone else's arguments. And maybe I don't always do that well. Um, May I ask you a question? Sure. So in the beginning of this video, you were talking about how you used to like rags and like his gaming coverage content but then you got on this tangent about how he switched over to like anti sjw so i kind of want to know what the problem was because that had nothing to do with him covering the video so why that, was that, that is kind of true um so he, he kind of did to be honest he, he did it kind oh, of yeah, like, I um, did. yeah i definitely I did. did yeah I That's guess the like, main reason you brought that up, it wasn't relevant to his point at all. You're right about that. Uh, well, but, I want to uh, know what, like, why do you have an issue with that kind of content? Or is it you only specifically like to watch gaming stuff? Because that seems what you like for Mahler and Rax. I know I lost some people yeah. when I swapped, but I think that was mostly because I established myself as a PC console channel. And then eventually it just was, I, just, I got bored of it, of the topic. And I think I'd made my point. And so I just wanted to move to something else that I found interesting and that I cared about. I understand that for sure. And I guess it's maybe just uh, speaks a little bit to the little politics thing, because politics is always a shit flinging contest, which is why I don't like to get into it too much. I like to be a little more away from it myself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shit, and I, it gets on, like, you. on you. Yeah, and I guess most of that will have to be just political differences because I've just seen the anti SCW community. Like, I've seen them kind of in decline. I used to watch their videos. I used to like a lot of them, but it was just like, they're kind of... um, done. Um, I think a lot of them have just sort of, kind of they did what I did with PCs and consoles. They just, I've, I've, I've seen this stuff before. I've done it a lot. And I guess they just moved on to something else because like with me, I'm moving to more media focused stuff. I have no doubt that there will be some social and political commentary in there at places, but it will be a much smaller portion of the stuff that I say. But eventually you just get tired of talking about it. It's just, especially nowadays, when everyone's talking about politics and everyone's talking about this and that and this and that, and it's all so political and everything's so fierce and just intense and you just sometimes you just want to talk about movies and games and stuff and it, it seems so much more relatively easy going in a way um so i just wanted to want to break from it for a little bit you know i think you actually pointed out a lot of things that um i've actually started to that's exactly how i started to feel towards the guys you know liked all the Star Wars stuff. It, it, I noticed it happening around Captain Marvel and Brie Larson. Like people think I'm a big Brie Larson fanboy. I'm really not. I think she's kind of funny sometimes. I don't think she deserved most of the hate she. Mm-hmm. I think she deserved a little bit of it. I she said something stupid. And I will never say that Brie Larson did not say something stupid. The whole forty year old white dude. Now, I won't say that mm-hmm. that was a smart thing to do. But like she she's trying to be a she was trying to be a joke. I took it as a joke, but clearly everybody else didn't. And still have contentious with me um to this day but yeah well i mean it wasn't supposed to be a joke she said it in at a wrinkle in time panel and she was told to say it by ava duvernay and when the movie itself is about a little girl who is half you know white and half black trying to find her white 40 year old father so it was a very ignorant thing for her to say at that kind of event and i mean it's like you don't even watch the movies that you guys are trying to promote yeah, and um, as Red Alert Media a, pointed out, uh, a lot of forty-year-old yeah. white dudes and older reviewed it positively. Um, yeah, exactly. I saw that video too. Yeah, no, that's definitely true. And yeah, I agree with all. I agree with all that stuff. It's just like, uh, but um, I don't know. Something about her tone just made me take it. And she said, like, she she could have took that award show. What I admire about it a little bit is that took that award show that could have been about herself and she made it about a bigger issue now whether you agree with the politics or not um is like it, it's give or take but um the fact that she did that when it could be her chance to just brag about you know being a winner and all that stuff i i, I find something commendable about that i like people like that. well, that's just me all right i all right yeah that's fair enough yeah but I'm not I'm not a big Brie Larson fangirl I'm not gonna fangirl for Brie Larson I'm just gonna I'm gonna def- I defend anybody who's treated unfairly. If so, if I feel like someone's treated 
unfairly. Mm -hmm. No matter who they are, I will. I want to be there to say no. This is not fair. I I feel like her her commentary came across as virtue signaling. Look at look how good I am um, in a different sort of way. Um, it, it's it's like I I need to appear as if I care about all these things and. Unfortunately, that was done by trying to lower somebody else to bring someone else upwards. Um, when those things don't, that yeah, just I mean, it, plus a lot of people just don't want politics and social issues and everything. Some people mm -hmm. want to be able to watch movies and watch sports and just watch movies and watch sports because it just wears a lot of people down. Um, and the and the more and more we see of that, the more and more people are just going to turn away. What we see with sports, perfect example. Um, and and, and getting or getting just kind of getting away from that is something that I sort of want to do to a degree. Uh, not leave it, but just to get more into. I I guess there was a point in time where I thought, oh, we can just review movies and uh, it, it'll be nice and it, things will be so much more simple. But the more EFAP we do. It's hmm. like, oh, you didn't like this movie? You hate women. Oh, you didn't like that game? Well, you must hate da 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 da. Yeah, I, I'm gonna make these character judgments about you as a person because you didn't like these things. And I think uh, we oh, all we here we go again. I think we all get that shit flinging part of the internet. I think it's mostly Twitter that's like that. Twitter just seems to be like this big shit flinging contest for everybody involved, or like everybody's calling everyone else like all this stuff. I've gotten some of it on Twitter. Yeah, I, I hate Twitter. Twitter has done more harm to humanity than, jeez, than it's helped. <laughs> by the way. I'm Holy glad shit. I got kicked off that place. I'm glad I'm out of there. The only worst place is probably Twitch. But I've heard a lot of bad stuff. A lot of mm -hmm. a lot of weird stuff about Twitch. Don't like it myself. Oh man. Not to say that YouTube is some you know <laughs> idyllic. Yeah, you just heaven what we got. hole. <laughs> YouTube has been making some very questionable decisions too. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to be defending YouTube anytime soon. I've seen e Amp Lemon's entire um, downward spiral series on YouTube, and I'm like, oh shit, it was so much better like five years ago. So we're probably going to yeah. continue with uh, our third video for the night. Um, is there anything else yeah. you wanted to talk about? I think I think I've got everything down. No, I agree with all you guys said, and I'm glad you got. I'm glad you let me on here, Mahler. I, I it's amazing to get to talk to you guys. I mean, yeah, and and again, thank you for coming on. Thank you for uh, talking through them, yeah. and uh, been fun. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. Yeah, I will admit I hesitated a bit. I was gonna, I was scared chat was gonna hate me, but like, uh, yeah, so if I go on here, if I if I try to be as reasonable as possible, I think I'll be okay in the end. And yeah, you know, I'm I'm talking to very reasonable people, so that's good. I uh, think that was a good call. I think mm. that was a good decision. Yeah. I think it's gonna definitely be positive for you. All right, so I, I will tell you one last thing. I do not hate you as a person. I actually quite like you. I think you're I think you're funny. I think you hit the nail on the head a lot of the time. Well, thank you stuff. very much. Yeah, but um, obviously, when it comes to politics, I'm going to be a little bit in a, a little bit of disagreement. I don't agree with everything you do and how you portray. I just felt like he was portrayed unfairly, and uh, but that was my fault for not watching the whole thing. Maybe I should have watched Brown Table's video first before doing that, because maybe I would have understood. I, well, I think I cover all of his video in mine. So if you watched if you watched his video, then watched my video, you'd be watching more than you needed to, because I think all of his is in mine. Um, one of the oh, reasons yeah. why the video is like an hour and ten minutes, but um, Brown Table's great. He's he's uh, he's great for memes. He says a lot of silly stuff. Um, so he he's good good content fodder in a way. Um, Probably hope so. to see and more of Brown Table. <laughs> Probably so. I should I should have actually seen him before I did. Yeah, it was great hanging out with you guys. Uh, thanks again for everything. You no problemo. Bet. Catch you Absolutely. around. Absolutely. See you later. Later's. Do. Well, well. Yet well, again, well. EFAP is able to talk to... Destroyed just, art. <laughs> destroyed <laughs> art. Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess that kind of... Uh, that video is... is It's been covered now, I guess. You know, I don't yeah. know what to say. Yeah. Um, well done. We've got one more. Hooray! Tonight. This one, the title is The Last Jedi is Great. And that is our God. final word. 
And uh, the thumbnail says the last and that fucking is our word. Final word. Yeah, it would. I think it would be okay if they said that's our last word. It's like okay, but the title says the last fucking word. The last Jedi is great. It's like, hmm. hmm. Well, like, maybe they didn't want to double up on the word last. Is someone is is is, is someone is someone ending the discussion on the last Jedi? We were told by the first video that that's mean. Oh, damn it. Uh, better, better not be doing it. So oh, yeah, yeah, we did cover a video before this. I, I'm gonna do a toilet break first. So yeah, I'll that right sounds back. like a good idea. Oh, yeah. Fine, <laughs> yeah, everyone, too. do your little toilet break. I drink so oh, much you big water. One. I'll I'll just hang out with <gasps> the cool Let's kids. Go. How you doing, Anya? <laughs> <laughs> Swell. Crazy night this has been. How long have we been going for? Just just a couple, a couple, couple of years. Oh my god, we passed four hours already. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm sure we'll be yeah. fine. Um, oh also, I, I forgot to remove uh, people are like, why is Nude Rotic's link in, in the description? Um, gonna be trying to trying to get him on at some point. Today didn't quite work out, and that's totally fine. We'll uh, see about it in a couple. I'm trying to do a little bit of a round thing on, like, I, I miss some people in a hundred. We'll get them on for, you know, the next few episodes after. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll I'll knock that out of the um, the re-upload. Otherwise, it's just gonna be confusing. Mm. But um, yeah, as uh, soon as they're done peeing, we'll we'll check it right out. So it's it's, it's crazy, how the, I'm actually at the point now where it's like we've had quite a few people come on and uh, chat about their videos, and they never end in you know misogyny and and shouting and racism. It's weird. I think it's because you guys are so nice. <laughs> It's like we're totally willing to just like hear them out, which is it doesn't work very well for people who hate the show, I would imagine. Hmm. Mola doesn't ask his guests to talk often enough. Yeah, I'll talk. Talk, 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 talk. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'll do it for the next few hours. Oh. Alright. Sure, yeah, alright. It's okay. Um, the overall sort of just uh, theming tonight, I think, has just been you know, you gotta you gotta take you gotta look back at some of your work sometimes, and you gotta realize that maybe you aren't a critic and you are a comedian, and then you change vocations entirely. What are you working on these days, anyway? What's what's next? What am I working on? Uh, I guess things I'm. Tr Kind of working on an Artemis Fowl movie oh. review. Oh God! Is it that, was a very foul movie. Is that one a movie that works for like a, a potential reaction thing? Is it is it that bad or is it just meh? It Did is. It? Yeah, because I'm a huge fan of books, I'm especially so sorry. the first book. So it's kind of, yeah it's like it's personal to me how much it actually just kind of destroys everything good about the first book is it getting a sequel <laughs> the the movie yeah. uh, i kind of doubt it they don't they don't set it up in any way that it could actually continue with the books so i don't know i thought it was interesting that like nobody talked about it a few days after it came out other than sharing that one scene that i saw on twitter like three times yeah, the one thing that they actually kind of adapted, like, literally from the books. Oh, that's in the books? Yeah, the, uh, that the, the dwarves take in the dirt and then they shit it out. Well, yeah, that was actually in the books. That's like the one thing that they had to take. And, mm. <laughs> well, yeah, that'll I'm be very hesitant to watch it because I read the books when I was a kid and I don't want it to, like, crush my soul. I have not read the book, so I'll be interested to see if it... Uh, I'm sure I'll think it's a great movie. Mm -mm. Oh, God. What is, what is Artemis Fowl about? Artemis Fowl. Well, okay, so the author originally called it Die of Fairies. I have returned it. And he, so, yeah, the first book is an excellent... There's a villain protagonist. He kidnaps a fairy... And um, uh, how do I how do I put how do I describe this? <laughs> because the rest of the series isn't anything like that. I'm really a fan of the first book. Mm -hmm. 
Equinox. It's yeah, yeah. It's a vill- yeah. He kidnaps a fairy for their gold, and it's more of a thriller. Um, trying to battle against these fairy forces. Yeah, I don't. I don't really know how to put it. <laughs> Just read the book. Go read the book. You'll it's understand. The first book. Ooh, I'm back. Kidnapping fairies for the gold. I'm. I'm. I'm not. You know. I'm not. Inter- not interested. I didn't I'm think. Back, I thought Spider Man. <laughs> I thought fairies wouldn't like gold because gold is like a. Because in the old, like in old Western mythology, you have how fairies couldn't touch like iron. It would hurt a fairy if it touched iron because it's like a man-made abomination. It would. It took stuff from the ground and it. It, it separated it and turned it into shape that warped nature to suit man's desires and wants. Mm-hmm. So it was like like a fairy of the, the forest. They couldn't touch it. Maybe it yeah, fairies have way. always had gold. Well, yeah, it's playing on the whole leprechaun in a pot of gold. Oh, they're after me lucky charms. <laughs> That's cultural appropriation, I think, maybe. <laughs> they, they belong to the those. So anyway, uh, let's check out the last fucking word. On the last Jedi, okay? This would probably be the last one we have to cover, right? Do we have to, though? <laughs> it's not that long. <laughs> It'll be fun. The Last Jedi came 2017, and I, for one, am sick of hearing complaints about it and having to defend <laughs> it and arguing with people and essentially just ranting about why people are wrong. I like this, um... <laughs> I like the, the creative decision to wear black in front of a black screen. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Certainly a bold one. But you know, set your tone. What does his to dislike it in the way. What does his what? His T-shirt say. Maybe that's why. I don't know. I guess we'll see it. Mm. If if he maybe he, he'll jump. Now he doesn't look like he can jump. But if he like, you know, like <laughs> lifts his arms up or who knows? Maybe I'm curious. Well, usually they like have that so that way they can promote something. So that's why I'm like, is that his like brand or something? Well, they'll wear a a pop culture reference, like a Star Wars T-shirt or an Avengers t-shirt or something like as they're reviewing as they're reviewing a disney movie they'll have a disney shirt on or something like that like hey guys i have a shirt i'm i know what i'm talking about you know the way that they do but yeah one more for the road can't hurt his name is sean he talks about things oh god <laughs> what <laughs> oh it's, it's blue bantha milk oh it's a star wars shirt I was so right! Oh my god, fucking nailed it! Rags, you're in fuego! That's racist. <laughs> Sean talks about this! Oh. That's not the worst intro. All right, Before we begin, um, check out the links below. No. Um, for our <laughs> yeah. Patreon and our T Public sites, you can get some of this sweet merch. Um, any support oh, that you can see? give us is much appreciated. It all ties in, Rags. Oh you. my god! We're all everyone's ah! right. We've we've been doing this too many times. You all seen sorry, this a bird work. just flew in my house. I'll be right back. <laughs> a bird just flew in your house. <laughs> Cook it. How dare you oh pay for rent if you wish to stay? <laughs> Appreciate it. Allow us to keep making content. So um yeah, on with the show. Come on! There were two major complaints okay. about the uh, last he's doing that thing. I hate yeah. the, the little tiny clip of the one word that's uh Mm. It's fine, it's fine. We'll let him go. I hate it. But particularly no, get under my skin and wind me up. The first one is when people say the movie is objectively bad. <laughs> and you really oh, can't no. say that something like a movie, which is essentially a subjective art form, oh, is fuck a no, it? No, Move away from, move away from weird art. Get away. No, I don't, no, I don't even want to talk about it. Just substantiate <laughs> your claim. <point. laughs> I'm sick of it at all. You, when people say that, I think that they know they are relying on the colloquial mm-hmm. usage of these terms and how floaty they can be, and they're relying on people who hear that to fill in the blanks themselves. It's was, just that's chill. That chill. Now I'm angry again. It's Thanks. the black hole <laughs> of discussion around this is when the term art is being flo- is floating around. It's just so broad. It's intense how broad it is. Bad, and we're using objective here in the sense of like an idea, or not even an idea, but like. It's a fact. Yeah, no. This is not about opinion. Adherence to a standard. A f- mm-hmm. um, Without bias. I mean, you can have objective facts. If, if you're going to use objective in the sense of truth, and truth being that which comports to reality, then 
sure, but that's not really how we're using it when we're talking about it here. Um, it, it doesn't even have to be intrinsic. It's just, does it adhere to a standard or to a definition? <clears throat> Boom, that's all you need. Nice and simple. Feelings. And you can't really have that with art. Art and criticism of art is, by definition, subjective. Wrong. It's all based. So I'm going to reveal something here. I've already seen this video. I had it on when I was playing some Fall Guys. Oh this my is, god. Keep what he just <laughs> said in mind. Keep, keep what he just said in mind. It gets very funny. Based on opinions and particular writers' <laughs> takes and feelings. Oh, I'm going to guess. I haven't said. I'm. Chat, I'm not like Mahler. I'm not a cheater. Like all the Halloweeners are cheaters. Just like I said, I think they doth protest too much. So what? I'm going to make a prediction. It's that he either calls The Room or some other famous bad movie bad without any qualifiers and doesn't even think about it. Mm, that so that's actually, my... I'm not even referring. I think he does that, but I'm referring to something else. Yay! <laughs> I think I think he does that. Oh, right uh, about the Panther shirt. I'm on fire. And their experiences and all that kind of thing. So if we were to say that the Last Jedi was objectively anything, if we we'd have to look at the facts. And the facts are, it got this Rotten Tomato score. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! What? No! What, what are you doing? <laughs> so, I mean. Yeah, the facts are this is the Rotten Tomatoes reported score for the movie. Yeah, sure. An aggregate site that, by the way, it gets a as long as it's above fifty percent, it's counted as like a hundred percent, right? As long as it gets, it's like fucking retarded the way they do it. Is it fifty or sixty? I can't. Yeah, whatever means fresh, and then that counts toward a, a perfect score. Uh, fresh, I think. Is it sixty plus for fresh? I think. I think so. Because a 60, that would be a 3 out of 5 stars, which is... Because a lot of movies use 5 star system. Also, we ignoring so the... So I think a 60 would make sense. Ugh, are we ignoring the tipped over popcorn part there? <laughs> the 44%? Uh, the isn't, that, isn't that the lowest yeah, audience yeah, score? The, facts, the, the people don't like it. Versus the 454? Yeah, that's what I mean. It, it, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is... Is this the lowest audience score for any Star Wars movie ever? Yes. Uh, it probably, used to be yeah. The Phantom Menace, and now it is The Last Jedi. In fact, let me check The job, Phantom Ryan. Menace. So what Chad just said, bots, all bots. <laughs> <laughs> the Phantom Menace, Rotten Tomatoes. Mm -hmm. The Apparently it's second for... counting the holiday special. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, I don't, yeah. Um, I, I didn't think about counting that. Yeah, so uh, The Phantom Menace has a 53 from critics and a 59 from audiences. Hmm. Remember when those ratings were higher together? Everyone's telling me that Cuties is the lowest. Yeah, I, 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 didn't, I, don't th I wouldn't imagine this is the lowest score on the entire site, just of Star Wars yeah, films. Yeah, no doubt, yeah. Like, Batwoman's lower. <laughs> yeah. No, Batwoman oh. actually had some good... <laughs> on on oh. Rotten Tomatoes, but it only had like ten reviews per episode. So <laughs> this Metacritic score. Oh, who the fuck is? And off a budget of around two million, two hundred million dollars, it made this box office. That's not. So, oh my god! Point. Is that yeah. the facts you're going by? Yeah. Transformers. Yeah. Transformers. Transformers. <laughs> Any I'm, fucking arguments? You didn't. Yeah, do you were not stupid fucking reviews that don't give a shit about. You're not doing. You're not defending anything greatly. I guess don't bring you up missed, that number. Like, go ahead. Did you guys see uh, when Mark Hamill was giving like a, a talk at this college for uh, actors, and he's like, just because a movie makes money doesn't mean it's good. And then he referenced <laughs> Transformers uh, in comparison to <laughs> The Force Awakens. Yeah, oh. it was. It was awesome. Have you seen that? It was great. <laughs> um, he, yeah, he said something about like all that matters in Hollywood is does it make money? But that doesn't mean it's a good film. Yeah, and nope. so I feel like this guy should watch that. Also, when you bring up that it made one point three billion, yeah, it made seven hundred million less than the movie that came before it. Mm -hmm. They never That's like to address to that. It's always they always assume as long as it beats out its budget, that means it was a you know brimming success, right at the rooftop. You're just like I don't think so. Realistically, if we were going to say it was objectively anything, we'd have to say it is objectively good. No, 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 no. 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 Successful. Good. If you're, then that's a stretch. If you're financially viable. Yeah. 
If your metric for good is made money, I would really want to question you on how much you actually consistently apply that, because I don't think you do. Yeah. yeah. We've got to get to the basics. Oh my god. Those kind of, that's not how you talk about movies. Because even no, movies that are... Yeah, it isn't. <laughs> it's yeah, not. you're right, it's not. Why did you bring it up? The worst ever made, like uh, Manos, The Hands of Fate. Worst ever made, there you go, Rags, you're right. Fucking nailed it. What do you mean by <laughs> worst, I, bruh? Can you tell that I've done this before? Yeah. <laughs> Troll 2 or the best of the worst movies. You gotta tear me apart! Oh, there it is. Of <laughs> Nailed it. We did it. We did it. I win, I mean, win a million a quiblets. Following and it still packs out midnight screenings. So, it's meaning what? Well. Unless, unless a movie is hated good... by all. You sound like someone oh, on the doing... board of directors. He's doing the thing. <laughs> It's the, the, so many people roll this out. Unless a movie is hated by everybody, it can't be objectively bad. It's not consensus. Yeah, like, I don't know why. Said that? It must be derived from the definition of like uh, a bad movie is one that is uh, disliked, and then objectively bad means it can't be liked by anyone. That's like the logic they use, I guess. But what movie is unanimously not liked by there isn't everyone? One. I know. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> I'm wondering. Exist. Who Someone said that? Stupidest movies. It's just so it is. Where are they getting that idea from? I don't know. I've never heard it said oh. by anybody on either side of anything, ever. That's just the thing that they've conjured up as the straw man for objective quality. All and sunny and the entire population of the Earth. How could you say it's objectively bad? That's oh right. my god. You can't. I mean, yeah, this is, this is pointless. Everybody on the planet could be wrong. That doesn't, that doesn't mean it comports with reality. That mm -hmm. doesn't mean it adheres to a standard. If you tricked everybody on a planet into thinking a triangle had four equal sides, they would all be incorrect. No. <laughs> Consensus, bitch. <sighs> eating her! And then they're going to eat me! So, okay. this video is just over ten minutes. I'm starting to figure out how. Oh. Like, I'm not even sure. Can this be hit for copyright? Or is it just, is it in meme hood to the point where they don't? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know. I'm sure I've used this in bits. Hmm. So I think you're fine. What movie is this? Troll 2. Troll 2. Yeah. Originally, when he said Troll 2, I thought he was referring to like the new Trolls movies, like World Tour and whatnot. I was like, oh, I mean, I guess it's bad. I, it, so I don't know. <laughs> That's where my Actually, mind it's went. not. It's It's pretty funny. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There you go. The second complaint is that this movie is filled with bad writing, as though the movie is broken at a building blocks level. Yeah, oh, think... now you're That's in our court open. for sure. Like, now, oh. welcome to our world. Yes, yes, one hundred percent. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Now we're talking, baby. Like the problem is not with the people's opinions of the movies or a dislike. It's it's a problem with the craft itself. Mm -hmm. See now. Yes. So now, it's like, I thought that's what we were talking about, and it's like, okay, now we're talking about crap, like, oh, okay, I, But okay. bad writing is subjective, too. Ah, oh, no, right, no, no, so, no. a movie being bad is subjective, a movie having bad writing is subjective, remember that, he said it, it's definitive, there's a reason why I'm hyping this. Like, listen to this excerpt from the Bridges of Madison County. Okay. And he heard the words he whispered to her. Do what now? As if a voice. A poem. This is from the Bridges of Madison County. <laughs> oh my. Other poem, than his guys. own were saying them. Fragments of a Wilker poem. Around the ancient tower, I have been circling for a thousand years. The lines of a Navajo chant. He whispered to her of the visions she brought to him of blowing sand and magenta winds and brown pelican <laughs> what on earth are we listening to <laughs> what the hell is this i'm just looking at the pretty horses yeah the horses are pretty it's fine riding the backs of dolphins moving north that's across the coast the yeah that's How, the worst. what are you gonna hold on to oh when you're riding God. on the back of a dolphin you, are you gonna know. stick a finger they're in its fin. hole and just they're fin they got a little fin you can hold on to the fin and then he said, that's the worst? What? Yeah, he's, so he read that out, and I think the proof here is going to be that that's terrible, but you can't prove that it's terrible. But this, that novel sold 600 million copies. <sighs> I don't, okay. You're making so? the same point than before. Why did you bother to putting it in two parts? That's what I mean. So he categorized it out as a separate thing, but it simultaneously said you can't say writing is bad if it sells well. 
so I don't. Not... Yeah, it's 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 an umbrella argument that he didn't need to repeat, but he did. But okay, yeah. we'll, we'll just you know it's Copies fine. and spent a hundred and forty three weeks on the New York Times bestseller list. Okay. okay, so maybe just because I don't like it doesn't make it bad. It's not care. the argument we're making. I'm so confused. Uh, also, yeah. we're not talking about that craft. However, there is such a thing as objectively bad writing. Oh, oh okay. right. That's contradictory to what you specifically <laughs> said earlier. Like, but am I crazy, or like, is that just the shocked. opposite of what he just so, said? Yeah. <laughs> so that's like a literal direct contradiction, like 40 seconds apart from each other. I don't know and that I... we've ever had such a clean contradiction in EFAP ever before. He basically made two statements. They both ended in alternative ways. So it's just like, <laughs> okay. You're going to have to stick to one of those because the, I mean, those are dichotomous positions. Yes. You can't um, have one. And he the is other. going to provide you with an example of bad writing. What do you think is going to be at the core of this example in terms of why it doesn't work? Nonsense. Oh, nobody uh, bought it. No. Um, I might have, I might be leading you to a place you don't actually want to go. So, so it's going to be a contradiction. He's going to appeal to the fact that it will be a contradiction, and that is how you get to bad writing. Oh, this video was bad writing. This video is fascinating to me. <laughs> I just, like, because he spent so long telling us all how wrong we are, and he's about to bolster our position. Wait for it. Because writing, writing has rules. Some can be bent, others broken. But there are certain things that have to hold together, all right. or the whole thing collapses. Right. So, take Stop. for example 2001's The Planet of the Apes by mm -hmm. Tim Burton. At one point, Mark Wahlberg's character says this. Can you show me how we out of here? I promise you, I'll show you something that will change the world forever. And while that's a cool line to put in trailers and all that, it doesn't actually work in the film. Because the thing he's describing, this, this world-changing thing, he doesn't know it. So he finds it out a couple of hours later in the movie, and he's shocked. So... Huh? Hmm. But he also, wasn't lying in the moment. Yeah, I, I feel like I need more information for the movie oh. because his point is incorrect. Uh, However, um, so I haven't seen the movie, so I wouldn't know. Uh... Okay, I have seen the movie. What he's he wants to show her the spaceship so that way he can show her like I'm from another planet where apes didn't rule the damn planet. And he's trying to find the ape that he came to the planet with, which they all think is the god. Yeah, this and video, so, uh, it seems I'm to so check confused. out. Yeah, he's referring to a different thing. This isn't a contradictory. All you had to do was find a contradiction in <laughs> okay, the cinema. Wait. Look, you had one uh, job. I'm willing to concede he might be wrong on the reference, whatever. But you can tell what he's going for here, right? Oh, like, yeah, what he's going yeah. for is totally nonsense. An it's impossibility. Just, up on the example. Um, which I find, I just, I can't get over it. Because like, he spent a decent portion of the video being like, this is an impossibility to, to generate the objectively bad. And then his one example is just a thing that is at the same time X and Y. You know, you're just like, oh. Um, a lot of people in chat are saying it, it does work in the film. I, I was actually, I have seen it, the Mark Wahlberg one, but not since it came out. And I don't remember fucking anything about it at this point. Um, I just remember Helen Bonham Carter is that and him had like a romance, which is weird because she was a monkey. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey, people are apes. <laughs> okay, she's True. an ape, but still, it was weird. Yeah, uh, and as Darth Morik has just highlighted, it's like, our final word did no research on anti-arguments. It's like, this is weird for the final word, isn't it? <laughs> it's yeah. a really confusing mm. final word. Feel like you should have really brought your A game for the final word? Mm-hmm. He's been drinking too much of that blue bantha milk. It's starting to <laughs> mess with his brain. Here, he doesn't know it here, so... Most of the plot of the movie is him gathering people to go to this place to learn a secret that he doesn't know. So that's objectively bad writing. Okay, not even <laughs> even that summary doesn't work because you could be headed towards a secret and know that there's something there mysterious and not know what it actually is. But but you'll know it'll wow the person you're talking to. Yeah, it's like oh we're going to try and uh, they say that something that does over there something mystical and magical they don't know what it is it's mystery. Well, like, no I haven't been Even to the Grand Canyon, but I know it would be pretty mind-blowing for someone who hasn't seen it as well, who didn't yeah, know it was it a possibility. Pictures don't do it justice. It's mm -hmm. kind of mind-boggling. That's a big asshole. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't work. With a slight bit of scrutiny, that falls apart. Also, Mark Wahlberg did a hate crime in the 80s, and no one really talks about it anymore. But oh my god, because he, he, he went to prison and he's apologized to it so much. 
That was random care. as fuck. <laughs> That's the thing. I fucking hate Trump. That's the same fucking thing. <laughs> I fucking hate Mark Wahlberg. Like, oh he embarrasses us every day with hate crimes. Do these people listen to themselves? Like, they, they do a video about a certain topic and then they just throw some random shit in it that's, like, not even a joke or something. It's like, oh, by the way, that person did a thing and nobody talks about it. Alright, next point. It's like, whoa, whoa, hold on. You guys know what side I'm on now? <laughs> he did a hate crime 40 years ago. Wait, how old is Mark Wahlberg to have done a He's hate crime in his fifties. He did it when he was fifteen, and then I think again at seventeen, and he served time for it. He and he's he apologized. Oh, so oh yeah, that's yeah. Well, yeah, he served his time. He's paid back to society. It's done. It's over. Move on. Well, Pathway so redemption. he must be socially ostracized, and if you don't do it, you will be compelled to. Okay. The happening was his real punishment. <laughs> <laughs> While Planet of the problem with structurally bad writing, you can have bad writing that is broken on a sort of entertainment level. So if you take um, uh, the Bond movie, A View to a Kill, we, as the audience, find out... You do not know what to do with your hands. <laughs> and he doesn't know what to do with his arguments. So explain to me, like, before you get into an example, what the fuck you mean by it is broken in an entertainment way. I'm like... So... We, that could mean so many different things. Yeah, that I would even say that just based on that description, that's subjective. Yeah. There are guidelines, and you can argue the points, but I'd still say ultimately it's subjective. If you're about to argue something that will end with you saying no one would find that entertaining, I'd be like, oh, oh, I got, mm. I got news for you. Hmm. What the villain's plan is very early on, and then we have to watch Bond try and work out what it is. And it takes a really long time. But the problem is we're not going on that journey with him because we already know the answers. So we're just waiting for him to catch up with us. And that doesn't work in terms of an entertainment thing. It totally oh, can. Uh, no. What? That totally can. Oh my can. god. That totally are you kidding can. me? There are so many movies Bizarre. where the audience knows exactly what's going to happen and you know the person in the movie doesn't. Like my favorite movie is Silence of the Lambs. Watching the movie, we know who Buffalo Bill is. We know where Catherine Martin is hidden. We know what Hannibal Lecter is planning. We know that he, you know, has the little pin and he's picking the lock while he's talking to Clarice. We know that. Nobody in the movie knows that except for the people that have the knowledge in the movie. It's a fucking fantastic movie and it's entertaining as hell. <laughs> what is this argument? Oh my also, God. Let's say you're watching a movie that's based on a book that you've already read. Mm. Can't be entertaining because I know how it ends, and I know, you know, information that the characters don't know. Yeah. So, or, or the, the 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 strict counter to this, I think, would be if we didn't know until Bond found out, and then were to rewatch the the movie doesn't work the second you have finished it, right? That's that's it. You can't watch anything again. Fucking Columbo. That's a whole series where you always know who did the crime in the beginning. Yeah. The the idea that that can't work. To me is that would come under rules that can be broken which is what he mentioned earlier like if someone said hey you should probably have it so you figure it out with the dude i'd be like that's a good rule of thumb but you don't have to because mm. it'll keep us in suspense or whatever but there's total there's so many other things you could do but all right then <sighs> is wonderfully campy it doesn't work as a well-written piece of fiction uh, you've not justified that claim whatsoever but okay oh yeah he couldn't there's no way he could like, oh, I can't enjoy the movie Off Hello with Lawrence Fishburne because I know that, spoilers, he strangles his wife at the end and it's all Iago's fault. Boring, I already knew. Now, Admiral Holdo not telling Captain Poe Dameron her oh, plan, that's not bad writing. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, man. Ah. That is you were actually good, but that's my face on your, on your fucking... Oh my I love, god! I love the little little wiggle of his fingers. <laughs> the finger wiggle. He's like, now I know what to do with my fingers. They've been waiting for this. Woo! Oh, no. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yeah, it's the wiggles. It's time. This hurts my. In head. fact, that's incredibly good writing. Ooh. Oh Jesus! No! 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 Explain yourself, charlatan. <laughs> And I'll tell you why. Oh, I'm excited. Because good writing oh should elicit a response more than just being, oh, that's nice. It should be something that moves you on a... So, wow. So his like, qualifier God. for good writing is stuff that brings full emotion out of you. So it's like, what if it didn't do that for me? Yeah. What then? Like, this doesn't work. Yeah. The standard is floppy at best. 
an emotional level that stays with you, that produces discussion and conversation after. Oh, don't. No, oh, no, wow. No. Oh, my God. It's good writing if we're debating about it and about how terrible it is for years to come. That means it wins. It's good if, if, if hey we're guys, asking if it's good. Hey, guys, the Holocaust was good. No. <laughs> it stimulated discussion. Oh, there, oh we're still, God. yeah. It, we we were still decade. talking about it. Must be great. I, yeah, I'm just going by his rules. Afterwards, I'd say we'll put you in the shoes of a character and you will go on the journey with them. Mm -hmm. With Poe, we're given this character who we know and love from The Force Awakens. Oh, we know. No, 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 no. That is a crazy stretch. We barely know Poe. I, I, like, we love him. Like, what? <laughs> I don't know. And also, I mean, it's funny that this got brought up because fucking one of the first points we heard countered in, in today's stream was ER's point that was like, why aren't we following the main character's pose, someone we barely know? Yeah. Kind of a, an interesting throwback. <laughs> interesting. Oh, boy. I'm, I'm curious about the, the mechanical sort of praise he's going to give here. Music and all that cool stuff. And we see him interact with Leia. Leia is a character we know. Poe is a character we know. So when no. Leia is dressing we him down, him. well, we know Leia's past. We know what she's been through. So we're like, yeah, that makes perfect sense. That well, yeah, ex no. save that 30-year gap. So it, also, it <laughs> doesn't make sense. He did a great job, and she didn't recognize it. Mm. And also, is he going to pull this out for Luke's writing? Because, oh, we know him, even though he fundamentally turned into a magical different person in the 30-year gap? If it's going to be true for Leia, would he apply the same standard for Luke? Is he going to say it. that, oh, well, as a result, because we don't know this character now, because he's totally different, is it bad? Or is it irrelevant? Oh. Yeah. Would talk to him like that, and she would have the upper hand. However, what Ryan Johnson does is he removes Leia, brings in Holdo. Brand new character for us. So suddenly okay. we're faced with these two characters, and the power dynamic is pretty much the same as what we've seen with Poe and Leia. No, However, no, it's yeah, not. both no, the bitches not. are wrong. Oh my god! <laughs> well... <laughs> it's a weird like, one. They're, they're just both wrong. Like this is the kind of simpleton <clears throat> who's like, "Oh, Leia slapped Poe. That means Leia's correct." It's like, well, I'm not going to take the position that he who slaps is the correct person. Um, but I guess that really worked for some people. Oh, this is Leia Organa. She she's in charge. If if she slaps someone and tells them that they did a bad, then they must have done a bad. Could you imagine if your boss slapped you because you did something wrong at work? Would be the shit out of him. Would have stapled his lips together. <laughs> Just that familiarity is gone. So when Holdo won't tell Poe the plan, as she's not, she's not beholden to do it. Ooh, do you yeah, see the? Do, do you see the way yeah. he did that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. look away. Try Dude. and try and phrase it. That I body mean, language. Have to. That body she's language like, yeah. tells you more than anything. Yeah, just, just look at just him again. That familiarity is gone. So when Holdo won't tell Poe the plan, as she's not. She's not beholden to do it. <laughs> oh, he scratches his face! Oh, he scratches Ooh. his face! Oh, of course! Dude, that's some... Body you, you, could add, you could animate that, and it would be a perfect way to, to dis display to the audience this character does not believe what they're saying. <laughs> this is like X in a... To doubt. What are they thinking, Phelps? <laughs> you know? Press X to doubt. Press X to doubt, exactly. She's oh, not, spot on. She's oh. not beholden to tell the captain what the plan is, right? I mean, like, technically? But it is insanely dumb. Yeah, it's a, it's an incompetence criticism. She's terrible at her job. Well, He's, back, guilty. He's, right now. <laughs> He's guilty. He's oh, guilty. Guilty. <laughs> her underling. He's also proven that he's cocky and he doesn't follow orders. So he, he chose. He chose not to destroy the whole fleet. He was ordered to let them, like, to not attack the dreadnought. He said they're fleet killers. He chose to destroy it. He saved the fleet. This means he's cocky and doesn't follow orders. If if you want to call people who save their lives and the lives of all the people they care about cocky, then we're operating on very different definitions of well, cocky. It's just fascinating that if my superior officer says, shoot yourself in the face, and I go, no, then he's like, you don't follow orders. You're like, a terrible soldier. <laughs> follow orders. It's like, yeah, I guess no. I don't. Also mutinate. <laughs> <It's like a laughs> <bad. laughs> oh 
Absolutely. But yeah. irrelevant. It's simply it could simply come down to just chain of command. But the thing is, what the movie know? does is it takes us on that journey, and we are on Poe's side. So while we are yes, because Poe is correct. Because <laughs> Poe is right. <laughs> because Poe. Because hashtag Poe did nothing wrong. Yeah. So what the fuck is his point here? <laughs> <laughs> Because we went on a shitty journey, so it's a good writing, I guess. Our following, and we want Poe to succeed. All also, yes. this is a ten and a half minute video. He's focusing most of his time on this point. Yeah. Even if he was correct, you still got ninety eight percent of the movie to worry about. Yes. This last part, this is the final word, though. You're not getting anything anymore. Like, even if this was correct, that doesn't magically change the Last Jedi into a great movie. It's just less shitty. All that distrust from Holdo simply comes from unfamiliarity and Poe's reactions to her. No! No! Oh, look at the way she talks to him! Remember, oh Ray. we were unfamiliar with Ray at one point. We were unfamiliar with Poe at one point. We were unfamiliar with everybody until we see him the first time. It's what they do. I can see a new character and, like, instantly like him and be on their side and sympathize with him. But Holdo's just a fucking cunt! Yep. With a god fan damn yeah. fucking dress and her pink hair. <laughs> it's a war, woman! Purple. Yeah, it is purple. It's true. Is it pink? It's purple. Mm. It's lavender. It's, purple, yeah. it's lavender. Because that's it's, a it's important we get it's that a, detail correct. Okay. Taupe. It's a trendy thing right now to have Admiral like, pastel Holdo. color hair. Admiral. It is, it is purplish. Yeah. It's, it's I, lavender. Yeah. What? Here, let me ask. Let me. Sorry. Let me get my team of internet <laughs> forensic analysis to dredge the internet and find out. In wow. fact, uh, they will type out something like, "What is the color of Admiral Holdo's hair?" They might type. It that. is they lavender. Might type like that. It says purple. Just <laughs> wasting our funds, our research funds on this silly shit. Look at. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> It's, it's got an actual answer, just boop, purple. <laughs> <laughs> Frequently asked questions. <laughs> oh, boy. Ah. However, when the plan becomes revealed and Poe feels like an asshole, we feel like an asshole. No. 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 Feel like an uh, asshole. So... You should feel like, with the information I had, I was spot on and I did the correct Yeah, you thing. can't... Like, if I, I don't know, if I just kept telling Rags not to go into a particular room, but he, he knew his parents were dying in there or something, and he opens the door and he activates a bomb and kills everyone, he'd be like, well, Rags, that was your fault. It's like, why didn't you tell him? It's like, mm, chain of command. Yeah, this is <laughs> talky. Like, man, he, he can only operate with the information that he was given, and if information was purposefully withheld from him, how could he possibly blame himself also this I, I this never works just right is the the go-to core example of being a having to deal with what actually happens in the movie if this guy was in the call i'd be like he, he'll do the cycle it's, it's like a dialogue tree at this point you don't get it poe would have given away the plan and you can talk forever about poe how poe wouldn't have done that and that the evidence of finn letting dj hear it is not poe's fault that doesn't count but let's ignore that let's say we agree you're right don't tell poe because Poe will leak it to the First Order. Oh, that would be that was terrible. So the scene where he sees them all fueling the transports and so he knows it's going to happen, that means he can leak that. Oh no, Poe's potentially going to leak that. Oh shit. And then Poe's like, also mutiny? Like, oh god, this is just... This is the worst. we got no choice now. Just tell him we're heading to Crate. Just tell him that. He won't engage with the mutiny. He might still tell the First Order. It's weird that he's committing a mutiny when we think he's a First Order mole as a part of our <laughs> argument, but okay. Doing the mutiny because he wants to save everyone's lives. Fine. It, it, the, the argument is over at that point in the movie because you can know, like, Holdo knows that he knows the important information so now she needs to give him the full context, he won't commit the mutiny, and we know this because later in the movie which was so frustrating when I first saw it because I was so confused, like, hey we're secretly going to this this ex or old rebel base we're going to be safe there, and Poe's like, wow this will work but yeah Assuming you don't Could've get blasted just... out of space by the... You know, <laughs> if you had told kids. him, right? If you had told him, Poe... Uh, sorry, Rose and Finn never go on their adventure. Everyone escapes and lives. Gee. And and somehow we're told this is all Poe's fault. Like, it's, it's, it's baffling to me. Also, let's say that Poe was a mole. Poe was a mole. <laughs> let's say that Poe was a mo. alright? So... If he leaks this to the First Order, 
What, what are they going to do? They're just going to keep doing what they've been doing. Yeah. Oh, like, no, nothing no, changes. Wrong, wrong. You don't understand, Rex. They have, um, they have cloaking shields for the, for the ships, and so as soon as someone tells the First Order that that's what they're doing, they will scan for cloaked units. Because that's cloaking a thing. <laughs> but It's so bad, but, because you get... But why don't they have the cloaking shields detectors running all the time? That's the, the whole of course. point of having and, and it, what you, That's the funny thing, right? Because what you just highlighted is what was highlighted in the writer's room. They were like, wait guys, if they find out that the transports are moving, what does it change? The First Order is shooting them anyway. It's like, oh shit, let's make it so the, the transports <sighs> are cloaked. It's like, okay. But oh, then, how are the First Order going to find them anyway? And it's like, well, they could have like a cloak searcher. It's like, why wouldn't that be running at all times? It's like, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, so, so when the channel's pointed out, they'll run a decloaking scan, Rags. But that's the thing. If you have a scan that scans things that you can't see, and you're a warship, you're running that literally all the time. Yes. Because that's the point of it. Yep. And if someone wants to make a really retarded battery-saving argument, if you're telling me they only use the cloaking scanner whenever someone tells them to... I just, like, so stupid. Just, You're in a war. You're in a fucking war. Why would you not have that running at all times? Time? <laughs> oh my god. It's been a while since someone's defended the, the Poe plan thing. Yeah, this, this, this plot is so shitty. It is horrible. It's kind of... Oh, someone did in chat make the argument. Maybe it's totally costly to run it all the time. Like... Congratulations, you made it. <sighs> yeah, I mean, uh, I'll assume that it's from one of our guys. Maybe it's, you know, playing They compared it to it, Turbo so. Blasters. They compared a radar to fucking Turbo Blasters. And, and they, are, they have... are shooting them throughout the movie, by the way. They keep shooting. Yeah. Also, gonna go on a limb. I've seen what the First Order can do. I don't think that the energy budget's much of a problem for them. <laughs> If, and if it is, they should just have a Star Destroyer filled with fuel, <laughs> so they can just use that to get more for other ships. Honestly, you'd think that's age. probably what they would do if Star Wars was, like, real. They'd probably be like, oh yeah, we have a flotilla of ships going around from place to place. One of our ships is, like, literally the fuel tanker for the, for the fleet. Especially if this was, like, just a, it was, if it was a non-military operation in particular, you just have the, the fuel ship. I'll be right Everyone back. can gas up. Mm-hmm. Hull too, because when you look at it, why don't you trust Holdo? You don't trust her because you don't know her. Poe doesn't trust her because Poe doesn't know her. If that's it. Yeah, but I I distrust people that I do know. In fact, knowing people is often the <clears throat> reason why I don't trust people because I know they're not <laughs> trustworthy. Yeah, I don't know. Familiarity is can go either way with both of these things, and all of that's built on what have they said and what have they done. If that was Leia saying these things, wouldn't matter. If no, no, no. Oh. doesn't help that it's a purple haired HR manager <laughs> saying it, but <laughs> as people have tried to posit, if that was Akbar doing it, we know who Akbar is. No, we'd say no, Akbar's we retarded. We would say Akbar's retarded, and uh, yes, there's something wrong with him. Well, yeah. It doesn't matter who says it every two minutes, by the way. Hmm? The thing. Uh, the, sub the, the little subscribe animation in the bottom right it comes up. <laughs> oh, it's in yeah. case you forgot, guys. Go subscribe. That is that is distracting. It has like a click and everything. It's like stop. If people, yeah, mm, has now I'm gonna now that you've doubly brought it to my attention, <laughs> I'm never gonna be able to miss it again. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So we we wouldn't be as confused. What Johnson does is he puts this unfamiliar element in. That's not the issue. It's just, it's it not. It doesn't matter. The, the idea is retarded regardless of who says it. And it's yeah. stupid. If some, if some guy, some, some green as grass private came up from the back and said, actually, our plan is to get on the thing and go to the place. And they're like, oh, shit, that's a great, that, that's something, that's a plan. Oh, but it came from the private. Oh, never mind, it's a bad idea. I was in there forces us to think oh well That's maybe a she's cut. a traitor mm. maybe she's a spy but no she just doesn't have well, to yeah we think that because what she's doing is acting directly against her own side's well-being yeah and what he's about to do like you know turns out she's just like the correct thing there should be turns out she's really incompetent that's all it is she's not actually mm -hmm. evil she's just really stupid you're like oh okay 
Like, is is there any about... argument that you couldn't like? Is this an argument you could apply this to anything? It's like, oh, the the director just wanted to subvert your expectations and lead you down a a rabbit hole, or or give you a little red herring about something. But turns out it was just shitty writing. Well, maybe she's a traitor. Maybe she's a spy. But no, she just doesn't have to tell him anything. And <laughs> yeah, she doesn't that have. Is good she writing. doesn't have to. But if she's trying to win the war and survive the battle, then uh, you so should? The like, delegation of information in a military is going to be probably highly bent on uh, the good that can come from the information going to the particular people. Um, the argument for not telling Poe in the first few moments, um, I, I'm like 50-50 on it. I don't, like, you, could, you could probably push me one way or the other, depending on more context, maybe more information. But um, as soon as your entire crew looks like death, and they're desperate for information, and he's yelling at you in front of everyone who is silently staring at you that we have no hope because you won't tell us what the plan is. Uh, you might want to tell them what the plan is. Yeah. At the very least, tell some superiors so that they can reassure the crew that, yes, we're going to get out of this. Trust us. Like, people, especially, like, people in a military who are armed with weapons, they don't want to just die. You don't want right? mutinies. Ideally, they want to survive. Yeah, you ideally, want to avoid they, a they want to live. Yeah. Because, obviously, um, if a mutiny happens, then the, the person in charge, in this case, Admiral Holdo, probably thinks she may have fucked up at some point. Even if it's in the sense of she should have imprisoned Poe, but of course we know the truth is he's actually motivated to try and save everyone's lives because he thinks that all she's doing is killing everyone. And how can he? How can she prevent that misunderstanding? He's like, explain the plan. Which is exactly what Leia does as soon as she meets up with Poe. When she's it's when she's woken up. It's it's so simple. It's so easy. Just tell well, your best pilot, the destroyer of the Star Killer base, hero of your faction. No, he might be a mole. Your planet. Oh, he might be a mole who blew up the Star Killer base. He got he he felt really bad about it. Mm -hmm. and he was like, ah, I don't know, man. Like think of all that that they can accomplish. <clears throat> you know, the new or the new order, the new republic, they're shit actually. So I'm gonna go with them. First order, they're great. They're powerful. They can get shit done. Yes. <clears throat> um, were you gonna say something, Anna? Mm -hmm. Oh, I was just saying, Leia wasn't using it as a power play against Poe like Holdo was. Like that was her whole thing was manipulating him. The way that she was talking down to him in that one scene where she's like, "Oh, I've seen pilots like you," and it's like. I don't know. I thought it was like that was Ryan Johnson trying to put his weird kinky fetish into mm. a movie. Like that's I the think vibe it was just that him I got. Trying to tear down old characters because he did it with everyone else, basically. So yeah, but the just... way that he was having Holdo talk to him, I'm like, if roles were reversed, people would be losing their minds. Because you could you imagine mm. if Poe was a female character and Holdo was a man talking to Poe, the girl Poe, like that? They would, you know, sexual harassment. Blah 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 blah. And it, like exactly what happens the second Leia wakes up, she's like, yeah, this is what we're doing. And everyone just does it. It made absolutely no sense for Holdo to withhold that information. And then when we find out later when she's talking to Leia and she's like, oh, yeah, I like him. And it's like, well, no <clears throat> shit. You were, you know, being all creeper on him earlier. And Ryan Johnson did say that um, he dressed Holdo sexily, right? Wasn't that? Yeah, something? yeah. Yeah, the costume designer, she originally had, like, all of these different types of uniforms and, you know, based on uh, the expanded universe designs that they had for similar female characters. And he's like, no, I want her to be sexy. You can be sexy in a uniform, what the fuck? Yeah, exactly. Well, but he, um... <laughs> it's a stupid thing to do. Yeah, it's so... Just, it's weird. If I was a soldier on that ship, I'd be like, what is she, like, is what it is that civilian casual doing? Friday? Or, yeah, like, who let her on here? Like, we have uniforms in this outfit. You know, like we're we're like an organized fighting force. We should have some standards for dress code. Well, yeah. I saw somebody use the argument of like, oh, Princess Leia was wearing a dress. It's like, well, yeah, in the first movie, she was coming from the Galactic Senate and, you know, it was a formal affair. Every other movie, she's wearing a jumpsuit because she's in the middle of a war. Yeah. It made absolutely no sense for her to be there in a ball gown. Well, when she's on Hoth, she's got appropriate attire. When she's on Indoor, appropriate attire. She dresses mm -hmm. for the job. Mm -hmm. Like a competent person. They use Mon Mothma as well, but isn't Mon Mothma and Leia at that point, they're both ambassadors? Mm -hmm. Well, Mon uh, yeah, Mothma, political figures. it's not like she's going into battle, and when you have Mon Mothma, they're at the base, and she's giving orders, so it's more of an official position, because that's what she is. 
And uh, I think in this one, Leia's just she's old, a civilian. so they tried to dress her. She, she's a civilian. She's not actually a part of the military organization. Oh. There you go. Um, she worked with the, the Rebel Alliance, but she served as its, she says, it served as its civilian leader during the long struggle against the Empire. Also, I am taller than her by one inch. Hmm. How tall are you? I'm, oh no, I'm taller than her by, she's only 4'9"? I'm 5'10", so I, I, I read that as 5'10", because, or 5'9". Wait, she's what? She's only 4'9". Hold on, 4'9". She's how, 4 feet 9 inches tall. <laughs> Damn. She's a little Really? Girl. She's a tiny little lady. Oh my <laughs> god, I'm actually taller than someone. Yay! <laughs> Holy crap, that never happens. I'm five I'm taller around. Than, I'm taller than Genevieve O'Reilly. Oh my goodness, really? Yeah, it oh, said, that's so what it cool. says here. Uh, she's four nine. Well, By the way, I'm, I'm, I'm five ten. Huge. I'm not four ten. Everybody, I I read that because I <laughs> I guess my four, brain nine. didn't think I am not four nine. I'm five ten. Well, then how short yeah. is everyone else? Because then it, even if you go and you look at the pictures of her standing next to everyone, she's really she's taller than Leia. So how tall is Leia supposed to be in this universe? So what they might they be doing is they might. Yeah, they might legitimately have her on some kind of a step. Um, let me actually see here. Um, no, because when she walks around, she's like, I'm, she she seemed. I thought she was like at least five seven, <laughs> or I mean, maybe she's wearing platform heels. I don't know. Because well, I'm be trying now. to uh, get some pictures of her, but like all of these pictures are of her behind like a desk. Or she's in the foreground and it's raised up in some kind of a auditorium setup. I feel like somebody typed that in wrong. She, I think maybe five nine, but there's no way she's four nine. She's a that well, maybe that's why she's wearing those big flowy robes is to hide her proportions. I don't know if flowy robes she's, help your height though, do they? Well, it well, helps to I, cover well, they would hide what your, shoes you're wearing. Yeah, they would. They would cover up like a lot of your body. So it would make it harder for you to judge whether someone was short or not, because you can only see like her head, her neck, her hands. Oh, people are saying that she's five six. Oh. Oh, because because what I here I'll I will. It says uh, I know I have it up here. It <clears> says <throat> that she's four nine, which makes no sense. Because <laughs> I was like, damn, I remember her being taller, but it does say <laughs> just so everyone uh, can confirm. Uh, if you, I don't know if you want to put that up, but it does say four nine. It I, does. I know my numbers all the way up to nine. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> yeah, I can count to 21. Oh, my goodness. Well, I guess this is technically 4.9 inches. <laughs> when they said the small rebel alliance they weren't kidding <laughs> turns out the Star Wars universe we're just zoomed in it's all tiny <laughs> It's like that one Men in Black movie where you, the little galaxy that's yeah. in the cat's collar. Uh, yeah. Oh my goodness. Dang, that in a state of like emotional upheaval, it also helps something as well. Poe's character, Poe's growth. Throughout the movie, we see him. Poe didn't grow. No, no. Poe regressed. Of that. He regressed as a character, absolutely. It was really unfortunate he because um, he learns <laughs> he learns to not protect people and follow authority. <laughs> really strange message, but okay, yeah. I guess. It's your movie, Ryan. Fail. 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 And then... F so that first fail. one wasn't a fail. He saved the fleet. The second one was, uh, yes, a fail technically, um, because he didn't activate the hyperdrive, but that's only because uh, Finn and Rose fucked up the breaker thing, because they got caught. I don't know if you guys remember this, but if Finn and Rose hadn't been spotted by a random evil BB unit, then um, they would have deactivated the breaker, and Poe would have sent everybody into hyperspace, and they would have—he would have saved them all. Yeah. Isn't that also, crazy? And the, yeah, it was just a little happy little accident. Like I just—I just want to highlight a shit ton of people die on crate. Poe would have saved them all had Finn and Rose been a little bit more careful. Yep. Also, the, the the other the the next clip is him getting shot by Leia, but that's because he saw Leia and didn't shoot her. Yeah, well, he, had, he had the drop on her. Leia, that first wasn't off, 
That's shocking what I was talking people. about. That's that's the scene I'm talking about. The, oh, he I only see. didn't activate hyperspace, which means he quote unquote fails because Finn and Rose failed to do their job. He can't activate hyperspace if the track is active. There's no point. Like saying he <laughs> failed there is kind of like okay, and but you are right though. A bonus comment: He doesn't shoot Leia when he obviously could. Yeah, weird that Leia would like. Hey, there's a there's a group of mutineers, and they've. Uh, they they sealed up this room. Leia's like, well, I've got a dress. I'll go in there. <laughs> I'll go check it out. I'll go check it out. I ain't, I ain't a scurd. Hmm. And the third one was uh, when the, the ships start getting blown up because DJ has told the First Order because he overheard Poe saying it on a thing where Finn let DJ hear all of it. I, like, I still I push back completely that that's Poe's fault rather than Finn's fault. Very fucking, irresponsible. Yeah, like the idea, oh, that's Poe's failure. It's like, how the fuck is that Poe's failure? Finally, on Crate, this happens. What's their plan? Well, they're supposed to go up to the cannon and shoot it. Apparently there are blasters on these things. Or, um, oh. you, could, you could ram your ship into the cannon. I imagine that'll do the same job. Oh, hey, ER's on here. ER, do you notice how their uh, little drill thing looks very familiar? Mm, are you talking about Avatar? Yes, I am. Yeah, I kinda, yeah. I that do was see the first thing I noticed. Familiarity. Yeah. I think it's hilarious they have Death Star tech that can be walked <laughs> around and it's just like, wow. Why don't they just shoot it from where they are? Like, <laughs> I don't know, Rex. Also, we have Death Star tech. We put it on a tank that moves very slowly and has to be pulled by something well, else. <laughs> Instead of slapping it on a ship in space. I know, but also, JJ was obviously like, hey, how about we put this on death, the Star Destroyers and make a thousand of them? It's like, oh god. Oh, god. Brilliant. <laughs> then they all get destroyed because they don't know which way is up. This show, uh, this show, this se sequel trilogy is, is oof. It's really shit. Let's mm. fall off, we're not gonna make it. All right, make, make it, why you just shoot it? Also, Finn was totally gonna make it. Uh, it's Rose that fucks it up. Yeah. Yeah. Target in sight. Guns are hot. No! Whoa! Guns are hot. What? All right, so he's ready to shoot. George, it's a suicide run. I'm... Yes, it's he that's says that's guns fine. Are hot. It's but this is the this is the harsh reality. It's fine if it's a suicide run, as in you will you will die doing this, but you might save everyone's lives. It's like well, like that's, they have any other choice. I don't. I don't. That's what I mean. It's like I, so die or maybe die and save maybe everyone. <laughs> it's like I. I, I don't. Uh, get, why don't they just shoot it? Because that's then no. we can't. Something. No, boo. Can't um, do that. It's not like there's... Like, is there a shield around the opening of that no. thing? No. Looks yeah, like, no. so just shoot into it. It's You'd not think. that hard. They even have those turrets um, on the battlefield as well. They could totally yeah, do it. Show, I guess. They, they just don't. No, I'm almost there. Retreat, That's an order. <laughs> so we've seen his arc from the first moment of the movie. <laughs> yeah, he almost arc. gets everyone killed here. A broken arc, at best. I'm sorry. Movie where he doesn't follow about. Leia's orders and he leads the bombing run that essentially, while destroying the Oh wait, sorry, what was this? Uh, Scoo Scooby just uh... <laughs> 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 That's really good. Hope <laughs> 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 oh, is like the sun. It burns you to a crisp. I just, I like, hope is like the sun. Okay. <laughs> there's, there's no explanation. <laughs> uh. Bites up the fleet, and we see him do stupid, stupid stuff again and again and again. Until in the end, the lessons appear. Now, it would be great if the movie had like a line of dialogue or a character. <laughs> <laughs> um. Wait, is he about to reference? Uh, yeah, the 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 uh, a line. As a, as a thematic sort of through line, which that was something one of my criticisms was, um, Jesus, they spelled it out, like, even though it was pretty obvious, but it's like, okay, I don't, I don't know that that's a, I don't know how I feel about that, like, like, is it a plus to just look at the screen and go, hey, this is the point we're making? It's like, right, okay. ...who said something, and that would tie that all, oh yeah! The greatest teacher failure is See, subtle but he didn't learn i mean like he <laughs> nobody, reverse learned nobody learned shit i mean he poe didn't fail and he didn't learn so like both of those are wrong 
in order to have the message failure the greatest teacher is you have to fail and then learn and he did none of those things lies see that's called a thematic through line and yeah. that is a sign of good fucking writing there you go it's guys terrible i feel like that's we've just summarized most of the video essays we cover it's like as long as there is a thematic through line even if all of the references are broken the film is good that's it Thing where we're watching Luke's story and we see all this stuff about failure being the best teacher when actually we're seeing the same thing in Pose, but we're not seeing it clearly because we're too distracted like Poe. I mean, to take it on a real macro level, the day before this movie started, Poe destroyed Starkiller Base. He thinks he's King Shit of mm -hmm. Fuck Mountain. That doesn't help yeah. the argument. <laughs> he, he should he should <laughs> feel like King Shit of Fuck Mountain. He blew up Starkiller Base. That yeah. was the best line in this entire video. He should! He's got every right to feel like King Shit of Fuck Mountain. Oh boy. And then Hulk appears and starts dressing him down, and he thinks, well, what the hell? I'm what the hero of the galaxy. Dressing down? Why aren't you telling me the plan? I'm owed that. But really, he's not owed anything. Yes, he is! He's the fucking commander no. of the fleet! No, Rags, he's, he was. A lot of people say this, like, no, he was demoted, therefore not. It's like, do you know who he was demoted to? Fucking captain. Since when do captains not get told anything? Subscribe. <laughs> also, fleet commander overriding the general in a fleet battle seems possibly like in line with uh, how things actually work, like authority wise. I do wonder about that because a general, if she was Admiral Leia, that wouldn't be the case. But isn't a general specifically for ground troops and ground troop organization? Yeah, yeah I, I think general is like an army thing and admirals are navy and generally in space like uh, i've seen for the most part when it comes to space stuff they use naval terminology they do yeah especially in star trek it's all based on the navy yeah so now i don't know what's going to happen with the space force but i guess we'll see what their uh what rankings and stuff will use i hope it's uh, you know what really irks my soul about they're like, oh, she's not a princess anymore. She's a general. I'm like, so she got demoted. Yeah. Because generals have to <laughs> listen to the nobility, don't they? So it's better if for her yeah, to be a princess. Depends, but yeah, I feel like if, if you're going to rags, do you want to be a general or a queen or a princess? I'd be like, I want to be a princess, honestly. Also a queen. There you go. I'm going to. Oh, I'd be a queen, but I'd be a princess. Queen. <laughs> and I'm just screaming into the void here, because it's not about a movie being objectively bad or bad writing. It's about a female character talking down to a male character. It's about oh. an Asian American woman. Oh. oh. No, it's about an Asian woman sexually harassing a black man. No, it's also, okay. She's not, a, we... she's not an Asian American. There's no America in Star Wars. Okay. Well, I think he's referring to literally the actors in the meta now. Oh well, like like because of course we don't like it because we're sexist and racist. I, it's been a has it been that long since this has been pulled out? It does feel kind of novel at this point. <clears throat> like oh look at there it is, racist and sexist. It's <laughs> like, it's yay. nice to get like a different kind of. Well, these aren't even arguments. I was about to say a different kind of shitty arguments, but these aren't even arguments. So mm -hmm. never mind. I'll being a total badass. She a wasn't a badass. Total she total badass, shot the guy who was trying to save a person. And then she ruined, she almost doomed the resistance at the very end. She's an idiot. Oh, she, oh, what was her whole thing? She's sad because her sister died. She shocks Poe, even though he had, or no, uh, Finn, because he had every right to leave. They go to this planet. She's still reflecting on her life and like her sister and her parents and all that and how they had this shitty life. Sees an orphan, a bunch of orphans. Let's leave them here and let's save the horses. She's a shitty fucking person. Yeah, the all of Katavai is so funny in terms of just how much her goals are just not being actually met, but she thinks they are. Rose is a terrible character. Jedi. <laughs> These complaints are going to keep going. It's been two years, and it's still just as strong as it was. Yeah, no, and you guys are still going too. <laughs> Throwing out video? these awful characters. This video was made on... Um... December 11th, 2019. Oh. So, fairly, re mm. relatively recently. He probably did it because the uh, 
what was it rise of skywalker was coming out so he's like let me get this video in the algorithm so it gets some clout before the new movie comes out mm. well yeah it's, it's the last it's the final word it's, it's, it's the last word on the film now we can all agree it's over okay but um i guess we got the last word <laughs> get rag dab and frankly, it's exhausting. I love The Last Jedi. It's very clear you do. It's fine. Yeah, it's, it's clear that you love it irrationally. <laughs> I'll probably watch it at least once a year from this year until my oh last year. God. Um, no, but I'm won't. sick of trying to persuade idiots to like it or to defend it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, yeah. Oh. If So here's the thing. If... <sighs> If people aren't convinced by this argument, it's because this argument <laughs> is horseshit. It literally is contradicted by the film. It doesn't make any level of sense. It Dude, makes you look like a fucking moron. To take this isn't going to convince anyone who's intelligent. To take the stance you're an idiot, uh, and uh, uh, like for not liking it almost because that's like the implication of the statement, and then to be like, I'm going to convince you to like it. You're like, oh boy, and then you watch this video, you'd be like, um, mm. this this was this was it. This was what you. Wow. Okay. You're going to have to... Remember what I said earlier about how being smug and correct is like a plus one, but smug and incorrect <laughs> is like a minus five? This is the minus yeah. five. Oh. Welcome, everyone, to the minus five. Welcome to the minus five. <laughs> I have incredible predictive capability. That's surprising. It ought to have a for people who just don't like it for all the reasons I just said. Um, it's got so an Asian in my it? Last word well, we didn't last use Jedi. any of them. Uh, or my last word on the negativity around The Last Jedi. From now on, as always, all I see is the positivity in Star Wars. Okay. <laughs> just just, just like it and you'll like it. Not left there. Just like this it and you'll like it. Bad. You guys need to be more positive about it. Okay. Stop it. Stop being negative. It's nasty. So, Are you on that note, fingers? may the force be with you. <laughs> well yeah that's a variation oh that, that, i don't know what that accent's called but that's that's what it is what is it 2019 blue bantha milk co media written and presented by sean fallon edited in by sean fallon and matt grant edited it took uh, two editors to make this <laughs> <laughs> i don't what was the what was the second person doing Maybe they did like the Putting audio all those and movie like clips in. The music. Yeah, man, it was, it was extensive. Good job, you did it. Oh okay, God. it took two people to make that catastrophe of, of a video. Yeah, that was shit. That was really pathetic. It matches the rest of the um, it matches the rest of the TLJ defense movies, but at least that one was <laughs> relatively short. Defense and movies. <laughs> defense movies. <laughs> I, I do that all the time. I call videos <laughs> movies because I sit down and I focus on them and I watch them and it takes us so long to get through them. I just call them movies. <laughs> uh, we did it. Yeah, that was bad. Um, we did do it. Next up, I'm going to check out some of the fan art that I didn't Yay! manage to get onto uh, episode Uno Hundredo. First up, we have a doodle of a little clown boy, Nor. Isle of Man concerned, and I think a doggo version of me and Rex. <laughs> no, it's the it's the no. These aren't doggo versions. This is that that game. Uh, among uh, us. TTT in space. Yeah, Among Us. Oh yeah. right, right, right. Yeah, that's that's us. Oh right. Yeah. I see. Also, the... he's got a he's got a math question. X squared plus x y minus x y minus y squared. I forget that. Well, that's not really a question. That's more of a statement. Yeah, there's no equals. It's just there's no. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> like, okay. Little clown boy. No. Boom, boom, boom. Got um. Full metal jacket. The white Samori. Once I got again. My picky picture. I like it. Mhm. Mm Good job with the. Oh yeah, full metal. Oh. I like the full metal jacket, and mm -hmm. I also like the white Samori. Yeah. The. Oh, there you go, it loaded. Quite, quite nice. I, think, I reckon, I think Tonal's already seen this on uh, on Twitter. And here we have Minecraft with such a cast. Oh, wow, look at that. Um, Tonal Mahler, we've got J, Metal, ER, Anna. Who's Where am I? in the middle with the the, the, the lavender shirt? Uh, oh, Aiden? is that uh, Aiden? 
No, it's got like a beard. Come up. The... To the right of. To the right of. Uh, is that could it, is that a sword? Could it be Shad or is the it yeah? Because Mel's shad. in the back. Maybe it's Shad. I think it's Shad. Got the yeah. Pipeman. So we got Daft is up front. We got Shad's logo. Oh, Critical yeah. Drinker. We got his. Mm -hmm. I assume that's his. But I assume all bottles are his. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> oh, so maybe it's and Southpaw. The. It might be. It might be. Um, we've got uh, Voxus over there on the right, sitting in his chair. Mm -hmm. uh, we have, of course, uh, the new Batwoman with her. Yes. Uh, with her, you know. Oh god, a purple her. cowl. Can you imagine? Mm, I mm, at least the red. At least red goes with black. So mm. I don't know about that purple. Don't know about the purple hair in the bat suit. And then we have the trio here. We've got Wolf, myself, and CJ. The puppies. Bringing. This awesome. And yeah, it probably took some time at least. You're stacking them blocks, getting the right colors. Yeah, this looks really good. Good old Mina Crafter. The rendition. What's that in the? What's that in down there? The um, the thing right next to Das, behind him to the to the left. What's that? Um. The turkey. Oh, what? that right there. What is that? I'm trying to think of. Uh, hmm. Whoever made this, get us some more angles of this. I don't know what that is. Rhino JL. I don't think that's Jay Longbone, is it? <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was, someone said it was a smithing table. That's a big fucking smithing table. Is that for Shad because he's like making a sword or something? I don't know. I don't know either. I don't I'm really confused. Know. I don't know. This is some um, Tonal taking his slingshot, preparing for getting his, the turkey off his lawn. Hmm. <laughs> learn, learn, turkey. He's got Lord Tonal on his own shit. <laughs> Lord Tonal on the back. <laughs> And the, the the spreading of the meme of adding the context timeline for people who like can <laughs> find it out. More tonal fan art. Ooh. Cook for characters with tonald. Ah. Looks good. Mm. Okay. <laughs> this is um an unbridled marriage for Moller and Moopa. <laughs> <laughs> Circa nineteen thirty nine. Yeah. Riding in Moolah. There's so Rido Bill attached to the back. Yeah. <laughs> Those were simpler times. Nice yeah. <laughs> the rendition of Mr. Movie Robert. Oh no. Jim Bob. Looking fantastic. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's got the gauntlet. Gotta stop him. Uh -oh. Just hold a candy bar in front of him to distract him. Oh, it would work. Oh, oh, hey, the the guy who made the so Captain Lol nineteen who made the Minecraft one. He said, uh, "Hello, I'm the creator of the Minecraft art, and the one you were confused on is Southpaw with the golf club standing over the head of Neil Druckmann. Uh. I, <laughs> I, I based it how uh, based it off how he looks IRL. Also, thanks for checking out my Minecraft art. Plan on doing more. Yeah, that's impressive. Yeah. As a Minecraft player myself, I can certainly appreciate the effort it goes, uh, or that goes into making that. So, very good. Very good. This is me looking all, looking all spooky. I think I'm burning some stuff. Possibly snakes below me that are all black, or that's a part of me. Mm. Either way, terrifying. I'm a skeleton too. I'm a skeleton with this on fire, uh, with lots of tentacles. I feel like it's a very fantasy focused beast at this point. Uh, this one I can't see. It's not yeah, the... uh, I've been looking at it on, on, on the stream. Yeah. Oh. This one for me as well. On Discord at least. <clears throat> um does it still not show up if you click it as well? Yeah, no. Hmm. So code it, yeah, it could be that the URL's dead now, so at least we've got it mm. for on the stream. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh does this one work? Hey, there you go. Yes. I like this one. Like... <laughs> 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 
Hmm. And then it's a narrative. Slide two. <gasps> What's about to happen? Uh -oh. oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Look what happened. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. That's not allowed. Poor Welsh dragon. That's not good. There's no bueno. World War Australia. <laughs> so we got the eagles are dropping toxic waste, is it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is that a, a sh shark? I don't know what's going on with that one. <laughs> Rags has got his dual pistols and uh, a, a knife, yeah, my, I guess. Yeah, my next ward. My next ward. <laughs> Who's supposed to be Perry the platypus over there? Oh. He is. <laughs> Because they're from Australia. Bringing is consistently magic based uh, in, in each of these artworks. Got a staff now. Froglodyte. Who knew? <laughs> Summer 2022, look out for it, folks. Damn. Coming to cinema. Oh, this is it. This is nice. Look at it. Oh, oh wait, does it not show up? I, I recommend at this point you guys pull up the stream because fucking Disco's oh, being gay. <laughs> Objectivity! <laughs> Yay! Pray! On his little heart. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> it's like Cuphead. <laughs> Raggy is free. Raggy is free. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I dressed like Dobby the Elf? <laughs> <laughs> Raggy is free! That's like, so cute! Like, like in the old school um, Mubsley face. Yeah. Some might just assume it's I, like a Harry Potter variant, but no. I forgot the origin of that. Why did I say that? Um, oh, I can't even remember what... Luckily, I could go to the time... You have 100 mini-memes, 3014... All right, let's go to. Even 100 mini memes, 1, 34, 18 is such a like crazy long Mueller. way to find it. All right, Mueller, EFAP mini. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Shitty. EFAP mini, super. So is this EFAP mini memes? One. One, yeah. 100 mini. <sighs> Part one. Time is 34, 18. I see. Huh. Talk about Faramir and you're playing your game. Gorm. I, I, I might be on the wrong video. EFAP 100 mini memes 1. 3418. <clears throat> yeah, I don't. Maybe the chat knows. Does anyone in the chat know what the context of this is? Yeah, maybe. Because I'm on I'm on the EFAP 100 <clears throat> mini super chat catch up part one. No, unless that's... there's we... so... oh, is it is there? It's a specific meme. We've got to come up with a better catalog. No, it is. Specific. You've just misread them. So it's it's the EFAP 100 <laughs> mini memes came after EFAP 100 part two. Oh, EFAP 100 mini reacting to no reacting to EFAP. 100 beams one here it is yeah. okay there we go there we go i got it i was looking at the wrong efap 100 mini catch-up thing all right so 3418 here we go uh do do oh yeah this is they, they drew this yeah here it is i remember now someone drew that so i asked why am i dressed like dobby the elf <laughs> <laughs> and now we've come full circle. We did it! Hooray! It was funny, but with context, it's funnier! <laughs> oh, fuck it. I'm trying to get onto it. Where did I put it? There we go. Oh, and they even kind of like copied it over. It does look really similar, kind of. Good stuff, alright. This was, um, Us's, us's Pixeltisms. The long man and the rigs. Nice. So cute. 
ready for being put in a video game, I'm sure. Another rendition. We've got lots of fan art to get through, you know, it's crazy. Lots of people doing all kinds of drawings. I'll have to have another spare 200, 300 avatars for the next, uh, <laughs> whenever. <laughs> Oh my, what is this? Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> you never quite know what you're expecting with these sorts of things. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Those legs at the end just go up. <laughs> you you make that 90 degree turn there. Oh, that's, ooh, wow. Gonna need a massage after that one. Right, I think you've seen these before, Rags, but my goodness, they're cute. These are great. This guy draws a uh, Calvin yeah. and Hobbes style. Uh, oh, damn, rags this is really well done. I was gonna say <laughs> rags and I. Oh, it's so cute. These are so good. These are adorable. I love these. Yeah, Look I've at... seen a bunch of those. They're really good. Look at the little rags with the little jar, and it's just so cute. <laughs> oh my little, goodness! A big open face, a little tail, and mulberry tall. It's so great. I love this so much. And there's not just the one. <laughs> also, I These like it. So <laughs> We're just chilling in space right now. It's pretty cool. Oh, I mean, so good. I love <laughs> <laughs> good stuff. <laughs> I got my stool. Look, a little picture. And he's like, look, mm. I do a little picture. And then it's like, oh. <laughs> but with his little tail. <laughs> oh my goodness. Going through Mandalorian season two. It's going to be more than a couple mm. of hours. Fun, fun, fun. Yeah, it's, uh, really, really cool stuff. Love it. Yeah. <clears throat> Ragvin and mobs. <laughs> and then, of course, we have us as full guys. Oh my god! Kind of, kind of terrifying, <laughs> but you know, <laughs> yeah, it's a little scary. My is metal drowning? Nose, but... I think so. You look upset about it. <laughs> How can he? He is drowning in it, and you're just walking over it. I got powers. Cheater. Uh, See, that my my. It's like Godzilla. My legs go all the way down. <laughs> I get it now. <laughs> is that um the Blumen? Is that Evan uh Evan's profile pic, I think so? Uh I would say so, yeah. Bap guy's celestial knockout. <laughs> I've been knocked out, alright. Check it out. I love that. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! Oh, <laughs> hello! Hello! I'm just lamenting Star Wars' corpse, and you're like, hello! <laughs> yeah, more things for us to shit on! Like, burn it all down! This uh, was said a while back, so unfortunately I couldn't get uh, it on the EFAP 100 ones, but it's like, where was Weekend Warrior during the um, the meme video they released? Because he wasn't in it. It's like, this explains the plot hole. You got, um, <laughs> Spider call to arms against Diabito and the massive force recurring guest and ally Weekend Warrior failed to show up to the final battle, but why? Uh. The fuck is Weekend Warrior? Hey, nice anime titties. <laughs> He's on Twitter, leave him alone. Like, retweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we heard VTuber streaming. <laughs> well, I love uh. the little, uh, the image of us fighting him as well. Got the yeah. churro. <laughs> <laughs> and they got Shad as uh, Doctor Strange over there as well. Yeah, that's good shit. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Of course, Weekend Warrior was present for uh, Ghostbusters 2016, so you know. Yes, he was. That's Broke a plus. That. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this is awesome. Obviously, um, promotional art for a game that's going to be coming. Brood money. <laughs> <laughs> that is one long wire. Yeah. 
Okay. It has to be if it's going to get all the way around Diabito. Mm -hmm. Seven people. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, one Diabito, obviously. Or, yeah, or one Diabito. <laughs> seven normal people. <laughs> That's just an average sized person, really. Yeah. It's one average sized person. Yeah. Lies. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Yes, Krimeth. <laughs> Best this is like horny for Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> horny for Christmas. I am horny for Christmas. <laughs> this is great. It's one of my favorites. I love this one. Mm. They fixed you. No, I'm not. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> they fixed you. You're a no, fixed huh? dog. No, I'm not. Yeah. This is safe for work. <laughs> no, that's what they call work it. dog. They're like my opposable thumbs. They're there when I need them. Mm. Ooh, oh shit. wow, that's cool! Fucking cool! I saw that one. That one was uh, really cool. At this point, I should just be popped into an anime. I reckon. Make me a villain. Go ahead. You're frowning because you hate art and you don't mm -hmm. want to have any fun with anything, and you want to destroy other people's fun. I consume okay. feelings, and they generate power within me. Meanwhile, look at me. I'm horny for Christmas. I'm having a great time, <laughs> and you're just Ooh, nasty. Ooh. Uh, those Halloweeners, man. I'm a vampire, you see, of fun and experience. And look at this. We got a fucking metal one. Ooh. Mm. I love that one. That was really good. That shit making it through all of the memes <laughs> with you. Yeah, it was that was such great. <laughs> Classic. Yeah, that, that, that's from when I was playing uh, H3 VR and I found a power drill and was doing a melee only run. Didn't went well, but hey. <laughs> what what are you uh, chopping up there? Wieners? Yeah, the, the thing is, it's, it's called hot dogs, horseshoes, and uh, I forgot the last one. Hand and grenades? The, hand grenades, yeah. And then, <laughs> and the enemies are wieners for some reason, and they bleed, <laughs> they bleed yellow like it's mustard and shit. <laughs> like, yeah, makes sense. Checks out. Yeah, that's a really fun game. This one's horrifying. Uh, Mola's struggle. It's got the the editing in the background, the timeline, and then. I saw that one. My <laughs> oh my god! So... That is creepy. God damn. The uh, I think he said. It was the many emotions I feel, so like anger, sadness, tism, and something else I can't remember. Little clown boy. I, I can confirm this is how his actual hands look like. Mm -hmm. real. You got those weird snow hands. Yeah. The other one is normal, but the, but the right one is just like, yeah! <laughs> Constantly screaming at people. <laughs> oh, hey, look at this one. I forgot this was in here. Fucking great. This is so great. Oh yeah, I saw that one too. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, that woman. Um, <laughs> yeah. so, my face and my first, like, <laughs> <laughs> I think it just captures our most common emotions for each person. <laughs> yeah. Fringy losing his shit all the time. <laughs> I love the smiley slippers I'm wearing. Yeah, Fringy's yeah. upset. Metal has accepted that this is his fate. My <laughs> malicious laughter and your <laughs> just joyous laughter. Yeah. <laughs> This is great. It's so cute. Batwoman season two will return in Avengers yeah. Endgame. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, it's really good shit. I love it. And this one popped in as well, relatively recently. Some good stuff. Some high energy there mm -hmm. of just this Overlord energy. We shall destroy all. Specifically, art though. All these images Leave are so no villainous art. most of the time. <laughs> so, Leave like... no art alive. <laughs> we shall destroy. We shall eat the art. Yeah, like, what can I really say? Good rat, you know? All this shit is good rat. Hell yeah. You guys with your good rats. Wonderful. Look at the colors as well. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen this one yet, Rex. So... Oh, <laughs> map 100 complete. Aww. True. Yay. That was basically what happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like an achievement. Some rhino milk, complete. but there as well. What's um, what that say on the long, long something? Long, long W? Something? Long woman, long... maybe? I don't know. 
Yeah, it could be. Mm. Rags looks content. Yeah, that's the place to be. I even got my little <laughs> pillow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Tell cute. you, I'm a side sleeper, you know? And the lost spin. one. Oh, yeah. Aww. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just, just jamming. It's so cute. Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. We don't kill all art. <clears throat> Enjoy some of it. Mm, only most of it. <clears throat> oh, that was... um. Oh, I remember this one. Yeah, this was when... They're, they're, the strip is just them dancing, and at the end, his his mom and dad are in bed, and it's dark, and one of them's like, first thing in the morning, I'm calling the orphanage. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I One of the best gifts I ever got was my dad got me the this, this huge-ass book that's all the Calvin and Hobbes strips that Bill Watterson ever made in this big-ass fucking book, and one of my prized possessions. Love Calvin and Hobbes. Remember so much. Good shit. And that leads us to uh, Super Chats. Snoop Only natural chats. I wonder what... Um, I think I'm going to carry on with, 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 with Hit and Run until I finish that out from when we, I was redoing it. I, get, I think I should get a reset on what games I can play every, every time a year passes, okay? <laughs> of, of EFAP, I mean. <laughs> um... But yeah, of course, uh, Metal, Anna, ER, if any of you would like to use this time to eject a Rooney, uh, you're welcome to. Of course, you were the whole time, but I mean, if you were looking for any kind of uh, natural spot. No? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good to go. Mel, you okay? I'm, 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 I'm cool. I, I have another beer right here. I think fuck, because... Actually, it floats more. <laughs> if we didn't have another beer, we would have been screwed over. All right, well... Mm -hmm. yeah, I get... finished my work for today, so I'm, I'm good. Mm. Hooray. Mm -hmm. um, I must do some scrolling, so... Uh, I don't know. It's been, a, it's been a fun little, little EFAP 101, in a, in a way. It's like <clears throat> EFAP back to basics. And I feel like we really yeah. did cover a lot of basics. Got a nice, good old-fashioned TLJ video that's just as bad as all the rest. Got um, some criticism levied against all of us, in a collective mm -hmm. and specific sense. We even had someone come on to talk about their video. The full experience. Da, 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 da. Boom. He even he 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 heard me yell for the first time, I think. Yeah, because you're, <laughs> you're a cruel bully. Shut the fuck up! Oh my god. How dare you. Oh. I can you let people have an opinion, Mel? Jesus. No. No? No, 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 no. No, no. Um. Hmm. The first one says Henry Cavill is signed on to be Superman in three DC movies and multiple cameos. I want a sequel to Man of Steel and directed by Zack Snyder. My body is ready. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's pretty popular at this point in terms of just people want to see him do stuff. But, uh, mm -hmm. we'll see. It'll be interesting to see how everything turns out with the old, uh, the DCEU. Getting more stuff. Of course, we uh, hope it's going to be some good shit. I, I haven't, I haven't seen any DCEU movie. They're Same. terrible. They're yeah, from what I hear, <laughs> I've dodged many bullets. <laughs> <laughs> they're terrible, but he's very handsome, so it makes it terrible. <laughs> just, just mute it. Richard Cav or uh, Henry Cavill? Yes. Oh, he's a fucking stud. Mm -hmm. Snorms, snorms. And he likes PC gaming, so. Oh, perfect. He does. I wonder if he has a CG. He he has a CGI lip in real life. <laughs> of course he does. And all of his his mustache is what CGI'd on. Um, have any of you heard of Michael B on Twitter? No. 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 <laughs> right there. Oh, there you go. Uh, please review the Ben Shapiro WAP remix. The Wet Ass Pussy remix, then, I'm guessing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a song. Ben Shapiro Wet Ass Pussy remix. <laughs> oh. That's like it rained for 40 days and nights down there, huh? <laughs> <laughs>
Oh. Uh, upload to BitChute foos. We're right. We, 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 we've actually got that new source of EFAP. It's actually on SoundCloud now. The, the link is available. Oh. Um, yeah, EFAP audio. Uh, EFAP. But um, I've got them all backed up. If anything was to happen to the YouTube channel, like Big Nuke, um, of course, they would, they would, all the episodes would be pooled onto another site. Big smart. Yeah. Um, I'm not suggesting everyone go and download every episode to make sure you never don't have access to them. Just, just you know, we, we, you, you take things bit by bit. Do it. What? That would be crazy. Don't do it. Um, welcome back, you Tism Massives. Praise the dawn. As always, yes. Praise the dawn. Oh. He's taking good you... care of all Wilford Brimley up. How did you like being Black Panther? I loved it. Have you seen Have you uh, seen the the big meme video? Mm, no. Oh my I don't god. Think so. You are. You, ask for me. you are Black you have Panther. Some homework, in it. young man. Yes. <laughs> that makes sense. All right. <laughs> it should be enough to tempt you. It's like, hmm. Yeah. Situation uh, here. Do 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 do. Rags only. Fuck Mary Kill. Husky Pitbull. Newfoundland. Uh, let me double check Newfoundland. <clears throat> also, um, the Streamlabs ones will be uh, the first thing for the the end of the next uh, uh, thing, as usual. I'm afraid I'm still still unable to fix those tisms. Wait, what's wrong with the Streamlabs things? I can't access it. Keep, it always defaults to um, Moolah. Okay. It, uh, all the other, like, because the, the, there's like three tied to my main one. I, I need the main one. It never defaults to it. And I've set it all to be the default one, but it just doesn't work. Mm, that's weird. So I have to sign out of everything in order to get to it, and I can't do that while streaming. Yeah, that makes sense. Unfortunately. But we still get to them. We always get to everyone, <clears throat> though sometimes we miss them, and I'm sorry about that. Uh. Hmm. Let's see. No let's party. go with. You know, let's um. Hmm. Let's go with Mary Pitbull. Cause they 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 seem like they're handy to have around. Like they could be super <laughs> protective and they could fuck people up if I need them to. Right. Let's go with um. Marry Husky and kill Newfoundland? What did Newfoundland do to be killed? You know, let's flip those. Let's flip those last two. Kill Husky, marry <gasps> Newfoundland. Huskies are cool. They are. All of them are are, are very cool. Very well. Um, much love, you guys. I find myself falling asleep to your content and waking up with it still playing. Hashtag watch time. Wait, did I do double fuck? I don't, I don't know, did you? I didn't mean to. <laughs> Mary, Mary, Mary Pitbull. <clears throat> no. Hmm. <laughs> fuck, fuck Pitbull. Ma no. Oh my god. <laughs> I know. Okay, we're gonna keep. Okay, Mary Pitbull, fuck Newfoundland, kill Husky. I'm gonna this go is with. Terrible. It's best. It's, I don't know, it's I best I can do. I, this, you know, I'm gonna, His hands are tied. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get yelled at no matter what I pick. <laughs> Uh, did the Last Boys episode take a shot at Whedon? I've heard about that. I saw a tweet. Um, the the shot specifically, it's not really spoilers, is that they're making some kind of show in relation to the, the uh, superheroes and um, they're talking about the writing of it and then I think one of the characters says like, it's great, did you check out the, the Whedon rewrite or something like that? Or the Joss rewrite? Obviously the, um, I'm assuming referencing Justice League. Yeah. Did you watch the episode? No, no, I haven't seen season two yet. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, they totally... It's because they're filming, like, the seven, like, movie, and so when they're in the process of filming it, somebody makes a reference, so, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a funnies. Um, hmm. Come to the dark side. Nationwide is our side. Come? Nationwide is on our side? Nationwide is on your side. Hmm. Is that like an American ad? Yeah, nationwide um, insurance. Oh. And it's a good, it's a good jingle, because I remember. Oh. 
When Wolf started his domino story, saying he had a bad dab, and Rags reacted with bewilderment, it reminded me of why I love Wolf's story so much. <laughs> I don't even remember bad that. Dab. <laughs> bad dab. Because, of course, what I think about is, like, you try to dab, but instead you accidentally jam your nose <laughs> into your arm because you just wanted to dab with such ferocity that you hurt yourself. The sacrifices <laughs> some dabbers make, you know? Dab safely, friends. Yes. <laughs> uh... Happy Batman Day to the best Batman ever, Batfleck. No, fuck that. Batfleck <laughs> is terrible. Oh, oh, fuck God. that. We have some no. strong opinions about Batfleck here. Yes, because he's not and fucking just... Batman. <gasps> no one's fucking Batman. <laughs> <laughs> well, Catwoman is in the comics right now. Oh, but my still. God. Uh, likes to who, is, who is the best Batman? Uh, Kevin Conroy. I figured you'd go for Conroy. Alright, if we disqualify Conroy, who then? Clooney, of course. <laughs> He's got a bat. He's I got think a bat Clooney is much better than Batfleck. He's got a bat credit card. True. He knows what the ladies like. Mm -hmm. Ladies love that bat credit card. <laughs> a lot of people like to go with Keaton and Adam West, of course. Um. Adam West is almost like his own different kind of batman just because the way that show was it's just its own thing it's so different mm -hmm. the other ones are kind of trying to play a similar ish kind of mm -hmm. batman or they're close enough to compare but he's just his own league it's, it's just its own thing over there fucking camera hey moving oh on. no it's it's off it's <laughs> um bo -do -do. uh Hey, Rags and ER, uh, reactions to, uh, R G Ruth, it is Ruth Bader Ginsburg, right? Uh, yeah. RBG passing, guess this may mean Trump gets another appointment on the SC, regardless, good to see y'all are back, love you guys, never stop. Uh, I think judges should be judges adhering to the Constitution, not political activists, is <clears throat> yeah. what my position is on that. Um, not gonna shed a tear. I won't dance in the streets or anything, but I'm, I'm not exactly going to shed a tear about uh, her finally kicking the bucket. Um, not a fan of her trying to use her death as a political tool either, but um, in, in the sense that she's like, oh, my, my final wish is I don't get replaced by this, this president and stuff like that. Like, okay, come on. You're trying to emotionally manipulate people into being sad when you die if you don't. It gets... But yeah, not... not uh, Certainly don't align politically. Not a fan of, uh, I guess, the judicial precedent or uh, thing that she set. So, yeah, not a, not gonna be any tears shed by. But I'm not gonna like be happy and glad and dancing in the streets or anything. I there's some level of decorum that should go into it, of course. But um, yeah, not. Um, I, I don't know if it, yeah, you. <laughs> Did you want to comment? Uh, on? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, you know I, I guess I've already done all my grieving for her because I think she's been dead for like two years now. Two years. She was a puppet the whole time. Meat yeah. puppet. Uh, if the Death Star hyperspaces into the fleet, will the, uh, will the rebels become the equivalent to swarm of flies on a windshield? Um, if a swarm of flies traveled at the speed of light into a car's windshield, <laughs> that shit's getting fucked up. Yeah, there was I, I. It was in like grade school or something where I was learned. We were just first getting into like physics, like the the baby element, literally elementary level physics. And so, like, yeah, there's a way to calculate how fast a dragonfly has to hit a semi trailer to stop it. And I'm like, wow, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. My little child brain. Oh my. Um, do -do. Where are we? Do -do. Thoughts about Demon Souls remake? Uh, I want it. Disappointments. I I, <laughs> <laughs> so like, yeah, ignoring all the shit. Um, yeah. The the concern people had was like it it might remaster it and make it lose the look it should have or whatever. That was that was one of the 
concerns. I, don't, I, I wouldn't be too worried about that myself. I would hope it would be a well-made remaster um, or remake, whatever, whatever, however it's qualified. But this whole, oh, it's coming to PC, lol, human error. It's like, excuse me? Yeah. <laughs> you really gonna bait that shit? I mean, oh. I, I, saw, I saw the gameplay thingy. It looks pretty good. Uh, but uh, another thing uh, while we're talking about this, slightly off topic. What do you guys think about the, the whole uh, prices going up for console games? That they Are they? Charge like seven, 70 to 80 bucks for a game. Oh, Fuck. Oof, people on, already on are generation. super. Oh uh, man, people are already super wary about having to pay sixty. Mm. I come to PC. That's that's <laughs> Just a, come yeah. To come to come to PC. Eighty bucks for a game? Like, ugh. Dude, the amount of free to play games on PC alone. Yeah, but, I wonder. Um, I can I can imagine they they're gonna raise the prices as well on PC then if they get away oh, with it. Oh. Um... <laughs> I get, I get, I'm guessing. Like I, I, I don't know. I'm just, that's just my speculation. No. Mm. Let me take a. Look. Is that? Are they really upping the price? Yes. Yeah. Uh, there, there was an article about it. It's the first time since, uh, I think since Modern Warfare Two Ooh, that they shit. raised the price from the norm. Uh, mm. here's Polygon. The seventy dollar video game is inevitable, but it's not all bad news. Uh, mm. Okay. <laughs> Of I course, just... NBA 2K21 is the one to... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course, because people will fucking buy the same game every day. Um, yeah, I... I I'm just wondering... I, I, I talked about this with... I think it was with a monk, actually. Uh, I, I just don't know how, how justified it is. Like, I, I get that it's more... Maybe it gets more expensive, but there's, like, so many factors that go in there. Like, just the trust issues most people have with games anyways already then they do all the dlcs where they get like shit 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 ton of money or anyways they, yeah. they, they make unfinished games quote unquote uh buggy games then that's the whole thing it's like okay they, it's, it's harder to make new games and now we need more money but also they have to. They don't have to produce as many physical copies anymore because lots of people just get the games digitally. I mean, the, the new generation of consoles even has a digital version of their <clears throat> of their consoles as well. So and I don't know. There's like a lot of factors, and I, I'm still not sure if it's a good or a bad thing. I mean, it's always always a bad thing for consumers if you go I mean, more expensive. I just don't know how justified it is really. Yeah, I don't feel that AAA games are giving me ten dollars worth more of you know quality than yeah. they did ten, fifteen, twenty years ago. Yeah, especially when you have games that have, have like shit tons of microtransactions and yeah. DLCs that they release for ten to twenty bucks, whatever, uh, depending on what it is. Or all like, the no. money is just pumped into graphics. Yeah, and in, in the insane amount of work and money that takes, but the gameplay itself is simple, and you can only play it through once to really get a, you know, um, it, it's, it's not, it doesn't owe itself to replays and stuff of that nature. Yeah. There's a reason so many double A level games and indie games are doing so well. Like yeah. People want content. As a <clears throat> personally, there's like little games I would pay seventy to eighty bucks for. Like yeah, the only thing I could I could think I about would probably yeah. like a, the new God of War, but that's like a lot of fanboy stuff in there because it's one of my favorite franchises. I rarely, uh, rarely buy games at sixty dollars. Yeah, me too. I rarely buy games completely new. Like if... almost all that I play is like games that were thirty or so, maybe forty at the high end, because they're either indie games or they're just double A level stuff, or they're free to plays, things like that. Mm. I oof, that's a that's a lot of money to spend on a game, seventy bucks. I'm trying to remember which game was the last one I paid full price for. Can't remember. I mean, like a triple A title that's like sixty yeah. bucks. Uh, I don't remember. Like the last couple of games I bought were all like smaller games, like Hades, uh, which is like an uh, is it a are they still an indie producer? Like they make best and everything, they're very well known. But I, I guess they're not a triple A, obviously. Uh, Why don't I don't, just I, make cheaper games? 
I, I, I legit don't know which which is the last game I bought for 60 bucks. It might actually be a Switch game, probably like Astral Chain or something. Because I wanted to check it out. And that was be worth 60 bucks. Interesting <laughs> to see how how this goes, like upping the price like that. I wonder if it'll... Um... They ain't gonna yeah. change a damn thing. What They ain't gonna change a goddamn thing. And what they're gonna do is they're still gonna have um, microtransactions. They're still gonna have all this bullshit that you could pay extra for after they've upped the game. There's Nothing's gonna change. You're not gonna get $10 worth more out of the quality. If we do, I will be shocked. Game, every, yeah. It's all gonna be the same. They just want more money per game. And the idea of making smaller budget games, you would think that would have... I mean, it has caught on to a degree, right? Because of how successful a lot of AA games and indie games are, especially. But, man, uh, I, I think it's just all going to be the same. People are just going to have to pay more. People are talking about Monster Hunter. This might, Did I buy this in full price? I actually don't remember. I did get a lot of hours of that, though. It was, uh, if I did, it was... I would say it was worth it. Pretty, oh man, pretty good game, but yeah. And I'm, and I'm thinking too. So I, I think that the NBA and I think it's 2K, that's the name. They have like yeah. exclusive rights to make those games. Yeah. So if you want a, if you want a, um, if you want a football game or if you want a basketball game, um, then like you don't have a lot of options. Mm. But if you want a shooter. You have a bajillion options. You want an RPG? Gajillion options. So if some, if one, if one of them goes, oh yeah, we're just ten dollars more, then people are gonna be like, eh, I don't like that idea. I'll just go play one of these other mini shooters, or I'll go play free to plays. Yeah. Oh, Doom Eternal. I think that was the last one I actually bought full price. Oh yeah, I bought that one too. Yeah. That's probably the one. That was the last one I bought as well. Hmm. But I, but I did buy it like two or three days after I think when I knew. It wasn't like a shit show and doesn't run. Yeah. Like as soon as I knew it's, uh, it's, it runs good and I can actually play it, that's when I bought it. As you should. <laughs> <laughs> Quote. I Honestly, know. I think I think this is a product of how so many gamers, especially really casual gamers, are hyper focused on graphics. Mm. They want they want the best looking game possible at the expense of everything else and they'll gape and gawk at oh i can see the pores on his face oh i can see the threads on his denim jeans yeah. instead of how much content and replayability and balance does this game have that it can offer to me and so that's expensive and it costs and if everyone wasn't so hyper focused mm -hmm. on graphics then yeah i mean for me i'm just like just give me good enough no, no, they're not. They're not making these more because it costs them more to make them. They're just doing it because people will pay for it. Yeah, yeah that's why. I, that's assumption. why 2K's the first. They know you want a basketball game. Well, you ain't got anywhere else to go. So seventy dollars now. I'm surprised it wasn't just incremental. Like they just added up one dollar per year on top of, you know, the price. Just keep keep pushing it. I mean, that's essentially what microtransactions have sort of been. Yeah. Doing. Um. It's how do we. And, and I'm fine with the concept, just make them worthwhile and have a base game that gives me plenty of content. Like, there have been some DLCs I've bought that have been insanely worth it. Lair of the Shadow Broker and Path of Fire and Heart of Thorns, all these big expansion packs and DLCs that have been totally worth it and I've never regretted it. But man, when I see a skin for a gun and it's 18 fucking dollars, I'm like, man, fuck yourself. You'd literally buy yeah. like four probably pretty good games on Steam for that. Hell yeah, you can. I mean, that's that's a reason why I'm just playing older games now. <laughs> I'm playing for it since yeah. Red right now. Okay. Yeah, like, <laughs> if, I, if I just look at my at my stream backlog on on the YouTube, it's like I played Hades. I mean, that's not a, an old game, but that's like an indie game, and it's really really good. Uh, I'm looking. I played Yakuza. I've been. I still need to finish the the the, the other one. I was playing Yakuza Zero. You get tons of hours out of that game because it's like it's funny it's just entertaining to play gets over the top it's like it's just super entertaining uh what else did we play i mean obviously i got my vr headset so i've been playing like lots of uh, lots of vr stuff but vr games on 30 uh 30 bucks max i think the ex most expensive one was 
would have been Half Life Alex, but I got that for free with my with my index. Uh, I looked through my games, and it's like Seven Days to Die. I've got six hundred twenty three hours in that. That game came out in twenty thirteen. Um, I uh, let's see. I'm, I'm just looking through like what I have installed that I play regularly. Yeah. I've been playing uh, Dark Souls one again with the uh, roguelike mod. But to be fair, I had to buy the remaster version for it because uh, that's the only way I could play it. But that was worth it. I got like a probably like six, seven streams out of that. And the mod is really well made. I really enjoyed it. King Floor 2 is 2016. Vermintide 2 is 2018, and that's relatively new. Yeah, we I went Risk back, of Rain's we went, year old. Yeah, I played Risk of Rain when the 1.0 release was. Well, I did play it a little bit later because I forgot about it. Uh, oh, but I got that? like get like a couple of days on that i'm definitely going to go back to risk of rain at some point because just like a chill game to play when you're just oh yeah out. all yeah. of the all of the recent games that i play are all sub 60 dollars they're like yeah. mord how vermintide 2, I mean, not, rain 2 on, the, like on the last drunk stream uh we played gulp of your friends which is probably already like three years old by now since i bought it uh, and it got way better with all the custom maps, so that's just super fun. And if I pick up another single player game to focus on that's new, it'll probably be like Mankind Divided or something like that. It mm -hmm. won't be a new game. I just don't. It's not really. I've never you really hate been. New oh, things. new game, gotta buy it. Mm. You hate change. I, yeah, hate I, change. I, I played the Cinders mod for Dark Souls 3. That was cool. Uh, yeah. Someone said that PUBG Mobile has made more than a billion dollars. I can believe it. Mobile wow. gamers will fucking pay for anything. Damn I mean, it, you, the... mobile industry. <laughs> actually, yes. Yeah. Like, actually, damn you. Quit. Yeah, they fuck People things are up. Just... Those are those predatory games that exist. Are those damn mobile games. And, you know, people just keep shoveling money into your phone games. Yeah. Gee. Like, why do you think... Why do you think Raid Shadow Legends can afford to pay all of these people all of this money? Mm -hmm. Like, because some people play that game and they get hooked on it and they spend insane amounts of money to do nonsense. So anyway, this, one, yeah. this one's interesting. Um, since ER is here, I am disappointed mm -hmm. that you guys like his video on Life is Strange. I'm working on a response video. He was mostly dishonest and wrong. Uh-oh. Wow. wow. <laughs> Wow, got called out twice today. Uh. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit rough, especially given that I haven't ever said anything about. Oh, oh, he's saying, oh, yeah. Um, I mean, I know little about Life is Strange. I did play it. I thought it was garbage. Uh, <laughs> so, um, and I've seen your video. And I, uh, I don't know. I found it entertaining, but uh, apparently, yeah, you've I mean, been lying to me, yeah? You know? The fuck? Wow. No, I'm mostly focused on the time travel on that. I believe. Oh, yeah. Which is totally garbage. I don't know why anyone could defend that. Well, you just hate women. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> Have you ever thought about that? <laughs> um, no, yeah, fair enough. I guess you know, I I wouldn't really know, but uh, I didn't de I didn't detect tisms. Uh, I'm trying to get Ruby Rose to ERB against Ruby Rose from Ruby. That'd be cool. Would it? What is it? What does it mean to E R B? E R B. E R B. Um, e R B. Epic rap battles of history. Ah. Uh, I guess yeah. I guess that's a. I epic remember rap those. Mm -hmm. I guess those are still going strong. Oh, they they made like that, ten billion of them. <laughs> still going. I feel like a, I think like the last time I watched them was probably like three four years ago. I mean they were really uh, entertaining. I just kind of lost track if they still do stuff. <laughs> Oh, I got more. Wait, did I die in that image, or am I sleeping? <laughs> wait, what? Oh. Uh, one second. Yay! Fucking dead. Fucking dead. Fucking really cute. Let me do 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 do. Oh. Rocking the brown for these. Hmm. One moment, like Chataruni. I get it up. I probably Jared shouldn't put it that way. Do, 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 do. Does this come up on screen? I hope it does. 
Well, I don't know yet. Got um. The game. Looks like little 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 plushies of me and Rags with a little YouTube symbol, yeah. I think. And then got. Yeah, oh, we doing a hug. Yeah, because Hobbs was a uh, yeah stuffed tiger. <clears throat> I like it. And then we're doing the sleeps. Yeah, these images are awesome. Thank you. <laughs> That's just us after every EFAP, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Get up, EFAP, sleep. <laughs> Maybe you could squeeze a snack out at the end, but mm, just get up, go to the computer, and it's a 180 right back at the end. <laughs> Use the loo, I'll be right back. Mm-hmm. Okay. I just worked on a movie with Ruby Rose. I thought she was the stunt driver when I met her. She was cool, though. I, yeah, I, I hope she is cool in real life. <laughs> I, don't know, just, I hope she doesn't act anything like Kate Kane does. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Damn shame. Muller, if you and Rags are unable to continue EFAP for whatever reason, which of your many guests do you think would be able to take the reins? Oh, so is this the scenario of... Either both or one of Mio Rags gets hit by a freak blast of lightning. I'm just like, damn, you're out. Freak blasts. I don't know. So if, if Rags were hit by a lorry or some shit, um, I'd be like, hmm, I don't know. I'd, I'd have to talk to everybody, figure out who would want to do it with me consistently. If I were hit by the by the lorry, I suppose Rags would do the same thing. Uh, but if we were both down, and who would I want to succeed us at that point? Uh... I don't know. It, it would just be one of the... Honestly, just out of the people who've been on here the most, if they want to pool together and figure it out, I wouldn't necessarily, like... I'm back. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to have a specific person do it, really. I would just be like, I hope that we, um... The people carry on with the, the spirit of the show, you know? Being like, well, I'm asking what happens if we die. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. What, what, would, what, what would we want to happen for EFAP and its hosting if both of us were to die? I hope that EFAP ends, but it inspires many podcasts like it, and that people take what they've learned and the experiences and happiness uh, that they've gained from our memories and do something positive and enriching with their lives to better the world. Wow, there you go. Um, I suppose if, if the question is trying to include, like, you know, we're on our deathbed, and it's like, do you want someone to take the show over and carry it on, or would you rather them, uh, rather the episodes end where, they, uh, where the last one was? Rather um, they end. I think I would probably I'd be like, yeah, end. if, say for example, uh, weird scenario, but like, I don't know, Metal J and Fringy are like, we'll do the rest of EFAP, we'll be like, may as well just start a new show. With you three being the hosts instead of, you know, because if, if me and Rags are dead, <laughs> it's like, well. <laughs> it's not, yeah, I mean, at what point do you say it's time for something new to begin and the old to, I mean, part of that is a little possessive, but I think that's justified to a degree you know the efap is sort of our thing in a yeah, way i think it'd just be a, it a different be. show and not not in like a bad way just may as yeah. well do your own thing your own branding yeah. your own labels your own format you know sure yeah, i would want the community to find a podcast that they can get behind and to to encourage maybe other content creators to make a like, like an efap inspired one i wouldn't want it to be efap but something close that would be really nice to really nice to think about. Germ fab. Mm. <laughs> Hi Rags, good to see the toxic brood brought back with a bang. Take that. Rags, say hello. Hello. Oh my God. Back with a bang. But yeah, you know, this is a, this is a pretty pretty good outing for 101, I imagine. Ho I hope it was up to snuff, EFAP viewers. I hope you are sated for at least a week. <laughs> uh, Please do EFAP gaming among us or full guys. Yeah, I mean it's um it's probably gonna happen, honestly. Yeah. I'm thinking of doing on my on my stream as well. It's like you going to among us like yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of doing like a um one game in like a whole bunch of uh games just all in a row. A big EFAP gaming medley. That's what it will be called. And it means a bunch of things. Medley's fun. That's a by the way, I I think mm, I don't, <clears throat> it's on my mind, so I'm gonna say it. So sometimes my friend, my family takes trips to Branson, Missouri. Um, it's the South, and they watch all the shows, and they're they're religious and stuff, and they go to think, right? And there's and there's a there's a billboard in downtown Branson that 
that says the words country jubilee and it's just like a guy and a gal with like a fiddle or something and it's just this dull comedy advertise not, not even comedy just this dull music sort of production and i just always think man you couldn't drag me kicking and screaming into a branson show that's called the country jubilee like what a horrible horrible way to spend two hours <laughs> i i am curious how this connects to what we the were talking night. about <laughs> not a not a not in no way does it Just very well um what are your thoughts on candy corn yay or nay <laughs> did they see ask do they see shoji tabuchi <laughs> we so we never saw shoji tabuchi but i did go to a Yakov Smirnov show once uh, while I was down there years ago um, and he was fucking hilarious Yakov was a funny guy uh, would highly recommend uh, Yakov Smirnov what does that have to do with candy corn? well someone in chat asked if we'd seen Shoji Tabuchi oh. um, and I said no we hadn't seen them, but we've seen another relatively famous-ish no performer. Are you pro candy corn though? No. no. Damn. I don't. I candy don't corns. Have an I feel like candy's almost like a misnomer. I don't even know what that is. I just had to Google it. I've never seen it in my life. <laughs> it's just like, uh, like how all so Christmas good. stuff is. Uh, <laughs> all, you know, all Christmas stuff is great, but. Halloween has that stain oh, on itself. You don't oh, want to take that position. Gosh. You're gonna have to eat those fucking words eventually. Oh, you think so? <laughs> oh yeah, All that it'll taste like oh. candy corn. <laughs> oh, candy corn's... Ugh, I don't exactly. like it. Candy I don't corn like... is fantastic. Oh, it's, You're a dog, uh... though. Which means I know best. No. I don't know Listen about to that. man's <laughs> best friend. Listen to man's no. best friend. No, no, no. <clears throat> I'm a woman. Which one's a woman's best friend? Spooky ghosts in Halloween? Crazy diamond. cat ladies. <laughs> wow. Cat. Have you heard the diamond? The diamonds cat. are a girl's best friend. That's ah. true. Diamonds are a girl's there best friend. There you go. Diamonds versus dog dogs. dogs. Mm -hmm. Diamond dogs. There you go. Uh, do, 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 do. Woo, we got ER. Chris Simps Forever. Down with the Halloweenies. Also, hello, Rags, oh. you sexy beast. Oh, hello. <laughs> Um, e has spoken, debate over. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe a person of shadow prefers Christmas. Well, it's just so obviously superior. Not in any way uh, are you saying that he's a POS? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, him, shadow people. Wow. We've got it's it's ER, Literature Devil, yeah. Smiler, um, P PSA Sitch. They're all shadow people. Where did all the shadow people go? I don't know. Oh, no. We've only got a few left, and they all decided to review movies. Um, I want to hear Anna and ER say no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Be satisfied. As usual, ER is correct. Christmas is based. Halloween is not based. Wow. Wow. Lies. Correct. Not invited. Right, going Halloween. way too far it now. Is it is debased. Halloween is hyper based. It's so based you can't even tell anymore. It's so high up you, you didn't even know it went that high. <laughs> what does based even mean? Oh, if you, <laughs> have, if you have to ask, if you have to ask, you ain't. Based. I do have to ask. I live under then a you rock. You ain't based. I don't know what that it means. Ain't. Some it's sometimes it's sad to sad to hear it, but yeah. <laughs> do I need to Google this? You're not gonna tell me. Rex, how am I gonna make it to Crystal Studios in 15 seconds? How? Well, step on the gas. Step on. Then the police will come after me. <laughs> this is not possible, I give up. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Quick, this is a very important question for everyone. Of the two candies, which is better, Twix or Reese's? Oh, right, we did we did do it for that one. Yeah, we did already. No, I'm still on Team Twix. Reese's for Reese's forever. Yeah. Christmas, obviously, the most controversial thing oh. ER has said. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder which one movie Bob would choose. Based means being yourself. <laughs> um, 
That's sure. what it says. I Urban Dictionary did. It says, sure. based means sure, yeah. yourself, yeah. not being That's... scared of what people think about you, Just not being afraid to do what yourself. you want to do. That's it. Yeah. That's the one. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm so confused. What? What the fuck? Um, Reese's is the superior candy. Oh no. We're going to be doing... Is this going to happen? New debate? Reese's has like the new factor for me here in Germany because I think I said it earlier. Uh, it's like they just basically started selling it in the shops, and I think they still have to import it, so you only get it like at at, at special dates when they have like a like some I don't know, like a sale, like oh, America Week. We have peanut butter now. It's like oh, okay, hmm. <laughs> America Week. We have peanut butter now. <laughs> 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 hey man, I think Twix is a cool guy. I, I get along with him. He's cool yeah. and everything. But Reese is just, I don't know, she's more entertaining. I actually had, to, had them the first time when I was, uh... First time at your place, we actually, I Oh think. my god. It was the first time I actually had them in my hands and ate them, and they were very tasty. Hmm. Um... Are any of you interested in seeing the Snyder Cut? <laughs> no, but I'm probably gonna have to watch it anyways. <laughs> 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 so, uh, I am interested in one thing and one thing only. I know what you're referring to. Uh, the the release date for that is what next year? I think. Or is it this year? It's not the end of this year, right? I don't know. Nobody. Okay. I, I have no fucking Wait, idea. For, for no what? Idea. Well, let's put it this way: if if it's if it was the end of next year, that's like when that, if we knew that's when it was coming out, then I would try and make sure that we see all the DCEU ahead of time. Oh, no. <laughs> oh yes. We're gonna watch them, and then we're gonna say that they're, they're Have poopy. Have you not watched them? Oh, I've I've seen them, but uh, um. September fifth, twenty twenty one is when ah. it's supposed to Yeah, we got plenty of time. It'll, uh, it's gonna be fun, I'm sure. One way or another, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> Ghostbusters was fun. Sure. Don't you <laughs> lie to me. Who are you? Hi Rags. Hey! Hi Mola. Hello. Glad to be at 101. I do love Halloween, but Christmas always makes me happier. Ah. Yeah. It makes it should as it should. should. As it, it, it should. It is the reverse for me. Halloween Halloween is a happy month. Yes, I said month. I'll kill you. Halloween was <laughs> oh, I mean, I don't mind fucking Christmas counting as the whole month either. I'm okay with that. Yeah, but Christmas is the whole month. Halloween is four hours on a school night, so... No, it's yeah. not. No, it's not. <laughs> not even a good joke. You limit your own Halloweens. That is sad. I hate to hear it. Christmas was a pagan holiday stolen by Christians. Enjoy your dick tree in your living room. <laughs> <laughs> Not hearing any counters. All right. I don't give, Isn't I don't give a Halloween shit. a pagan I holiday should. originally too? Yeah. So what's the point? What What's the point you're making here exactly? I'm pretty sure we read a super chat out the other the other stream where someone ripped into Halloween for being pagan. I don't remember that counter coming up. I don't care. I'm an atheist, and I still think Christmas <laughs> is better. Wow. You don't believe in pagans. I don't believe in pagans. <laughs> they're an in, they're in they're an invention by the Illuminati. <gasps> Illuminati. Their controlled opposition. Alubzalami. They want to trick you into thinking that there are tree worshipping, dirt humping, baby sacrificing oh god. ne'er do wells who live in the forest. Neander wells. I'm combining two words because I find it in, amusing. In Welshland is where they reside. No! We expunged them. They're gone. This <laughs> some of them escaped to many corners of the earth. Uh hmm. Hey, Musla and Rugs. Wanted to thank you for being an amazing source of entertainment in my life. I recently got a job and I'm going through training and you guys are pushing me through it. Aww. Oh, glad to hear that. Good yeah. luck on your vocational endeavors. Hope that works out really well for you. Absolutely. Thank you very much for sharing that. It's good to hear. Uh, do, do, guys, do EFAP movies Jupiter Ascending? The movie that made the Wachowski brothers become the Wachowski sisters. Eddie Redmayne's performance. <laughs> I don't know much of anything yeah, about it really, so sure, oh, yeah. we could do that. EFAP movies, Jupiter Ascending. He Man. <laughs> 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 Jupiter's Ascending, He Man. Uh, 
do do do. Hey Mola, I recently watched Varty Vidya's best Soulsborne content. I thought you got a shout out in that video, but I think you have been edited out of the video. Do you know anything about that? Oh, is that true? What? That'll did be I lame. Like a, like, a, like a while ago. Oh uh, yeah, Varty Vidya did a video where he was talking about which videos you should watch, and he mentions uh -huh. um, Matthew Matosis, then he says H Bomber Guy, and then he says me. As if to, mm. like, that's the the breadth of the conversation, so it's all the responses and stuff, so you can look into it all. But if oh, if he added me out, that's lame. <laughs> but yeah, I mean... fuck that guy. Hey man, <laughs> I am controversial, okay? If you want yeah, to be friends... Your... Imagine wanting to be what? friends with Just Right, and you can't because you watch my content. How sad would that I mean, be? <laughs> if it was me, and they edited me out, I'd be like, well, you're still a pathetic coward, but at least I could <laughs> sort of understand why, you know? Mm. But you're still a pathetic coward. I mean, I don't know if it's true yet, so, but if it yeah, is, if it's it, like, yeah, oh, that's this is hyper, this is hypothetically, if someone else, would, if they would have done it to me, but maybe it's all not. Maybe, maybe it was a different video, or maybe he decided, eh, Mole is a bit tizzy me. I'd be like, oh, maybe, 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 maybe. It happens. I can set people off with my art-killing ways. Um, Reese's is oh, superior to Twix. Oh. It is. Well then. And that was from Batman's pet goldfish, so I'm pretty sure that's definitive. Oh, I just, yeah. I feel... <laughs> debate over. <laughs> I feel like a fish's opinion on food is basically worthless. Wow. <laughs> I also feel as if Twitch We cannot, more to cannot support rampant racism on this podcast. Speciesism. Fishism. 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 <laughs> no, it's... It's got biscuit and chocolate and it's got this delicious caramel in there, and it's all paired together. It's just, it's just all, oh, it's good, so good. It's good yeah. stuff. Got a little bit of crunch in there. It's just, it's good stuff. And I'm not, and let's say, Reese's are good. I feel like Twix has more to offer. <sighs> good, Twix is terrible. Mm. Yeah, terrible, what a terrible Twix bar. <laughs> Everything. Chocolate and caramel and biscuit is bad. Yes. Oh my god. Do you like you like butterfingers? I love butterfingers. Okay. I feel there was more to that debate, but it just ended. No, they're fine. Butterfingers are fine. What about payday? Oh hell no. I love paydays. I don't like <laughs> nuts unless they're pistachios, but then I just eat those by themselves. I love nuts. <laughs> oh, I can't get I, I can't get enough nuts. <laughs> I got a jug of nuts right here. I'm gonna have some right now. <laughs> just, just to spite Adam. <laughs> just to spite dry roasted Bro, peanuts, unsalted. The closest I can get to raw peanuts, the better. That sounds terrible. Oh, fucking these legumes are delish. Nope, nope, nope. nope. Oh, so good. You get that. You get that There's natural, earthy them. taste. It's like yeah. these things were. They're from. The earth, and they're a gift to everyone. No. Oh, mom. Mm. You're stealing food from elephants. Damn. Oh, God. Stealing elephants? Elephant food, right? Really? Elephants need to worry about like not getting shot. All right. But the peanuts in my jug, they not like peanuts. Just saying. not what they need to be worrying about. Mm. Do you like uh, almonds better or walnuts? Hmm. Walnuts. Really. I love pistachios, or, or, or though I love them, they're great. Pistachios, but I think are peanuts amazing. are my top, my top nut. So you like <laughs> salty nuts? No, I not really. I prefer them like with my peanuts. I I always get them unsalted, not roasted if possible. Like I said, the closest I can get them to raw, the better. I like my nut raw. All right. Why don't you just go pick? I love myself nut? a good <laughs> mouthful of raw nut. Is what I like. <laughs> okay. Why am I not surprised? Because you know that I have good taste. Good taste uh, in nuts. That's questionable. Mm. But sometimes it's questionable, and the answer is yes. I have good taste. Nah, 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 nah. Because you so like Twix good. more than Reese's, which is wrong. Mm. Sorry, I had, uh, sorry, I was, <laughs> he's, I was he's, nut in there in front of nuts, you. nuts, man. <laughs> Guys, who of the four is the best? Mario, Luigi, Wario, Luigi, or Wario? Luigi. Wait, what was the third one? <laughs> Wario. All right. What's um, up? I feel like Luigi is our sleeper hero. Luigi, 
I don't even think it's close. Luigi dominates. Like, he's yeah. the fucking ultimate badass of the Mushroom Kingdom. He would fucking cut your head off for, like, a nickel. <laughs> <laughs> Don't I mean, when Peach isn't with Bowser, you know she's hoping Luigi comes and rescues her. Because she doesn't have to bend down to kiss that short midget. Short midget? Oh, no. no. <laughs> you know who's really four foot nine? It's Mario, it's not Mon Mothma. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the, how your brain works with that. It's like, I really want to emphasize how small he is. He's a short midget. <laughs> The midget world frowned while they looked down upon his height. Oh, um, sorry, I had a nut in my mouth. Mm -hmm. One of the things, going back to nuts, peanuts especially, one time I had a pizza, and instead of, like, the, the tomato sauce, it was like this, this peanut oil, and it was delicious. Mm. You know, it tasted really, really good. It sounds so, good. I've never had that. Next time I can find a place that does that, it was like in San Antonio or something. Uh, the next time I can find a place who does it, mm, boy. You think they deliver it to Germany so I can try it? Uh, well, <laughs> let me check the distance between the two. Uh, they might, let's see. Soon. Get an Uber. <laughs> you just make it yourself and, like, look up the Yeah, you lazy German. Yeah, but that would so, ruin the joke. <laughs> so it's 5,396 miles. Oh, they can make that. Which that isn't... When it arrives. <laughs> you know what's far when... You know what's far when the shortest distance between the two points is a curved line? <laughs> well, <laughs> nice short trip. <laughs> no. Hmm. How is that possible in a flat earth rank? What the fuck? I don't know. It's a conspiracy what? to make us pay more for jet fuel that they don't actually need because the engines just run on compressed air. The engines run on our fear mm. of the curved world. <laughs> 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 so anyway... Muller, have you seen Possum from 2018? It's a horror movie on Amazon Prime for free and IMO. It's the best one I've seen in ages. I'd recommend watching the trailer if you want to and have the time. Hmm. All right. You know, William some of these Shatner recommendations we Possum. do get around to eventually. If these aren't the greatest things you've ever, the, ever, then uh, chat, you go into the naughty room and you're gonna have to sit okay. on a little stool and face the wall. Going to horny jail. Horny jail too. In the room? Go into the fucking naughty room. Reese's, oh, still Reese's comments. No, I read that one already. <laughs> um, Rags is correct about Christmas, but wrong about Twix. Also, hi, Rags. Hello. Um, it's good to meet someone who's half right in our super <laughs> chat. <laughs> uh, hi, Rags, Moobled, -E E-R, Anna, and I guess Moodle, too. Wow. Wow. Hello. <laughs> hello. They, they got all the important yeah, ones. Hello, I guess. Oh, give me just a moment, just a second. Mm-hmm. Sorry for my confusion in episode 100 Super Chats. Used H-I in a Fuck, Marry, Kill reference. Human intercourse meme. Oh, that's what it was. I think we um, we answered the question assuming that was the case and then got confused about what it was supposed to be. But yes, that is an eternal meme. Do you know about that one, ER? Um, we were covering someone mm -hmm. who wanted to say that two people had sex and instead said they had human intercourse. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> huh. It's so okay. funny to me. You wouldn't intercourse. <laughs> what? Even if they said intercourse, it would have been funny, but human intercourse? <laughs> <laughs> the humans. The humans. Well, they were going to do some sea fish intercourse. That's, that's just, and just like all these qualifiers, and you're starting to get confused. <laughs> um, EFAP Gaming Among Us, please. Everyone keeps asking for it. We will give it a shot at some point, I swear. Okay. I need to watch people play it, because I still don't get it yet. It's like I think it's very, basically an extended version of push the button. Is it good? I, I don't know, I haven't played it yet. Is it good? Maybe. Oh. <laughs> and then, I think it's actually more like uh, Trouble in Terrorist Town. So someone kills someone and the other has to find out who mm. killed someone. I think that's a better descriptor. Uh, ER and Rags are best girls. Long live Christmas. I mean, oh, yeah. I don't want Christmas to die. <laughs> you can hang around Christmas, you're cool. It's good food on Christmas. Yeah. And you know, it's, it's usually like, everyone everyone can hang out. Some Christmas cheer, but it's also Christmas, so... There, there are the negatives that come with that, you know. Like, Christmas is pretty gay. Just saying. Okay. 
Halloween is very chattish. Just saying. So, you know, just the gay versus the chat. You know? good food. You what? Halloween doesn't have any good food. I suppose that's dependent Candy. on the person. Candy! <laughs> You can have whatever food you want at Christmas. <laughs> Just saying. But you don't have like a really great Halloween meal. You can if you yes, want. Yes, you do. It's called sugar. <laughs> that ain't no meal. Yes, it is. <laughs> That's dessert at best. No, 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 no. I can basically live off of candy, and that can be my three meals a day, even though I only eat once a day. You know, you ah, got your right. pixie sticks. You got your chocolate. You have your taffies. Um, let's see, you have your, like, candy-shaped things that are made out of, like, some kind of cotton candy or marshmallows. You can make an entire meal just out of, and you, then you have your gummies as well. Like, haven't you ever seen, like, a gummy pizza? You can have a full meal just Ooh. made out of candy, and it's fantastic. <laughs> gummy pizza? And look, look uh, you can have fruit, um, fruit candy, like candied apples. Well... Why, why are we assuming we can't just have normal food at Halloween? <laughs> What's happening here? <laughs> you can, but I'm just saying, you can make an entire meal out of candy. I've done but it plenty of times. why would you? Hmm? But why would you? Because it's fucking fantastic. <laughs> That's why. Well, yeah, don't knock it till you try it, right? Like last, uh, not guess. last, was fucking, uh, Life is Strange 2. How do you know that's not great? I don't know. I haven't actually played exactly. All of it yet. So from now on, you must say it is great until you know it's not. All right then. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have any, any thought of covering that, or you were just like, nah, fuck off? Ah <laughs> uh, man, uh, I mean, I do hear that it ends on a great note. I hear Trump's wall uh, makes an appearance toward the end, which sounds <laughs> oh my God. pretty fun. <laughs> but God, I'd, I'd have to actually play it, which is the not fun part. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. People saying diabeta. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, it can't. It'll conflict with the law. Anna was directly trying to murder diabeta in the uh, <laughs> in in the meme. So that's true. Uh, Twix, crunchy wafer topped with caramel and coated in chocolate. Reese's chocolate and peanut butter slapped together in a gooey mess. Oh yeah. Yeah, Reese's is better. Yeah, I mean. Since when is it like the more things that are there means the better it is when it comes to chocolate? I don't know that. Trump cut. Yeah. We just shove everything in there, then yeah, I guess it's the best chocolate now? No. 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 <laughs> um. Bigger Mary Sue, Kamala Khan in Avengers game or Ray? I don't know anything about the Avengers game. Is, uh... Same. No clue. Yeah, you Who hate the Avengers. Have you checked it out? <laughs> The, what, what now? Who? The Avengers game? Do you know anything about that? The Avengers game? No, not really, no. Mm. Are you saying you did not get the Verizon skin? Yeah, all I've heard is it's bad. From like, everyone. I'm sure it's really good. <laughs> Holy shit, it's ER! Also, hi Rex. He would say hi back. He's currently, uh... He's, hi! He's getting... Oh, he's, he's under attack. His building aliens are trying to get at Rex. He's fighting them Again? off. Just give him a sec. He'll be back. Have you ever played Hollow Knight? When do you think when do you guys think Silk Song will be released? Hmm. <laughs> Dunno what that is. DLC is it or expansion? That is a completely new game that's gonna come out. Uh, but based on a character from the first game, I think. Um well yeah that's I played it. a few hours of, of Hollow Knight. I thought it was really good and then I never played it again. I don't really know why. I played it back when it came out. I still haven't played all of the... I haven't played any of the DLCs. Uh, my plan is to play it when when we know Silk Song arrives, so just like a like a refresh. Uh, but yeah, I love it. It's really good. It's a really, really good game. Sweet. <clears throat> do, do, do. The Orc be taking over the super chat. Also high ranks. I need this bullshit was here to say. Hello. In 100, I sent Super Chat about Apollyon in For Honor. Apollyon? Said Apollyon was tall and big, which makes sense for a warrior. Her entire life in reference to Abby mostly meant big as in muscles, not in height. Very well. Has anybody anybody played For Honor here? Mm-mm. 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 <clears throat> 
I'm afraid I don't know either, but fair enough. Um, mandatory EFAP on my birthday? Here's some money comment. Keep up the good work, Lance. So many oh, people have birthdays. Have you guys noticed that? Happy Florence Day. My god, almost every day of the year someone's having a birthday. Seems unlikely to me. Yeah, I don't think it's a plot hole. Mm -hmm. Um, one of the photos that got leaked from Chris Evans' phone was Henry Cavill in black suit Superman from Snyder Cut. What is... why does he have it, you think? I don't know. Um, because it's a beautiful image. <laughs> uh, did you guys see the other thing that got leaked? Like, about I mean, Justice League? Or... <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, really? I heard about it. I wasn't <laughs> looking yeah. for it. Yep. Yep, yep. Oh, uh, the second I found out, I was like, where is this on the internet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that wasn't my initial reaction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I've, he's like made a big deal about America's ass. I was like, let's see America's uh, junk. And I saw it and I'm like, yep, that's definitely American. <laughs> what a beautiful story. Oh, it was a beautiful story with a very beautiful ending. I'm very happy that that exists. Well, there you go. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I don't know why he would have that image. I guess he's maybe he was just on a website and saved it. I don't know. He's like, oh, that's cool. Superman, but evil suit or whatever the black suit means. Um, metal. Thoughts on the German question? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Get Red from Overly Sarcastic Productions on here. She hates the sequel trilogy, too. Uh, possibly in the future? No reason not to. If you don't like the sequel trilogy, you're welcome here. But we also welcome the other ones, too. <laughs> um, remember to invite Nerdrotic for Battlefield Earth. Will be done. It shall be funny. Hello, all. Seen The Social Dilemma on Netflix? No. Is that like a movie? Or, or are they talking about the actual... Yeah, I, I, I'm assuming that's what they're referring to, and yeah, it's been a fucking disaster. I'm sure Netflix will survive. Um, Unfortunately. Yeah, and and just, Jesus Christ. How about, like, hopefully yeah. they learn something from this, that'd be great. No, it's oh, actually wait, a documentary, The Social these? Dilemma. Oh, it's an actual other thing. Yeah. Is Never it? it yeah, I don't know anything about it. Uh... Oh, there's one for rags. I will hang on to that for a moment. Currently having a back and forth on TikTok with someone who says Ray is well written and that writing quality is 100% subjective. Kill me. I from mm. Wales. Oh. oh my God. Well, the first part of that is that you're <laughs> fighting with somebody on TikTok. <laughs> yeah. Like, what are you I, doing I, that? Ever. I am back. Hello. Oh. So I, I have the same problem that, that Wolf had. So I ordered something in every once in a while. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll have something delivered because EFAP and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, they they I got a pizza and they brought me the wrong one. They brought me someone else's. Damn. Well, I had to let them know, like, hey, I had I ran outside and I was like, yo, pizza guy. And I was too late. He was driving away, and some of the people looked at me odd because uh, they were like, this dude running out. <laughs> I mean, this dog running out with his pizza in his mouth. So I didn't. A uh, little odd. And kind the of pizza did they give you? Uh, they gave me a large supreme, and mm. that just ain't. Yeah, I know, right? There's just too much going on with the onions and all this. Ugh, I can't eat onions. Those are my thing. Cannot eat onions. Oh, really? Hello. They're my kryptonite. Can't do I, it. I am of the camp. I don't mind the taste. I do not like the texture. Hey, uh, the taste can be okay, but yeah, that texture is. Uh, oh, no, me no likey. It's like eating, you know, metal commanders. Just like. Ugh. Yes. Yeah, What's Mr. Shadowversity is in chat? Hello. Hello, Shad. Hi, Shadowversity. Hello. Lol, better be get off YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> yeah. What are you? Yeah. yeah. Out of everyone who was criticized, you probably got the harshest. <laughs> like, get the fuck <laughs> off the yeah. That was platform. bizarre. You have no place here talking about swords. You're like the most benign out of all of us in terms of aggression when dealing with like other people's opinions, and he's like, "You need to go." <laughs> <laughs> yes, hello. Me, me your car's a little bit broken. No. Gonna... no. You, no. you have this idea of how a car should be. I am taking this to the next level. This is modern art in the form of a car. 
Yeah, most of the cars I don't have, have an engine. Who needs an engine? I have wheels. Allegedly. Uh, Allegedly. Have you ever seen it? I don't think so. I don't. They just tell you there's an engine in there. And really, it's just a bunch of hamsters on wheels. Yeah. So specifically, up, hamster on wheels. Uh, Rags, if you were to do me Ryan Johnson style, how would you subvert my expectations in the bedroom? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I'd probably... I don't know. Sure. Assuming I even came, well, assuming I even arrived, I would probably just like. I don't know. Uh, I d I don't know what your character is to destroy it. Um, I just expect just to do something so unappealing. Like, you just pour mayonnaise that's warm all over them. Uh, <laughs> would that be? I, that would be worse than cold mayonnaise, would it? I don't know, actually. Oh, uh, if you. All right, it's bed. It's you're in bed. It's sexy time. And <laughs> mayonnaise hose go. Squirt, just squirts mayonnaise all over you. And this this gets back to the mayonnaise question that we were asked earlier. Um, of course, so this is what we call a bit of a throwback. Um, but I don't know if I'd rather be squeezed with. Um, I probably I think I'd prefer it cold. You know. I, I honestly I feel, don't know. I, I don't know what I. Here here's my reasoning. Okay. Cold mayonnaise would keep together a lot easier but hot mayonnaise would be a lot more runny and it would get everywhere but cold mayonnaise seems like it'd be well, easier to just you know if you were covered in it isn't it already too late and it being hot would that mean I'm... you can get it off quicker so i don't think so um i think that it would just get it, it would just be super duper messy if it was hot but i guess <sighs> i'm envisioning this is important shut up <laughs> So I'm I like someone has a tube of mayonnaise and they squeeze the tube so it comes out in like a rope, you know? Mm-hmm. Like a ketchup. I, bottle like or I said, I was picturing a fire hose. A fi wow, we're operating on two different uh, yeah. levels of voluminous here. That's what I mean. So subvert and you because you're like it's already subversive to pour mayonnaise on someone, but to the quantity that the room might start to fill up with it, it's like oh my god. Yeah, at that point I. Hmm. I suppose if it was really hot, you could like swim in it because it would be more liquidy. Mm. But it'd probably still be quite difficult because I think, I think dogs are. I don't know if dogs are less dense than mayonnaise. <laughs> is the oh is the question that I don't know the answer to. Um, if I could just doggy paddle through this river of mayonnaise. <laughs> um, Peak efap. If Ew. what could it be frozen efap? So it was just like you could walk on top of it. If we're allowed to choose the state of the of the thing, then I suppose frozen might be the way to go, actually. Yeah, like, because you could use your hand, you could pick it up, and you you might, depending on where it got, you might not even have to clean it up, because it's all together, so you can just pick it up and just chuck it in the bin. Yeah, you gotta be pretty out fast, because, uh, also, yeah. you're supposed to say trash, not bin. Well, we have bins here. Trash, we, we have trash bins here. Hmm. Maybe it's a local, a regional thing, but we, we have, if someone says, yeah, throw that, just throw that in the bin. Then we have, like, metal bins that are the trash cans, yeah. You don't say rubbish, do you? No, no one says rubbish <laughs> here. Yeah, so, good old British Trash thing. or garbage. Yeah. Put it in the rubbish. Get rid of it. Put your soul in the rubbish. So, yeah, that person got their money's worth. That's for damn sure. <laughs> Um, Putting us on this mayonnaise <laughs> this question. I just want to puke. You don't like mayonnaise? If you've consumed mayonnaise, like it'll come back. And you don't like sauce? Yeah, don't that would like explain sauce. why you don't like Twix, because caramel is like a delicious gooey sauce. Uh, I don't mind caramel when it's like by itself, uh. but... <laughs> I knew you were going to say something. Mahler, is it caramel? <laughs> is it caramel or caramel? You're the former is way more preferable to the to the latter. Caramel? So I say caramel is, is what I would say. Caramel, I suppose, is what I caramel. accept from an American, caramel. but caramel, that's, that's prison. Caramel, caramel, it sounds close to carnal, which is how I feel when I eat a Twix. Caramel. Carnal passion accurately describes. I feel like caramel is skipping another letter that belongs in that word. Well, so I I'll call it uh, caramel when it's like a sauce on things, like when you put um, <laughs> pizza, like when you have ice cream and you have like the caramel like drip on it. That I'll call it caramel, but when it's like you know just a little square piece of caramel, that's when I call it. <sighs> okay. Um, hmm. Hmm. Do, how I, do you feel? So, we know your position on. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. 
how like when you go to seize candy and they're like oh do you want like caramel this this and that and it's like and eh, no and it's like oh do you want like you know this many pounds of like caramel pounds damn <laughs> you don't know when i go shopping to candy stores yeah she eats that shit seriously. meals <laughs> That's a food group is caramel, yeah. Well, I really like baking, so you know. You yeah, like four twenty blaze it. Uh, <laughs> no, not not that. Um, so we've established your position on mayonnaise, which is in the inventory. However, what? How do you feel about Miracle Whip? Ew. All right. Really? Well. All right. Wait, well. Fair enough, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, it's nasty. I mean, what you gonna do? That's but it. I'm the pickiest eater alive. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm somewhat picky. Not that picky, just somewhat. I think I just have some. I just have my no-nos. No, I'm not talking about no places you can't touch on my body. Is that I'm your... talking about like foods I can't, foods that I just can't, I can't do. Is that different from your yes nos? My yes nos. Mm -hmm. Those are. Those are my mod. That's my middle zone. You know, uh, if if something's, it's fine. Like tomatoes are yes nos for me. They're okay. They're not bad. You know, it's, it's just you know. They're good when you like pick them off the vine, but like when they're in stuff or when they're cold, it's just gross. So. So that so that leaves picked off the vine alone. What do you mean alone? Because you said they're not good when they're in stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. The which only is their time primary I'll eat a application. When like you pick them off the vine. That's the only time I'll eat them. Just so, just like you know, just yank it off the bush and chow down. Well, it's not a bu bush. It's they're like vines that. Fine bush like shrub. No, it's very different. I don't think so, really. <laughs> it's very, like when people say different. it's not a it's not a boat, it's a ship, and they're like, eh, it's tomato, it's a mile. No, 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 no. They grow very differently. Uh, I don't know about. I don't know if I can I, trust. I do a, know. I don't know if I can trust Reese's. Wow. I grew up on a ranch, trust me, I've always had a garden. Vines the loyalty to Reese's apparently makes you untrustworthy. Vines are just weird bushes. But they're not. <laughs> they really are, though. No, 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 no. Vines not. are weird bushes. No. Yeah, oh they definitely are. No, how how is it even close to being a bush? How is it? It's No, that's it, a weird bush. So, would you know you how ever you have bushes? Someone, hmm. Go. Yeah, you have bushes, which are typically, you know, rooted in the ground. They have a, a central stem of some kind, branching limbs. They can either be, either be flowering or they could be fruit bearing, and they have their leaves and everything like that, right? Bushes come in all shapes and sizes and colors and sounds and all that. But you have vines, which are kind of like bushes in the sense that, yeah, photosynthesis, long stems, they grow towards the light, pretty typical stuff. But they're really weird versions of that. You know, they've got leaves, sure. They can have fruit on them. They can have flowers on them. Yeah, but they're just, they're not the same, but they're definitely flora. You know what I'm talking about? You look at a vine and you're like, so, I've, I've so seen this before. It's like a bush, but weird. You wouldn't. Say what? If you went to a vineyard, you would never say, oh yeah, that's a great bush. It's no, I'd say it's a weird bush. No, 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 it's not. I'd say that, and I've been to vineyards. I went to the, I went so to the I. vineyard at Vanderbilt, or sorry, the Biltmore, um, cool. and it was delish. Um, big fan, if I, gonna be honest, big fan of the free samples. Um, but yeah, lots of weird bushes in the vineyard. All right then. You hurt my brain sometimes, Rags. I, I don't, I. I don't know. It's just it just seems natural to me, you know. To hurt people's brains? No. Well. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I didn't even know. I'd get up here. Why is there nothing up here? I deserve something to find. Game. <laughs> Damn you! Even a message that says you shouldn't be up here. My first super chat ever. EFAP 101. Let's take him to school. I've not seen all of 100 yet, but I can't miss this. Uh, Hymola, Rags, Anna, Metal, and the Blackman ER. Hello. Well, of all the people to not say hello, it was Rags. That's hello. Up, no, no, no. I was, I was waiting. Ah. I was subverting expectation. 
We already dealt with that question, right? Because you can't let it mm. permeate into your whole life. It would be you horrible. You can, though, because you expected me to do that, but I didn't. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's crazy. Hi, I'm from the future. I'm the guest on EFAP 237. Star Wars Episode 10 dropped, and Movie Bob is arrested after 20, 122 bodies are found in his house. Most had been eaten. Wow. It's a small amount of food, oh he said. Oh, my goodness. Small amount of food. Well... 122 bodies, that is a small amount of food for him, I guess. That's kind of crazy, honestly. Still seems like it'd be tough to do. I wonder how many of the bones he consumes. Seems yeah. excessive, mm -hmm. to be honest. I'll leave some for the other people. <laughs> Demon Souls review. I, I mean, I'll play it. I don't know if I'm going to give a video. <laughs> Stanky old games. Who cares about old games? What season are we on of EFAP right now? Well, on the site there's six, uh, so we're in seven. However, I think more and more people are starting to get used to the idea that each year would be a season. So one through fifty, fifty through one hundred, etc. Um, Apparently it's season seven right now. Hmm. According to FAP.m. So yeah, that's that's the current standing. I know a lot of people referred to the, this episode as season three's beginning, so Ooh. it's complicated, you know, to figure it out. I have to talk to our producers. <laughs> Hi, I have a question. When I got to sleep, I dreamed about Mola, who sent Jay back in time to stop Joel before he could kill us all. After waking up, I saw a spider. Did he showed me the future? If yes, why did he? Why did you send Jay? Well, he, um, you didn't, because that's the future, and it hasn't happened. I guess they're asking why I choose to send Jay. So it's a rival. Um, I already know that I do send Jay, therefore I will. Um, everything makes sense. Go with it. Yeah, go with it. Ooh, now I'm excited for Halloween. I loved your Man of Madan stream last year. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Game is so bad. Notice that this person wasn't excited for Halloween. Yeah. But now that something that's non halloween is going on, now they're like, oh, Halloween. Yes, it's I like very it non-Halloween to hang out with friends and play horror games. That is a very weird thing to do on Halloween. Well, no, it's not that. That's not the point I was making. The point is that it took something that wasn't Halloween to make him excited about it. No, that is explicitly a Halloween thing. I disagree. And uh, actually, if you if you follow the comment, they were cons they, they were happy with it last year, and they assumed it wasn't happening this year. No, they were they weren't happy with Halloween. They're happy with the game that you were doing. Uh, Halloween is coincidence at best. At Besides, that's best. one person. Even if you were right, which you're not, it wouldn't matter. One person's excitement for a holiday does not thus make it everyone's experience with the holiday. To him, that poor person enjoying Halloween. You're just coming in there to try and ruin everything. You, you, Chris Simps, just, you just can't handle people having fun. Validate his lived experiences. Racism, that's what it is. It all comes down Racism. to. Um, but yes, um, Mel and I are very excited. Mm-hmm. It's <laughs> gonna be so good. Yeah. To get drunk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Why do the police always get upset at me when I run over people? What the hell? I don't know. It's pretty racist. Damn it, I have... Oh, you know what? I need to restart <laughs> this shit. What do you want to write all of our tweets? Instead of worrying about crime? Like they're biased. It's... This next one just says Adolf Hitler. Okay. <laughs> wow. Well, uh, Fair enough, really. Do you think that's, that's their way of saying like he's trying to send us super chats? That's right. <laughs> uh, I'll take Hitler's money. <laughs> it's like, thank you, Hitler. It, it, it makes, I mean, it makes Hitler poorer, so I'm down there with that. There you go, we're winning. Yeah. Rags, I mean, where are the video at? Oh, being made. Mm. Being made. I've been, today, what I've been focusing on is going through, uh, cause I could only do so much because, um, EFAP starting, but I'm, mm. I'm on the, I'm doing my tracking fob section where I talk about how the tracking fobs cause some pretty significant <laughs> issues with Star Wars movies. So I'm going through a bunch of them and saying, here's how like, each movie breaks if these tracking fobs existed and they were used. The movies sort of fall apart plot wise. Just a bit. You, you, all you need to do, really, right, is find instances where people need to find the location of another person. Yeah? 
Or, yeah, it's either that, or it's basically an early warning detection system for when that True. person broke. True, yeah. And all of this, and like every movie breaks um, when this happens, essentially. Um, Dude, however, imagine you like programmed it to have everyone's in a thing, and then you just have this device that tells you whenever anyone is near you. <laughs> yeah, and remember, once you're tracked, you're tracked. And we don't even actually know, and it's kind of implied that you don't have to be like captured to yeah. be tracked. I'm just assuming that you have to be captured and then they track you. Um, so if I'm wrong, it makes it even worse. Um, but yeah, Luke tracked for life, Leia tracked for life, Han, Padme, Captain Amidala, uh, Captain Amidala, Captain Amidala? <laughs> Captain Queen, Queen Panaka, and Captain Amidala. <laughs> there it is. That's was in the movie. Um, Power Dynamics. Um, basically, just basically everybody is everyone i i because I, originally i did all the episodes and i was like who gets captured in all these movies and i was like wow good guys get captured all the time mm -hmm. bad team what are you doing like come on <laughs> yeah veda wants to find luke if only there was a way to do that yeah the sequels break down quicker than anything else but they all sort of have issues some are more complicated issues than others but some are um, hello, did you read all the Super Chats from E595? As far as I'm aware, yeah. Um, I think so. Yeah, the, the, uh, I tend to just keep track of all of them and then read them all as, as we go. As far as I know, it was done. Um, I loved E500, it was a genuinely great experience to listen to 30 hours, keep up the great work. Yeah, that was a, that was a time. It, it was it was more than thirty as well for me, right? It was it was uh, thirty one if you count the breaks, and then if you add on the time we were awake uh, prior, some some Olympic shit. All right, we deserve medals. I'm right here, okay. For okay. an Olympic shit, yeah, you deserve a medal. <laughs> <laughs> it's an odd sport, <clears throat> but you know, gaining traction. Yeah. Uh, to it those. Could be on a winning streak, though. To those switches, I'm assuming they mean to those with. Oh yeah, to those with switches. Have you tried Fire Emblem Three Houses or Fire Emblem Three Houses? Nope. I thought it was Fire Emblem Three Houses. That's what I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a weird right. subtitle, but I'll yeah. I you gotta build houses, I guess. Yeah. Real estate agent in the Fire Emblem universe. Mm -hmm. Houses. Um, a good mix of simulation and strategy with three, four if you buy DLC. Unique stories done well. I've generally enjoyed the Fire Emblem games that I've played. Mumble uh, them. <laughs> uh, I've liked them so far, but um, I don't know if I have the time to devote to Fire Emblem games now, but I could believe it's alright. I had a old boyfriend that I bought it as a birthday gift for once, one of the one of the DS ones. There was like two <laughs> versions of it. You know, uh, there were two, like, two versions of it, and mm -hmm. he wanted one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fuck. You forget where the line is. Um, Muller and Rags, congrats on a successful EFAP 100. Been going through the Batwoman episodes, and wow, what a glorious endeavor. Anyways, love y'all. Yeah, it's, um, Thank you very much. It's a fun fun set, and it's complete now. It's pretty crazy. We went through a whole TV show laughing at it. <laughs> Yay. Uh... Why is the frogman crying over invisible onions? Well, metal. Hold him. I was, I was cutting a lot of them. Uh, getting my eyes. Oh. I wipe. I, I had an itchy eye, so I wiped it a little bit, so I got some some onion juice in my in my eye. Onion juice? What the fuck? No, not not juice. juice. Someone. That's what she said. said. What about New Hope? Can't think of where the fobs would help there. So. The issue with A New Hope is primarily that they have Leia trackable for life now. What do you mean you can't figure out? The, the, all they need to know is any single person who's a part of the Rebellion, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. could be that, but specifically they now have a, a, a tracker on Leia. Forever. Oh, you mean, are you saying that assuming they need to capture them first? Um, well, this... Yeah, this is assuming, right? Mm. I'm giving the benefit of the doubt, but in, also in the video, I'm like, oh, by the way, these problems as they are, this is assuming the least damage of the two alternatives, because I don't even know if you have to be 
captured and like a process has to be done to you in order to lock onto your bio signature or whatever it is because it tracks people um it's not like a tracking device as we've seen before we assume the uh the empire plants a tracking device on the millennium falcon we see obi-wan throwing a tracking device onto slave one um yeah so it, it it's something that sends out a signal that is being tracked um whereas this is no it's like the person and you're like oh that's gonna cause you some issues don't know if this is tech you want to introduce yeah man i'm you know i've got a bit of a naive brain it's like no they'll they could fix it in season two it's like it's gonna be worse they're gonna make it worse that's what they always do it's gonna get fixed they're gonna they'll have super trackers that can track your feelings <laughs> and be like wait what your emotions she's feeling sad over there madlorian feels upset he man <laughs> Like I don't care. Installments. Oh yeah, like for instance, when uh, when Queen Amidala is the supposed Queen Amidala, but they'd probably do it for the rest of the group, um, is captured at the beginning of uh, the Phantom Menace. Like, boom, they're tracked for life, um, and the tracker is shared between the Trade Federation because, like, Newt Gunray and all those people, they still they are still the antagonists of the factions in the prequel trilogy it's the cis mm -hmm. so they would still have all that info they would have padme and queen amidala's bio signature oh yeah rags would have fob invented a day before mando took place i that don't believe only that. the sequels that are affected in a world in in the real world we have tracking devices and they're really simple there's no way that this like because we we always knew when tracking for uh, tracking devices were in the star wars universe we're like yeah of course I mean, pretty simple technology you know yeah but being able to track people is like oh that's a thing shit and even if we assume that this stuff was just invented apparently all of the bounty hunters in this guild have them and nobody else even though this is ubiquitously useful technology for everyone to have in yeah. the first order reviews the fuck out of it because remember Poe gets captured. Finn's a stormtrooper, so they got one on him. Ray gets captured. Chewie gets captured. Everyone's getting captured. And boom, now they're trackable. And being able to know where they are, that's important plot stuff that they'll use to their advantage. He's bad. He's no good. No. He's no good. Um, boo, 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 boo. Wombo. Floridian man, Flo Floridi Florida man, Florida man. Florida man. But it, but it's like all. It, it looks like Florida man. <laughs> Doesn't oh. matter. Florida man here. I'm a bird person because of allergies to dogs and cats. I love birds. Am I weird? Well, I am from South Florida. I'm like, yes, Florida man. You are from Florida. Yeah. I like the idea of birds as pets, but I guess I've just maybe I just got some asshole birds maybe that's the case because everyone else is playing with their birds and their birds are fun and they're great well, and my birds on are just what kind of bird it is too um i had two parakeets and a peach-faced lovebird lovebird wow lovebird. i have i told you my lovebird story i don't believe you have <laughs> all right i got a fucking lovebird story one of my first jobs was working as a valet at a hotel standing out front of the hotel Greeting guests, luggage, the whole nine yards, right? Fucking good at it, too. What's good the 10th yard? Um, we don't go there. That's off property. Oh, okay. <laughs> we hear this weird noise one day, and this bird just flies up to us, lands on my shoulder. <laughs> kind of freaks me out for a moment, but I'm a pretty, yeah, I'm a pretty brave dude, not going to lie. I guess, yeah. So I've just got this weird-looking bird on me. A little bit beat up. He's been... I don't know, he he, just, he he can still fly and everything, but he's been in a scuff or something. Totally okay with me. Never seen this bird before. So it takes a liking to me. We put it in a box at the, for the moment, and we ask around for guests, like, did anyone lose a bird? <laughs> don't know. We got some nearby apartments, and but we, we, we don't know what's going on with this bird. I take it to the nearby pet shop, and I'm like, yo, what is this? And I'm like, oh, that's a peach-faced lovebird. You're supposed to, like, escape from someone or somebody. I, I don't know. No one ever came by looking for it. So they're like, what am I supposed to do? And I was like, well, like, I guess I'll keep it. <laughs> and so the thing was, this this bird was a fucking asshole, though. It was, lovebirds have these little pointy hooky bill things. And this, 
he'd sit on you, like on your shoulders and stuff. But if you wanted to like do anything with him, like put your hand close to him, he'd bite it and stuff like that. And eventually I just let him go because like you're a fucking asshole bird. You've got no you got no respect for what I've done. I bought a cage for you and I, I made sure you were okay and I gave you food and water. It, yes, exactly. Those are peach face love birds. And I hear they're so sweet. They're so wonderful. They're just so great. Mine was a fucking cock. So, <laughs> to hell with that guy. No, no gratitude at all. So I just let him go. And now he's, I'm sure he's gone off to terrorize. No, it was a she, laid an egg once. But I'm sure it's gone off and fucking terrorized somebody else that it's going to lure in with its cute little fucking lovebird face. And then it's going to get in their house and it's just going to be an asshole to them too. I gave that bird plenty of chances. Also, the noise. The fucking noise. It's always, it has this high pitched, it's not a squeak. It's not a, like a, a yap. It's just this ear piercing shriek this lovebird is making. And maybe in some of my old videos, you can even hear the fucking bastard, but it wouldn't shut up. It was always just making noise and shit. I couldn't take it. I couldn't take the noise. Ear piercing shrieks. I, I wish I had a good bird. Got bird. Famous because of that movie, Polly. Oh, well, I don't know. So anything somebody about probably that. got it and got pissed off about it, how much of an asshole it is, and let it free. And then you got stuck with it. Damn. I just, I, I, I like the idea of a good bird. I've heard that b birds are t super smart and they can be very loving and great. And I love watching bird meme videos, right? I like birds, but I guess the birds I got were just pieces of shit. Sad story on EFAP. Yeah. <laughs> that's what, it, yeah, that's what gratitude gets you these days. Yeah, see, there was a theme. Yeah. Expectations were subverted. <laughs> Um, yeah, thoughts on Korra Simps and Avatar being racist. What? Avatar being racist, huh? I've seen, I've seen stuff like that on Twitter. It's, it's like, um... Avatar Isn't that the opposite? It's Avatar is a world imagined well, free of whiteness. Yeah, we're talking about Twitter, so... <laughs> <laughs> Everything can be racist in some way, shape, or form. I can't remember what the argument is. I, I remember looking into it being like, how did you do this? I, yeah, I mean, I... Everyone throws a lot of Avatar criticism at me. I've never heard Avatar as racist, actually. <laughs> it's it's only a matter of time. Yeah. Oh, fuck it. <sighs> These police work <laughs> overtime, man. Uh, well, they're undead hearse police, so I don't know. Mm. They're more effective than the regular police. I don't know what Bust. that means. That's how they get you. Um, Anna objectively has the cutest laugh. Ah. Oh. I disagree, but thank you. Who has a cuter laugh than you? Um, everyone. I think I have a very obnoxious voice and laugh. I disagree with that. Yeah, I don't think you're obnoxious sounding. Or I don't laughing. know. I, I don't know. I just don't like my voice. Hmm. Well, um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell Anna you said that. It's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> uh. This just says true. I think it's about Anna having objectively the cutest laugh. Hmm. Uh, then we got... This one says... Legend of Korra is better than... That's all it says. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Legend of Korra is absolute shit. Thank you. I mean, if that was supposed to say it's better than... <laughs> better than Avatar, we're like, oh god. Does that even, there are people who think that, right? Yes, and they're... Supposedly. <laughs> I don't believe <laughs> Never me. seen one in the wild. Allegedly. Get a list. I have, and this one girl's explanation was because Mako is cute. I was like, oh, what? <laughs> okay. How, how does that make an entire spin-off show better than the original? The, uh, they weren't cute enough to end up with any of the chicks? I know. I did, the only argument that I've heard that I actually like is that uh, it's one of the few shows that, you know, when they're, um, when Avatar is going on, it's during a certain time period, and so in Korra, it's like, you know, it shows the advancement in time. Which is total bullshit, but okay. <laughs> well, I mean, it's like, 
when I was talking, because this was actually an in-person conversation that I was having with someone, and I was like, I didn't really think about it, because I was so like, what the fuck is going on? Why why would you ruin Aang and make him a terrible father, for one? Yeah. Why would you just never explain where Sokka went? But, uh, what was the debate? This has been like years and years ago. But somebody brought up how in, in Lord of the Rings, how, oh yeah, this happened 3,000 years ago, and then, you know, to where Frodo is. And it's like, well, they made absolutely no advancements in technology, and you can see in real life, like, how different things were 3,000 years ago for us as compared to where we are now. I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, I guess, but when you're in a fantasy genre and the world works differently, you don't... Well, we have no idea. That doesn't contradict anything. Yeah, why? I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I... Like, the Lord of the Rings commentary there is like, well, uh, we didn't even get to explore much of the world in the... Exactly. You don't really know how things work or why it, you're some, you know, cultures advance in different ways like me. I don't know. It was just one of those arguments where I'm like, well, I, that ne doesn't necessarily bother me because I know I'm going in to watch this fantasy movie about magic and like different creatures. I'm not really going in for like historically correct on the way a society advances. But as far as that with Avatar and Korra, I was like, mm -hmm. yeah, but even then when you look at the way things were and the way that they had, you know, their technology just and I'm blanking on the what's the name of the city that Boomy's from? Uh, Amashu. Amashu, okay. The way that they had their stuff set up and uh, it, I understand introducing cars and technology like it's the Industrial Revolution into Korra, but well, I see what they were going for as far as the concept art. Yeah, 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 yeah. How they were trying to base it off something. But I'm just like, that wouldn't be the way that they would advance based yes, on the technology that got introduced in The Last Airbender, you know? Yeah, their their industrial revolution would not perfectly mimic ours. Exactly. And it's just but that ridiculous. was the closest when I've had a conversation with somebody that liked it and like, well, I liked that it showed that, and I was like, I can see nah. your point, but still, it doesn't work yes. because they they had uh, even like with the drill, they had technology and you know, you know, automobiles back when yeah. Aang was around. Yeah, well, I mean, to be honest, the technology in Avatar makes, like, no fucking sense at all. They have tanks that can, like, hookshot up mountainsides. They have giant drills. They have... It's a lot of steampunk nonsense, mm -hmm. to be quite honest. And so then to take that and make it into just cars and radios and everything that we have, that just even cheapens it. Wouldn't radios be super useful, though? They would be super useful, and um, but uh, they don't make any sense in the context of the Avatar world, I don't think. Why not? Because, um, number one, Avatar is an ancient Asiatic-like universe. So, Core takes place about how many years? 70 years later? I so go so. from to... ancient times, 70 years plus that, radios. 70 years is what the difference is? Yes. Hmm. Quick. Yeah, I don't know enough about well, what quick. technologies lead to what technologies and how they, like, transfer, if you know what I mean? You know, like, what is a giant industrial drill going to do for people who are trying to build radios? Like, I don't know. I don't, well, it's I don't like, know. it seems like a, a really shitty way to just do what earthbenders can do. It's like, oh, we need a hole in that wall. Done. Yeah. Or we need to go through a mountain, just use earthbending and do it. Oh, do you mean, are you saying, like, there'd be no point in having a drill? I mean, I I, th I don't think that there would be any pressure to create a drill. Well, surely oh. there would be, though, for people who aren't earthbenders. Yeah, yeah I suppose the there. Idea, but yeah, but you could always hire one. Well, not in the like, state of the world. How is earthbender going to make money, you know? The state of the world well, at the time isn't that they're friendly with earthbenders at that point, right? They've got some in prison, I think. But, uh, in or just court? hire one, get a traitor, and be like, hey, you no, just I mean, need one. the Fire Nation are trying to like take over everybody at that point. They're not really, um, mm -hmm. you know, it's not, it's not like a happy. Yeah, but they're <laughs> occupying. They're just trying to conquer everything. I, I feel like they would still utilize the tools to their advantage. You know, force. I mean, the Earthbender might not want to do the Fire Nation's bidding, but if they're saying, hey, we're going to murder your whole family if you don't 
drill a hole through this mountain. I'm I don't sure know. They're gonna do it. If you free them up to be able to push holes into the Earth Kingdom's uh, place, they might turn on you. Well, Maybe, not if they have the got family got here. somewhere. The is, idea to get like when they, if they don't do it, you kill them. When they do have captured Earth Benders, they put them out on some metal barge. Yeah. Isn't metal ore though? Or are those treated as different things in Avatar? Well, they Avatar. hadn't discovered metal bending yet. Yeah, there is metal oh, bending. Its own thing. You bend the uh, elements of Earth within the metal, but that's not like a thing until later on in the series. Yeah, until Toph figures it out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying, like, if you came up with a big, you had a big wall, and you as a Fire Nation were like, we're gonna kill you if you don't punch a hole through it, an Earthbender could theoretically just, like, punch the hole, bring punch up a wall behind them, and then close the wall up as they go inside it, and they're like, haha, I'm switching teams, bitch. You know, I feel like the, once, they, once they open the wall, they're just like, well, they can close right, it back up pretty quickly. This arrow, or we're gonna kill that family of yours that we've got hostage. Oh, that, yeah, that's more fair. You could, you could, Seems you could like potentially do that. Yeah. Um, or you could build an enormous fucking drill. <laughs> and just... <laughs> oh god, the cops on my own car, get away. Oh no. Oh no. Mauler, the father, author, and absolute creator of objective criticism. Oh yes. Pioneer. Pioneer. Yeah. Um... Potato legumes for everyone, and an extra large portion for the patron saint of potato legumes rags. <gasps> there you go. I love me some taters. Taters. I love me some taters. I'm getting sleepy, so I'm I'm gonna take my leaf here. Racism. Um, I like it. Wombo. Disappoint. Which one are you again? I I I don't know. It's the crime. Too late. Early to tell. It's been very fun, Mr. Mortolo. Yes, indeed. As mm. always. Tell people about where you are to be found. Uh, find me on the Twitchenheimers. If you don't know, I just basically... Evil platform. Evil platform. Uh, might even be more evil than YouTube. I don't know. <laughs> uh, no, I'll just uh, stream Tism's there. I'll probably stream Hades tomorrow. Gonna check out that 1.0 release. More like, hey, these nuts. Yeah, these mm. nuts. Got him. Uh, we do the drinkling streams there. Uh, I I tried to gun for like doing like once, do it once a month. That that was my 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 plan. Do we get like some of those? And yeah, just hang out, talk about florms and schlisms. Oh, I love florms and schlisms. Yeah, man. Yeah, all right. And yeah, that, that's 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 about it. Yeah, you can find us chilling over there every once in a while. The link yeah. is in the chat and the description. It's been fun to have you, Mr. Metal, and uh, we'll yeah, catch you right. in the future. Oh, of course. Uh, talk to you all later. Toodles. Bye bye. Later. See you. Bye. God, I hate that guy. I think we can have some high <laughs> IQ intellectual discussion. You can finally talk more so about mayonnaise. Like the fact that he was here, we knew we had to dance around the topic. Yeah, well, we, we agree. He's it's very just... anti-mayonnaise. Never talks about the pro parts of it, I'm just saying. He's anti-mayonnaise. Uh, You're only 50% correct 13% of the time. Oh. Mm. Interesting. Do you like Hotline Miami? Yes, I, um, I completed that. That was good shit. And it turns up in The Last of Us 2. That means The Last of Us 2 is cool. Hmm. Any of you guys played it? No, I haven't. No, I've heard it's good though. It's got a pretty rocking soundtrack. Some some yeah. very yeah. simplistic and yet really fun gameplay. Um, mechanically pretty tight, tough game though. But, uh, good schnitzel or schnitzel, I should say. My God, the police just keep getting in the way of all my illegal activities. How Band? Annoying. <laughs> Uh, since you watch Hardcore Henry, I'll take it upon myself to tell you Dambos to watch Has Been Hotel and Hell of a Boss Do It Now. Mm. That's, that's two things. One of those is a TV show as well. This is this is getting out of hand. Like oh, are they both TV shows? I I think, right? Oh. Are they, they're, they're like Has cartoons been, that people made? Yeah, Has Been Hotel, that's just a YouTube original animation. Mm. I believe. Um, well... 
I mean, <laughs> maybe. Who knows? Uh, side? I'm on nobody. I'm in nobody's side because nobody is in my side. Little massive. <laughs> also, I like it. This is Avrags. A V E Avrags. Shikamu Rags. What's Away. the Crake Rags? God dag Rags Rag. Um, I think you just say hi back. <laughs> hey! Nailed it. Uh, do you guys have a letterbox to count? New. No. Is that the one where they rate movies? What the, I don't know if you rate yeah, more I, stuff than yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Um, yeah, I, I do not. Though I suppose I should. Is that what all the cool kids do? Get to say, like, this movie is the big poopy, but this movie, not so much. Um... Irax, speaking hey. as the apex homosexualoid, which is more gay? Suking the same weenus 100 times, or suking 100 weenuses at once? Suking 100 what? weenuses at once is definitely much, much more gay. Mm. Not even close. Not even close. Not even close. And uh, they, they said YouTube blocks, blocks the S word. They block sucking? <laughs> sucking? <laughs> wow, really? That's interesting. It's a controversial word. Who knows what you mean? Can't have, can't have people sucking. That would be bad. God forbid. Um, hi, Mola. You guys have really helped me develop my critical thinking skills and have also helped me get out of my guilt-ridden religious rut. I just want to say thanks and keep up the good work. No problemo. Oh, God. Happy I to help. Fucking, I blew up nuclear waste on top of a camper van. I, I feel oh, bad. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I got arrested. Do you know what they charged me? What? Fifty dollars. Oh, no. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's one of those light, you know, light waste. You see, I was able to clean up the waste pretty easily. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, happy to hear it, and we shall be here for for the future as as seen as well. Plenty more crazy um, events to come and guests. And even more racist people than ER. Can you imagine it? Not possible. <laughs> I like the idea that ER's like, what the fuck? Listen, I yeah. know a thing or two about racism. So do, do you think we can... <laughs> this is like... This is his primary thing he studied in college, so... Oh, really? Um, That's like a yeah. topic in college? That you oh, yeah. Study? Any yeah, good they college. shut up about race in college, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is love you ER kissing noises. Um, consent. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, give me a second. Kissing a shadow person? Like, damn. It's uh, okay. I consent. Okay. Saying a prayer for the tens of millions of babies that were killed because of Ruth Gator, Gator Cringebig? Uh, <laughs> gonna floss on that bitch's grave, press S to spit. Oh my god. <laughs> that's terrible. That's a, yeah, that's an angry super chat. Uh... uh Damn, it's good to hear y'all's voices again. Hope the break was enjoyable, and congrats again on 100. Salutations, Rags. He would say hello. He is currently once again defending his neighborhood from aliens. I, uh... I... Yeah, uh, 100 went really well, and uh, it was a nice little break afterward. Though, we just getting other things set up and edited. Managed to get Batwham and finished. And of course, EFAP looks all, all animated now, which means it's definitely... A professional podcast can't can't be ignored as something else. Oh god! I, can, I don't even get it in this narrative. Are the black cars? Do they have aliens in them trying to stop me from delivering the nuclear waste to? Oh, he blew himself up. Okay, never mind. Uh, this is clearly EFAB bait, right? I can't be the only one thinking this guy is a troll. I'm getting remarkable Republican vibes here. Come yum, massives. I mean, I'm just saying we've covered a lot of people that a lot of people assume are trolls. Some, you never I quite thought know. Major League was a troll, and then you proved that it was real. <laughs> yeah, because he um, he he went after the the Phantom Menace after he was done with Efab, right? I don't know. I saw the video, and I couldn't even finish watching it. And I was like, "Fuck no!" And then I watched Efab, and I was like, "Oh my god, it was real! <laughs> like this is a real person, and you really believe this." Good old Major Lee. Oh my god, I was trying to blow up a literal alien spaceship, and I get fined $50 again while doing it. So it's a weird system they have. Uh, 
Ragu, I'm not yet old enough to own a handgun in my state. Oh, we'll save that one for when Rags is back. What'd you bring me, Spider-Man? Also, to all people who tried to get a PS5 but couldn't, haha, <laughs> fuck you, I got one for me and two more for my friends. That's three more than you have. Oh my god. Now that's it. Is a tad patty, don't you think? But uh, I hope you enjoy those PS5s, I suppose. Uh, pizza update. Oh my god. So, um, they brought my pizza. And they also brought the other pizza I should have gotten. Because the guy was like, yeah, they had two with your name on it. So I just went ahead and brought both of them. The new one they made and the old one. And I was like, sweet. So now I have three pizzas. I have the guys that they brought me by mistake. And I have the original one of mine I was supposed to get. And then they have the one that they made for me. So, fuck. I guess I've got three pizzas now. Damn. Damn. Oh, that, boy. That is a victory right there. That Dude, that is weird. The super chat I just read out. Said ha ha to the people who didn't get a PS5. I got three. Oh wow, that is really weird. Wow, PS5 pizza. Yeah, it's all the same thing, really. Interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. Um. Don't let the elf have your beard goaded into knots because it always gets untangled when you most expect it to stay as is. Bilbo Bolognese. Hmm. There's something Words to think of on. Wisdom. Something to think on, yeah. You could say no to that. Sweet! I get to look at women and Anna's here. True. Oh. Hello. That's not weird at all. No, no. No, not here. It's it's unlikely. The super chats of EFAP are weird. That never happens. Um, the force borrowed five bucks and hasn't paid me back. Damn. Yeah, the force is female. <laughs> oh shit! Shots fired. Misogyny. Uh, the God Emperor in 40k is a better force stand-in. What? <laughs> Hmm. Do, do, do. Um, I, for the rest of the stream, will throw on Super Mario Sunshine. I'm sorry, I'm resorting to the classics right now. Mm. Petition for Rags to be the SCOTUS nominee. Breathe to sign. Mm. Ooh. A lot of votes. I accept. Alright. That's pretty sweet. Can't wait to see who I allegedly raped 30 years ago. <laughs> Through tweets. Transformers 1 and Revenge of the Sith are objectively decent. <laughs> objectively right. decent, that's an interesting one. Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this just has a crab. Do, do you guys... anyone know what that means? I love crabs. Mm. Crabs are delicious. Mm -hmm. They're disgusting. Aww. Aww, always with you! <laughs> I don't like seafood. I love anything that comes from the water. I love. I will not eat anything that comes crabs, from crabs, lobsters, scallops. Um, I almost said onions, but that's not true at all. Um, onions? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, crawdads. Those uh. are delicious. Oh, um, oysters. Love them. I love. Ra I love them raw. I love them fried. Mmm. Good ew, stuff. Ew. Delicious. Not even. Mussels. Mm. Well, you're a dog. Dogs eat anything. D. But you will eat candy for meals. Yeah, I will. I don't get it. I don't understand, man. I mean, you can. It's just not a, the best <laughs> for health. That's all. Yeah. I'm very healthy. There you go. I kind of doubt that, but. I'm very healthy, don't worry. Forget the Force, it's all about the Phoenix Force, baby. What about Fox Force 5? Remember that? Mm -mm. Nobody remembers that. I don't know, Fox Force 5? From, um... <laughs> Pulp Fiction? Pulp Fiction, yes. Yeah, Pulp Fiction. Correct, Rooney. Ah! Battling slime monsters. Feels weird, but right. Fox because they're a bunch of foxy ladies. 
force because they're a force to be reckoned with. Five because there's one, two, three, four, five of them. You know, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Power yeah, so put that in. Bam, 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 bam. I'm watching the 24 hour of Le Mans, which means this stream will end first in a rare upset of the norm for EFAP viewers. Not so long now, are you? Oh. In fairness, the last stream we did was longer than that. We beat out Le Mans. You proud? The Le correct Mans. answer is yes. And his brother Lime. The correct pronunciation is Le Man. Right? You have to just say Man. That's how the French do it. The Force is all about the midichlorians. Instead of building another Death Star, they should have weaponized the midichlorians. Also high regs. Hello! Weaponize the midichlorians, you say? Like Jedi? Um, That's basically weaponizing midichlorians. I was just, I was, uh, I, like, I don't know if I was picturing some kind of, like, I mean, like, weaponize them in a, in a Death Star sense. Like, how to get a bunch of people together to, to go, ooh, and then make, like, a giant laser of the Force. I don't know. The Force does have a will in these movies, at the very least in the sequels in KOTOR 2. It allows the death of billions for balance. Also, high rags. Hey! You know exactly what they're talking about. Yeah, the Force is a dick. Death of billions for balance. What a nice guy the Force is. Yeah. Why is it a guy? Hey, guy doesn't have to. When you say guys, that could mean girls too. Do you want the force that to be female? <laughs> no, no, the force uh, is not a male or female. <gasps> you know. Boo -doo -doo -boo -boo -boo. Mola the pioneer, ER the ultimate critic, rags the dog. <laughs> Together, unstoppable. I'm the ultimate comedian. Yeah, get it right, jeez. Uh, daily reminder that BLM Begidius's life mattered. Yes, he did. He did. He gave us his son. Hit hiddle, spittle, diddle, what was it? <laughs> hiddle, sub, hit, hiddle, subbledies? Subbledies. <laughs> hiddle, subbledies. Uh, you're laughing. Han Solo just got killed by his son and you're laughing. Yep. Hmm. Uh. Uh, this guy is the commissar of comedy. You can't do this. You can't do that. I thought jokes are subjective tisms. Well, no, some of them are just not funny. Some, in fact, are rude and misrepresent the film, and therefore, you must be stopped. Uh, now that the Disney trilogy is over, I have to ask, why didn't Leia go with Han to save Kylo? She knows how to use the Force, so why send Han alone? Probably because she's the general of the opposing faction. I suppose it's less a uh, comment on pragmatism with the army and more of an emotional one, I'm assuming? I don't know. Like, would she want to go? Whether or not she's a general. Yeah, maybe she'd want to. I don't know. I don't see her son. Yeah, you'd I'm think... I could totally see her being like, you know, do these things, guys. Um, I'm going to go with Han and try and appeal to our son. I, I could see her doing that. Yeah. She must feel awkward that she got Han killed, though. <laughs> Couldn't you just run it remotely? Didn't he, didn't he get it? She killed Han by sending him. Rey found out, and so she killed uh, Leia in Rise of Skywalker. Mm. It all makes sense. Mm. Ah, poetry. She, I like it. No, Kylo killed... Her... Le How did Leia die? <laughs> <laughs> it's still a little Thank confusing to me. She died because Rey stabbed Kylo while Leia was inside him doing Force stuff, and she got stabbed by the oh sword god. then as well. Oh my god. It would be so funny if she turned up as a Force Ghost in front of Kylo to start saying stuff and, and fucking Rey stabbed through her and that could kill Force Ghosts. Or something. <laughs> it's like, what? It's so tragic. Ragu, I am not yet old enough to own a handgun in my state, so what would be your rifle recommendation for a first-time gun owner? Also, hi, Mola. Hello. Uh, probably either an AK-47 or an AR-15. Beautiful. I'm all the Jedi, and you gotta deal with it. No. This movie is garbage, and you gotta deal with it. What, what, what did he actually say? Something like, it is it is good, deal with it, or something like that? Something like that, yeah. Ugh. 
Um, it's where the good guys are. Deal with it. What? No, explain yourself. Lol, must have drank some Folger's instant hypocrite. You hate to see it. <laughs> yeah, we had some really bad arguments today. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> including stuff Man, like deal with it. <laughs> like, okay. Mario's just fucking taking this like a bitch. He is. Uh, it's kind of annoying. He didn't do any of this, but he's just like, yeah, okay, I guess it was me, fine. Obviously, it leads to fair. fun gameplay, cleaning up this place, but... Yeah, yeah, I feel like the game is built on, at least narratively, a rocky foundation. Unless I feel like Mario princess is a simp, is... just saying, he kind of is. Well, she's a fucking princess? Just release him, say no! She doesn't have any authority here, this is the island of potato people. Mm, that's an unusual name. <laughs> <laughs> Though an accurate one. Oh, they are my people. Yes. Clean that island. I shall do it for you, Ragu. Yay. Uh, hey, just pretend you wanted bad arguments and then see how you feel about this video. Oh my god. Genius. Uh, the First Order is like Alice's gang. Sometimes they're sometimes... Sometimes they're there. Sometimes they're not. And you have no idea how much resources they actually have or where they come from. Yeah. It's wonderful. Alice's gang? Oh, it's, uh, it's Batwoman. Oh, okay. Never watched Her that show. Schrodinger's gang? <laughs> only, only ever watch it through EFAB, okay? That's the way to do it. It's, uh, it's really funny. It's, it's... If it were crafted on purpose to make the audience laugh at it, I would actually want to congratulate them. They did a pretty good job. But that's not what was intended. Um, okay, I know I'm doing too many of these, but god, this guy is garbage. I think he's trolling at this point. He can't be this stupid. Oh, that I mean, poor how guy. How do the potato people put on hats? Um, they're probably hats that are built with little holes in them or something. Yeah, but you'd have to, like, reach in and pull your little tree frond through? Oh, you know what, Rags? You know what? I think they, they cheapened out on this. Look at this. Exposed. The, there's no hole in the hat. Look at this. Well, no, there is a hole in the hat. It's getting filled up by the stem. Nope. It's moving around, and there's clearly... The hole is moving, if it were a hole. What if... Exposed. No. What if Exposed. the stem... What if the hat is sort of stretchy, and as they move, the stem still has a little bit of, like, you know, inertia to it? Exposed. So it's a little delay, and so it just sort of drags the hole around. Your rationalization is is not following the it's narrative the of American potato. Exposed. Yeah. Problem Ossifer? Do you hate potatoes Problem now? Ossifer. No, I love them. I think potatoes if potatoes gross. could talk, I'd feel bad about eating them. Though. <laughs> uh, okay, I know- oh wait, sorry. I can't stop watching that snake that moves around the edges of the new layout. Send help. Oh yeah. He's a cool little snack. Fuck, Mary kill Theresa May, Angela Merkel, Hillary Clinton. Oh my god. Hillary Clinton. Um... <laughs> Mary... Uh, no, Mary Clinton, because I'm going to inherit all that shit, and then I'll know all the dirty secrets. Um... Kill Merkel, fuck May? There it is. I think that I think that's the most rational response, Rags. You did it. Yeah, do you have any different input? <laughs> and you can't say kill them all. Mm, nah, well, why not? But... <laughs> well, you can't marry Hillary Clinton. She'll just have you... If you know all their dirty secrets, you're bound to get... Well, Clinton. Bill knows all the dirty secrets, and he's alive. Barely. As far as we know. He could, he could just be a... That's he's old. That's just, just be he's a, old. We don't know that he's human. <laughs> yeah, no. He looks like a puppet at this point. I don't know. You don't want to be Bill. No, I feel when you are a Clinton, you're you're safe. The Clintons are safe from the Clintons, but that's like only the only people who are. But you wouldn't be a Clinton if you married her. I would. Yeah. No, she would be whatever your surname is. Yeah. She'd be a doggo. She'd be a McDoggo. Hillary Doggo. <laughs> Hillary McDoggo. No, not her. She wouldn't take the name. She'd be a stubborn old bag. <laughs> She'd do like what Linda did. Damn it. Um. I keep calling her Linda, the uh, K uh, Jacob's wife. <laughs> Catherine. I don't know why I keep calling her We know her why. Catherine we figured Linda. it out. It's Linda Hamilton, Catherine Hamilton. That's yeah, why. Yeah, it's Catherine Hamilton Kane is her name. She got. He has both names. She wouldn't let go of Hamilton, though. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm taking Hamilton, damn it. Except she doesn't sound like that. She says, she sounds like, oh my god. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> she did that like five times. We need to get Das Bullshit to bring that clip back. That one in the car is so funny. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> She's so surprised. That is some spicy bolan bolognese you brought us today, Mola. Unfortunately, it's not spaghetti bolognese. In fact, it smells like garbage. Oh my god. Are they referring to the videos we were covering? Because, damn. They were stanky. They were. Hey, Mola, check out the Observer. It might scratch that Soma itch. Also, press F for Babe Ruth. <laughs> Babe Ruth. Um... The, uh, the Observer, that's, uh, the one with Ruka Howe, right? I wanna say that's the one. It's a spooky, like, Blade Runner-ish world, I believe. You go into, like, people's dreams or something. Um, I do know of it, and yes, perhaps Uno de I shall play. Um... Do -do -do. The guy is saying that criticizing the mechanics of how our main character survives within action is nitpicking? Why should I care about the action? Because it's cool! You get to see lightsabers and um, jumping around. You get to see like weapons disappear. Like, good fights can't do that. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, the Mystery Science Theater mantra is not an automatic defense against all criticism. What is their mantra? So, let me pull it up because I don't want to misquote it. Um. One moment. One moment. Um, if you're wondering how he eats and breathes and other science facts, just repeat to yourself, it's just a show. I should really just relax. Mm. Which is fine. It's, it's, it's intending to be a cheesy, you know, riff on movie sort of thing. But, um, I can't just... Yeah, that's the whole thing. Just, just don't think about it. Just like it. It's fine. I mean, I just interpret that as a don't get angry. Like, don't let it affect you on like a really serious level. Yeah, just relax. Yeah, it, that's not what the show. They're trying to say that's not what the show is about. It's about it's a comedy show about funny jokes and. Yeah, from what I've seen of it, it's very chill. Like, um... Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, the movie is Star thing. Wars. Wars. It's about the military, you know, because wars. Um. And now I'm not sure entirely of what that's referencing, but it's going to be one of the three videos we saw. Hmm. Metal is upset. That's true, Metal was upset today. It's like Weekend Warrior. EFAP's going on a dark arc where everybody who has been angry in EFAP before will be made angry. Uh, nothing's going to stop us from enjoying the film, so enjoy it. Stop crying. Um, I think if you've resorted to just enjoy it, uh, you just ran out of other things to say. <laughs> You're just like, I don't know. Beforehand. It's like, the whole point of this conversation is I wasn't. You're like, yeah, but if you did... There's your answer. Um, High Pitch Molar is just CJ Cynical Reviews. Um, you gotta change up the accent too, but I can see yeah, I how you can that. connect them up. I, I, I understand. Well, it's the whole, like, all Americans sound the same to some people, and all British people sound the same to some people. It's It's... Incorrect and absolutely bigoted, but I'm all right with it. Whatever. Hmm. I'll get over it. It's fine. Uh, criminals of the toxic brood. Digging the new EFAP look. You all continue to inspire me. Finally uploaded my first video discussing PT Silent Hills. Part two of seven is actually rendering now. It's been so much fun. Good to see you, ER. Again. Hey. Yeah. Congrats. Good stuff. Keep going. And yeah, we're uh, we we very much like the new EFAP look. We hope you guys do as well. Cool. Hey, did you take damage in that cutscene and it counted against your health? I don't think it counts against your health. I I'm not sure. <laughs> Dying in Mario Sunshine is quite hard, actually. A at least from losing the full health bar. Falling out of the map is, you know. Um. But uh, you have quite a few hit points. Joined as soon as he said prequel defending child idiot. I must be in for a ride. <laughs> oh my goodness. It was a roller coaster. Uh, I think this was rendered on a McDonald's ice cream machine. Explains why the thing's busted all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea that there's like McDonald's ice cream machines on the back of them. It's like, you could edit videos here if you want. You're like, oh, sweet. 
they're always making videos for the YouTube channels. They're not actually working back there. That's why they're so inefficient. Yeah. Get your order wrong all the time. Um. Hey Rags, how about that Mandalorian video? I've been paying you five a month on Patreon for almost a whole year with no new videos. Well, I appreciate your continued patronage. Um, it'll be out when it's out. Don't know what to say other than that. I've been working hard on it. It's going to be long and big, and there's going to be more stuff after that. That's what she said. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but I, I, I am thankful. I really do thank that. If I didn't have... Like, these last nine-ish months or so, if I didn't have, like, Patreon to help me, I things would have been quite different. Um, Anomaly is the grandfather of EFAP. What in the... <laughs> no. <laughs> I was going to say, if this is a grandfather <laughs> of EFAP, I don't know who it would be, but I don't know if it's all of Anomaly. It, it'd be Daddled. Yes. Yeah, Daddled. Um, I guess this two dollars is for criminals. Damn, funding criminals, really? Oof. Uh, the Virgin 2080p versus the Chad 14.4p. 14.4? 144 is what I should have said. Yeah. <laughs> Did he say 14.4? 14.4, it translates it so well. You, were you gonna, you thought they were going with 14.40 and then you got like, to Yeah, like, my brain clearly didn't account. <laughs> four. Yeah, four. Um, hour one. At least he referenced Cosmo Variety Hour, not Movie Bob. Um, not my yeah, bad, wait. No. I mean, yeah. Like I don't, know, I don't even know. Like, of course, Movie Bob's worse than Cosmo in terms of like he wants to kill people, but <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know, just, you know, just that. Um, water there, Ma. Fuck! I keep. Eh, yeah, it's so slimy. What does the goo do? It, um, if you stay in it long enough, it'll take a... T fuck! <laughs> I keep okay. slipping. It's not fair. Nine. Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. Everything is fine. Oh look, water supply. Everything's great. Shut up, everybody. I got the slime off me. That's what she said. Yeah. And that's a, that's a wholesome story. The girl got the slime off her. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Uh... And if, yeah, you, how you, if you're in it and you slide off of it, you take it with you? And you kind of make the floor with it. That's probably it's, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, and if you do nice your spin little... jump while you've got mud on you, you'll uh, it'll it'll be splooged off. Oh. I know that that and that's accurate to real life. I've been in that situation many a times. Spin jump to get the splooge off. Mm-hmm. This is the funniest sequel defender yet. I will admit it was quite funny. Yes. It was amusing. It was entertaining. Well, of course you wash people's brains. You tell people the, to water their jebs, you massive. Damn true. That is a form of brainwashing. Uh, Dark Souls remake hype. Getting it? Da, Devil May Cry 5 SE and Spider-Man Miles Morales at launch for my PS5. Also, good to see ER again. Love those Legend of Korra videos. Thank you. Mm. And uh, yeah, the Demon Souls hype is just is a little bit pooped on for me. I'm like, oh yay, PC, and it's like, well, no. I suppose it, I, I wonder how I'd feel if they never mentioned PC, which is apparently what they were intending to do. So, I don't know. Still fucking annoying. Um, Mola, he said the sequels are unfairly maligned. Yeah, I was actually, I didn't bring it up, but um, that's exactly what uh, H Bomber guy said about DS2. He's like, Dark Souls 2 is unfairly maligned. Or is it, is obviously the response <laughs> to all of these things. Uh, my internet quality just dropped and the video you're watching looks exactly the same. Yeah. I, I mean, I would, <laughs> it might even get blotch here, I'm not sure. The blotch factor was pretty significant. Um, Muller is a hamster on wheels pretending to be a skull. Shit, man. Exposed! Get fucked, he man. Oh, a jab in the head is worth two in the bush. Is this is this true? Has this been proven? A jab in the hand is worth two in the bush, or a jab mm. in the head? Hmm. Running on those hamster wheels. True. That is where they belong. 
Uh, Brie Larson is actually a real genius. She's actually method acting since Carol Danvers is equally obnoxious and unfunny agenda pusher. <laughs> you know, I really hard, that hard to deny it. Um, <laughs> guys, don't outright bully him. Have some subtlety about it. <laughs> <laughs> Finished extended Lord of the Rings remarkable? Uh, when I run, which I do often, I'm most like Gimli in the Two Towers. Why can't I be like Aragorn or Legolas? I just, you know, life. Well, it's probably as you're doing marathon, but dwarves are dangerous over short distances. True. Well, they say from the movie, so... Um, Mola. Co Cinque Gesseris Stabit? And then Nod of Acknowledgement Rags. Ah, uh... <laughs> Not of acknowledgement. I'm, yes. I'm acknowledgingly nodding. Mm -hmm. Back to so that's why they're called hamsters, for their massive hamstring gains, because every day is leg day. <laughs> 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 Too true. Um, hey, hiddle, hiddle, the hamster with his fiddle. <laughs> <laughs> this just says you've made a fatal mistake. I, I don't even know what that could be referencing anything. <laughs> um... Do I get my I voted for Hiddle sticker now? I don't know why anybody wouldn't have voted for him, so it's kind of irrelevant, right? He would have gone 100%. First time ER spoke more than Anna. I was working. I don't, I don't even know if that's true. I don't even think it's true. <laughs> I, don't even think it's true. <laughs> I think that was from the beginning of the stream. Ah. I got work here. EFAP 100 was fine, I guess. You did it okay the way that you did it. Also, Heil Rags. Heil! Very kind. Thank you. At least it was fine. Um, so I guess we brought up the whole Heil Rags things now again. Heil Rags, Hibble Subbledies. <laughs> Hibble Subbledies. And this, this one, they spelled it out with, with fucking underscores. I guess they were concerned, but there's lots of different ways you can... Sp one of them just said Heil. It works, apparently. Uh, hmm. Though you would expect YouTube to eventually ban that, too. Ban it all! Or, well, censor, I guess. Uh, but yeah, Heil ranks. Heil to you, as well. This is a troll, it has to be. Um, so guys, it's really hard to tell these days, okay? You just never know for sure. I love the streams. Heal rags. Oh, that's a bit different. No, yeah, I yeah. shall not. <laughs> Never heal, only heal. He's like, heal's okay, but heal? Fuck, you've gone way too far. Um, this is master level of trolling. Everyone's convinced it's trolling, I don't know. I don't know. One of Netflix's defense for cuties was, you must be conservative slash traditionalist to be against the sexualization of children. Yep, and it's uh, fucking insane. I've said before, <laughs> making it partisan is retarded. You need to get away from that shit, because it makes you look Should awful. Should be the big uniting, you know. Yeah. Should be able to all get behind the idea that exploiting children sexually is eh, not a great idea. You, you and it's not so. the first time they've done it. All the people involved with the film have done this before. Yeah, it's just that this was the one everyone fucking heard about for sure. Mm-hmm. Well, it's because they're covering up information. Like, the guy that uh, was the producer, it was in his Wikipedia that he is trying, like, he, where is it? Let me get the exact quote. Uh, so they deleted it when they figured out that everyone was kind of losing their mind. So it says, um, his uh, controversy comes from his films featuring the sexualization of young children. The French filmmaker has dual citizenship, and then it just goes blah, 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 blah. Dual uh, citizenship where? Uh, let me... Hmm? Dual citizenship in France and in Israel. <laughs> and uh, he considers himself a civil rights activist, opening the path oh. for people to be able to love who they love. And so uh -oh. they deleted that hmm. from his... Oh. Yeah. Hmm. And so they took down his Wikipedia for less than 24 hours and put it back up, and so it just had his, like, name and birthday. And, but though... So if you go and look at Cuties... They did another film, him and the woman that directed it, and it's just shorter. And did you guys watch Cuties? No, no. Unfortunately. Okay, so in it, the whole thing is like the dad's getting the second wife, 
And so mm -hmm. that's one of the things that's like an over looming plot point. But so in the short video that they did, or excuse me, the short film that they did, um, that one actually just has both of the moms and the dad's not in the picture. And so they've already done this film. This was them like perfecting it and making it feature length. But then you go and look at him and the films that he's done before. And then the guy that was in charge of cinematography, he did a movie about like a little girl running around naked. Yeah, well, that's what I've heard. Christ. But so it's supposed to be like a comedy or something, but it's it's not done well at all. There's just everything that they're trying to say to defend this movie, it's like you didn't fucking watch this movie. Anyone trying to defend uh, to defend it, and then when they try to say, "Oh well, you didn't get it," it's like because we're sexualizing children, it's making it so that way, uh, uh, like you see that it's bad. I'm like, yeah, Little Miss Sunshine yeah. did that. Silence, can... conservative. No, I, I've <laughs> never talked about politics at all. They can't even use that excuse because I just genuinely don't care about politics i find it completely uninteresting mm -hmm. so you, you just have to watch the movie to see how disgusting it is like they have little girls dancing and mm -hmm. the okay if a little kid is doing the hokey pokey to elmo they're moving their entire body there's nothing sexual about it but when you zoom in to certain parts yeah. of their body and focus on that that's yeah. what sexual it's just and then them trying to defend the main character. I'm like, no, this character is a fucking psychopath. She starts off at the beginning of the movie where she loves her mom. She's like doing a little art project for her mom and leaving this like little cutout family on the bed since they just moved into this new apartment. She loves her brother. All of that just drops. And then she just becomes this complete psycho who steals. An 11 year old girl knows stealing is wrong. Everything she does in the movie, she knows is wrong, but she does it anyway. And she has no remorse for anything that she does. So she stabs she stabbed, somebody with a, yeah. Okay. Yeah, she <laughs> stabs a little boy in the hand. So she, she steals, I, I didn't know that this was her cousin, but she steals her cousin's phone and which again, she knows is wrong. She does it so that way she can stalk this other little girl that lives in her building. And so she stalks all of these girls to try to get into their group. And then when the cousin finds out later on in the film that she stole his phone and she lied about it, she tries to seduce him by stripping for him. He's yeah. like, what the fuck? He takes the phone, she goes into the bathroom, she takes a picture of her vagina, posts it on Instagram to prove that she's not a child. And then the next day in school, the little boy's just like, oh, like he slaps her on the ass. And he's like, well, she's the one that's posting pictures. And so she takes a pencil off of the other little girl's desk and she stabs him in the hand. And then later on, she pushes a little girl into a river. And she, she knows that the little girl can't swim. And she just stands there. She's not even sympathetic about it at all. She's a terrible character. If this was a movie about, you know, the beginnings and the origin story of a psychopath, I believe it because that's what it is. She has no remorse for anything that she does. She's the one that goes and seeks out and looks for the, you know, the sexualization part. She finds a video of strippers and then she teaches that to the other little girls. And the other little girls are like, you know, at first they're like, oh, this is like new dance. And it was okay. This one will get us, you know, you know, ahead of the, because it's the cuties and then it's the sweeties. Those are the other girls that they're trying to win for the dance or like beat at the dance competition. It's just a really, really fucked up movie. And the way that they film children, like having little girls sitting on a bed, eating gummy bears, you wouldn't think would be sexual. But when they have them doing very sexual, like moaning noises, and then the way that they film it is like soft core porn and having a little girl, you know, bending over eating gummy worms or gummy bears with her mouth. And then having the other little girl moaning and the way that you, shoot it is the little girl coming up and her mouth open like as if it's a cum shot from a porno that's the way that they filmed it it's absolutely disgusting anyone with a brain can watch this and see exactly what they're doing it's it's one of the most disgusting things i've ever seen it's not political at all except the fact that they're trying to normalize it so when they try to say oh it's just conservatives i'm like no it's fucking common sense you don't sexualize children yeah well, it's not common sense for everybody I was gonna say I've, I've seen the same sentiment for most people that have seen it. Um, there's a lot of people commenting on it without having seen it who are like, mm -hmm. it almost seems like they want to comment on, on it to defend it from what they perceive as like evil Republicans going after it. It's such a bizarre. We have fucking... to defend anything. If Republicans or right-leaning people are against it, it must be bad. And we it, or it, it, it has to be something we defend because we can't agree on anything. 
Yeah, it was. Well, uh, I mean, even there when they tried to defend it, like, well, you just don't understand the message. I'm like, the message isn't even clear. The, if you, it, if yeah. you're telling me that message, it's nowhere in the film. Yeah, it's absolutely not. That's true. I yeah. Uh, you would think if you if you separate everything from like everything if you separate it from everyone trying to like frame the movie as being a critique hyper hyper sexualization thing the movie itself doesn't really have any of that it just it sexualization is a good thing for the girl and like every part of the film well, they try to say that it's society that's doing this to children, and that's just a flat-out lie. Everyone is against it. She, Ami is the one that goes and seeks it out. And when, you know, she doesn't think that she's doing anything wrong, and that's the weirdest part of it. And it's like, if you go and look at documentaries on, um, like, Jeffrey Dahmer or Ted Bundy and how it's like, when they try to justify the things that they did, and it's like... You, you know, a normal person doesn't think that way. A normal person knows that, that it's wrong, but somebody that's completely narcissistic and has some switches off in their head, they try to justify it. When all the little girls are like, we can't dance with you anymore because you posted a picture of your vagina on Instagram and now everyone thinks that all of us are like that. And she's just like, no, come on, I, you know, it's fine. Like, just let's dance. And all the other girls just leave because they're like, no, it's not fine. And so her idea, and this is her reasoning to get back into the group, is to push Yasmin into the freaking river. And again, she sees that Yasmin can't swim and she doesn't do anything. She just stands there staring. She's a freaking psycho. She has no remorse for any of the terrible things that she does. And she knows that it's wrong. And when her mom finds out, like when the mom gets called and uh, you know starts actually like hitting her for the first time, cause she saw that she's dressed like a slut and she stabbed a little boy in the hand. She's like, who the fuck are you? You're not my daughter everyone is telling her that she's doing something wrong and she knows that she's doing it wrong but she doesn't care she will do whatever she can to get what she wants she's a complete psycho yeah true well yeah i you know i haven't seen it but i really don't intend to watch it not not my kind of content don't, not after that not glowing review it. um Uh, you guys need to accept that there's absolutely no good things in the prequels, and they're so much worse than the sequels, slash ass. It's, uh, I just feel like it's categorical. The sequel's so much worse, writing-wise. I'll watch the prequel, or, the, yeah, the prequels over the sequels any day. Mm-hmm. It was the sequel, the funny thing about the sequels is they all hate each other. Like, the movies themselves, they all resent each other's existence, while the, the yeah. prequels... Or obviously, all of them build toward the big payoffs in Re uh, Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, they're not fighting against each other. No. Um. This is the new big meme post in Post One Hundred. Hail Hitler. Hail Hitler. <laughs> Diddle my Hiddle, he man. Diddle my Hiddle, he man. Heil Rags once again. Oh, hello. Um, are they so far up their own, or just don't care about moderate leftists who are not fond of LGBT propaganda? Is that in reference uh, to a uh, purple hair lady, or are we... Because obviously this is about Star Wars, not uh, cuties or anything. Sorry, can you repeat um, it? Yeah, say that again. Um, are they so far up their own, and it's dot dot dot, I'm assuming ass, because, you know... I'm pretty sure you're allowed to say ass, you should be right with that. Or just but not don't care... Sucking. Or just don't care about um, moderate leftists who are not fond of LGBT propaganda. What? I don't. I don't know. I don't know if they're referring to Holdo as LGBT propaganda. I just think she's a fucking idiot. <laughs> I think that they were not fully aware propaganda. of what she looked like and what that would mean to people. They knew exactly what they were doing with that. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's pretty hard to. I thought what I first saw, I was kind of just like, really? <laughs> are we doing this? Okay. I mean, it's not uncommon for people in Star Wars to have different colored hair, but the way that they did it was completely mm. intentional. Yeah, she looked Are so insanely other... out of... How many people have we seen in so Star Wars? Uh, yeah. it, like, if we only count the OT and the prequels and TFA, how many people have, like, unusual hair colors that aren't aliens? No, I'm talking about the comics and, like, all the action figures I have from that. Okay, sure, but I guess Maybe for the movie, movie stuff. But they're not humans; they're aliens. That's the difference. You don't really get aside from These like Sabine because she's always dying her hair. 
Yeah, when when she's contra when she's in that very militaristic setting when she should be having like a uniform or some kind of designation some something like that and they just go with this look and they know exactly what that's going to come across um it's things like hiddle subtleties that make me think we need a spit take emoji or spit out the n a milk out the nose emoji to go with our rhino milk <laughs> true some of those moments you just catch in um uh... where is jay <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Um, uh, Jay uh, managed to pop in for EFAP 100. This one, um, uh, I mean, we were already stacked up with guests. Uh, it'll just be the next topic that matches. J Jay's, Jay's around, Jay's been doing streams, Jay's been doing... Actually, Jay was on um, Metal Stream playing golf and shit, so... You guys have extra reason to check that out. He's been playing golf while we've been doing this. He really he likes is. golf. <laughs> yep, still, still playing golf with your friends. Is he playing Probably golf right won. now? <laughs> yeah, he's playing it right now, I just checked. Jay's building maps on it, and I think we'll do a big EFAP gaming. We'll play my map, Jay's map, and uh, then probably, I don't know, Among Us or whatever. Let your fun be had. Yes. Whoa. Darth Maul the ER and his Forstisms. Yeah. Yes. I gotta erase these bad opinions and art somehow. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, the prequels contradict the original trilogy, huh? Oh, I guess this is, they're trying to imply it's like, oh, what a horror for the prequels to do such a thing. It's not like the sequels do that at all. Yeah, yeah any sin that the prequels commit in that regard, the se the sequels just... Ugh, <laughs> they blow it out of the park. <laughs> <and> just like, <laughs> hey. hey you've been close. Uh, but dude, clearly the problems you have with the prequels trilogy are just nitpicks. The movies have politics. Deal with it. Um, oh god, they're flipping it back on him? Oh no. I mean, yeah, any criticism anyone has of anything, just say that thing is a thing. Deal with it. I've learned so much. Unpopular opinion. Midichlorians were a good thing for Star Wars, keeping the Force grounded to some rules. If they didn't exist, we'd have Force-sensitive droids, Harry Potter wands, and other dumb stuff. No. Why? We, what is your reasoning to think that if we didn't have Mando, uh, well, Metachlorians, we would have that? Mandachlorians. Uh, Mandachlorians. So, Star Wars existed without Harry Potter wands and without um, Force-sensitive droids in the OT, and it also didn't have Metachlorians at that point. So, what? why even bring Harry Potter ones? I don't know. <laughs> so, what? Is it because Mahler's British? Is that why? No. It's... Harry Potter! I, it's because it's probably whenever someone mentions Harry Potter, I honestly flash back to EFAP ninety three. Yeah, that's been, what he's done. He's ruined, ruined. Harry Potter. Uh, little what, did he know that he would be the one stuff? to ruin. He basically like spends the entire video saying Lord of the Rings sucks because it's not Harry Potter. Yeah, L Harry Potter's way better than Lord of the Rings in basically every way is what he keeps saying over uh -huh. and over. Mm. My, it hurts my brain. My inner soul. Um, Czechoslovakia no longer exists. Hi, ER. Hello. That's true. Um, I'm trying to think of what the context was even... Oh, I, I think uh, Metal said he had a... Uh, his beer was Czech, and then I just said Czechoslovakian. That's like a sort of... Czechoslovakia. A referonso. Mm. This is dangerous to do while not concentrating. Uh, this guy should collab with Cinematic Venom. See? There it is. He just, he sneaks his way into all the references. Cinematic Venom, the best YouTuber. If you, if you go to him for all your Harry Potter facts. Lord of Rings is an artistic masterpiece, and for that matter, so is Meet the Feebles. Meet the Feebles? I don't know that one. Um, ha, that is how I use EFAP. Get me to tomorrow. Oh yeah, we're a good time travel podcast, I suppose. You get invested in the videos we're covering, you can find that four hours just went by and you're like, wait, what? Though, um, prolonged exposure to certain tisms can lead to horrifying results. Yeah, Ever seen The Fly? <laughs> it's like, that could happen. Be careful. Mm -hmm. There are things I enjoy for being long, not movies. Um, I mean... 
But, so like, if, so, hey, Rags, if a movie came out that was seven hours long, and of the people who had seen it, they thought it was really good, would you just, like, refuse that? Or would you be like, yeah, we'll have to watch half at some point and half another time or something like that? I'd be curious. Yeah. It's mainly about just the consumption method. The whole reason TV breaks up into episodes to make sure we probably don't, like, have trouble figuring it out, right? That's why everybody, when, de like, trying to defend the length of my videos, is like, you can pause them. You can go away. Yeah. You can <laughs> like... take a break and you can come back whenever you want. At no point is it ever stated that you have to watch it all in one go. Yeah, it's like an audiobook. Do people complain? Oh my gosh, this audiobook is too long. It's like 32 hours. It's like, well... They just you... want me to sit and listen to <laughs> something for 32 hours? That's bullshit! Fuck books. And yeah, like, a lot of people, you know, there's the meme of, like, some TV shows are just really long movies. A lot of people, like, Hill House is that, as far as I'm concerned. It's like one big movie. Um, not quite, like, formulaic sort of ones when it's a story that's just moving for every episode and it's, they broke it up because they were like, this doesn't work in movie format. Mm. Where there's always this subtle agreement with the audience that it's like, it, it'll be between one and a half hours and three and a half hours. Like, that's like the caps. But, um, yeah, if the the idea alone of a long movie, I'd be like, yeah, sure. I'll, really... I'll give it a shot. The, didn't uh, The Irishman was, like, ten years long? Oh, my God. <laughs> Something. It just... It was like, they all know that this might be their last chance with all of them working together. So they're like, let's just do it. Where all of us, you know, we can do the de-aging, we can all be in a movie together. It'll be our big bang before one of us kicks the bucket. That's sad. It is but sad, true. but like when you look at it, it's like, yeah, that, that's what they were doing. So it's like I, I can respect that as like people that have worked together for, you know, majority of their life and then it's getting it out. It's okay. I just remember when it came out, there were people posting guides on how to consume it, like as in if you split <laughs> it up into three parts, here are where to, you know, break as if they're episodes and stuff. And it's just like, yeah, that's, that's all it really is. It's just formatting differences. But if you can't figure out where to pause, feel bad for you. I don't know if that was just no, that might have been the hottest take ever. No, out. I was. I, I mean, I was in shock. That's the silence. <laughs> um. Fuck, I wasn't looking at the screen. This guy is Goodell, but drunk. <laughs> kind of. Hmm. There exists psychological states that make people think they are smarter than they are. This video. I'm sure he's... Uh, uh, look, just give him time. He's gonna come right along. I feel like that's everyone that you cover. <laughs> hmm. ER, what do you think of Steins Gate Zero? I have not finished it because I did not like the beginning of it and for once I would like to love something and not have to totally ruin it for myself. So I just, I'm not going to finish it, I don't think. Oh, what if everyone tells you it's great? Uh, a lot of people do tell me it's great. I don't know if I totally believe them. Uh-oh. It might be. I don't know. I just, I don't, if it's not, I don't want it to be like another Korra. You know? What show is this? Science uh, Gate Zero. It's, the, it's not technically a sequel. It's a mid-quill hmm. to Science Gate. Like a side-quill? Yeah. Which, yeah. Which means you don't... It, it's not totally necessary to really know the story of Science Gate, so you can skip it. I'll just keep an eye on chat. You gotta, keep killing Mario Mola. I know. I'm gonna make him suffer. This is purgatory. It's a very colorful purgatory, but still. And, uh, yeah, some people sharing your, your thoughts there. Zero is not good. You made the right call. Mm. Thank you. There you go. Uh, Schrodinger's name is Irwin. Allegedly. <laughs> Irwin's, Irwin Schrodinger. All right. Uh, Hiddle Subtleties is the drunk Dio... Uh, fuck. <laughs> okay. Uh, Idle Subtleties is the drunk Diogenes of EFAP philosophers. Um, I think he's definitely the drunk one, yeah. Who knows? We'll fill out that. Oh, I just realized Bigidius was born when EFAP was uh, doing fucking just right and ER was here. Uh -huh. 
both philosophers while Yara's here? That's not a coincidence. Hmm. Beep, beep, beep. Um, only like it because it's long. Cinematic Venom's Once Upon a Time in America review in a nutshell. Spoilers, that one sucks too. Oh fuck, I didn't get off the thing. Jesus. I'm very bad at Mario when I'm not looking. Also when I'm looking. Um, also, any plans to cover his TLJ video? Bring alcohol and lots of it. Definitely could happen one day. You know how it be. How it do. Be how it do. Mm-hmm. Um, hi Rags. Hey! Moop's subscribe account is catching up to yours. Hurry, release a video. Also pre-kick no Jay. Way. I'm getting there. And Jay has been pre-kicked. And what is everyone's thoughts on Seven Samurai? I have not seen it. I saw it when I was a kid. I haven't seen it since, so I, my thoughts are very useless. I liked it, though. Yeah, you must have seen a film about Samurai. You're like a weeb. Right, yeah, I haven't, so that's uh, <sighs> it's news to me. Seven Samurai. Oh, fuck. And, um, and it's muted for now. Um, I like sped up Mola. I say use it more often. Sped up Mola. <laughs> hate it. Hmm. Mola, since you said that you are a fan of symphonic metal, have you listened to Mein Ertz Brent by Rammstein? It's definitely good rat. Also, Heil Rags. Heil! Uh, no, I haven't. I'll try and see if I can check it out at some point. Can you all say... I'm Maxilidon. Maxilidian? Mac Maxildean? <laughs> I'll, I'll post it. Not anymore. Maxildean? Maxilidian? Maxilidian? Yeah, Maxilidian. Yeah, I'd say Maxilidian. What's, is that a reference to something? I am Maxilidian? Hmm. Interesting. Maxilidian? Sounds pretty cool. Maxibar. Got to do it in a super intense, aggressive, and deep voice. I'm Maxilidian. No, I am Maxilidian. <laughs> I'm Maxilidian. Hey, man. Mm. Hey, uh, Anna, say I'm Maxilidian in a super intense, aggressive, and deep voice. Maxilidian? <laughs> yeah, that's what it's asking for. Okay, say I'm Max uh, Max Amidalian. <laughs> Max Alidian. Max Alidian. Okay. Yes. And in a what kind of voice? In a super intense, aggressive, and deep voice. Um. Well, I don't. I don't know if I can do a deep voice, but um. <clears throat> I'm gonna fuck this up. Um. <laughs> I'm Max Alidian. There you go. There you go. ER, you're the last one. Very deep. Mm -hmm. I'm Max <laughs> <laughs> Terrifying when the villain Don't doesn't worry, even... the real Max <laughs> always forgets his name. God, I've killed Mario so many times. The, the level spawns with the mushroom, so I just like... I'm just killing him infinitely. This is kind of horrifying. Guys, I just totally off topic. I just finished editing uh, one of my paintings because when you like photograph oil paintings, it's got like weird glares on it. Do you guys want to see? Do it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right. So I don't know if you guys played uh, Kotor. This is one of the characters from Kotor. I played both games. My really. Oh wow. It. Oh, it's that's, Robot Man. That's really. It's, that's uh, HK forty seven. It is. Yeah. Yeah. That is that is very impressive. Well, thank wow. you. Thank you. Wow. Looks pretty cool. Super talented. What are his powers? Does he have lasers? No, he is the uh, droid that spoiler alert that Revan made, and so he's a hunter killer droid. It's awesome, and he's funny. So uh, I I liked him a lot, and so I was like, this game is fucking awesome. Uh, I'm gonna paint and. Well, I wanted to do, um, like, a series of droids, so this was the first one. I'm working on R2 now. I was going to do General Grievous next, but I have this other project that I need to get done first, so uh, once R2 is done and the other stuff is done, then I'll start 
working on Grievous because when I do uh, like conventions, you're usually for a collection you have 12 pieces for each one. So I usually just do like Halloween conventions. So I have all of these like murderers and like horror villain characters. But I was like, I'm gonna do droids because they're a lot of fun. Uh, especially when you're the difference between painting like um, organic surfaces as compared to synthetic surfaces and metal is like so fun to paint and you you know just what are you gonna do for your christmas convention you know <laughs> i don't do those <laughs> wow mm. Mm. all um, right then that's cool i guess batman and robin or the room so Batman and Robin. Oh, hmm. so this is complicated because uh, Batman and Robin. Something I watched a whole bunch when I was a kid, so it has that bonus value for me, um, as well as being fucking hilarious, as well as Arnold Schwarzenegger being in it, who I I like in like all of his roles, no matter how fucking retarded they are. So lots of fun value there. But then again, it's against the room, which is some grade A cringe. You know, that's some can't get that many places. So I I don't know. It's kind of hard. I love them both. What do you guys reckon? I've never seen the room. Um, I haven't actually seen the room. Yeah, I haven't either. Fucking hell. <laughs> I feel like an alien. Uh, but I have seen Batman and Robin. It was one of the movies I watched as a kid growing up. I mean, And I loved it. Uh, people have been saying in the comments section, they're like waiting for us to cover the room as if that's just like a given. I suppose we could, especially if you guys haven't seen it. We could do, we could do this yeah. cast, you know? I haven't Ooh. seen it. It does come across as a little cliche, but I'm not against it at all. I mean, I mean, watched funny, uh, Disaster funny. Artist. Did you guys see that? Yeah, yeah, it was fun. No, I haven't. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, we could do we could do this selection plus metal, maybe Fringy. You know, six people laughing at the room. Because talk about cliche, we did uh, Ghostbusters 2016, which was for research purposes, but it doubled up as being, hey guys, this movie's really shit. Which you probably silver lining to that rain cloud that was Ghostbusters 2016. It was always funny because, like, we watched that movie and it was like, oof, that was something. It's like, remember why you watched it, guys? To so fucking respond to a uh, video made by oh, like, yeah, a right. relatively a relatively popular video essayist about how it's a good film. <laughs> it's like, oh god. Oh. Also, yeah, just PSA, do not watch Ghostbusters 2016, normal or extended. If anyone tells you the extended one is good, they're lying. That is correct, they are. They're just trying to get you to watch more dancing. It's horrible. We uh, noticed that when we were watching, we're like, wow, there's a lot of dancing that they cut out. Yeah, there's a lot. Your critiques are poor. Guy... Oh, no. Oh. oh, no, not that. <laughs> it's over. I'm glad one of these videos didn't say that, because, mm -hmm. oh, that would have been... Would have been over. Uh, new Batman villain, low res hiddle subtleties. Mm. The Batman villain that's low res. That's his thing. <laughs> Where just... is he? I can't tell. He's <laughs> like so blurry. Oh, the, actually, this is the actual copy pasta. I have lost all respect for you, Mola. How embarrassing. Choosing to be blinded by hate. I have never thought of you as more of an idiot than right now. Your critiques are poor. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way he thought that that would end up as being a coffee pasta <laughs> meme for us. It's like one of my favorite things ever because of that ending. It just makes it. Your critiques, critiques are poor. That's a real <laughs> thing. Yeah, I was playing Last of Us 2 and I was not having a good time. And of course, um, what I found when I first started playing it was most people were all like sort of kappa facing about how this is going to be a disaster. But there were some people there like, hey, you know, give it a fair shake. Don't like, Aww. don't just go in like blah blah blah. And I was like, I won't. And if you watch my playthrough, before Joel dies, I'm I'm pretty mellow. I'm like, yeah, this is fine. I'm following it. There's some stisms here and there, but you know, it's fine. And as soon as he dies, I start like thinking about how everything happened and why. And I start ranting. Mm -hmm. And then the game goes on, more complaints, and I think I got to the point where I was just like, this fucking game's a disaster. And there was just someone in the chat who was just like, I'm so disappointed in you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no critiques of Paul. Which, you know, it's fine, but Last of Us 2 is a shitty game. Uh, I'm sorry. Moobla and ER are stupid and gay. Oh no. Whoa. Oh, wrecked. <sighs> Will we ever recover? Spent the last three months catching up on EFAB and only have made it to 55, so hello to myself in three months when I hear this one. Also, hello, Rags. Hey, Lou. Yeah, have a fun adventure. Lots of things happen between 55 and 100. Well, 101. 
crazy adventures. Uh, have you seen the interview with Druckmann and the actors who voice Joel and Ellie, where they go over the criticisms? No, not... Like, I've got some references ready, because that's the part I'm at with my video, but, um... I haven't watched them yet. I imagine they're horrifying. I, I know, um... Fucking... He, sa he said that Joel is, like, no worse than David, which... Holy fuck. Uh, for those who don't know, David is, like, a super yeah. creepy cannibal pedophile in the fucking game. Yeah, I'm about to say. Um, what, uh, but but the logic is like they're both doing what they have to do to survive. It's like Jesus Christ. You don't have to fuck kids to survive. <laughs> well, Wait, it's never it's never explicit, but he's uh he's very grabby with Ellie, and he gives her loads of chances to be nice to him, and it's very like you're picking up some vibes. And then um when she's back with Joel, she says he tried to dot 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 sort of thing, and um mm. you can assume he tried to murder me. Or you can assume she was talking about something else. It's all very oof, and I just hope he wasn't thinking about equating shit like that. Um, and Joel, Joel's not a bad person from what we see in The Last of Us 1. I, I will fight to the death on that one. Um, if you want to refer to like things he did in his life before the events of that game, it's a possibility. Because uh, we're not clear on exactly what he's done to who and when, but uh, a lot of the choices he makes are very reasonable. Just the idea that we paint him as kind of just this psycho who deserved to get stomped on. It's just like, hmm. I feel like we're missing out on a lot of the information there. But you know, that's what they wanted to do. Because The Last of Us 2 basically decides what to th what you're supposed to think at the end of The Last of Us 1. There's no more room for discussion. They're just like, nope, he was a bad guy. You're like, oh. Yep. Okay. Like, uh, hmm. Um. Me and Rags go way back. Who are you supposed to be? Oh, right. That's the video we're on now. Uh, yeah, I guess what they meant by that is that they used to watch you. I don't know if they're going to watch you now. No, I don't know either. No, Who knows? Know. Maybe. Not sure. I hope so. Um... <laughs> okay, so... Rags, on EFAP 100, I told you guys how much EFAP means to me and how much it's helped me deal with stresses in life, and it ended with me saying how much I like John Wick 2, and then you berated me at length, saying I was fooled into liking it. I poured my heart out to you guys and you stepped on it without a second's hesitation. Here's some money. Never change. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um. We are legitimately happy when we hear people say, like, that we've helped them. That's kind of among our primary goals of the show and the podcast and everything. However, <laughs> none of that changes the fact that John Wick 2 is the big bad. Is the big poopy. Yo, do you like it... John Wick 2? No, I do not. Like, fuck. Why? <laughs> well, number one, I mean, the, the, the appeal of the first movie was that he was avenging his dog for me and then when that's like completely kind of <laughs> in the second one I'm mean, like I don't give a fuck you don't what do you mean they create this whole great new storyline where he's apparently got this whole deal to deal with yeah, behind we didn't yeah. know about it's so great yeah I just don't give a fuck wow well you'll be proven wrong one day I'm sure of it because Metal's gonna make a video about how great John Wick 2 is oh wait he's making it about how shit is Sorry, <laughs> I get them mixed up. Um, doo -doo -doo. Please get Mori Kaliop and Gawa Gura on as guests, please. You need them to stay relevant. No idea who that is. They're VTubers. Oh. What's the... Um, yeah. you, you'd know the answer to this, ER. What's the appeal of VTubers? VTubers are cute anime girls. What more is there to say? I've about literally that? never seen it. I, like, pretend I have no context. All I know is VTuber, and it's. I don't even know how it works. Is it an actual person, or is it literally like an, a, a robot that says words? I don't know. It's an actual person playing a little cute anime girl, and they play video games, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Wow. Well, you gonna you gonna maybe go go in for that? Just uh, stream a bit and. Drop a, drop a VTube person? I don't see why not. I have a, like a, a 3D model that I can actually do that kind of shit with if I wanted to. Ah. 
Hear that chat? Encourage you to stream playing games as an anime girl. <laughs> Do it. It's better than streaming wearing a Stormtrooper helmet. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> when the weebs have it over you, because the Star Wars cool wearing a helmet is just it's not working. Um, where are the red coins? I'm I'm not paying enough attention clearly. Watching paint dry is more productive than Mevel, 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 M E H V E L. Oh my gosh! I can't believe they're insulting metal by saying that. Watching him is oh, worse than watching paint dry. Man, yeah. that's rough. They don't even respect him enough to spell his name right. That is fucked. Watching paint dry is not boring. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> like, I want to call. Oh, well, I mean, Ellen. well, I mean, I do that like every single day, but I don't find it boring. It's like kind of a science to knowing like what colors dry faster and in what environment, and then. Oh, well, like you, I'm sure you understand the spirit of the statement is a oh, single color. I know color. what you're saying. Yeah, when like, people say that, I'm like, watching, it's not boring. Yeah, watching paint dry and watching a painting dry. Eh. Yeah. But I, I do see what you're getting at. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm just saying when people say that, I'm like, it's not because there's like... Uh, no, I have it. the... One. <laughs> still sound. Actually, watching paint dry isn't so bad. Actually, <laughs> I paint using essential oil. Oh god. <laughs> um, shout out to Capital O Opinions. O Opinions. Uh, their reviews are meticulous, Ooh. well constructed, and funny, and I recommend their Annihilation review. They just started a multi part review of devs. So underrated. Capital O Opinions. Not devs. Oh, they're I'm, reviewing devs? Well, considering this person just said I recommend Capital o Opinions, not devs, I'm assuming it's not a positive. Oh, good. Thing. Okay, good. Yeah. Devs is. Devs is shit. <laughs> yeah. Devs is one of the worst television shows we have ever watched. It's pretty it embarrassing. Horrid. They tackle a complicated subject with all the finesse of like a fucking brain dead bear. It's, it's just like ah, the, this is this is happening now. I don't know how you construct such a retarded plot when um, you have like complete freedom to do whatever the fuck you want. It, it's it fascinates me. It is. Don't watch devs, anybody. There are things that deal with its concepts way better than it does. Or at least theoretically they should be. <laughs> you gotta appeal to the hope. Um, yeah, that's a weird one that that, uh, that we were recommended and we decided to check out on a, on a rainy day and uh, did not like... God, I was just thinking, Rags, it all starts with them killing that dude when they just didn't fucking have to. And it just causes lots of problems, and the only thing they have to appeal to is, well, we were going to, like, according to, like, determinism, or <laughs> some shit, and you're like, so what? Instead of, just, instead of just not doing it, we just went ahead and did it? It's bad. It's really bad. Don't watch devs. Shit. Boo to devs. Um, but yes, uh, Cavalo Opinions is the one that made quite a few of the, uh, the funny, um, sort of, like, I can't remember if it was called, what was it called? Like, SJW Reviews, or, or... It was like making fun of um, video essays. It was good shit. So, yeah, they were good. They were really funny. Yeah, I hope that uh, he's making some good shit with that. I might try and have a look see, because Devs was not an entertaining watch, so I would get some catharsis from watching someone rip it apart, I suppose. Oh, it was shite. Um, shite. Mola, what is your favorite episode of One Punch Man Season 1 and why? Mine is the one with Deep Sea King. Also, does anyone know if Season 2 in English can be found? Uh, I certainly don't, but yeah, that's I would imagine that's a lot of people's favorite episode to be honest with you It is fantastic um, So the thing with me and One Punch Man is I kind of think of the season as a whole I don't really break it up because whenever I watch it. I fucking blast through the whole thing usually Yeah, well, it's good to think of it like that so that you never have to watch season two because that was kind of garbo Oh, no I've not yeah. seen it still, and it's literally just been the fear of it not being good. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, what it's adapting, like the webcomic and manga, those are fantastic, but it is not a good adaptation, I am sorry to say. Is that the, um, like, common perspective as well? Because I haven't followed any of it. Yeah, I think so, because it, it very clearly there was some... They didn't have the budget with that one. It's very clear. 
Yeah, that's a shame. Weird that they wouldn't give it the budget it needs, considering how popular and beloved the first one yeah, seems to yeah, be. I remember Smile nice. was explaining, like, it's a bit of a perfect storm with Season 1 in terms of their resources, from what I understand. Yeah, yeah, the director basically called in a bunch of favors and he got a bunch of excellent animators to work on the show, and then second season did not have that privilege. Mm. Uh, was it like... Is it getting a season three then, or...? It might. It probably might. There's more to adapt, but um, yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, we'll, just, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, I, I, Deep Sea King would probably be a pretty good one to go with, like, for lack of me figuring out which episodes are all the, the ones that I love the most. Uh, to be honest, I just love the season. I think it's really good. Yeah, it is excellent. Uh, my sister says that objectively the last of us 2 isn't bad because of the interview I mentioned earlier and that only the actor slash creator could say what a character would do in a film or game not fans why yeah that's wrong yeah I'm gonna need a big old citation for that one yeah because because a a film creator can say something that is just blatantly incorrect based on the film yeah as soon as we um, establish that not everything they say is applicable then it has to be down to what they say being accurate, and that is something that any of us can do. Death of the author, bitch! I just love the idea that a character is clearly one thing, and then the author's like, no, and you're like, too bad. Mm. Who are you gonna believe, me or your lying eyes? Well, of course, you know, you'd be like, so the, the worst case scenario, then what if you wrote a story and you had something very specific, and then people, like, co-opted it for something they liked or whatever? I'd just be like, well, I mean, what are their references? I don't know. Well, then you just do the JK thing, become a transphobe, and everybody will dump that story. I mean, she was... I thought you would have referenced the whole, like, she just kept adding to a Harry Potter post-book release. Like, the yeah, but class. everybody loved that. Harry Potter? <clears throat> Dumbledore is gay. He's a... He's a big old He's schlong a... slapper. He's a big schlong slapper. <laughs> Do they have spells to make your cock big? Because <laughs> I imagine they, that would be like the first spell they come up with. The first one to learn. <laughs> like, this is great. It's like, fell, fell, fell! <laughs> I need help. It's getting he, too he big. Teach it to you. He teach it to you for a, for, for a fee. Oh no. He does, he does dick enlargements. I don't know that was your whole thing. People try to shame you and you're like, hey. Some people need this. Wait, How who are you? I was like, oh, oh, I'm the guy who found the uh, cock in beginning spell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is really, I invented the, the death spell, I invented the pain, the control, I invented the large penis spell. <laughs> it's like, nice. Unfair to call Brie Larson a white boy. Oh, oh, that's something we didn't ask about, because at one point in the video we said uh, a bunch of white boys. Eating on it, I think, right? What the boy? What the boy? Hey, the what the boy? Hey, Rags, drove through Arkansas for work, awake for 24 hours, and had to drive another hour to MOBC? M Molasses Bacon? MOBC? M M -O, M O space B and then uh, lowercase c. Oh wait, um, BC's because I'm Missouri. retarded, so MO is... Yeah, yeah MO okay. is Missouri, that's the state north of us. Um, uh, because my money wasn't good enough to get a hotel because I'm 20, I blame you. Well, first <laughs> off, you shouldn't be driving when you haven't slept. Mm -hmm. Driving when you're tired is... It's worse than driving drunk. Um, it's very unsafe. Don't do that. But, um, man, like, Arkansas's cheap, man. If you didn't have enough money for a hotel room here, I don't know what to say. Man, it kind of sounded like you said organ saw. Organ saw. That's, 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 that's the horror vision. Name. Yeah, organ saw. Uh, howdy doody ho there, Moodle Anna and ER. Moobletism and Rag. Hello. Hello. I have a vid coming soon of uh, making Saruman stuff. We'll shoot a lonk when it's Finn. Oh, that's super cool. Yeah. Are you like a carpenter? Yeah, if you I don't know if you're making it out of wood or whatever, but mm. that's that's legit pretty cool. Yeah. 
what is Streamlabs? That is the thing that like hosts the, the, the link I can send out for people to donate directly instead of through YouTube. It's in the description. I just call it Streamlabs. I'm assuming that's accurate, I'm pretty sure. Uh, hey Mola, this is the first time I get to catch you guys. Enjoyed your content? I used to be one of the people that doesn't enjoy long video uh, essays, but you guys convinced me. All hail the long man. Hey, the, oh, the long takes it. another soul. Yeah, boy. Uh, Rags, are you still working or going to make your Mandalorian video? Yes. Also, hi, Mola. It is in the works, you bet. Hello. And yeah, uh, it's going to be exciting. Just get, you got to let it cook, you know? You don't want it undercooked or overcooked. Mm-hmm. That'll be the right time. Uh, Rags, challenge this stupid scaly to a furry fight and show him the error of his ways. A furry fight? I don't even want to know <laughs> what that is. Furry fight. Who's the scaly? I guess because the icon was the dragon, so that makes him a scaly. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess he's a, he's, a, he's a scaly boy. Terrifying. Disgusting. Uh, doo -doo. Cutie's EFAP? You might get arrested, though. Yeah, nah. Oh, God, no. Nah, yeah. that's not happening. <sighs> we like to have fun. <laughs> like, so when things are stupid, it's really easy to have fun with it. But that shit's like, oof. Uh, Brie Larson asked for hatred from certain people. Do you like the the white male comments or? Then technically true. Yeah, I mean what she said was pretty stupid. Um, how's her YouTube channel going? Is she like a? Is she gonna do let's plays or something? I imagine that's just the next step. It's just slowly dying. Everyone kind of forgot about it. She's mm -hmm. probably jealous of Jack Black. Um, also, Rags was talking about the worst movies in recent years. I'm sure he could come up with more movies if he widened the search. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, I Give me a shit ton of examples. It's just that Captain Marvel's pretty bad. <laughs> that's all. Like, it's, it's, that's as far as it goes. It's, just, it's pretty fucking bad. Um, seems white men is censored by YouTube. What? Wow. This kind I'm of incredible to wonder oppression. If... If the fucking super chats like censorship thing isn't even run by humans at this point, Wouldn't just surprise me. Some of the they words... only change it when people bitch. <laughs> yeah, like that's literally how it works. You can vote what word upsets you. Once enough people have voted, it'll just change. Um, talk about Jack Saint defending cuties. Oh, oh God. Yeah. Mm. So is Movie Bob. Yeah, that's. Oh, it's God, so just... weird that people Even defend this. I don't think that they've seen it. That's the thing, though. And Jack's really... Jack definitely did see it. He did. Yeah. Apparently, he I... gave it a seven out of ten. What? Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> that's, he I, that's what I've heard from Discord. So. I'm interested to see what his defense of this movie is. Because well, I'm assuming it's the same as everyone else's, where it's like it's yeah, trying to show it's, you child it's exploitation is bad. Best child pornography, something like that. It, it's so fundamental, it blows my mind. It's like, when you have fantasy murder, or, um, you, like, all, all of the fantasy shit that's done is gonna be with... You know where I'm going with this. <laughs> it's like, yeah. the, you can't fake that with a child. That's not possible, unless it's, like, CGI or some shit, I guess. Still a fucking weird thing to do, but that's not what we're dealing with, so it's just, yeah. Uh, but they'll keep on banging that drum, I guess. Um, as far as I'm aware, he had to put out a bunch of clarifications because he got a huge amount of backlash. Which, I don't know why you would expect anything else. Yeah, I know. <sighs> all you have to do, all you have to do is not defend the P.O. movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. All you had to do, it was, you had one fucking job. That's too hard for some people. Clearly. Holy crap, he's serious. You actually can't type white followed by the word men in super chats. What the fuck? Whoa. Wow. Can you can you do that with black men and other races? <laughs> you probably can. It's so fucking strange. Can't talk about white men. All right. I know I we must be pretty fucking bad, I guess. Who knows what the reasoning is? I'm sure it's to do with preventing Nazis from doing something. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, Wasting okay. two bucks on this, Molia. <laughs> nice. That wasn't a waste. No. It was a beautiful use. Oh, gotta do it the cheat way. Come on, Octo, Octo, Octo Man. Puff and Kumquat. 
<laughs> I was gonna, I was, gonna, I was trying to like blend octopus and ocean man. I was like, Octo man, puffing by my hand. Uh, it's true, you cannot super chat about white uh, men white. So if you do it in the opposite direction, you should be okay. Yeah, like, you gotta be like cavemen. Like, oh, yeah, men Man white. white. Men white. Oh, Why don't you just oh. use like a different language's version of white? Like blanc white for, for white, I guess. Mm -hmm. White blanc. Yeah. Blanc men. I mean, bl bl blanc men. It's fucking men bizarre. Blanc. How many people are super chatting about white men? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I mean, four just came in as a result of this, I guess, and uh, Green Man works, huh. so <laughs> okay. Wow. Fringy's okay, I guess. I am a man of white. <laughs> Ever consider doing a sweepstakes for EFAP 200 or so, where one lucky viewer gets to converse with the members of EFAP? Love the content, by the way. I mean, you know, we would probably do like a, we could do a call-in thing at some point, right? I don't see why not. Talk to randos. Chill out, see see what everyone wants to say about stuff. Uh, yeah, I uh, don't see why not. Hi, Roglers. Oh my god, they're combining Hi. all the names. Huh? Um, everyone's fucking testing this shit. <laughs> I am a white man. Test away! Uh, Captain Marvel isn't bad because look at this horrid movies, but why not compare Captain Marvel to good movies like Lord of the Rings or The Green Mile or their ilk? In fairness, the first video we covered said Lord of the Rings was shit. So, you know, who am I to trust? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I still don't know about that video. What, in terms of, like, bait? Cause... Yeah, I'm honestly a bit... Yeah, the... hmm. I, mean, it could I don't know. It said all the right names in all the right places. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, yeah. We'll have to get um, EFAP detectives on it. If y'all want to do some learning, watch Sargon's vid on the Liberty of Hate. It would be great to see how you guys react to some of the results. Results? Liberty of Hate. My goodness. Um, in Pass Through, Neil says he killed 300 million people, to which Movie Bob replied with amateur. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Again, Movie Bob's numbers are looking to be way bigger than that. If he manages to get a hold of something that allows it, I don't know. Uh, one wrote Mob Psycho and One Punch Man. Is, is huh. Fair enough, I guess? I don't know. What did they say? Uh, one wrote Mob Psycho and One Punch Man. Oh, that's true. Yes. Neo. Same. Uh, isn't the new Mulan supposed to be more accurate to the actual story than the animated one? Uh, yeah, it's not. I no. thought, isn't it classified as like a Disney remake or whatever? Yeah. Like live action remake. So, yeah, like they don't give a shit about the story. They care about well, the of name course Mulan not, no. and everybody knowing about the name Mulan. Yeah, and, and uh, I thought the goal actually, like I could be wrong, but I thought it was supposed to be take Mulan and then make it live action, quote unquote. And uh, they removed Mushu because he's offensive. And they added fucking powers for some reason. I thought their their reasoning for getting rid of Mushu was because it wasn't realistic. Oh, was it that? I could have sworn yeah. I heard someone say that like um, he was also offensive. But I, I can't remember. You know I mean, maybe funny? they're both, but that's the reason that I'm aware of. Yeah, you could be right on that. I, I might have mixed some stuff up. Either way, they got rid of. There was reasoning. What I'm suggesting is. If they're going to go out of their way to reason why they got rid of Mushu, then it's probably the case that they're trying to adapt uh, the original version because they need to account for how things will be missing that you would expect to be there from the original. Unless Mushu's in like the original story, I don't know. He's mm. not, but neither is superpowers. Yeah, it's absolutely nothing like the original ballad, so... No. Hmm. Mm. Started from EFAP 1, after EFAP 100 a few weeks ago, uh, on 17 now, enjoying the lore. Also, cheers for covering that the first guy, been hoping he would appear. Okay. Cheers for covering yeah. the first guy? Jared? Maybe they got here late and they thought that, uh... Oh, unless you mean Jim Sterling, because that was the first we covered on 100. Are they talking about smoke? Oh, wait, maybe they meant this stream? I don't know. Yeah, maybe they thought the second one was the first one. 
either the first person we covered on EFAP 1, EFAP 100, or this stream. Um, regardless, yes. I I'm glad you enjoy. Uh, 6 out of 10 is not good, it's the equivalent of a D. Not in a universe where you want a 1 to 10 scale to make sense. Like, what the fuck is the point of the rest of the numbers if 6 means bad? You work at IGN? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hi Rags, please play Outer Wilds for your own sake. Hi. Um, let me... Is it on... Steam? Let me double check. Wait, did they say Outer Wilds? Wilds, yes. yeah. Yeah, okay, then, yeah, absolutely do play that. Amazing game. Let me put on my wishy list. Hmm. <laughs> um. Six out of ten is actually B minus in the main official system? I wouldn't know. Main official system. ER, who is your favorite Fate series waifu? No, I'm not exactly very well read on Fate, but yeah, so I can only go with off uh, Queen Arthur, I guess. Yeah, the yeah blonde haired blue eyed waifu. It's the equivalent of a waifu for guys. Guyfu. Gando. <laughs> Is this guy possibly of reduced intelligence, or does he just forget what he's doing and get distracted by something in the middle? Uh, I could hazard a guess. Yeah, it could Probably be both. Probably the second? They didn't seem very self-aware. Are you guys aware that The Escapist launched a movie podcast hosted by Cinema Roberto and Jack Packard? Also, hi, Mola. Hey. Yes, and that's... <laughs> Wait, Jack from RLM? Yeah, he and Movie Bob. Huh? Wow. I don't know. It's such a like, why? <laughs> but you know, they just want to talk about movies, I guess. Leave them be. Sure, yeah. Um, what are you guys talking about? Spider Man? Of course. Spider Man? <laughs> why would we talk about anything else? Well, it's the, I mean, the inflections matter. It's like, why are you guys talking about? What are you guys talking about, Spider Man? And I don't know. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm tired. Can I use your Last of Us 2 LP for a video on agriculture? Yes? Agriculture. Yeah, I'm confused how it applies, but sure. Um, do you have plans to cover Cinematic Venom's take on TLJ? I skipped through it to see him say Snoke was a good villain because his backstory is obvious. His uh, uh, no, it isn't obvious. <laughs> Nobody saw the fucking clone shit coming. Yeah. <laughs> what do you How mean it's you obvious? How could you possibly predicted that? If you said, if you predicted that, you're lying. He's obviously made it a vat of goo. <laughs> but... On a secret dark planet where a Darth Evil Palpatine clone was making clones of Snoke as well. Fucking like no. JJ and Ryan didn't even know that was the case until JJ was like, "Oh fuck it, I guess." That's that's funny. Uh, yeah, there's there's no reason why we wouldn't eventually cover that. Cinematic Venom is a treasure to YouTube, I suppose. We will have ER on for that, so we can experience him. Mm, okay. <laughs> it's Monster Hunter World. Nergigante hunts what are basically gods for food. Nergigante is also hungry all the time. I'll whack him good for you. Um, I think you have to hunt quite a few of those uh, to get through part of the campaign. I'm pretty sure it's toward the end. I haven't played Wild in a while now. Uh, the Iceborne DLC came out, and apparently it's good shit. So, if anyone wants to play more Monster Hunter, do you it. Uh, hey, Fab Crew, love you all. Also, hi, Rags. Hi. Oh, yeah, good stuff. Hi. Uh, also, Charlie's Angels 2000 for EFAP movies. I don't remember that being, like, a funny bad movie, but... Who knows? No, I just heard. I just heard about. Oh, that's right. I don't hear about it ever. Mm -hmm. mm. Then they made what the other Charlie. I would probably rather do the new one. one. You know, with the 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 Elizabeth Banks one. Oh yeah, the Elizabeth Banks one. Is Most people forgot that existed. Referring to? No, they said the two thousand one. Oh, okay. Sarah Cameron Diaz. Lucy oh. Liu and Drew Barrymore. I remember. 
those ones. Hmm. This guy is a mam, by the way, freak. Uh. Wait. Oh, were they? I did. I didn't uh, catch that. If that's true. No clue. Um. I. Th I don't even know if that is true. I would have thought they would have corrected us when uh, they came on, but. So so. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever don't they want to be. Wait. What? I'm not for shizzle. I'm any of the I. Uh, I guess. I don't know what their pronouns are. Is is uh, that's what I think the super chat's saying. Well, I mean, um, the person had a girl name, but a man voice? Yeah, I But, I mean, there's plenty of men that have girl names. Name five. <laughs> um, Shelly, Dana, Jamie... Shelly? Yeah. Interesting. How do you spell Shelly? Um, S-H-E-L-L-Y? Huh. Okay. Interesting name. Sounds like a turtle name. What's his name? Uh, Jesse. Jesse's Sue. not a. Jesse's androgynous. I don't. I. I don't know. I feel like I meet more women named Jesse than men, but it's because it's like short for Jessica, so they go by Jesse. Then. Well, we have Jesse's girl, and yeah. But yeah, I've never. Uh, well, until like I met my boyfriend, because his dad's name is Jesse, and then his oldest brother's name is Jesse. Before that, wow, I've never right met there. a guy named Jesse. Well, I mean. Before that, I'd only ever met women that were named Jesse, and I've still, to this day, never met a man named Jamie. And so, I've only ever known women named Jamie. So Jamie Heineman. Come I don't know who that is. Jamie Lannister. Okay, that that was the first time, and I was like, "Why? Wow, we've got a girl name." <laughs> yeah, Anna, Anna doesn't know Game of Thrones. Come on. Well, no, that was one of my examples. Did you guys know? Game Jamie? of Thrones. Rags is a big Game of Thrones fan. I love it. It's great. Season oh, eight was I your favorite that, thing. Uh, that live stream. Oh yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, that was when I met you. <gasps> Aw. I know. Rags was, I was like, Rags came in with the ammo of having seen one Game of Thrones episode. <laughs> it was all he needed. Yeah, Molly was like, Rags, I need you to watch this episode. <laughs> <laughs> this shit. Have you, was like, have you seen Game of Thrones? Nope. I was like, all right, watch. <laughs> the same shit I did with Smiler back when TLJ came out. I was like, I need to know I'm not insane. Someone needs to see this film with me. It's so fucking bad. And he's just like, wow, really? You know, because like TFA was fine, right? And I was like, yeah, I know, but this one. Mm. I know, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> your, vid yours, your video was the one where I was like, oh shit. TFA isn't a miracle masterpiece? What is happening? I know, what a surprise. Um, doo -doo -doo. I can see why Nijigante would want to defend Captain Marvel. He's just as condescending and as obnoxious as her. Damn. Oh, shit. I mean, the, the video was definitely like... It, it, I would have guessed he had like a huge bone to pick with you. You'd think. Yeah. Very aggressive. Which is fine. Like we said, though, it's just better... You're better off if you're right at that point, that's all. Uh, there's a reason we have the phrase, a broken clock is right twice a day. Someone being crazy or shady doesn't automatically mean they're wrong. Well, yeah, that's the thing. If It doesn't matter if you despise a channel and they've only ever been dishonest. Like, if they have a... Well, I say that. If, like, a channel only lies, then I guess you wouldn't have any reason to click it. But I don't think any of the examples he had was that extreme. Uh, Sometimes the truth can come from anywhere. Mm-hmm. It's not true, but if it were true, it would be the right thing to do, and you would deserve it. Is this Weirdo's video about rags? I don't even remember what that quote was about, like which part. I don't remember either. Untrustworthy sources, including the guy I don't know. <laughs> we probably yeah, yeah. could have brought that Can't up. Can't trust but, them yeah. strangers. Mama told me, don't talk to strangers. For a 6 out of 10 mediocre film, this guy is simping hard for it. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, please, Goodell. Yeah, hard. I think it'd be hard for me to get passionate about any six out of ten. Yeah. It's bad. Like once you hit five, you're just like, mm, I don't really feel anything. <laughs> it's just like, mm. uh, please, Goodell. Ah, the usual suspects. Maybe if I could do, like, I don't know, people. Have I got anything in here for usual suspects? Let's have a look.
A Luke. There you go. That'll, that'll have to do. I'll hopefully, because the thing is, with these references, I usually end up looking at them, you know, years later, and then I'm like, does this make any sense at all? Hmm. Because, of course, all the Gedalb quotes have to make sense. Like, you guys could tell of that, course. right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Gooper Blooper returns. All right. Mauler is the pioneer of objective criticism. Dude, you were the first. The longer EFAP goes on, the more Mauler becomes an SCP. <laughs> it's true. Uh, thank you for this EFAP. I had a stressful work week. I have an anime recommendation of Monster. Um, Go for it, dude. It's great. Fair enough. And yeah, I, I, was, I was just more interested in this, the... Stressful week is big gay. EFAP is here to show you people who are worse yeah. off than you are. <laughs> they, yeah. At least you have a brain. Uh, yeah, that's one way of yeah. But uh, yeah, um, monster. I've, I've heard a couple of times that it's uh, that's one of the good ones. I have not mm -hmm. seen it. It's on YouTube. Oh, oh is it? Apparently. Uh, hi, rags. Hey. What are your preferences in guns? Tell Wolf we love him. Will do. Um. Preferences? Oh, I mean, I like all kinds. Um, I like Fox and 1911s, and I like my AR-15s and my AKs with my 47s and 74s. I mean, I like a lot of stuff. Um, I prefer uh, red dots to iron sights. I generally prefer smoother shooting caliber. I don't like guns that are pristine. Um, I like when a gun has a bit of wear on it. Looks like it's been used, and I don't have to worry about it getting scratched or banged up or anything. Um, I, I, I don't like guns that are crazy or have too much going on, attachments and stuff. I guess if you can call those preferences, mm -hmm. uh, there they are. That's, that's some of them at least. Stupid Mario doing jumps all over the place. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm just imagining this guy search for hours for anything that's supported against Captain Marvel reviews not being deleted, and the best he came up with was a comment on a Reddit thread. So convincing. I know. It was a weird part of the video. Well. Yeah, you, you didn't have to say anything. You could have just not said anything. That's the thing. Just be quiet. Just don't say it. Just let it go. I didn't make I didn't make a big deal out of it because it wasn't a big deal. Just let it go. This octopus is giving me a hard time, Rex. Yeah. Is he? Mario Sunshine. Why don't you know Mario Sunshine inside out completely? Wow. Um. You guys are the gay. Oh my god. That is. Is this true? Hmm. Jeez. Nope. I'm hey. So is this guy worse than Cinematic guy. Venom? Okay, this is, look, we gotta stop doing that. We can't say every single time we cover a person they're the new bottom of EFAP. <laughs> yeah, like... Mm. We gotta have some standards, people. If you want Cinematic Venom to be special, then quit trying to compare everyone to him, or ask if <laughs> this person is the same, comes close. Look, yes, Cinematic Venom's video was very bad, I, I know, but... We don't wanna go too far with, you know... Just, just saying everything is, is worse than that. Otherwise, the whole floor falls out. We can't have that. Alright, killed it. Um, they did not vote down with bots. Rotten Tomatoes had a not interested button for movies which hadn't come out yet. That button was removed because of Captain Marvel. It wasn't fake reviews. Um... Okay, well, what about the 50,000 reviews that were... Yeah, I was just gonna say, this. there was all kinds of fucking shit going on with, uh... Yeah, Captain that's Marvel. Kind of so interesting. Hence, Talk hence the entire point Rags was making was people yeah. were talking about it. That was it. As bad as 2020 has been, have you ever thought about how horrible YouTube Rewind is going to be? We will need an EFAP. <laughs> God. I mean, we could, but I don't even know what I'd have to say about it. I'd never recognize anybody in them. I'm always like, who the fuck are all these people? Yeah. God, how miserable the, re the YouTube Rewind would be if it was, like, a legitimate one. Uh, one day YouTube will put a 24-hour cap on streams, and on that day the long man emerged from the English Channel in his three-mile-high height shouting in a Welsh accent, Unlimited power. 
That's not unlimited. 24? <laughs> Child's play. I don't know what that sticker is. Looks like a duck. But thank you. Quack. So, I just got bingo on the EFAP bingo. Yay me? Oh, oh right. Wow. <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me, actually. Uh, Mola, do you feel sad that you don't live in the world where Tom Bombadil was played by Brian Blessed? <laughs> I mean, that would be cool. Um, maybe a deleted scene. Let's let's do that. Uh, Gadelb, the usual suspects. I don't know who this is. Still got some words left. Rags was your first... Oh, wait, sorry. This is split up. Usual suspects. Wait, I don't know what this is. That's separated from... Still got some words left. Rags, what was your first F with a guy or a girl? Oh, right. A uh, girl. And then, damn censorship, high rags. Hi! There you go. Isn't Brian Blessed the guy who is like, Are you retarded? That's him. Oh, fucking great. <laughs> that. I know. Are you yeah. retarded? Are you retarded? Uh, just watch Joker, and Joker's relationship mirrors his mother's with Thomas Wayne in that they saw what they wanted, not what was true. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a strong potential. The, it wouldn't surprise me that whatever's going on in Mr. Joker's head could be reflected in his mother and her psychology. It's, uh, it's an interesting one, that movie. You guys, you guys ever see Joker? Hmm? I have. I ain't dead. Ain't half bad. So it, it ends really positively. He gets to kill a whole bunch of people. Um, I've been catching up with every EFAP. I love it, and it's making me pay attention more to movies. Hey! Glad to hear that. That's <clears> the kind <throat> of stuff we like to hear. Yes. Uh, ER. Hmm. I felt that. Hits mm. me where I live. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're welcome, buddy. Idle complaining about Muller's alleged slurs, but not even concerned with how he slurs his words. Wait, who was complaining about my slurs? Oh, was it who was the one who said that we like everything's filled with racist and sexist jokes or something, right? That was you. Yeah, was, uh... yeah they said that about you. Yeah. yeah. I'm a weird target for that one. I feel like ER's the one you go for. Yeah, with you would think, you would think. But no, I'm a comedian, I'm not actually. Ah, critic. yucks, you're in the clear, I'm not. No, I'm fine, yeah. Uh ER, please let someone else speak for fuck's sake. No. <laughs> This guy is part of the re police. Oh my god. Uh, the hi, Mola. I've been trying to contact you about a video I'm making on EFAP and its community. I've got almost everyone, and I just need the long man. Uh, for what? Has he got, uh, does, does that sound familiar to you, Rex? Right? Say that again? That I've been trying to contact you about a video I'm making on EFAP and its community. I've got almost everyone, and I just need the long man. Oh, I'm. I'm not familiar. Also, I just fucking... Did I just end just my... just needs you. <sighs> Fuck. He needs you, you, you. I'm gonna have to collect all the red coins again. God damn it. The red coins. Of zoobly boobly. Are you, like, looking for, like, a, a voice clip or something? I'm not sure. Are you retarded? I didn't say that, did I? That's fucking racist. Um, but... But, yeah, I, uh... I'm not sure what what's being referred to. Um, joined late when Rags is sped up. You sound like Benny. Cuties is complicated, Shapiro. So listen, uh, Cuties is complicated. Oh my god. Yeah, is the worst. Oh, he almost sounds like um, uh, Patrick Willems a little bit when oh I do no. Oh my goodness. Man. Patrick Willems, the Ben Shapiro of movies. Ben Shapiro. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, what happened to your wild hair? Started chemo. My wild hair? What are you talking about? Yeah, your icon doesn't have as as uh, your hair's yeah, a little bit more yeah, controlled. Yeah, yeah. yeah this is because uh, I am Mr. House from uh, Fallout, ah. so all my hair fell out. Damn. Ah, uh, his hair. Yeah, yeah hair fell out because of Fallout. Yeah. Yep. Um. Hail, hail rags. Wait, no. Hail. Yeah, hail spelt with an A, but 
it's you know it, 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 oh i mean you know whatever weather <laughs> hey um rags i'm so sorry but they, they followed this up with something else uh christmas still sucks though i don't under you i don't understand the mindset of any what lonely <laughs> Loser yeah. thinks that Christmas sucks. Someone whose life is a failure. That's oh it. my god. I think Christmas sucks. Wow. See? I, I, like I, fish. I think they've all got their pluses. Oh. All got their negatives. Nobody ever talks about Easter, really. Just saying. Well, yeah. Because it's not like, crazy cool or anything. Dude, like, it's a, it's a, it's a bunny that delivers you free chocolate. I don't know. Uh, first off, that bunny's hurt. terrifying. No, he's not. Which bunny? What bunny? What happened you to you? <laughs> <laughs> well, a, a massive anthropomorphic rabbit costume man who goes around hiding eggs. What kind of and a rabbit hides eggs? Chocolate and does money. he squeeze he them out of his ass? Peter Cottontail does. Now you be nice. Hopping down the bunny trail? That's not an yes. Easter thing. Yes, it is. Did you not watch the fucking movie? Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Mm -hmm. First off, rabbits don't have trails. Yes, he does. They have I don't little think bunny that... trails. I yes, feel they like... do. Mm, they go I down their know. specific ways, and it makes a trail over time. I don't know. Where, where do rabbits got to be? Where do rabbits got to be? They got to be where they got to be. You don't know its life. I don't want to know Peter Cottontail's <laughs> egg-stealing, hiding, painting, squeezing Well, that's life. why you don't understand Easter. I don't think Peter Cottontail has any Oh, I I was oh, Easter was huge when I was when I was a kid. I got my fucking fill of Easter. I I like the egg hunt. I like that. But you know, that's I don't know if that's enough to carry the whole thing. You're like, "Oh, but what about the candy?" It's like, "At what point are you just like, "Oh yeah, stores exist. I can get free I can get all the candy that's I could basically ever point. eat whenever I want." That's not the point. The point is zombie Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, kind of, but aside from that... Arise! Fun. I don't even know what the bunny Great has to do. zombie Jesus. Peter Cottontail. Oh, a record producer. Here comes Peter. That's not a very... Uh, he's a Chicago area musician. <laughs> he worked with Chance the Rapper. Like, yo man, what's your rapping name? Peter Cottontail. That's like pretty cool. That's so racist. Um, imagine using Molar as a defense for Captain Marvel. Oh, because, yeah, because I... Yeah, kind of did. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, of all the people you could probably grab, I don't think I say a single positive thing about Captain Marvel in my video. Do I even... I can't even remember if I do. But do I even talk about the de-aging of Samuel Jackson being good? I can't remember if I did. Yeah, I think you said it was good. There you go. <laughs> uh, Long Man Bad, of course. What Angry Joe movie reviews have you seen? Oh, I've seen a whole bunch. Not a fan. He's, uh... Angry Joe is... is the quintessential, goes to see movie, enjoys the experience, says, hey, that was good, and then, like, five weeks later is like, wait... That... <laughs> that was kind of shit, wasn't it? And you're like, yeah, kind of. Which is fine, by the way. His gaming show just is just so much better. Um, whoop. Your justification was that rages are for films that had wasted potential, and Captain Marvel had none to waste. Point is, the guy is way off based. Way off base. Yeah, there was no like. I felt like there was no definitive easy fix or anything for Captain Marvel or tweak. It's just like you need to fucking uproot all of this. It's terrible. Um. Because just like nothing works about the film, it's not like a film where you, you can see some stuff and you're like, hey, this could work. But I think it would seriously come down to just the emotional reaction as a whole was just that of, eh. Elongated humanoid negative. True. We've heard infinitisms, Bat Whammon and TLJ the 1, 2, 3 on the EFAP granding scale. What would be the 4, uh, four to 10? So. To, we, I don't think we've come up with ones. Uh, it's it's a little bit hard to get like a we, eight, nine, ten sort of situation. To, I think we'd have to add legitimately sort of give that one more thought than just something off the cuff. Yeah, like it was almost um, the we infinitisms was so bad. That's how it got that slot. We just like we've never come across something that breaks everything. 
where it's like time and space have been deleted. Also, it hasn't been. It's like, okay, I feel like you've you've gone as far as you can go without not being an existing property or something. So if this is the floor, where does Batwoman sit? And it's like, Batwoman does everything it can to break absolutely everything, but it doesn't quite fuck with time and space. So, unless of course you... Yeah, it's not, it's not like nonsense. Like, there's a story that you could follow there, and it's not as bad as Crisis is. It's the one step above. What if Crisis was actually a little bit more <laughs> sensical? Boom, Batman. Uh, and Batman. then some might be surprised to find that TLJ is three. Be like, really? And it's like that's the thing. TLJ is really bad, but um, when it's not Batwoman bad. Like that's a a, a world where, like I said, time and space are intact for the most part, but everything else isn't. Anything that you know about anything in this world, it's not going to work properly in Batwoman. Um, which is definitely to the show's benefit. <laughs> like, but. Yeah, so that 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 listing will probably grow as time goes on because um, Mandalorian was was potentially a four, but I'm pretty sure we we ended up going with three for that, right? Yeah, it's three ish, four ish, yeah. Oh, four out of ten. But there's the beat. Didn't you rate Avatar as a four out of ten? I said I could be pushed to a five with Avatar. Yeah, yeah. Could be. Um, that's the thing. I this list would probably be reserved for stuff if if we were to use it like in a really. An, an attempt to try and categorize stuff. I'd probably want to choose stuff that I'm really familiar with, which I love that right. I can say I'm familiar with Batwoman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're, we're avid fans. But, um, like, shows I've only seen once, I probably wouldn't want to throw... I say that, I've only seen Batwoman once, but I remember it so, uh... so well. Of course, that's probably tied to the fact that I've seen it more than once, technically speaking, with all the editing and re-watching our coverage of it, so... Um... And there's like nobody on this planet has ever mentioned even being remotely a fan of it, so I don't think we've experienced what it's like to have someone defend Batwoman. Maybe there is, you know, yeah, a defense. I'm sure there's some people out there. Like if you go to the Reddit for Batwoman, there's some people who actually. I mean, oh, this episode was so great with how they did that. That this crazy people. It's mostly um. Like, but they don't really do arguments. They mostly just say stuff like, "Oh, you know, um, Rachel Scarsden is an amazing actress." Uh, I yeah, really liked this plot line. Like, there's nothing yeah. to work with, really. It's nothing that will convince you of anything. He's like, all right, yeah. Um, and then, like, I don't even know that we have a slot for ten. I feel like that's something we'd have to think for a while on exactly how we justify it. Someone said Buffy would be ten. No, Buffy's a seven at best. I'm sorry. Buffy's high moments are great, but overall, there's loads of fucking tism in that show. Um, 10 would be something like, um, I don't know, 10 means perfect, and I don't know if we... Yeah, I, that's what I mean, I just don't, I don't really want to put anything in 10 yet, I'd have to think about that for a while, and, and like, how it would make sense, rather than just yeah. something... Yeah, I'd say, like, Frasier would be, like, a 9.5, because there's only, like, a few things that they get mixed up in continuity, but that's a fantastic show. True. Joker? Um, I don't... Uh, I can't remember. Could we, did we come up with any problems for Joker? I think some small ones. I, I can't remember saying that it was perfect or that there weren't some small yeah. little issues. Um, but... There's a couple I, of conveniences, at least, right? Like um, him engaging with Wayne in, in the theater. There's a lot of ways that might not have worked. I'm not saying it's like absurd or anything, just that not the easiest thing to have done and they don't really do much in terms of showing yeah. how he made it happen other than he walked in and it kind of just worked it's like okay and it's certainly really high territory um i guess yeah. i'm just really hesitant to mark something as the perfect 10 because that carries a lot of you i wonder know, if like 12 angry men it. would qualify that seems like something that could probably get away with it it's just a bunch of people in a room arguing <laughs> so you know he's probably gonna be a pretty hard to beat and that that film is pretty fucking great we should watch that sometime actually yeah, we can do that. Um, but we that that would be a good thing to do is to come up with our you know one to tens, get some people in a uh, a call and just sort of do that when maybe I'm a little bit more lucid. Mm-hmm. You're gonna have to rename that video now to Captain Marvel and Unbridled uh, an Unbridled Mare, and then in brackets bad. <laughs> 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 yes. 
Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Recently went back and watched Game of Thrones finale stream. The hilarity... The fucking hell. I think I'm starting to pronounce words wrong because... Uh, uh, brain melty. Uh, the hilarity is that while you were talking about that crappy show, someone brought up the trailer for the best show ever, Batwoman. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there's uh, people have people have traced it. I can't remember which video it's on, but someone's got a top comment that says like, "You guys gonna check out the Batwoman trailer?" And then I responded with like, "Yes, we will." <laughs> it's like the birth of a wonderful series. You know, I just realized I like climbing around this thing more than I do killing Shadow Mario. What does that say about me? I don't know. You're a lover, not you're a climber, not a fighter. You know, Shadow Mario reminds me of ER. I don't want to kill him. Oh. Fair enough. <laughs> Can I spray you with Shadow juices? Mario? You okay with this? Yeah, as long as it's like hot mayo. Oh, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh. Give me that cold chilled mayo. From Mola's Unbridled Mare video on Captain Marvel. And this video being titled An Unbridled Mare does not mean the film isn't awful. It simply means I save rages for films that I could that could have been great. <laughs> I do like Captain Marvel never had a chance. <laughs> it's just gonna be <laughs> shit no matter what. Yeah, it's just gonna be shit. Um Hi guys, a little embarrassed here. The video was not that good, I admit. I cut this out of my video and I left it unlisted. I appreciate the critique. That was from uh That's the one. I think you read that out, yeah. I took this video down originally and I took down the new one. I wasn't satisfied with them on further inspection. I done goofed, admittedly. It's all good. Yeah, the process was something, like I said, this isn't like even the first time. Well, I don't know if we've ever had someone on. Oh, wait, I guess Jay. <laughs> he ended up taking down the Black Panther one, right? I think. Of course, you don't, like, it's, it's not like we would say that you have to or anything. It's just that, yeah, uh, it's, it's all good. And thanks for coming on, of course, if you're still out there listening, perhaps. Um. What about when people write reviews? Those things can be essays in and of themselves, but I guess only a paragraph get to it. Oh, right. As in, like, what about long essays versus videos? I mean, to me, it, as you could tell from when we asked him uh, in the call, it was more of a just thinking about averages. It's like, how long do I like to watch a video for? It's like, half an hour is about as much as I'm allowing. There's nothing else there, really, in terms of, like, a metric. Like I said, mm -hmm. there are people who are popping out fucking, like, nine-hour videos that are, like, you know, the, the, the ultimate review of, and then it's usually a game. They don't usually do it for films. I'm the weird one with that. Like, um, didn't White Light do it with Death Stranding recently? And there was a guy who reviewed Pokemon. It was a Pokemon game he reviewed for, like, 11 hours. God damn. It's a surprising amount you can say about shit, you know? I could tell you of the great battle centuries ago. I could tell you of the power of the darkness. There are many tales. Lately, those tales have stopped. I could tell you, but I won't. Mm. Very well. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Be that way. <laughs> How am I supposed to make my review only 20 minutes long without cutting down on my funny challenge awesome skits? Oh no, <laughs> not skits. Anything but skits. Anything but skits. No, please. Look, you know what? You gotta be yourself, ultimately. Oh no, yeah, you're on the floor, you're wiggling while I'm spraying you. Oh my. <laughs> this game is not for children. Hi, Muller and Rags. Hello. Hi! Have you heard of the giant golden bat? No. No. Alright then. <laughs> I'm assuming it's like a statue? I don't know. The great golden bat! Giant gold golden yes, of course. bat. Great golden bat. The giant golden crowned flying fox. That's probably not what they're talking about. The uh, great golden bat. Golden cape great fruit golden bat. bat. Species of mega bat. <laughs> Endemic to the Philippines. Bat. Mega bat? Fucking hell. Surely they're in Australia too. Just seems like the right thing, but yeah, okay. I don't know if that's what you're referring to, but neat. Um, although I turned Captain Marvel off ten minutes in, it seems like an advert for intersectionalism. Uh, fucking advert for bad writing. <laughs> Nailed it. 
Um, could be fun to bring him on board and talk about it. The crowd demands you bring the dragon on. Uh, yeah, we ended up doing it. Have you heard of the story of Darth Plagueis the Wise? He was a bad tism. I'm a good storyteller. <laughs> good stuff. I'd be curious about, you know, the rest of it. Yeah. A content creator, Rags, covered about how consoles beat PC has done a sequel to it about how Next Gen has murdered PC. Uh, Wait, hopefully this wasn't right before, like, the 30 series came out, right? I would hope they oh, did it before then, because holy shit. Yeah. The, the thing a lot of people often forget, or at least, you know, this is in my limited view, because I'm not really in that, um, call it a community, I guess. Uh, I always get confused about, like, power of PC versus power of console for X amount of money, and can the PC beat the console? And that is the only question. I'm like, you really need to widen your, uh, your pros and cons on PC versus console there. Yeah, it's, it's not just about power. If, yeah, if you said, and even if it was just literally, okay, you have a console budget, get a PC that's as, if not more, powerful, I could do it. I feel like a lot of people have access to the tools that let you do it, but even if you couldn't, and it ran at, let's say, 70% of the power, you'd be like, get the PC, are you kidding? There's so much a PC does beyond playing video games, just if you guys didn't know. Pretty cool. I like them. My first live EFAP has me witnessing the birth of a beautiful meme live. My first time hearing ER live and a BS video getting torn down. Love y'all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Love been well. quite an adventure today. That's... Playing Skyrim again for funsies? It's hilarious how badly designed this game is and how easy it is to break the basic mechanics. I have never played it. Never played Skyrim? Nope. Wow. I'm not a nerd. I would be... I guess I'd be interested... No, you'd just say it's... I'd say it's what? You'd probably just say it's... <laughs> is that anyone? Because that's what Skyrim is. Skyrim's fine. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah, I've, I mean... Else. I've seen plenty of clips, but yeah, I've never I've never been interested. I was like, yeah, it looks... Yeah, looks it's... It looks fine. Um, I meant channel awesome skits. Sorry for tism. Oh, yeah. See, that's it's funny how like skits just make me think of channel awesome when plenty of other people do it too. Fucking Plinkit does them, or at least did them. I think he still does them, technically speaking. Yeah, even in half in the bag when they like shoot each other and blood goes everywhere. That still counts. Mm. Um, backpedal harder, American H bomber guy. Oh my god. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just because bullets don't penetrate Batwoman's suit does not mean the kinetic force from the bullet are stopped as well. Kate Kane would have been Very knocked true. on her ass constantly with severe bruising in a best case. And I don't even know if we managed to talk about that at the finale because we were just distracted by so much stupid shit. But yeah. they unload so Our many bullets Kate into her. Everything. Yeah, like that shit is gonna hurt. You've got that thing is skin tight. There is no padding in there, because it's clearly a very flexible material. Like, bulletproof? Like, okay, I'll, I'll go with the super secret Wayne Tech Industries bat Okay, fine. But all of that kinetic energy just slamming into you like that, you're going to be covered in bruises. You're going to be in such incredible pain. And plus, when she put the cape up, the cape wasn't even, like, wiggling. <laughs> so... <laughs> Like, show, don't put her in this situation where she's being fired upon like this in a circular the, firing squad. For reference, this is ER. She's shot by, like, fucking 15 dudes, all with different guns, all in a big circle, and mm -hmm. she just escapes after getting shot loads because she's just immune to all of it. Um, and there's this scene later where someone highlights how one of the bullets that hit her did nothing, and they found it from the floor. I don't know why they wouldn't have figured that out already, <laughs> but um, he holds up the bullet, and it's from a Desert Eagle, and he goes, a desert Eagle can shoot through anything. <laughs> it's like, like uh, no? No. <laughs> no? Oh, it's so funny, because he's like the leader of the organization that's all about, you know, like, they're essentially police, and he just doesn't... He's our favorite character, though, I think. Yeah, uh... Yeah, either him or Luke, but for totally different reasons, but yeah, probably Jacob. I'd say yeah. Jacob or Luke. 
I'm sad that, you know, by the end of the show, Jacob's probably gonna become like a super Batwoman simp. And be like, yeah, you're the best. I was wrong. Mm. Arrest her, Jacob. Do it. Mm -hmm. uh, in a worst case scenario, Kate Kane would have been broken ribs in the kinetic forces strong enough to be lethal in conclusion. A bullet does not need to penetrate the bat suit to kill Kate Kane. Or you could just shoot her when she's Kate Kane. You know, just saying. So much shit about Batwoman doesn't make sense. It is absolutely a tutorial in what can you spot, basically. Um, I do not normally accept arguments from authority, but when I do, it's from Rich Evans. Keep watching Red Letter Media, my friends. Drunk Rags versus Jay. Oh, do you mean versus Drunk Jay or from Red Letter Media? I don't know. I remember the episode, they all got drunk, and in the editing it looked hilarious because they just like stitched two days together. I think it was a Halloween one, actually. Hmm. Happy EFAP 100, everybody. Hi, Rags. Hello. Also, I disagree with this guy, but respect him for showing up. Absolutely. And I meant EFAP 101. Oh, and I got it. Good stuff. Um, asking, about the, asking about the anti-SJW joke. We, we did ask that, right? I yeah, just said yeah. the poop thing. I just said it wasn't an anti show you <laughs> joke. That was weird. Just don't look through it with that kind of lens, because then you'll say silly things like that that don't make any sense. <laughs> Certainly threw all of us off. <laughs> Fucking poop humor, anti SJWs. Hey Muller, any said, chance you'll? What were you gonna say sorry? Uh, chat was like, Rags, it's 11 p.m. for you right now. Get some sleep, doggo. He's like, it's not even midnight yet. Oh, I am tired. <laughs> I was gonna I say, that assumes you have a normal schedule. Which I... some days have... Some days do. <laughs> um, I was I was alright today, because I, I woke up about two hours before we started, so... I shall survive for a little longer, for sure. Uh, oh shit, I should really pause. Hey Muller, any chance you'll do your long man reviews of older films for people who haven't seen them? It would be cool to see. No reason not to. Um, it would just be a matter of priorities and, and different projects and stuff. You know how it'd be. But um, yeah, yeah there's, there's loads of stuff I want to cover, honestly. Um, a lot of good movies out there. And games. And and books. You know the paper ones with the words? Ooh. There are, uh -huh. I've, I've heard several of them are okay. Hmm. But Could if he's a... Um, if he's a Mola fan and he watched response to the Dark Souls 2 thing, why does he complain about taking a while to review Captain Marvel? I'm certain the argument would be that it's a video game versus a movie, and that a video game is way longer. So it's okay. I like how Metal laughs like a gremlin. <laughs> mm. Does Metal laugh like a gremlin? I don't know. I can't remember the gremlin, gremlin question. laugh off the top of my head. I wonder how Mel will feel about <laughs> being the one who lost like a gremlin. Uh, this is a test. All right. Christmas or Halloween? The chat demands. Like I said, we we had to go through this with the whole guessing the inconsistent character thing. Um, probably not going to be for people who just jump in randomly. It's going to be for you know guestarinos, the ones who hang out and stuff. Otherwise, it'll get weird with how many people get asked. Um, give chat the E-R-A-S-M-R. E-R-S-M-R. Um, is that on you to do? It sounds It sounds like they want me to give that to them. I don't understand. I, I don't know what I, what, what I do. Just make <laughs> lip smacking noises into the, into the mic? That's gotta be it. Oh, I'm... Mwah, 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 mwah. There you go. There you go, guys. You go what you wanted. Uh, That's everything you wanted. Oh, hello, Longman. Hello. Rags, I hope to have something in the mail for you in the next few weeks. Oh, wow. Interesting. Terrifying. Yeah, wow. I need to check on that P.O. box and give that a look so you see how that's coming through. Um, I'll take back what I said about him being worse than Cinematic Venom. There you go. I mean, yeah, Cinematic Venom fucking kind of lost his tisms. Or apparently he always does anyway, so it's not a surprise, but... You know what we often say? Sometimes... What you what you did what the, the the mistake was isn't as bad as how you you sort of respond to it once you realize it was a mistake, and you can go crazy, you can find some middle ground, or you can be like, hey, 
I'm gonna just say like, yeah, that was kind of a fuck up. Like, all right, it's all good. And um, you know, like he seemed pretty angry with 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 rags up until being in the cold. He was just like, yeah, it's chill. <laughs> it's like, okay. Yeah. Which is a is a is a nice result, I suppose. Um, Absolutely. Molly, you skipped my EFAP 100 message on EFAP 100 Mini Part 2 at 2.48.25, and now I am very sad. What? Don't make me get your manager, hi raggy dooby do. Holy do bobby Why do people do this? Like, hey, I super chatted to let you know you missed my super chat for a different thing. <laughs> I'm not going to refer to it. It might just be a good idea to just send just the super... Ask it's it's possible that one just slips through the cracks. It's possible. You mm -hmm. might as well just send... It again. Now I don't know Instead if you're trolling or if I did fuck missed. it up. Who knows? But uh, apologies if I did miss that one. And yeah, if ever I do miss one, guys, don't super chat to tell me I missed it. Re-ask the thing if you really want it asked. It'll it'll be the it's the it's the clever way of doing it. I swear to tisms. Yeah, chances the chances of us having yours slip through again twice is just very low. Pretty very yeah, really really. Low. I started watching EFAP when episode 4 just came out. My first super chat was on EFAP 24. Look how far you've come now. Here's to another 100. Here's to another 100. Thanks much. And and the emo the emojis are a, a doggo, a wolf, a skull, and a car. <laughs> hey! Who's the car? That'd be oh. Moolah? <laughs> Question mark. I guess your icon is still the, uh, the skull car, right? Mm-hmm. It's for guests only. We don't. We don't care. Ask the question. Fucking, you go ask the question. Why does everybody gotta know who's which? Yeah, who's, go <laughs> tweet them and ask them if they prefer Christmas or Halloween. Terrifying. That that everyone should just get whatever questions and answers they. Is that the world we live in? I don't. Want, I don't think so. Communism. We have to stop it. And that's what that is. Where everyone can ask each other questions. No matter what. A horrifying world. Uh, tis me timbers, lad. Just stop. Oh, hi, Rags. Uh, hey! Mola, Mulan Rage? No. No, we're gonna... We got an EFAP movies coming up for that one. It's gonna be fun. I swear. We, we, um... We definitely tore into that movie. It's fucking bad. <laughs> do, 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 do. And, uh, and Moriarty and Jay Longbone, you know? You can expect some laughs. Uh, it was really great to see Tonald Loke on here. He seems like a really nice guy. By the way, where's Jay been lately? Is he okay? I don't know why everyone. Jay's like been streaming. <laughs> he's he's around and alive. And he he did he was on EFAP 100. Jay is okay. In fact, I would say Jay's been taken with golf with your friends. He he very much likes it. He has a problem. <laughs> he has a... Someone needs to talk to him. We need to have an intervention. Because we do want to try and do some EFAP gamings. Um, in fact, there's no reason... If I can get three people to be able to play that Man of Madon shit, there's no reason why you, me, and Metal can't do EFAP gaming for that, you know? <laughs> I don't know if it's three player, though. I'm assuming it's like... <laughs> if, if it is, then I will, I will play Man of Madon with you. Yay. Uh, I don't know if all three of us have to... Oh, fuck it, whatever. Anyway, the... The other thing we're probably going to do is, is play some golf at some point, so yeah. Jay will will be back on EFAP no matter what. Um, it's been 45 minutes, someone pokey off with a stick. Ouch. What if he gets hurt? Yeah, jeez. I sprayed him with all my fluids, surely that's enough. That's what she yeah, said. Down. I like how he said that's what she- as if I wasn't going that direction anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's a habit. Mm hmm Watch too much Office, don't you? I do. It's a good way to spend time, it's alright. Okay. You guys should check out the two videos by the channel Black Light Mike. I regret being EFAP's lol cow. Watching the vids made me very sad. Black Light Mike? I don't know who that... They were EFAP's lol cow? Black Light Mike. I don't Black know who the, I don't Light recognize Mike. that. But, uh, name oh this is um jared's other channel oh i do know yeah. about this yeah he, he said his biggest regret <laughs> was that he came on efab i was like what 
Do you know? Like, of all the things he could regret, I was just like, wow. That's the thing. Not like all the comments and the stuff you said to your dad. Nope. That. Yeah, you know, what can you do? It's just the, the reality of it. Yeah. Uh, I can be your token patty to give you the leprechaun pass. Sweet. <laughs> Rags, we got like all the passes. The leprechaun oh, one was the last one only... we were trying to collect. Yeah, there's only one one pass, and I'm really, really got my eye up. Mm. Have you guys thought about watching the DC animated movies to fill the Batwoman drought? I suggest Killing Joke and Batman Ninja because they're poopy. Um, I remember because Killing Joke is liked in in comic form, right? But it's not liked in the yeah. in the adaptation they did. Was it the animation was shitty? I can't remember. I think it was just adapted story-wise poorly. But I don't know, I've never seen it. I see. Uh... Hello Massives and Hi Rags. Hey! Out of curiosity, have you thought of covering John 3D Kills video on the doggo about TLJ, if it's even up anymore? Oh, no, I... I remember that. I haven't heard that name in ages. Is what is it? Uh, he's a he's like this. He's like this star. I think we covered him a long time ago. This Star Wars guy. He did PC console stuff a long time ago. John 3D Kill. Let me find him. Yeah, it's not ringing a bell. Uh, I'm gonna go grab some food. I'll be right back. No problem. Oh man, John. I think it's John Kill 3D. Well, this is John, John 3D Kills. It's John Kill 3D, I think. Yeah, Emperor John Kill 3D. He's renamed himself. He put Emperor in his name. All right. Um, <laughs> Good for him. He made... Still making videos, so... That's something. Uh, da -da -da -da. So, yeah, um... He's got a video on a doggo about TLJ. Uh, Wait, does that mean he's got a video on you about TLJ? Um, the Last Jedi. Bam, bam, Why bam. Luke Skywalker was not wasted in the Last Jedi? <laughs> okay. Mm, okay. Uh, <laughs> Whatever you see. Star Wars: The Last Jedi non-spoiler review. I don't want to spoil that. A little response to Rat House for years ago. That's uh, uh Yeah, I'll post it here in case you ever want to do anything with it. It's only three and a half minutes. Oh god, I'm sure it's very thorough at that point then. Um, hi Mewsley, how much long could long man long if long man could long man? May the dong bless you all. How much man could a long man long if a long man could long man? It's gonna be one of those things where numbers can't answer that question. Sorry guys. It's just, let's get into some long lengths right there. Uh, also, if you mention this, Rotten Tomato scores are among its users. Not everyone who watches movies votes on Rotten Tomatoes. Using Rotten Tomatoes as a metric is just dumb. Literally, I don't even care. Like, even if your goal was, I want to see what people think of the movie in aggregate. I'd be like, Rotten Tomatoes still sucks for that, as far as I'm concerned. Mm. Freaking half these sites can't even be trusted. I always felt IMDb is much more consistent than they are. Like, the, the ratings seem to, like, things seem to make sense rather than constantly making you question what the fuck's going on. Yeah, maybe. Maybe they don't delete 50,000 reviews out of fucking nowhere. Yeah, but what are we going to do about the sexists if we don't do that? That's true. we to stop them. Is criticism art? If so, then by their own rules, you cannot attack it. Oh my god. Hmm. We've done it, guys. Um, have y'all seen What Happened to Monday? It's good. Nope. Monday. I don't know what that is. Monday's still around, right? I think so. Sweet. We'll be seeing it soon, I'm thinking. Oh my god. Yeah, if that's like a, a show or whatever, I have not seen it. Or a movie. 
Imagine thinking someone liked it equals well-crafted. That, like I said, man, that video was so strange. He opens with saying it's all subjective, and then he addresses the argument of can it be for writing, and he again reaffirms it's all subjective, and then he explains where it's objective. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> I think you need to make up your mind. Uh, bring back the TLJ bingo game. That's the thing, a lot of these videos do get you that bingo pretty quickly, but uh, it'd be awkward for us to have that on screen as well, you know? <laughs> I feel like they all, of, all of them kind of qualify pretty consistently. But I think that's more fun for the viewers. You guys should definitely um, engage in that sort of thing. Keep an eye on what, what they've achieved. It'd be interesting. See which one the most common like attribute is. What, what, are, what on the bingo cards? I forget all of them, but um, everything yeah, is subjective have... is probably one of the most common. Today was a pretty good one for it, because we were kind of predicting some stuff, and we got some... Uh, a lot of stuff brought out, a lot of complaints about content. Um, but yeah, I am, uh, yeah, today was a good episode for it. This is bad baloney. Oh my god. <laughs> Film is a subjective art, audible language. It's okay. <laughs> it just means that anything you say has no bearing beyond your feelings. Get over it. Aha! Oh gosh, I gotta hit him right on his ass. Hit him on his ass. Hit him right there. Um, these are the same brainlets that think if lots of people do something, then it can't be immoral. These arguments make my ears bleed. I'm just, <laughs> I, would, I would really hope that wasn't something they'd say, but hey. Our final word did no research on anti-arguments. Yup. Rhino milk better than blue bantha milk. I agree. I mean... Pretty categorical, isn't it? Um, I feel this boy would have had would have an allergic reaction if he saw a free weight. Also, did you know Mark Wahlberg did a hate crime? Soy boy noises ensued. <laughs> uh, that was weird. <laughs> it was weird. It, it, it it's the exact as Mel said. It's the exact same energy as you know, fucking hate Trump. You're like, okay. I don't know what this has to do with your movie review of Logan Paul's The Thinning 2, but <laughs> go ahead. Um, hi again, Mooples and Rags. Hello. Hello. And also hi, Metal, Anna, and ER. Hello. Um, if you guys are still there. In case you don't remember me, I'm the Lost World and Disney Dinosaur guy. Sorry couldn't give you more money, it wouldn't let me, so couldn't ask... Uh, any more interesting questions. So here's some more questions coming soon. Also, I... Also, one day, Mola, one day, I think that's what that says. He's the dinosaur guy? Who's the dinosaur guy? The Disney dinosaur guy. Like, are... They're, uh, like, paleontologist slash dinosaur expert that they used? When you... What do you mean? Well, it just says I'm the Lost World and Disney Dinosaur Guy. I... If that means that you worked with Disney and you worked with, like, the, the company who made Lost World and stuff and was, like, their advisor or something, then, heck yeah, we have questions. <laughs> like, wow, that's kind of impressive. That's that's really cool. Um, Assuming that's I mean, what it means. Yeah, I, I don't know. I wouldn't be sure that's what it means. And and it seems as though they're asking, they're saying, couldn't ask any more interesting questions. Um, as if they're looking to ask questions rather than we're asking them questions. Oh, I am interested in asking questions of you. You guys covered his video with cancer audio and plastic dino toys as characters? That was Shinobi, wasn't it? That's that was not, Shinobi. That's not this person. I think so. I don't remember a dinosaur guy. Did, they may have super chat about... Dinosaur things before? <laughs> I'm sorry if I've forgotten, uh, but I don't quite remember that. Yeah, uh, please clarify in the chat if you're still around. I'm interested. And of course, thank you for the kind donation. Because uh, it said hi again, so it's like, hmm. Perhaps so. I've been keeping an eye on uh, on chat as well. Everyone's guessing Shinobi. I'm pretty sure it's not Shinobi. Yeah. Because he had, like, action figures. 
And I don't think that was the Lost World and Dinosaur Disney guy. He was just the Fallen Kingdom guy, technically, right? This guy is not Shinobi. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought so. Um, angry Metal is best metal. Also, what's a German favorite number? A German's favorite number? Is it is it nine? I I, I don't know. I don't think that would be it. That's just you know that's way too <laughs> obvious. They want to keep it you know. I was einen Schwanzig. Yeah, there you go. That's better. Yeah. Einen Schwanzig. Also, also, Rags, you seem tired. Take a load off and sit on my face. Mm, I would <laughs> love to. I am. Yeah, getting tired. We've been going for what nine, ten hours. Um, ten hours. I think it's ten, because we start yeah. at half seven. It's half five now. <laughs> back on form, I guess. <laughs> it's like Ufab was gone, but now it's back. Um, if a grown man wiggles their finger at you, punch them in the face. Hiddle subtleties. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> if Hiddle said it. Now that Hardcore Henry has been watched, kill a bean forever for EFAP movies, you dumbos. Anyway, back to the beginning for me. Hi, Rags. Hello. Um, that's from someone who isn't the Hardcore Henry guy, by the way. I think they think now if they call us dumbos, they will get the movie. This can't be the key. I, I refuse. Um, also, I've seen, I think that person's referenced the killer bean thing before. It's like YouTube films of killer beans. I'm yeah, sure. I, I'm aware of it. I haven't seen it, but I'm aware of it. It's like animated, I think. Um, the guy who came on really sounded like a liar caught out. Why badmouth your content if he liked your work and then he mirrored your opinions? Yeah. Um, I mean, he's probably pretty nervous. I don't know if he 100% believed everything he was saying, but he did seem to fold on mostly everything, which is strange, you know? You'd think there'd be some stuff where he'd be like, no, I do think this position is, is true and fair. Um, do you ever think that sometimes people purposely make videos on you guys so that way they can get on to your show? Of course, we can't know. There are some videos where we've considered covering them and decided against it because we think that's the goal of the video. Um, yeah. Um, I... We, we kind of keep an eye on it now. Hmm. But I highly doubt they would be successful. Are you, you'd have to have serious devotion to the to persona, right? Yeah, and, and there's some crazy people out there that yeah, yeah. there is, and that it's not like a huge. That. It's not a huge <laughs> deal if it happens, especially if it's entertaining along the way. But I, you know, if if we if we suspect something, then it's probably not. And I mean, we, you know, we're, all, we're not always going to be able to catch it, so it can always happen. I mean, Remarkable Republican, you know? I th I, I just, I thought he was... He, I think there was enough there to, to guess, but yeah, still. <laughs> yeah, but it, it was funny, and everyone had a good time, and that's done, and it's in the past. Um, I just want to pet Anna and tell her it'll be okay. <laughs> Aww, thanks. Uh... We're given no indication that Poe staying to destroy the Dreadnought allowed the First Order to track them. We need something like that to justify Poe being wrong, otherwise he's right and Leia's wrong. If if someone argued it was because Poe stayed to destroy the Dreadnought and that's why the First Order could track them, I, I got nothing for that. I'd just be like, how, how in the hell did you figure that out? That makes no sense, yeah. No. Uh, you left-wing leaning parasite, you expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? <laughs> Oh my. Poe starts by sending Finn and Rose on a secret mission and hides info about the tracker from Holdo. I don't know how you can defend this, to be honest. Poe's kind of whack. Hides info about the tracker from Holdo. What exactly is telling Holdo about the tracker going to do? She already knows. Yeah, right. Yeah. I didn't think it was like some secret. Also, he needs to... So the whole... The rationalization by Poe, which I completely agree with, is the less she knows, the better. He's, she's going to try and stop him. So as far as we can tell, she's insane. And he's like, I've got to try and save people's mm -hmm. lives. The less she knows, the better. Um, yeah, he, he's clearly dealing, dealing with someone who is arguably insane and is acting irrationally to the point of being dangerous. Yeah, and so like just keep her out of the loop at this point. Um which I'm pretty sure he decides 
soon after, um, like, doesn't he move over to Leia's body, and he's like, as if to imply, like, he would have talked to Leia, but Holdo's too nuts. I don't know, I'd have to rewatch the scene. Um, because submarines and battleships only used their radars when they knew they needed to use them. Yeah, like, it wasn't always going on. I don't, I, I, like, I'm a little bit disappointed here. Like, there's several people in the EFAB audience that believe this is a fair argument. Have you seen the First Order's resources? You're they telling me... They can turn me... a planet mm -hmm. into a five-planet killing galaxy-spanning super weapon. Like, they basically we're actually... have unlimited Black resources. Fucking stars. We're appealing to the idea, that, like, hey, they can't run that scan all the time. It's like, how about every ten minutes? <laughs> can we do that? <laughs> I don't know. Stop trying to argue it's believable that they only turn on their hidden ship scanner if a fucking enemy person tells them, hey, we have hidden ships. That's absurd. Um, I can't believe you finally watched Hardcore Henry. When I first asked a year ago, September 23rd, EFAP 53, I just wanted you Dumbos to watch the movie. I didn't expect a dedicated EFAP movie video. Also, tell Rags that I'm mad at him, because when talking about it, he keeps saying stuff like, you guys happy? Or you people can stop asking now. This whole campaign what? is... <laughs> I don't remember you saying that that what? much. What? <laughs> when? <laughs> About what? Where? How? Um, this whole campaign has been a one-man operation. I know it's not Rag's fault since he can't see Super Chat names, but still, tell him he's a Dumbo. I'm pretty sure you knew it was one dude asking for that, right? One... To, to have a see Hardcore Henry? Yeah. Because it was the hardcore Henry I assumed guy. it was. Like, everyone was even talking about that one guy who keeps saying... Yeah, people were saying, like, I hope that one guy's happy now. <laughs> I, don't yeah, I don't remember you saying, were... I hope you people are happy. Maybe you did once or something. Maybe. I, I, don't, I, I assumed it was one guy. If I had to guess, I would think it was one guy. And so... we pretty much were, like, all joking about that. Yeah, I don't, I don't uh, think... Oh, it's not like Rags was, like, annoyed at you or something. Yeah, I wasn't... I'm not annoyed. Not at all. I'm glad I saw Hardcore Henry. Mm-hmm. Uh, that being said, you Dumbos made the biggest mistake of your careers by giving in to my demands. You haven't quelled me yet. Uh, you have only emboldened me. Oh my god. It wasn't a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to pass to you with another media suggestion. I've already asked it in the first half. Uh, first EFAP, Heel vs. Babyface guessed it on, and he agreed with me, so here goes. You Dumbos need to do an EFAP gaming playthrough of Doki Doki Literature Club. It's around eight to nine hours. As with The Hunt, <laughs> don't research the game. I'm so confused. Oh, yeah, I've only heard of the game, that's all I know. Is that it's I've a game, it. basically. Well, much like Hardcore Henry a year ago, we'll consider it. Just play it with four people, that way each person will be able to lend their voice for a corresponding main character. Play the game, do it. Among Us probably comes first, but after that. Alright. No. <laughs> okay, then. Um... Also, getting real sick of soy boys talking about chain of command and military protocol when the most information they have about that lifestyle is from watching flippin' Cadet Kelly on Disney Channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Cadet Kelly. Uh, yeah, it's pretty uh, hilarious because, you know, they always appeal to, um, hey, need to know basis. She doesn't have to tell him. She doesn't have to tell him. She doesn't have to tell They never want to generate a system where she could be held accountable for what information she does or doesn't give out. They just go by, if she wants to, she can. If she doesn't, she doesn't have to. That's it. Oh, fucking lame. Um, Tamira Morrison's agency confirms that he will play Boba Fett in The Mandalorian Season 2. Thoughts? Say that one more time? So the guy who plays Boba, uh, Django in the prequels will be in Mandalorian Season 2 playing Boba. I am curious, but certainly not optimistic. Yep. I would, I would definitely call myself pessimistic on that one. Hopefully I can be surprised. I can hug rags and... Sorry? I just want to see the baby. Oh. I'm sure that they will smother you with Baby Yoda. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. He's so, so cute. Could you imagine a little baby Yoda with Jaboba Fett and then he's like pushing the button and he gets scared and he's just so, so cute and he's in the snow? Boba Fett's probably oh, really so paranoid cute. about people pressing his buttons. I don't care. Baby Yoda's gonna do it because he does that. He likes to push the button. Like when he's on Mando ship, he pushes the button and in the trailer, he like gets scared and he pushes the button and he goes in his little like his little bassinet. It's so cute. Oh, I'm so ready for it. I'm so ready to see the baby. The rest of it can mm. go to hell. 
Okay. Well, I mean, I'm with you on part of that, so... Yeah. That's mean. I hope it's good. I hope it's better than season one, okay? I have more babies. I can't remember. I think I've talked to you this before, but... Have you seen Mandalorian here? Yes, I have. What do you think of it? I forget. I thought the first two to three episodes were pretty grand, and then it all kind of fell apart. Well... If there's any episode to choose where it fell apart, it's four. Yes, absolutely. I do remember that. Four is Absolute. ass. That's where we originally thought it. it. Like it wasn't good before then, but four is where it just. <laughs> That's the way to describe I don't know. it. I hate the first episode until the baby showed up. You sound like you really have a bias toward Baby Yoda. I'm gonna put it out there. That's my opinion. Just a tad bit, but just a um, bit. I, I don't know. The, the... I just, I have a hard time getting into a show when the main character, like, should have died in the first episode, and it's not a comedy. Um, yeah, I think I agree with you, because uh, there's a couple of times when Mando is saved by pure luck, even in the first episode, right? Yeah, right. he has, he has pretty insane plot armor. Mando is, whenever, if someone ever asks me, hey, name someone who's got plot armor, he is definitely, yeah. if not... He's Quite probably going to be my go-to now, because he's <laughs> yeah, on my he's mind. got some narrative plot armor as well as your standard plot armor. But Everyone just like can't that. hit him anywhere other, other part of his body. They just keep hitting those those parts. I mean, even like the first opening scene where they're in that like cantina in the middle of nowhere, I'm like, why is everything so clean? Like, it, it looks like that's all brand new and it's all immaculate. I'm like, there should be like... I don't know, dust on stuff, especially if this is in like a high class place. And then there's absolutely no reason for him to always be parked so far away. And then <laughs> they they rip off John Carter in the first damn episode. And so everyone's going, this is the way now. I'm like, yeah, it's been the way since like, I don't know, a hundred fucking years ago when those damn books came out. Like, come on. And I know the reason why it's in there is because John Favreau and Dave Filoni are fans of the books, but but still, and then, okay, he's got to ride the, the, the whatchamacallit alien things to get over because this is the way and you have to take that. But then he casually is just walking back with Baby Yoda. It's like, he could have just walked there or he could have just parked his damn car closer and he wouldn't have had to do that entire scene with that alien dude. But I don't know. I just, it was dumb. The, the robot assassin going in just like that was dumb. Everything about that was dumb. And then the baby showed up, and then I got happy, and I was like, oh my god, TV Yoda! <laughs> All is forgiven. No, nothing's forgiven, but the baby! Like, uh, everyone else in the show can just go away, and we can just have, like, baby Yoda, like, sitting there, like, pushing buttons, and I would watch it. Well, we'll be keeping an eye on season two, I suppose. Uh, I can hug Rags and rest my head on his heart. Oh. Oh. Um, also, also, this is from the from the 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 dinosaur person. Um, Rags and Anna, if there, why do you hate Harley Quinn so much? Is it specifically the DCEU vision? Because I'm willing to agree that that vision, uh, with that vision, or is it through all media she's in? I'll ask more questions <sighs> next time. I didn't used to hate her, but she's just become this super cringy weird woman power ditzy quirky just mess and it's not clever and it's not funny and it's so it seems like it's so overplayed now and it's just just quirky duh it's like the alice character in batwoman it's just uh, it's so uninspired and lazy and it's not special i hate it and anna <laughs> Um, I don't hate Harley Quinn. She's never been my favorite. I don't understand the appeal that she has to, like, so many people. Like, I liked her in the animated series. She was fine, but, I mean, kind of got on my nerves. Mm. And, except, I, I don't know, like, Evan, I thought Margot Robbie was, like, perfect casting for her. I was like, oh, yeah, good job. Like, she's, she's not only a good actress, but she looks like her. Like, yeah, it's going to be awesome. And then Suicide Squad was what it was, but... I don't, I just, I have a hard time sympathizing with people when they make stupid decisions. Like, yeah, I get it, she was emotionally manipulated by the Joker, but 
She was a freaking doctor at Arkham Asylum. You know these people are psychopaths. Like, I, I'm not sympathetic to her at um, all. Are you referring to, like, the lack of explanation we get from Suicide Squad, or do you mean her story in general? Um, her character in general. Like, because mm -hmm. there's different renditions on what happens, and I, I, I just... I don't know, even in the animated series, because, I mean, I have watched maybe altogether five minutes of Suicide Squad. No. So, and the the bits that I watched was because I'm like, oh, I want to see what happens with, like, the Jared Leto Joker. And then I watch it, and I was like, that was so boring. But That's one way to describe it? Yeah, just, it didn't hit me in any way that I'm like, okay, I need to watch this, but... Yes, I, I don't know. There's just there's plenty of popular characters out there that I just don't like, and that is one of them. Yeah, I've never really been faced by um, Harley Quinn though. When someone says like that character is a Harley Quinn type or whatever, I feel like I get what they're saying. Um, In what sense? Just that they're gonna. Well, kind of. Rags already said it. The um, uh, Alice from Batwoman is very. I can see where the connections are. They're gonna, they're gonna be all crazy and nonsensical, but also probably competent by accident. Um, they pat whenever she does something, just whenever they want something insane to happen for the plot to just go forward, they can just say, "Oh yeah, she she just did that because she's insane. She's just crazy." It's just an excuse that you can use for anything. You can always just pull that out whenever you need it. Yeah, I miss I miss villains that just have a specific goal and operate in favor of that goal <laughs> in like a sensible way how crazy is that well i mean she did that in the animated series because i mean her redeeming quality was that she was loyal to joker no matter what even when he was an asshole to her which was all the time and so whatever she was doing it was in service to whatever he wanted so she was just always trying to make him happy except for like the few episodes where the one where she wants to buy the pink dress and then the like, girls night out with ivy but then that made her more endearing, because the one with Ivy, it's like her and the Joker break up, and so she's just trying to go be herself and have fun, and then, of course, she goes back to him at the end. But she wasn't... I feel like now they just make her, like, uber, uber crazy, whereas before she was crazy, like the Joker with the laughing stuff, but she had a purpose, and now it's just like a plot device as compared to, like, a character trying to achieve goals. Oh, well, there we are. Um, currently watching all of your F to pass for the first time. I hope that just was supposed to be EFAPs, I guess. Up to 23, yeah. and Rhino Milk is my objective opinion. Bilbo Baggins. And there you go. <laughs> Rags, you a queen. Mmm, girl. Hello, Mewsley. I was wondering if you've heard of the game Among Us. It really reminds me of that alien game you guys have played on Metal Streams. Potential for EFAP gaming or Metal Stream? Uh, it's under ten dollars. Yeah, like I said, loads of people have been telling us to play it. Loads of my friends have been telling me to fucking play it, so... It'll happen, I'm sure. I doubt it's this popular without having a decent appeal. Uh, I mean, even Fall Guys kind of sucks, but I can I can definitely have fun on it, you know? Watch Jay's video if you're curious as to why Fall Guys sucks. It's like... There's some good shit in it, you know? I just feel like that's probably a hot take, I don't know. We'll see from the chat now. Does everyone know Fall Guys sucks and it's kind of fun? Or are we- is that... I'm kind of getting bored of that game, actually. I used to be able to play it casually and now I'm like, eh. Mm. Though yeah. I think... Uh, part of my frustration was like, why are they not, you know, adding new things almost every day? Because it's not going to take long for a dev to make one of the maps in this game. Because um, they're like, blocky and simplistic. And you think all you need to do is literally like, turn two things around and you've got a variation. Which is what they've recently added in their half-season update, is, like, tiny changes to the maps. Um, but I think they're, um, the reason is that they're probably gonna dump a decent chunk of new things once they hit Season 2. I was talking to Jay about it, I was like, if you were to make a game, and those people wanted loads of different, like, quality of life and content updates, would you save it all for a big content drop and, like, market the shit out of it? Or would you chip away over time? I would... I guess it depends, um... If I'm looking at play, if player numbers are steady, I would keep drip feeding everything out. But if they sort of dropped in a substantial way, then I would get ready with like a big, a big content update that would get people back into the game with a bunch of new stuff, like a big 
essentially DLC or a big new update, that tends to get people back into the game in larger numbers. But if they never really leave, then you don't need to give them give like a huge thing at once. You could just sort of doop 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 doop, you know, a little here, a little there. I mean, I would probably say, because I was talking to Jay about it, and I was like, I think chipping away at it is probably the way to go in terms of best service to your, to your customers. Getting as much as you can out to them as soon as possible, just and, and you obviously get to test it over time, chip away at just making things better and worse, but the content drop is probably better in terms of a business choice, because everybody will be reinvigorated who's already there, and then a bunch of people who are like, oh, we got a big update? Yeah, I guess I'll, uh, I'll come back. So it's, uh, it probably makes the most sense. Um, but yeah, uh, Among Us, probably gonna happen. Happy 100 episode, guys. Just letting you know that Spooder Wars is back. One question, though. Why is Thanos better than the mum from Godzilla, King of the Monsters? Also high rags. Why is Thanos better <laughs> than the mom from King of the Monsters? Thanos' reasoning is m makes more sense. So his goal is to save the world by reducing population so that resources will be able to account for the, the amount of people who are there. Loads of problems with that that don't get addressed in Infinity War and Endgame, but at least we know that. Her, her, her whole thing is wake up monsters to stomp all over Earth, and humans go into bunkers until eventually the monster goes back to sleep, question mark, and then we can come back to Earth once it's completely overridden by nature. Um... I don't know if she expects humanity to survive. I can't tell. <laughs> she seems to think it's possible, so... It's a, it's a weird one. But Thanos, at least, you know, you could you could apply the same criticism to him, but I just, I just think his not only is more viable, I think it's more reasonable. But they're both kind of nuts. Do a Korra video with ER. I, I don't even know if we have any more. I think we... Did we do two? Mm. Do two like, bigger ones? I think so. You guys can I find... I being tortured twice, I think. <laughs> so I was going to say, like, I've, I've seen a surprising amount of, like, Korra praise on Twitter. I thought yeah. I thought everyone agreed it was shit. I didn't realize that it was, like, it has, like, a huge amount of fans. Yeah, I think yeah, it's well, because of the ending. Yeah, that might be. They were clearly playing to a certain type of person with that. Yeah. <clears throat> Everyone on Earth is wrong about literally everything in science. Does that therefore mean science isn't objective? <gasps> Look, what is objective is what everybody agrees on. Which, by the way, is probably nothing. Every single human on this planet has to agree with the thing before we can say it's objective. This is such a weird metric. Um, Henry Cavill's gone on record saying that his last name, Cavill, is pronounced like the word travel. Yeah. Oh, sometimes I, I fuck that up and I say Cavill instead of Cavill. Oh, it How is dare Cavill. you. It is. You sound upset. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mispronounce the name. Is, it, is the first name Omri? No. Hmm. Only I'll try and remember. Only um, Anna's wrong. Man of Steel, BVD, Ultimate Edition, Wonder Woman, and Aquaman are good. No, she's no. not. No, oh my god. <laughs> Mikey, I fucking swear, I have muted you on everything. I'm allowed to dislike <laughs> shit. D no, dude, I swear, it's been like Psycho. two years. It has been like two years. <laughs> Every single time I'm on a stream, you have to super chat that. Dude. I don't fucking like it. I'm never gonna like it. It is absolutely shit. Aquaman could have been okay <laughs> if he didn't put his fucking shirt on. Uh, super <laughs> okay, I like John Byrne Superman. The shit that's in the Snyderverse is not fucking Superman. I'm allowed to dislike it. It doesn't mean because I have an opinion on something, it's wrong. It's my fucking opinion. It's how I feel about it. You don't have to like that, but following me to on Twitter, Instagram, other people's YouTube channel to super chat them to tell me that I'm wrong. Great for you for giving away your money like that, but dude, get the fuck over it. It's been two fucking years. I don't like the fucking movies. That's it. <laughs> Damn, oh, some people God. are. Some people are. They really want you to like a movie. <laughs> I was gonna say, Jesus. Um, <laughs> it's, it's been two years, guys. I'm sorry. I'm tired. I've had a little bit to drink. 
<laughs> I'm sick and tired of it. I just, I don't like it. That doesn't mean I'm wrong because I don't like something. You're in good company anyway. Fucking this shit. <laughs> <laughs> ER, have you seen him? DC. No, I have to... not. No, I have not. I have no want or desire to. I mean, you had enough trouble with the MCU. Imagine seeing the shitty MCU. Yeah, that just does not sound like my kind of thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, ER. I know I like only just met you. I'm just. I'm so frustrated. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. He had metal shouting over Amelia. How do you think he feels? That's a German saying doing that. He's German? Yeah, metal is. And, oh. you know, ER always <laughs> yeah, assumed exactly. he'd get along peacefully with any German, but, you know. Yeah, you just, think, but... Metal's just ruining it. Um, that ended, by the way, it's saying, Remember Rag, she said, Nightmare Before Christmas is boring. Who did? Oh. I did. And it is. Right. It is boring. Mm. <laughs> I hope this guy I hope this guy follows you to the to forever. I hope when you're when you're a ninety year old old crone goes, ah, what's this? <laughs> Willie! Stop bothering me about the Superman movies! I don't care. Gosh. I'll follow track you down to the ends of the earth. To no matter fair, where you go, rags. he's gonna be there. Here's to talk the thing, about though. Superman. The first time I watched it, I didn't mind it, but my sisters, they had this habit of when they liked a movie, they watched it over and over and over again for months. They and burned that, it out? Yeah, that was one of the movies where I'm like, I don't even like it anymore, but I can recite every fucking line while the movie plays because I've seen it just so many damn times. And I guess that was payback since I would always watch Star Wars, but, but still... Imagine that movie playing 24-7 in your house for like a like heaven. straight. <laughs> so I, I'm the oldest of four, and we each kind of had our own movies that we really liked. My movie that I watched all the time was The Great Mouse Detective. That was that mine. Love it. Did you like seeing um, Ratigan getting defeated over and over again? Dude, that film was that's that's hardcore for a kid, man. Oh yeah, dude, but Radigan is scary great, toward the end of the Radigan film. Radigan is an outright terrifying villain. Um, yeah, um, but uh, my brother's was Hercules. Mm -hmm. He loved Hercules. That was his movie. Was Hercules. Uh, my sisters kind of paired up for the most part. Their movie was Lion King Two: Simba's Pride. Um, yeah, they watched the Lion this. King. They watched The Lion King 2 so damn much, my dad hid the VHS <laughs> in like the closet and stuff so they couldn't find it and they had to move on to other things because he was so fucking sick of it. Um, it's weird because like I don't remember doing that myself in an annoying way, but I must have because fucking when Frozen came out, my sister's kids just watch it on repeat. Like, do you guys want to watch something else? No. You're like, okay. <laughs> Um, it's but they moved frozen. on to the the animated Barbie movies. Oh my um, god, I used to watch the shit out of those. Yeah, the the Rapunzels and the dancing this and the dancing that and the uh, the, the there was Nutcracker all kinds of one. one. There was like yes. a yeah, there was Nutcracker. Absolutely, there was. They were all like classical music plays and then ballets it was and stuff. Rapunzel, and then it yeah. was Swan Lake, and then it Swan was Lake. the Hyped Piper. Yeah, and then it was a horse one. There was a and like a fairy one. Uh, the fairy one was the Swan Lake. They have a, they make them into fairies. Like there's well, a fairy lady that's in there. Let, let me Google it. These. So you have one of them was about they were a bunch of sisters and at night they would go to this. They they, they were they all dance. They danced, dance, right? Yeah, they would oh, go to this. Was the twelve dancing princesses? When yeah, that's it? one. That's one. Yeah. Um, oh my goodness! I found. <laughs> my, so my favorite one because I've seen all of these many times. Oh my god. Um, my favorite one was, I think it was, uh, which was, yes, thank you so much. Yes, this helps me immensely. So, never saw Princess Charm High School. We saw <laughs> Nutcracker. We saw Beyond 12 Help. Dancing Princesses. We saw, okay, the, the, the bottom, fourth to the right. That one was, that, that one I remember being one of the good ones. Um, oh don't fucking goodness. at me. 
Uh, I remember Barbie with the yeah the, in the top in the middle with that fucking dragon. That was Rapunzel. That was the Rapunzel yeah, was Barbie one. Barbie Rapunzel yeah, with the magic that, paintbrush. That fucking dragon. Yeah, uh, and at the end the dragon gets to breathe fire that time. Yeah, it fucking yep. totally super cliche. Absolutely. Um, but the one that was my favorite, the the bad guy. No, it was the one. This one it wasn't really magical. The bad guy's name was Priminger, and his his plot was to poison the king so that the queen or so that like barbie or so that he he would either marry no he guys what the fuck is happening right now so that the queen where he can like get the kingdom through marriage he bankrupted the kingdom because he owned like the a jewel mine he got the he, he owned the jewel mine and the kingdom was going to go into like starvation because of something that he caused but he'd say, well, if you marry me, queen, and I get to be king, then I'll get the, 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 the mind will save the kingdom and no one will have to starve. And I got to remember which one it was. Um, Don't uh, let's one. see. I'm just, uh, let's see. Uh, animated Barbie movies. <laughs> um, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Um, <laughs> so these are older ones. So I got to go to the old lists of them. It was like the 2000s. Right? Yeah, but yeah, pretty much. Um, even going through the images, I, I I can remember a lot of these. Cause the Pied Swan Piper Lake. Oh, nice Swan Lake that. that fucking um the 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 unicorn. I forget the unicorn's That's name, but Swan she was. Lake. Yeah, mm. she was a fucking asshole, kind of. Uh, she's a whiny <laughs> and everything. Oh yeah, so there's Barbie Nutcracker, Barbie Rapunzel, Barbie Swan Lake, Barbie and the Hogger, Barbie Fairy Tale. Hogger. Yeah, Hogger. <laughs> Barbie Poggers, all right. Yeah, I, I understand Poggers. I'm back on board. <laughs> Wait, um, what does that mean? I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, Barbie Fairytopia. Uh, Barbie the Magic of Pegasus 3D. Magic Barbie of Pegasus? Diaries. Oh, the Magic of Pegasus. I remember that one. That was one of the shitty ones. Yeah. <laughs> what was <laughs> the shitty one? <laughs> It was. Oh, it was. It was. I know. It was Barbie Fairytopia Mermaidia because she had that little. Yeah. She that she had the transform from like being a person to like fucking mermaid, and she had that little that fuzzy creature like that little fairy, and the and there were these two like the bad guys was the, e the they were the evil fairy chick, and she had these two goons who were like these goblins, and one of them was smart and one of them was stupid. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> come on. You guys don't understand the shit. Deep fucking lore classic. Of the Barbie it was. <laughs> I've seen it here. Let me show you the uh, the the. This is what I'm talking <laughs> about. You'll know. See this one. Yeah. Remember yeah, yeah. that little fucking mm -hmm. fuzzy creature that was. I had the toy. I did. My sisters watch these all the fucking time. Um. <laughs> guys, Rags just shared this picture to us. Just still. I'm sure we I'm sure we actually do. Um in fact one of the Oh yeah, it was the cuz I was I was trying to think of uh, in in Rapunzel you had the the dragon and I was trying to think they had a fuzzy critter as the well rabbit. and it was the rabbit. It was the rabbit. And her her thing was she could paint things and they'd like turn real and she could go to And then she found no, she found the the magic hair Yeah, the brush. It was the magic brush. brush. That's it. And That's then she it. Goes yeah. Through a door and she paints herself like the dress and everything. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. That was some. That was some. That was some real nigga shit. I ain't gonna lie. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I had the Barbie castle from that one. Yeah, the the big tower. Yeah, I did. Yeah, man, that that's, nice. that's that would be the one I'd get. That's some. That's a. That's quite the setup. But uh, like the the princess and the book. pauper is another one that I thought was really good. Uh, that was oh, one of the better ones. Do you like the scene where like they put on the wig and it just like is perfect on their hair? Oh yeah. Put it over their hair. Because I I think what they did was they used literally like the same model, mm -hmm. and so all they had to do was just color the hair different and oh just voice actor you're this character now and I'm like, oh okay well that's fair enough. Yeah. I remember, I, I briefly remember Barbie the island princess because she had the red panda and the elephant. But I don't really remember anything else about it other than that. But some I remember very distinctly. I remember Princess and the Popper probably the most after the Rapunzel one. But it is operating off of memory. I saw these so many times. They were 
burned into my memory and i it's inescapable now but um good 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 times good times see i just i just feel downright chad compared now my, the films i were repeating on uh, when i was a kid were literally t2 aliens predator the mummy and night before christmas those are the ones i was watching on repeat but were you are you the youngest sibling yes Okay, so you didn't, like, have an, a parent saying, you can't watch this because your brothers and sisters will get nightmares. Because that was my rule as why we couldn't watch those movies over and over again. I mean... Because I had to wait till they went to bed. My, sometimes that could, that could be the case. But um, my sisters all like those movies as well, so... <laughs> oh, Prim Martin Short was Preminger's voice. Um, he would. He. This is what he looked like, by the way. I'll give you. Uh, here's a picture of Preminger, the the very evil villain. He was a fucking schemer, dude. This guy, he was just. He was just a classic Shakespearean villain. Where he was just. He sang, of course. Everyone did. They all had their songs, but um, this dude was. He was a fucking asshole, man. He was just. He's a scheming piece of shit. But he was clever. He owned the mines, and his song was called like "How Can I Refuse." And, oh and he sang God. inside the mines, and he had his henchmen there with him. That was you the know, best one. That was I'm the best one. I'm looking at this, and all of these are rated at least as like six stars on IMDb out of ten. So oh. I'm I'm curious <laughs> if um, where did Captain Marvel? This was the one. He was yeah. the bad guy from Princess and the Pauper, and I legit think that was the best one. And I'm curious if it's actually like objectively good. Um, I still like the Nutcracker one the best. <laughs> Yeah, the Nutcracker one was good. I ain't gonna lie. It's... Yeah. I remember that song, though. So. Yeah. So, um... <laughs> yeah. So, there you go. This next one from Mikey once again saying, Annie, you're wrong. Oh, my God. <laughs> I fucking swear. Does oh he think you're God. wrong about Bobby, or...? No, he thinks I'm wrong about <laughs> that one. Was about Batfleck, wasn't it? Because that's when I said I fucking hate Batfleck, which I do. Which doesn't make me wrong because I hate something. That's my fucking subjective opinion. <gasps> well. But seriously, keep keep following me to every damn stream I'm on, and on Instagram, and on Twitter, and super chatting the people whose streams I'm on. It's your money, not mine. But holy fucking shit, build a bridge and get the fuck over it. I don't know if that's a recommendation for suicide or something else, like... <laughs> uh, anyway... Actress O'Reilly played Mon Mothma in Rogue One, not Episode 6. Was that the person we brought up when we were talking about the height? Yeah... I, guess. I think. Yeah. Maybe one of them was 4-9? Yeah, maybe. 4-9 is short. Um... Fifty dollars for shiny blue. What? What was shiny blue? Uh, don't remember. Um. Fuck, marry, kill, and ignore. Rule sixty-three. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Use SFWE six two one images for reference. Say that one more time. So oh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna copy and paste it because I don't actually make Ugh. sense of what's happening. Fuck, marry, kill, it... and ignore Rule sixty three. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles use uh, okay. safer work. D six two one images for uh, reference. Yeah. Okay, so they're all yeah, the same. They just have different colored bandanas. All right. Oh, someone's asking if I'm a My Little Pony fan. So here's the thing. No, um, no, absolutely not. So, I was around, I remember my sisters getting into MLP when it was like first gen, when it first came out and it was totally different than it is today. I have friends who are bronies and I've seen two episodes and they're not bad. The, sh the show, I see what the appeal is. It's not my thing. It was fine. But I've seen, I've, they showed me two episodes. They're like, hey, why don't you see the show? It, fine. They were, they were fine. I see the appeal. Not my thing. But I was never into My Little Pony. I just really remember all these fucking Barbie movies that my sisters would watch over and over and over and over all the time. Once that damn Lion King 2 VHS disappeared, 
oh, that void was getting filled. And it was getting filled by animated Barbie movies from the early 2000s. <laughs> <laughs> what would you rather watch, the Barbie movies or The Lion King 2? Honestly, I would probably... That depends, because the Barbie movies are like the MCU, where there's a lot of good ones and there's a lot of bad ones I didn't care for. I would be curious to go back. Like, if, if, if I was going to review one, it would probably be Barbie as the Princess and the Pauper, because I remember that being the best. Um, but I would probably... I think I would rather watch one of the Barbie movies than The Lion King 2. Because I'm, I'm trying to think of Lion King 2 about what parts that I... I don't remember it being bad. I just... I saw it so many times. I was just... I just got burnt out on it and sort of did like yeah, my... Yeah, Yeah. Watch the Lion King one and a half. I saw that. Um, I was fine. But I didn't have a problem with it. It was fine. So... So, Rags, what is the Captain Marvel of the Barbie movies? Um, <laughs> uh, I think just go the look first at your collection I'd, and I'd, figure it out, right? I'd probably say Mermaidia. Really? It was, it was. I really didn't like Mermaidia. Mm. <laughs> you know, I could watch, I could watch Nutcracker, I could watch Swan Lake, I could watch Rapunzel. Rapunzel's probably my number two. I could definitely watch Princess and the Pauper. That shit's gold. But, oh, I ain't watching Mermaidia. That one was just... That one was fucking cringe, yeah, okay? Yeah, definitely. I'm gonna be honest here. I don't, the Barbies from that one were awesome, though. They were like very... The actual toy ones that yeah. came with that My one. sisters had some really of them. Yeah, the, they had the... They had real eyelashes. Oh, my God. Oh. And, like, you could take off their mermaid tails, and it came with, like, a mermaid tail and a dress. So it was cool. Whoa. And then, like, her hair was really pretty. So, um... Yeah, the toys for that one were awesome. So the EFAP movies, the Barbie movies, rags? I don't, they might be solid material, but I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, Waller gets up through that. Um, it's been so long, that's the thing. I was just operating off of memory here. Man, for the 1,700 of you who stuck around to this part of the EFAP, <laughs> like, we've, we've been on such a journey together tonight. <laughs> It's been a wild ride. That's the thing with EFAPs, when they get this long, it feels like there are eras even for a single episode. <laughs> like, yeah. Which part were you there for? Can there be an unironic analysis of a Barbie film for April Fools by Rags because I what? That's not a bad idea. There's um that's not a bad idea at all, actually. Um Princess and the Popper, that was 2004, so yeah, that line's about up. Yeah, um, I uh, maybe maybe that wouldn't be too bad of an idea. You planning on reviewing it? What? As an April Fool's thing, that could be fun. Oh yeah, that'd be fun. Prince and Popper. <laughs> I mean, Final Fantasy fourteen isn't the most graphically powerful game, and I absolutely love it. It's an MMO that I'm still willing to pay the sub for. I was thinking it'd be really cool if we could move away from focusing heavily on graphics and instead we're like, hey, you know, mechanics—they're pretty cool. Have a look at them again. How about that? Um, economist here. How about a, a good old argument? Sadly, as much as I hate the fact, uh, inflation does exist. If you bought a game in 1990 for the then average price of $50, today it would be worth $97.80. Cool. Sure, okay. Um, I mean, so, it would, I guess if we get, we get to that point, we probably have to take in like every variable. Um, and would we then need to extend that to everything? Like, just, if we're gonna go by inflation alone, so whatever a fucking chocolate bar cost in the 90s, we're gonna have to up it to whatever it is now? Like, I don't think that's how we do it. Yeah, I, yeah. the reason that 60 has sort of been the same, same number is I think that that's sort of the magic price that people are used to pay or sorry, used to paying, and that they will pay for a new game. Funny thing is, as you highlighted, that's not even something I'm I'm typically willing to pay. I think that's a it's a lot. Yeah, you're asking a that's a lot of that's a big ask from me to pay sixty bucks for a video game when a lot of amazing games are half that. Mm -hmm. Um, I I'm not I'm not wowed by fancy graphics and big budgets. I'm just not. 
So yeah, 30 bucks for a cool roguelike sort of game or, you know, a th 30, 40 bucks for these, um, like seven days to dies and vermin tides and mort house and stuff like, yeah, I'd much rather play those. I mean, look at Among our, Us. Our... Among Us is like three ninety nine. It's fucking all over the place right now. Yeah. Um, not to say that that means you know. There's not to prove anything other than the fact that you can get some games that are incredibly popular that are literally fucking like cheap as chips. Like the shooter, like the two main shooters that I play right now are Battlefield One, which came out in like twenty. <sighs> when it came out in. Uh... 2016, I still play that, and Apex Legends, which is a free-to-play. So, and for my MMO, I play Guild Wars 2, that came out in 2012. For all my other stuff, it's just like double-A games that I just have fun with because the core gameplay loop is really satisfying. Uh, what we really need is an epic rack battles of history for Santa Claus versus Jack Skellington, Christmas versus Halloween. They probably have done Santa Claus raps, right? Yeah, yeah, I feel like that's something that's already in existence, but I can't remember from where. I wouldn't be surprised if they had done that one, honestly. Seems like something they do. Um... Google it! If we're making the racist slash sexist argument, Holdo is white, but Poe isn't. Oh my god. My. Oh. Oppression. But she's a lesbo, so... Ooh. Yeah, the point system is unclear no, on that. Yeah, that, totally that puts her higher up on the oppression chart. Ooh, that's true, yeah. She did... Maybe she's bi? Because bi isn't as many points as lesbian, right? She is totally... Mm, probably. She talks to him. If that was... If Poe was a chick... And Holdo was a dude. All of the freaking crazies out there would be like. It's <laughs> true. Oh, it's yeah. true. Do we ever asked in chat favorite Vermintide character in career? Probably Sienna Foyganassis is my favorite character. Unchained as the class. My number two is uh, Victor Salt Spire as the bounty hunter. Mm. That's my one and two. Uh, AAA titles at seventy dollars. Time to sail the high seas. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Um, that's the thing. That's what's gonna happen. I'm honestly, for me, I'm just like, I'll wait. It's fine. Yeah. There's plenty of, of other shit for me to do. I have so many games to play. So many games that I own and still need to play. And I just the shiny new ooh game like that. That happens so rarely. Mm -hmm. That a game's like, oh, I've got to get, I've got to get, or super, or I'm super excited for it. I can name maybe like one game that's eventually coming out that I'm excited for, but that's like it. I, I've, I've trained myself to not get hyped and excited for games. There's plenty, <clears throat> and they all, and so often they're disappointing. I'm excited for the new, uh, like, copy of Fifth Hand to come out because the art looks cool. Damned? Catan, it's a board thing. Uh, oh, the Settlers thing? Mm-hmm. Ah, I gotcha. I've never played it, but I've seen, um, like, boxes of it and stuff, and I've heard it's this big, you know, city kind of Uh, the, the replies I get justify making my response video. That's the person who uh, was talking about making the um, ER response video for uh, the game. I'm <laughs> fucking blanking on the game right now. The stupid. Go ahead. I mean, yeah, of course. Go ahead. <laughs> it's totally fine. <laughs> it's oh, life is strange. Me on Twitter about this. So this might be the same person. I'm not sure. I don't like. I don't think you're that invested in that game at this point, right? Like. I am absolutely not. No. I don't, I hardly remember the video that I made on it, so. Um, I'm way behind, still catching up, but you're, since you're live, I just want to say hi, Rags, Mubishly, ER, Metal, and Anna. Hello. Hello. Ragu is my spirit doggo. Aw. Oh, boy. Yeah. Thank you. I'm at that point in the Super Mario Sunshine, you get the flowers that talk about their sour dicks. So. Whoa, uh, what? Yeah, yeah. what? It's weird. There's I don't think it's on purpose, <laughs> but it's weird. 
Wait, did, did you just say like sour dicks? <laughs> it's weird because my dick is nice and sweet <laughs> wait, with wait, a heady what? aftertaste. Did, is that what you said? I don't know what they recorded in the studio, right? But when these flowers wake up, they say a bunch of tizzy words in an alien language, let's say. But it sounds awfully close to, oh, my sour dick. And you get a little concerned. You're like, what in the world? But uh, ultimately, you know, flowers should be free to say what they wish to say. <laughs> uh, new Christmas covers suck. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I want a mod for Okami so I can play as rags. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Um, Christmas is better. At my job, I get two days off for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, but I don't get Halloween off. Oh, that's oh. interesting. <laughs> yeah, true. Is there a lot of people end up being okay with working those uh, certain parts of those just because of the, the, the pay bonuses and stuff? But it's usually nightmarish in, uh, I guess, depending on the store. You found movies scared Shrekless for best holiday? What? <laughs> or all Shrek- Scared Shrekless? All Shrek is <laughs> love, Shrek is life reactions. Read the Jar Jar lines. He-Man, Spider-Man, Long Man. I think that's just memes. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I think it's- yeah, it's almost like they've just put in tags for a search on some website. <laughs> scared Shrekless is a real thing. Scared- What is- scared? is that like a meme video? Is that a made Halloween horror comedy television special. Oh my god, a horror special with Shrek? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, Scared Mark. Shrekless. It was from 2010. <laughs> Sounds hilarious. Unfortunately marks the first time that Eddie Murphy does not reprise his role as Donkey. Oh no. Yeah, Dean Edwards does the voice of Donkey. That's not the same. But yeah, it's got Antonio Banderas and Cameron Diaz. Oh. Mike Myers? Man. Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah and Mike Myers, yeah. Oh my yeah. god. I love Antonio Banderas, and I like dropped two hundred bucks to get this doll of him from the Mask of Zorro. Oh, and it's glorious! <laughs> oh, that's a movie we gotta movie. see again. The Mask of Zorro. That was one of my movies when I was a kid. I watched it all the time. I love the Mask of Zorro. Yeah, I saw I saw that so much. I can't remember if we talked about it before, but the um, do you remember the opening? It's like a paragraph, and it has like dancing in the background that gets faster and faster and faster until the text goes away. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. That's how it opens. The VHS I had, I don't know if this is all of them, but you can't fucking read it. It was impossible. On 4 by 3 TVs, no matter how close you get, that text opening is too thin, the fucking words, and I, I, just, I never knew what it said. <laughs> I was just like, whatever, I guess we'll just start the movie. I'll pick it up eventually through the movie. It's so weird, because looking back, like, I remember playing on 4 by 3 like, like, with four people with a Smash Brothers shit, and just, wow. you know, old games where... You know, these days I would kill myself if I had to fucking play that shit on the tidy screens, all kinds of like like uh, split screen for four people on like Halo on a four by three TV. Zoro. That uh, but that used to be okay because you know it's what was the thing. These days though, it's like hey, ten screens each. You know, if they would have just copied the formula from the Mask of Zoro for like the. The Force Awakens. If they would have just done that, where it like shows Luke all up in his heyday and he's doing his last mission, then he goes back home and like his wife Marge is just like, "Yo, you're getting too old. We got kids now. You can't do this. Bad guys follow him home." Don't spoil it, man. I'm just saying. And then like we had already gotten introduced, like who's gonna be the next like Jedi? Because maybe instead of like it being like Zoro and his brother, it was like a Force sensitive kid and their sibling. And then it happens later. Like, just 100%. It's fine. Just, if you rip off the fucking plot of The Mask of Zorro and did that with Luke Skywalker in Star Wars, you know how good that damn movie would have been? And, I mean, it would have been so much better than what we got. And everyone, uh, knowing, you know, retrospect, what we got would have been okay. Like, yes, just, just copy it because it worked. It would have been cool. Just do it. But no, nobody, nobody wants to do anything good anymore. And it sucks, but... I'm tired. Yeah. I we I would love to see the Mask of Zorro again. That's that's what we got to do. Mahler is the Mask of Zorro. So you found movies or just in general? Oh, whatever it turns into. Cause... I I don't 
I don't it even is, know if it would be an EFAT movie. I watched it within the last like year. It. it is a good film. Oh. So, so good. I watch it all the time. I just, like, ugh. he's so handsome, and the story's so good. <laughs> And like every everything about it, except for that one, like Captain Love, he kills it. They, they that's the worst, worst part of the damn movie. And if they would have just gotten a better actor, it would have been. Think he's he's not he's not a bad actor. He's just a character you probably no, hate. He, no, no, that that that's like one of the most sinister freaking things. Like the other dude, he just wanted to marry the dude's wife, and he was an asshole and was like cheating everyone. Captain Love is like chopping people's body up parts off and drinking it their water from their dead heads and hands and stuff. Yeah, He's like he, a was, he was a bad dude. He was a bad dude, man. And the actor just like he just Matt didn't Le do uh, it. Matt Lesher. Les yeah. Lesher? I mean, Lesher? Could you imagine if that was like Gary Oldman? That would have been fucking awesome. I think his actor did a great job. I, I, I really liked him. He was this really, like, he, he, he was a very, like, suave but super creepy, demented dude who was really into violence and he was just cruel and stuff. I think I think he was a great... Yeah. I right, you said all that as if Ada didn't just say the complete reverse. <laughs> like, I don't know if you I did know. that on purpose. <laughs> no, I, 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 I thought he's great. I loved him. I he's made such a it. great bad guy. I thought he was... No, he I, I didn't was have a joke. lot of... I, I, I disagree probably with both of you. I thought... I don't think he was terrible, but I also didn't think he was, like, great. I, he killed it, like, I don't know. Oh, he I killed it, man. He killed it. <laughs> he killed it in a bad way. It was terrible. I'm like, dude, you had all this opportunity, and, and you just, like, let it fail. But I think that was his, like, first big movie, right? I don't know. Oh, let's go IMDB this shit. Um, but yeah, that well, was, at least like, the weakest thing. Can we agree Stuart Wilson as Don Rafael Montero was... Mm. Dude, what blew my mind was watching Hot Fuzz. I can't remember what the doctor's name is, but he, he, if you remember, uh, the doctor is the one that uh, Danny accidentally shoots in like the, the shooting range thing. He's the one that comes out with the doctor. He, he says, um, Danny, I brought you into this world. I can take you out of it. I think that that's his line. That's fucking Dodd Raphael. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Stuart Wilson is a... Uh, Versatile actor, I suppose. But yeah, I liked him as Raphael. I thought he was good. And of course, Anthony Hopkins kills it, but that's not a surprise. Heck yeah, he did. Obviously, the good kind of kills it, by the way. <laughs> it seems we've got two of those. <laughs> oh, yeah. I... <laughs> that is so great. It's such a great okay. movie. Yeah, so this dude, uh, what, what is his name? His name is Matt Lesher? Lesher? I don't know. Uh, he does a lot of TV stuff that I've never even heard of. So, he was in Saved by the Bell, then he was in Gettysburg, and he was young second main man. That was the part that he had in that movie. Then he did Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, Long Shadows. Okay, all these TV shows. And then, let's see, okay, we're going up in the 90s. Uh, he was in some movies I've never heard of. Nothing, nothing. Mask of Zorro. Everything else is like. What are you trying to say? Movie. That because he didn't do anything as popular as Mask of no, Zorro, it must be bad. I'm saying like that was his. No, I'm saying that that was like his first big role. Okay. So I mean, sometimes it's it's different for people that have only been in like TV shows, and then they get in like this movie with like an all star cast, and it's just they don't. I don't know. They don't do as well as everyone else, and then you you're looking at the rest of his career, and it just not. I mean, he's worked a shit ton. Like, I've been scrolling for a while, and I haven't gotten to the end of his IMDb, so he works a lot, but... I don't know. I feel well, like he was the weakest link in the movie. It's two very, very alternative opinions right here on EFAP. Who'd have thunk it? We'll have to, we'll have to judge him when we next watch the movie, Rex. Yeah, um, yeah. Apparently YouTube has added an applause function on videos, so it's only fitting that I ask, please clap. <laughs> well, that's been there for a while. An applause function. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah. Yeah, so apparently yeah, only like 3,000 accounts got it. And so when you click it, uh, it's like a way of like super chatting a video when it's not alive. And so. It's not alive. Click, like, you know, a live stream mm -hmm. when it's just like a regular video. And if you click the applause button, it pays, or you pay, like, you super chat them $2. And so they're tr 
they're testing it out on 3,000 accounts. And I think they just added like another 2,000. So that's how more people are finding out about it. And they're like adjusting it. So they changed the button and now they're making it so you can um, pay different prices. It's not just the $2. And um, they're going to try to add it to mobile because I guess now it's only for like desktop or Androids. But it's going to be a feature I think that they're going to use on every single account not just the ones that um have it right now mm -hmm. so it's just another way for them to make money which i think is smart because right now on just regular videos it's only through ads and they like to fuck with everyone's uh, monetizations <laughs> i like that it's like the seniors struggle to find ways to make money when they fuck with everyone's way to make money it's like yeah <laughs> i know yeah, it's like <laughs> just ridiculous. quit monetizing all of our videos for no reason how about that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yep mm -hmm. Uh, by the way, someone said, Rags, all the Barbie movies you like have the same director, and the ones you dislike have a different but consistent director as well. Interesting. I had no mm, idea. The plot thickens. Like, I'm saying. Um, it's interesting. It's interesting. Um, oh. Did you know that there's a poll on IMDb for the best Jesus hairstyle? And the one that's winning right now is, is Obi -Wan? Robin Williams from Jumanji. Oh. Really? Okay. Yeah. You'd, you you'd think Obi-Wan, you know? I just, I don't know, I just assumed. I, I don't even see him on this list yet. Wow. I know. What's going on with this world? Oh, but Captain Love's on it! From the Mask of Zorro. That is not Jesus. No, he looks kind of Jesus-y. Was Jesus blonde? Well, if he, if his hair went from blonde to brown, and he's he has a Jesusy look about him, he has that kind of Obi Wan Kenobi kind of you know aesthetic. Mm. Yeah, but Obi Wan pulls it off better. I'll stand by it. He looks like he kind of looks like Obi Wan Kenobi from Attack of the Clones. Just a knockoff version of Obi Wan Kenobi. Yeah, he can't be as good as Obi Wan Kenobi, but he's pretty. Good. Nah. Started stream eleven hours. Oof. I know. <laughs> Oh boy, it's turning into one of those big. Ones. Don't you dare complain, Mr. Bobby. Sidetracking. Listen, <laughs> my energy, my energy ebbs and flows. My my chi, right? It grows oh, no. stronger when I was suddenly rejuvenated with the mention of Barbie as Princess and the Pauper. Of course. Uh, won't take a goldfish's opinion on it. Says the guy who got offended on behalf of a goldfish earlier this stream. No, I just said I think that it's un- I had goldfish when I was, uh, young, and the idea that they have short memories has always baffled me because, man, that goldfish, every time you walk in the room, he'd be like, oh, hey, that's the dude who gives me food. And you bet your ass they remember that, so don't 10 second memory me with that bullshit. Mm -mm. Damn. They know what- they know where that food dogs. comes from. Oh, that's true. All animals, it's like that's just like, food? Food? Oh, it's the food giver. It was as it was as good of a pet as a goldfish could be, I suppose. <laughs> Pretty low low bar for a goldfish, but he's a good goldfish. Um, Jupiter Ascending has Sean Bean in it. Do it. Yeah, so this is, someone mentioned the Jupiter Ascending thing earlier. It's like, yeah, this, this, there's a chance that movie looked goofy as hell. Um, also, YMS did a video on Jupiter Ascending. Invite him on. I, I mean, if he's up for it, obviously, like, he, w he was more than up for Doom Annihilation, because that he knew that was going to be good. Um, but, you know, Jupiter <laughs> oh, Sending. Oh, yeah, it was great. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, maybe. Neither Halloween nor Christmas is pagan. Christmas comes from Catholics wanting a holiday to fill holiday time, and December 25th had some theological sig. Not JC's birthday, though. Halloween is a synthesis of two Christian festivals around the 1800s. So I'm pretty sure that Halloween has been around since, like, Viking times. I have no clue where yeah. either of them truly sure, come Halloween. from. Has Halloween it's... is based off a pagan thing. This person believes mm -hmm. it is not. I well, wouldn't know. I do not know the history of Halloweenas Halu or Christaminas. So, the day after Halloween, November the 1st, that's All Souls Day? Which is a Christian thing, so I don't know if Halloween was created as a 
almost like like a Fat Tuesday sort of thing, where so Mardi Gras, Fat Tuesday, that's the day before Lent, uh, starts on Ash Wednesday. So that's where you get all the. That's where everyone has a feast and because um, because you have the Lent fasting and everything like that, and you give up stuff for Lent. So Fat Tuesday, Mardi Gras, that's when you want to get rid of all your extra food. You want to use it up. You want to party and get it out of your system and really have a big old blowout and celebrate and have a big old bash because, you know, then Lent's coming up and then after you got uh, Easter. After. Hence the wondrous occasion of Martin Grass. Martin Grass. Yeah, uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Or... Hi, Rags. Hello. I'm glad you like my voiceover in EFAP 100 trailer, though I have mixed feelings about you doxing my true identity, Jonathan Frakes. <laughs> well, is it fact or fiction? Who knows? Oh my god. I feel like he downgraded from being, like, you know, the the, the guy in control of a, a starship, you know, to murder mysteries or whatever. Whatever he did, mysteries of any kind. Um, it was called, uh, uh Beyond Belief, fact or fiction. Whoa. And I don't know what else Jonathan Frakes did. What's interesting is that Mar uh, William Shatner is the host of a show on, like, Discovery Channel now. Because uh, I was at my folks' house and it was just playing in the back. And I was like, damn, William Shatner looks great for his age. He brought that up in uh, Catch Up 2, I think. Of yeah. Because <laughs> he's got to talk about Jonathan Frake. So we're talking about another Star Trek man. Yep. Yeah. Yes. I thought you guys didn't watch Star Trek. Well, I'm familiar with TNG uh, to a degree, the original series, some of Voyager. Um, I know who Jonathan Frakes is, and I know that he's Riker, uh, and I know that yes. he takes control of the ship whenever Picard can't. Is that the case? He's number yes. one. Yes. There you go. That's what I know. ER, is Steins Gate Zero any good? I've heard it's unnecessary and dumb. I, again, I do not know. I would assume that is correct, though. I'm just going out on a limb there. Oh. And, uh, Metal, do you plan on playing any other Yakuza games? They're quite fun. I don't know if he is. Um, I'm pretty sure he liked it quite a bit. And for now, for Heights of Mario characters, Mario is, is five foot one. Luigi... Wario and Yoshi are five foot nine. Peach and Daisy are six foot. Rosalina is seven three, and Holy Waluigi shit. is seven seven. Peach is six oh, foot. <laughs> Rosalina is seven what? Three. <laughs> oh Holy my god. God. All right. Wait, what? Mary character heights. Rosalina is seven foot three apparently. Jesus Christ. Well. How tall is Waluigi then? <laughs> He's seven seven. Man, fuck it. <laughs> Waluigi's a chat. <laughs> Listen, Luigi would still collect all their scalps, I'm just saying. I'm still shorter than all of them. Well. Mario is pretty tall. Yeah, he is. Towering over you at five foot one. I know. Um... Like, I have to be honest, Thanksgiving and Independence Day both rank higher than Halloween to me. It's not horrid, but it's just so low on my list. That's terrible. Yeah, Thanksgiving and Independence mm -hmm. Day don't exist in Britain. <laughs> Thanksgiving's <laughs> probably my number two. I don't like Thanksgiving either, because I hate all Thanksgiving food. What? <laughs> Here <know>. we go. <laughs> Again, she okay. eats candy for meals. <sighs> well, then have, um, have, like, honey-glazed ham. I don't like ham or honey. turkey. I don't like turkey. Cranberry sauce? No. Uh, mashed potatoes? I don't eat potatoes unless they're French fries. God damn. How I mean, do you eat? <laughs> or do you, you just stand out in the sun for an hour every day and soak up your <gasps> nutrients? No, I don't really go out in the sun because I don't want to get sun cancer. Um, no, I, I'll eat. <laughs> I skin cancer. I'm so sorry. I'm tired. Uh, <laughs> um, I eat Weird. bread. I eat bread. Oh wow! <laughs> Adventurous, I see. <laughs> what kind? Yeah, chill out, a jeez. <laughs> bread. Whoa. Is it? You just eat plain white bread? Yeah, yeah. Or French bread. Yeah. Like rolls. Wait, do you like stuff? wheat bread? Not. No. It, wheat bread's a little too adventurous for you. 
It's not adventurous. It's just disgusting. Wheat bread is disgusting. Well, what about what about banana bread? Oh fuck no! Bananas, it, like as a banana, is fine. When it's mixed into shit, fuck no. What about sourdough bread? And if I'm like dipping it in soup, but I really don't like things that are sour. Focaccia? Eh, it depends on who's making it. Rye? No. What about what do you, do you do like pita bread and sandwiches and stuff or anything? I'm with pita allergic bread? to pita. Uh, what other bread is there? Um, do do you eat bagels? No. That sounded but it's not aggressive. because I don't like them. I just don't really like it. Like I'll never go out and like have a bagel. You know, I'll get something else. What about just like biscuits? Oh, I hate biscuits. What about, what about cornbread? Oh, I fucking hate cornbread. <laughs> I don't understand. What about okay? What about English muffins? Um, no. Why not? <laughs> I don't like the texture. The texture is the best part of the English it's muffin. The worst part Cause of you it. toast it and they're great. What okay? No. What about Texas toast? I don't think I know what that is. Oh, how do you not know what Texas? Okay, <laughs> all right. Um, what about pumpernickel? No. That does sound made up. No, it isn't. It's, so it's I'm sure it isn't. It does sound made up. <laughs> people okay, I'm people just gonna, would often confuse I'm pumpernickel gonna help and you rye with this. bread. All the rest that you're going to ask me, the answer is like 99.9% .9 no. Chibata. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> well... What, when you go to Olive Garden, do you have do you, do you partake Garden. of their unlimited breadsticks? I don't go to Olive Garden. What? <laughs> hmm. Do you like baguettes? No, they're too dry. Do you like brioche buns? He has a Google list now, I'm sure of it. <laughs> I worked in a restaurant! You just <laughs> named two B's in a row. I assume you've got an alphabetic list. Rags, I don't like water. Like, I, I you don't like, like water! Here, <laughs> I am the pickiest eater and drinker on the face of the planet. What do you okay? drink? Other than candy bars. <laughs> melted <juice>. candy bars. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do drink melted candy. Put them candy. in a blender and just make a, sm a Reese's no. smoothie. Is that all you have? No, but when when there is a golden corral, I do take a bowl and a straw to the chocolate fountain. How much do you weigh? Because apparently your diet is chocolate. <laughs> I weigh like 100 pounds when I'm soaking wet. How? Because I'm a fucking small human, Rags. What do you so what what do you normally drink? Like when you're just like around oh, the house? I I do have Mio, so I don't like the taste of water, but when I put it in it makes it taste like Kool-Aid and I hate coffee, so I have caffeinated Mio. Okay. And so I I put that in so it's like drinking fruit punch but ha it has caffeine. All Explain right. Um, what don't you like about water? <laughs> it tastes it tastes bad. Okay, so let, let's be, let's just, just so we're clear. Water can have a lot of different tastes. Um, it does, I, yes. I guess. It no, yeah, it, like no, that's okay de definitely. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's yeah, no I'm gas sure. about that. Yeah, like, I can't, when I go visit my relatives in uh, Albuquerque, I cannot, their tap water is disgusting over there. I love my tap water. Here, we, damn it, here in Arkansas, Say what you will, we got delicious as fuck tap water, all right? And it's good. And we drank it both ways to and from school. It's good stuff. And, and but, but yeah, water can be definitely different based on what brands you get sure. and where you are. Yeah, okay, but water in its entirety. I don't understand that at all. Yeah, I don't get it either. She's what, that freak. it doesn't taste good? Yeah. Taste I honestly, if ever I'm thirsty, water tastes great. Yeah. Okay, if yeah. I just ran like two miles, it's okay, but if I drink too much of it, I get really sick, and then I throw up. Sick from like, water. Are you, are you talking about, like, drowning? <laughs> no, like, if I run and I drink, like, a cup of water, my stomach gets sick, and I just throw it back up. Wow. Maybe it's just I because know. you've been running and you're all jostled, and so it wouldn't matter what you ate. Okay, well, any time I drink, like, a cup of water, I get sick, and it just comes right back out. Maybe. What about tea? Uh, 
Maybe Anna I isn't human. Like... I don't know. Do we know? Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm starting to question. Like it, everything. From no, Black I don't Green. like tea. All kinds. What about uh, all you, like, of the Arizona kinds that I've tried. And all that? Oh fuck no. Um. What about tacos? Um. Yes, but when it's just like cheese and then the meat and then the taco shell. That's something. There you go. We do it. Okay. Fast food. What's your favorite? Do you do any fast food, if ever? I do, yeah. Right, yeah. I'm, I'm expecting um, she does all of the fast food. No, so, I do... Um, ideal fast food, like your favorite? Uh, uh, it depends on what mood I'm in, but I like... Uh, well, yeah, again, it depends on what mood I am. Am I in the mood for burgers? Am I in the mood for ice cream? I am, like, so I like um, Taco Bell, McDonald's, and Wiener Schnitzel, and then... The only thing I get from Wendy's is a Frosty, but it's good. So I think, as far as burgers go, I think Wendy's has the best of like the low tier fast food places. Um, dude, what about Chick Fil A? I've never had it. Interesting. But that's because where I grew up, there were no Chick Fil A's, and so then when I moved down to Southern California a few years ago, there's some, but the line is just so long, and I'm like. Oh, really that's the same wait. over here. There's mm. always a line at the Chick-fil-A. Always a line at the Chick-fil-A. Yeah. It's just that not worth it. That place is like a well-oiled machine. Yeah. I mean, it's good, but I wouldn't like wait in line for it. Exactly. I'm not a big fast food guy. So. But I would say that there's like an upper tier and a lower tier fast food and Chick-fil-A's in the upper tier fast foods. Well, I wouldn't know. Then at the very bottom, you have like Arby's, McDonald's. You know, that's sort of... Wombos? Mm. We don't have Wombos here. Mm -mm. Don't have one. I, I would say the worst fast food place I've ever been to, though, probably Hardee's. I would rate, I would rate McDonald's above Hardee's. I don't think I've ever even seen one. We have, um, uh, over here in Russellville, we have the original, the first Whataburger, and it is delish. Ooh, Whataburger? As in, like... You opened up a place. Hey, little Annie! You want a fucking burger? Mm. Someone said in and out I've had in and out and it's pretty I hate good. in and out I I've had it. in and out It's um, overrated. Someone said Arby's is god tier? No, Arby's is just like, eh. But Hardee's is, oof. When someone says Subway, I don't eat Subway. It's not the food. I've never... Like, it's not the food that appeals to me. Like, sub sandwiches are not my thing. But I've had Five Guys before. Delicious. Love Five Guys. I had the Italian nightclub whenever I would uh, go there. Uh, whenever I made... I'd, I would do Five Guys runs for the, uh, the guys I worked with um, at the hotel. Sometimes we'd do a... We'd do a food run, and I'd be like, yeah, I'll, I'll go do a food run. I'd get orders, and I'd go, and... Yeah, it went well. Ranks. Whenever you come to Texas, try Whataburger. So, there's so the original Whataburger is Feltner's Whataburger up in Russellville, and we go through there every once in a while when we're taking trips, and it is it's really good. The Feltner's Whataburger is delicious, but it's not anything like the chain Whataburgers. It is specifically its own thing, but it was the first one. Um, but even the chain ones are pretty good. Their milkshakes are particularly great. Do you have Brahms? No. No? Brahms is pretty. Mm -mm. Um, yeah, so. We're never going to get to these super chats. We're not. <laughs> <laughs> we are We are running out of time, actually. We're getting toward our cap, but it's okay, because we'll always get to them eventually. We're actually closer to the end than, than the middle, so that's something. Um, that's good. Do, do, do. Anna, Diabeto is infecting your arteries with sugar. You must resist. I'm a mutant. <laughs> I'll be fine. Um, someone, someone in chat was like, "Brahms is the bomb." Yeah, dude, Brahms is, Brahms is great. Brahms is good stuff. Like me, I love me some Brahms. Fuck Mary, kill H Bomber guy, Jack Saint, Quentin reviews. Kill all of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not allowed. I'd to do fuck that. Jack Saint. He's he's not the the other two were fucking hideous. So we're <laughs> fucking Jack. <laughs> I'd, 
um, it's not always I mean, about H, looks, H. Palma guy's got the best career at prospects, so maybe marrying him. I don't care. Money. Yeah, I guess I'd... Well, it's him or Quentin know. Reviews, Rex. Because <laughs> I feel like Quentin would die first. Of like, a, like, a, like a heart complication or something. Leave Pot, potentially money. suicide. You're even shocking but... ER with these comments. Uh, don't, don't give me that, okay? <laughs> I don't need this from you. Um... <laughs> Um, I'd say, yeah, I'd, probably, I'd <laughs> fuck Jack Saint. I would marry. I guess I'd marry H Bomber guy because he's pr he he's, comes across as the most like responsible of the three. Because Quentin is just like a fucking slob. Like I wouldn't want to live with Quentin of all those three. Like I especially you would not want to live house? with Quentin. No, just look at him. Oh. Like the way he dresses and the way he doesn't groom and just the man makes plushies of himself. Like at what point what? you're just like enough? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mahler, tell her about that. Well, I mean, well, you got you got um, you got uh, a, a, a company to make a plushie of himself. It didn't work out. Oh what? <laughs> well, I don't know. Like he just, just he tried to. The, the first time I saw it was with Shion Head. She made one and. Of course, Shuan Head didn't find it hard to sell 400 plushies of herself, but uh, Quentin tried, and it didn't. It didn't work out. Oh man! Let me get you a picture of. Oh my, oh my god. god! I I just looked at a picture of it as I was speaking, and it made me just. Oh, it made me pause. Mm. You can you can check out oh, the god. Quentin reviews plush. That doesn't even <laughs> look like him. I, mean, I can't remember who said it, but it was like it reminds him of Gordon Freeman, but like <laughs> Chungus, I guess. I don't know. Look, this doesn't even look like him. Hmm. How much is this? Yeah, I'm not able to sell this. <laughs> I it don't know. It says he met his goals, though. It says you know. It says four hundred out of four hundred. I well, I don't know. As far as I remember, he got up to just under 200, and um, it's possible that uh, 200's enough for them to just go ahead with it. Uh, mm. Yeah. Because hitting 400 on the dot... I don't... First off, I, I'm, I'm shocked that 200 people were interested, honestly. Maybe it was like because they wanted a voodoo doll of him. I imagine oh, probably... Oh, that's a good point. That's probably a good bought point. a few of them himself, you know? Mm. Yeah, he probably like gave it to everyone in his family for Christmas in their stocking. He's like, here's a doll of me. Chat needs to see Quinton doll. Okay, hang on. Doop, doop, doop. Quinton doll. It's, uh, it's weird though, because I'm not sure how long it would take me to guess that's Quinton if you hadn't told me, you know? Oh, Maybe. I wouldn't have even... I don't think I... Mm. Yeah. Be like, hmm... The only thing that gives it away it... for me is the Garfield icon on his t-shirt. And that's only if I think about it for longer than just assuming it's like a weird metal. I'm like, Doesn't oh, Quentin yeah. have a unibrow though? Kinda, yeah. Yeah, I mean, even his face, it doesn't, it doesn't look anything like him. Yeah, well, he's got a. Mm. I like that the hair is just a daub of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you just describe it as a dollop? Yeah. <laughs> Ew. Uh, any of you played or liked Astroneer or Factorio? Never heard of it. I've not played Factorio, but I've seen uh, a decent chunk of Factorio. It looks neat. It's like factory management building system thing. I hear it's popular. A lot of, a lot of weirdos play games like that, you know? So, free market. Um, if ER is still here when this is red, have him tell Anna that she's not L. You'll know what I mean. Have a good night. Alright, you are not L, Anna. What does that mean? <laughs> that means something from an anime to me, but I don't know what that means to you. No, you didn't explain to me the context of it, because I saw that like four hours ago when it got sent, and I wanted to ask, but I was like, I'll just wait. Um, what does it mean? Well, I mean, L is a character from the anime Death Note, if you know anything about that. Uh, which character is it? I haven't... I think I tried watching that, like, years and years ago, but I got too busy with school. 
So what does that mean? Safely say that you are not at all. But most importantly, it's he in Spanish. Mm. But what does this mean? <laughs> he in Spanish. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's it looks like some oh, is this the kid that gets the book and goes crazy? This is the guy that goes against the kid that goes crazy. Oh, so what is what does it mean by somebody comparing me to this character? Oh, wait, hold on. He does only eat sweets. So maybe that's the connection they're making. Uh-huh. Is this a good character? character? Like, is this a no, character who only thing? eats sweets. Who's against the It's very irresponsible. <laughs> oh, he's a psycho? I wonder if they're an alien who doesn't have anything bad happen from it, Rex. Well, so is this an insult or is this a compliment that somebody's trying to give me? Uh, well, he is also like an autistic weirdo who only eats sweets, so... So it's an insult. Well, they said, tell Anna that she's not L. Not well, L. Not L. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure they meant it as a full compliment. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Sure. Oh god, I'm about to die. After I said it's not likely you would ever die in this game. How embarrassing. Can I live through it? Um, my ink to the people shirt arrived, and I am now officially an associate producer of the Snyder Cut. All money goes to suicide prevention. <laughs> uh, all wrong. Uh, Mola, do you have a driver's license IRL? No, I don't. You don't have a driver's license? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, in Britain, everything is right next to each other, so kind of. Do you know how to drive a car? I, no, I, I don't. <gasps> I don't drive. To, to, to be fair, driving the car is really cars are really simple to drive. I know, but he lives in the UK, which means he's gonna have to learn how to do a manual as compared to. Well, automatic. my car is manual, and I'll only buy manuals. I don't want to. I don't want to drive an automatic. Mine's a six-speed. Why not? I love driving manuals. Like it's fun. I enjoy it. Having that control over the car. Better gas mileage, generally parts breakages is cost less because you just the singular components. They're they're just more engaging and fun to drive, to shift and to transition smoothly from one gear to the next. It, it's really, really rewarding to drive. You pay attention and you feel like you have a lot more control over the vehicle. It's really rewarding. It's satisfact it's it's very satisfying. Satisfactorial. It's satisfa it's very satisfactorial. There you go. But I love driving a manual. Yeah, mine's a mine's a six speed. And if I ever get another car, which maybe I will, or maybe I'll just keep up keeping this one, I'll always have manuals. And if I have spawn, God forbid, then they're damn it, they're learning how to drive a manual. Well, there you go. I know how to drive both, and I prefer automatic. But you're you're a grown up, and you don't know how to drive a car. What does that mean? <laughs> I, I'm just like. <laughs> Do you know how to drive it's a like fucking, a... I don't know, like, wh wh why do I need to know how to drive a car? I can drive a Because horse. you're a grown-up, like, what, what, what the happens fuck does that mean? If, like, <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, what happens if, like, the Terminator's coming after you wouldn't even know how to drive the car to get away from them? I'll use my laser gun. No, you won't have one. Oh, that's not fair. Your hypothetic <laughs> isn't fun at all. No. To well, Mahler, if, if ever I need to teach you, I could teach you how to drive a car in like 10 minutes. The actual driving of the car is super easy. The hard part is the rules of the road, knowing what all the signs mean and like lefts and right turns and stuff like that. That's the more difficult part. Yeah, the I don't travel. know if you like, have you been to Br everything is like in walking yes, distance? Yes. I've been to Britain, and you know what happened? I got stuck in your guys' damn traffic, and I was I was falling asleep, and I kept Hence waking Hence why you should just walk everywhere. <laughs> no, I, no, here's the problem. So, me and boyfriend went to Europe for uh, my birthday last year, and we were in Switzerland, and we went to Germany, then we had to fly back to the UK, and then from the UK we had to fly back to the States. But something got fucked up with our, uh, our like, flight and whatnot so they switched us from one airport to the other so we had to get from we flew into one that was on the other side of london and we had to drive from that airport all the way to heathrow which was like an hour drive during rush hour traffic to get to our plane to get back to the states and 
I got in the car and I forgot that you guys drive on the wrong side of the car and on the wrong <laughs> side of the road. And so when we were on the freeway, I kept like nodding off and I would wake up and I'd be like, oh my God, there's nobody driving this car and we're on the wrong side. And like having like, like, oh my God, I think I might just die kind of moments. And um, I absolutely hated it. Your traffic was terrible. Uh, I don't ever want to be in that situation again, but it was very far from one airport to the other. So, um, like, don't. Like, what happens if you want to go somewhere? You can't. If you're going from one airport, is that a real question? I don't. So if you're going from one airport to another, then why aren't you flying? <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. If you're going oh, because... from one airport to another airport, fly. Because you, we couldn't because it was there's different airports on like there's one airport on the side of London, and then there's another one on the other side of London, and so there was no air or flight from berlin to the heathrow airport which is where our we had booked our flight to go back to the states and so what the airport or what the flight itinerary person did was they made us go to this other airport and you can't fly from that airport to the other airport because they're only an hour apart so we had to fly to that airport get a cab from that airport and then go to the other airport that was across london and it was just like the worst. Uh, so, like, ugh, when I out. when I went to Washington D.C., mm -hmm. we didn't drive. We there, we used buses and we used the tram over there to get around to places. Um, so, and if I lived in D.C., fuck me if I ever end up living there. To hell with that. Great place to visit, but I'd never live there. Then, if I needed to go downtown or anything, it would be buses and trams um you wouldn't need to drive you wouldn't need a car here in arkansas everybody owns a car or two or three just depending because uh, everything's kind of spread out and everyone just drives um public transportation won't get you like everywhere you need to go um and i like that i like having a car i wouldn't want to use public transportation or rely on any of that but um it just depends on where you live like if you live in downtown boston then Maybe you just don't need to have a car because you use, you know, public transportation. Are you? I know, but use what the if you want to go stuff? somewhere? What if you just <laughs> want to take a drive? What if you want to go to the well, ocean? Well, here's the thing. That's an advantage. How do you get to the ocean if you live in the middle of the freaking country and you don't have a car? You, well, I mean, you f you fly. No, okay. Let's say you live 45 you rent minutes. You rent a car. Well, car far, rentals like... are not expensive. First off, when I went to Nashville, I rented a car to do it. They're they're they were surprisingly cheap um but if you're like if you're in arkansas right like i am and you want to go to the ocean um mm -hmm. you probably ain't driving um if you are that's a hell of a long drive you're probably flying to a specific place how long would it take you if you got in your car right now to drive to an ocean the closest ocean as I, the closest ocean to me i don't know if it's let me check um I'd have to check. Uh, the last time I was around an ocean was Galveston, and I don't know. If, I don't think that's the closest though. Let me check. It's probably around. In, it's probably in Louisiana. As the crow flies, it's probably north of New Orleans, um, somewhere around Lewisburg or Laplace, or is it Laplace? I don't know. Um, it would probably okay, we'll just be. Ballpark. How long do you think it would take you to drive there? Oh, the ballpark. It would probably take me nine, ten hours. Probably about ten hours, maybe nine, ten hours. And you would rather fly there than drive that? Probably, yeah. And you can find direct flights there. That aren't. I mean, like, I found a direct flight like, to Houston. Well, Houston. And that's by the ocean. To to. Huh? Houston is an easy place to get to, though. Yeah, Houston is an easy place to get to. It's a short plane flight. And it wasn't expensive, either. Because once you... Because when I went to Houston, it was for the meetup with Top Hats and everything. And we went to uh, a little place outside of Houston called um, uh, Kima. In fact, I just zoomed in on it here. And it was really, really cool kind of place. We went to the Kima Boardwalk. I got so fucking sh wasted when I was there. It was great. Can we be Um... 
but we, uh, but yeah, I just bought a plane ticket. It was cheap. Flew into Houston. A cab took me to Keemaw, and that was it. And then when I needed to go back, they just they drove me to the airport because they were going around there too, and I flew back. Nice and simple. I didn't have to rent a car and do the drive because I don't want to. Like I, I drove to Nashville for the previous meetup with them, and that's a really easy drive. But it's just like a five-hour straight line drive, and it is not fun. Um, I just don't want to drive nine or nine ten hours in a car. Um, I'd rather just hop on a plane real quick. I just have one, just my carry-on bag. Hop on the plane, get off when it lands. Nice and easy. You guys are all weird. Uh, Why would you would you drive it? Would you drive ten water. hours there and back? Remember, this is this is ten hours there, and then when you're done, it's Rags, ten hours. When back. I want to when I want to see my dad, I have to drive seven hours to see him. Okay. And eight to get to my mom. So I mean. I'm not opposed to driving that far because I live in Southern California and they live in Northern California. And I do that like, I, maybe a little bit off. And you can if you now, want, but, but for me, once it gets to a B, I, I think five hours is as far as I would ever drive. Cause after that point, I feel like, yeah, I'm just going to. Well, there's no quicker. airports where they are. Like if I, the closest airport to them is like three hours away. Well then, then drive. That's fine. That's why I do drive. Why do That's you think do. this bolsters your argument for why everyone should drive everywhere? Bro. Yeah. <laughs> what? Not my argument that everyone should drive everywhere. I'm just... I it's... don't even drive when I get groceries sometimes. Sometimes I just walk up to the Kroger and then walk back. You live like, it depends on what you're store? looking for and what you need. I just... I, I don't know. I just... I as an, always... As a grown-up, I don't... Like, in my mind, I'm just... I've always had a car, and... Just not having one, I feel like, I don't know, that makes me feel kind of trapped and that you can't go anywhere whenever you want to go. Well, like, that's I, I, I never go anywhere. I stay at home and, you know, stay in my little hobbit hole. But it's like it's... having a car, I know if I needed to go somewhere, I could. And I have that option. So uh, in the, a grown-up, not having a car just kind of blows my mind. Stop. Why do you keep but, saying it that it way? Depends. It's so weird. It's about, up. it's about the distances that you have to cover. Like, for me, I would always want a car, but that's probably because pretty much anywhere that I would live, things are spread out enough to the point where you'd need a car to get around the place. Yeah, like, I've gotten this lived, far without one. <laughs> I think yeah, it'll be okay. If, I know, but, but do you go places everything's within one Yeah, good old kinds of... This is the thing, it's all very tight-knit over here. Like, this, this, I can walk everywhere I know, that I'd so go. How often do you leave your town, then? Like, I'm assuming not very often. Not that often, no. If I visit people outside of the town, then, yeah, trains are going to be the main way to do that. Yeah, over I, here, I don't know if you guys have trains in America, if it's just cars everywhere, flying cars, cars on rails. <laughs> um, over here, it's mostly cars. In the cities and stuff, you'll have subways and, like, trams and buses. But for the most part, uh, it's, it's cars. People use cars to travel. Things are a lot more spread out over here for the most part. Got a lot of space to work with. And someone said, um, someone said, um, Rags, the joy of shifting manually doesn't sustain you for more than five hours. So here's the thing. For 95% of that, you're in sixth gear don't going down the highway with your foot on the gas pedal staring ahead of you. There's no shifting involved <laughs> for, for highways. You're just, whatever your highest gear is, Going down the road at 70 or whatever. But I, I, I rented a car when I went to Nashville. Um, I didn't want to take my car on that long highway trip because I love my Mazda Speed Miata. I really do. I adore it. But it's not an ideal car to take long, straight line highway trips with. So I just rented like a... It was like a Hyundai Sonata or something. It was a perfectly fine car. And I just cruised down the highway in that thing. Nice cheapo rent a car. Served me well. That I, no, I think it was a Honda Accord. I think it was a Honda Accord. Fine car. Fine car. Like all cars, basically, they're fine. Well, well. Well, that was that tangent. For <laughs> yeah. my yeah, mind wait. is still blown. Your mind shouldn't be blown. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's, it's very normal. Like no. I, uh...
I know one grown up that doesn't drive. Please and stop now saying grown up is cringe. <laughs> <laughs> but you are. You're a grown up. Congrat. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I am a grown up. That's irrelevant. Oh. <laughs> I've never called them. I haven't called adults grown up since. So long. <laughs> Oh. Wow. Hey, DR, do you drive? Do you have a car? Yes, I do. I do. What do you but, drive? Congratulations, you're a grown up. <laughs> yeah, I am a grown up. I drive a Ford Focus 2001, I believe. Pretty old, yeah. But uh, yeah, again, I think this is just a cultural difference here, and uh, everything really is just spread out around here. You have to have a car. Yeah, it's, it's just the result of. I think it's mainly the result of space. If things can be spread out and people also, I actually can like walking places. I don't like it. I... Yeah, walking's good. I, 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 I like walking, walking places too. When I lived in San Francisco, I walked everywhere except, you know, when I went home and I got in my car and I, I drove to the grocery store to go see my parents. But I mean, even when I was in Europe, I feel like everyone who I went to visit, everyone had a car to like go drive to different places so they could go see things. Yeah, cars are a thing over here. That's true. Oh, uh, let me. This, yeah, this, someone, someone in the EFAP podcast uh, chat told me to pull this up. This explains why everyone in the U.S. has a car. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I love Texas. Every time I've gone to Texas, it's been great. The people there are super nice. I love the, love the aesthetic. I love the. Texy Mexy sort of feel. I've had a great time in Texas. If I move someplace, probably be in, be in Texas. A lot of that has to do with the fact that there's no income tax in Texas, which is a uh, oh, that must be great. So anyway, we actually have like ten minutes before we hit the cap. By the way, I'm talking about Texas for ten minutes. <laughs> um... We should go to fucking bed. Hey Muller, any thoughts on Mario Sunshine? Started playing it this weekend via the 3DS All Stars Collection Switch. Really fun so far. I don't know if this was sent before or after I started playing Mario Sunshine, <laughs> but yeah, I like Mario Sunshine. It's uh, it's got a few bugs in it, and it's considered the worst of the 3D Mario's typically, at least the main ones. Um, it's much shorter, and it's uh, like I said, there's a couple of glitches here and there, but I find it very fun. It's uh, possibly very connected to the fact I played it a whole bunch when I was younger. Good shit. And yeah, it's funnily enough, these are the levels I love the most in all of it, and it's when they take Flood away from you, which probably... probably is indicative of something, I don't know. Um... <laughs> <laughs> 8.15pm Metal is like, what'd you bring me? Chris Evans. I remember us talking about Chris Evans, but I've forgotten if Matt was even here at that point. Oh shit. Long day. I had a weird dream the other night, where you were all SCP of opposite monsters. Rags never acknowledged hellos, Mola was short, and Fringy said no. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's horrifying. Wait. Fringy does say no. No, he says no. No. Oh, I see, I got it. Uh, hi Rags, hi. kick J, Halloween is the best. Excellent. Excellent super mm. chat. Mm. It's high quality, you know, top tier. I get that sequels have bad writing, but how did it make you feel? Bad. Angry. <laughs> but what if you pretend it's what you wanted? It's not. I oh. wanted something better. Damn. Rags, the arguments aren't working. What's going on? Ew, Anna loves mayo. No, I don't. <laughs> She's like offended. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've been drinking a little bit. You get offended when drinking? No, 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 I'm like, I get snappy when I'm drinking. That's okay. I think I do. I don't know. I'm sleepy. What is it with you and then a bunch of, like, assorted, I think it's a swear word, and mayonnaise? Probably like, a, what is it with you fucks and mayonnaise, maybe? Um, mm -hmm. I don't remember us mentioning mayonnaise regularly. Not me. Uh, rhino mayo. Yeah, like rhino mayonnaise is probably something to try out, right? Yeah. You could make mayonnaise from rhino milk. Mm hmm. Rhino oh. eggs. Gross. Rags, just yell poggers during. 
<laughs> that was fucking poggers, love. Oh no, why does it have to be British? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Americans would never say such things. It's Caramel. Cool. Caramel? Caramel, not Caramel. What is this nonsense I'm hearing? Yeah, I love slash hate mm. you for adding the I'm Han Solo song at the end of your solo review. Now I'm liking the song unironically. Oh, well, <laughs> you gotta do it. <laughs> Also, yeah, hi Rex. Hey! Forget about this trifle. Reese's versus Twix. We need to talk about the important issues. Opinion. Those who choose peanut butter over Nutella are fucking heretics. Oh my god, they are. Oh well. I feel I like a, a new butter. gauntlet has been thrown down. Mm -hmm. Also, I don't Is actually it... want to hit the cap. We're, we're potential less than 10 minutes away, so I think we're probably going to... Do it next. Yeah. The last thing I want to do is cut off all of our responses. <laughs> like, it'll be bad. All right. Well, episode 101 of, of a fantastic return to form. We didn't even finish the super chats. That's probably returning to form, I'd say. Um, obviously, we'll get them all done in a either a catch up or first of all in the in the next one because there's not a huge amount that we've missed. Um. Well, before we go. Mr. Mr. Ria, do you want to tell everybody about what you do and why they should subscribe to you? Uh, I I used to shit all over uh, The Legend of Korra, I suppose. And now I don't do much of anything, so you don't have to pay me too much mind. That's not... You're supposed to sell yourself. What you just yeah. did was all wrong. I wish I could sell something, but I ain't doing a whole incredible much. He's gonna go after the fabled... What was it? Uh... <laughs> My mind is melted. Mm, Artemis Fowl, I think. That's, yeah. yeah. There you go. I shall say, check out his upcoming Artemis <laughs> Fowl. Spelt wrong. There we go. Beautiful. Um, yeah, I mean, if you've never heard of VR before or never experienced him, go to the channel. You'll have lots of fun. Just pick something that you recognize and then watch him destroy it. It'll be entertaining, I swear. <laughs> Um, don't, I'm not a critic, just a comedian. <laughs> so was it Dabby? I used to sound depressed as hell. It's like, this is how he always sounds. <laughs> what do you mean? The world is a depressing place. Hey, look at him. He's like, his soul has been torn out through his eyes. Mm. But he's happy about it. That's the important thing. <laughs> um, and yes, uh, uh, Anna, what is it that you're getting up to? And why should people come check you out? Oh, um, I'm getting up to lots of stuff. But, um, Right now, uh, I decided that uh, since I like do like drawings and like paintings of like stuff, I should have a separate YouTube channel for that because uh, algorithms like heh 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 fuck you whenever I post an art video. So I created a new channel where I'm uh, just gonna post like my art videos and stuff. Haven't posted anything yet because I'm waiting for Inktober to start. So then there will be a video up every day for me to do the Inktober challenge. And uh, then I'll just uh, be uploading like the time lapse videos of my paintings. So uh, that that's where the the cool stuff is up to. My other channels just the same old, same old. But yeah. There you go. Um, There's one challenge in November, but I don't. It's a writing <laughs> challenge, but uh, oh. the the drawing ones oh. are like Inktober and then Mermaid. Thought it was you know not mm. there. That's right. Which would be incredibly difficult for rags, right? Mm-hmm. I love guzzling them. Love nuts. nuts, man. Um, I don't know what else there is to say. Uh, rags yeah. and I are both working on videos. Who knows when they shall come out? EFAP's got Doom Annihilation and Mulan movies on the way, as well as some other stuff. We'll probably get into more details as we go on. I hope you guys enjoyed mm -hmm. the return. Yeah. Here's to the next 100, as they say. And, uh, yeah, is there anything else before we sign off? Um, man, I think we covered it all. I think so. I think we covered it all. I don't even know where we'd, <laughs> you know, what an adventure today was. I thought we'd get on, it'd be nice and easy, cover some videos, you know, just slide straight through. Now mm -hmm. I'm just, oh, I'm wrecked. Mm -hmm. We talked about bread, Zoro, <laughs> cars. Barbie. Barbie. 
man. We went. All Bobby did come up. That's true. Yeah, yeah, my my mind was blown a couple times today. But, uh, Damn. Yeah. How did he get sick from water? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I also have a bullet in my collarbone. Isn't that cool? You have a oh, bullet my. in your collarbone. I do. Yeah. Wow. Did you get shot? I did. How'd you get shot? Why would you oh, never have told us this before? <laughs> That's like the most interesting <laughs> thing ever. What? Wait, you drop this off. We have to like. We've got no time. We've like, literally oh, got no time. We're about to be cut <laughs> off. <laughs> well, you know what's funny is people in the chat know the story. You guys just don't, because uh, I don't know you all that very well, so you haven't heard all my weird stories. But uh, the water, like when people get a, like, oh my god, you don't like water. I'm like, yeah. To, I got to tell them something crazier to get them off of that topic because. That one is just like I'm sick of talking about it. I have I have shot so many bullets and I've never been shot once. Well, I didn't know I was gonna get shot, Rags. Rags, you're a grown up and you haven't been shot. <laughs> oh yeah. Clear. I got oh, shot when I, gotta... I was little though. What? Oh, that makes it all right. That's fair enough. Why? Okay. I mean, if you're gonna, you know, get a, you want to get shot. I'll, as I'll a, tell as you guys off air because they've they've heard get it. Out of the way. Well, no, 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 no. You won't. It'll be the next time you guest on EFAP and chat. It's your responsibility to remind me and Rex to, to have you tell yeah, the story. Gotta, okay. Yeah, you gotta tell us the child shooting story. Mm -hmm. They they've all heard it. I have. So. All of them are saying what? <laughs> <laughs> a anyway, um, uh. Yeah, we, we're about to get cut gonna, off by YouTube, so we're going to have yeah, to say goodbye. We find out that, oh yeah, my, my dad was the king of England. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't had a king in, like, forever, Rags. Yeah, but you break lots of what we understand to be natural law, okay? <laughs> I, I know, I know. I was shot. Yeah, by I have bread. one kidney and I can breathe out of my eye. There you go, and I have webbed toes. Jesus fucking Christ, Excuse me? Freak. <laughs> Hey, Pretty I did pause it. Eye? The potential that she's an alien. You guys didn't take me seriously. Ugh. I gotta, I gotta go to the loo. It's over. It's done. The CFAP's over. Go home. Go to bed. Go back to your family. You don't have to go home, but you can stay get, here. Get in your cars and go home. You fucking grown ups. Go home <laughs> and your all right. Wife. Thank you all for joining us. Super thank you to both ER and Anna. You guys stayed for like the full almost 12 hours. That's nuts. Thank you. Thank you guys for hanging out with us for so much. Um, no problem. And of course, metal for. Uh, for Mahler, for... I have to poo, please. Go poo, Jump you fuck. I can, I can do the outro without you. <laughs> All right. I, early outro for me because I'm fucking Are we still right on now. air? All right. Yes. Everyone, goodbye. Okay. You've done so. He's done such an amazing job being here this whole time. EFAP is a ton of fun. I will see y'all later. Toodaloo. Goodbye. Mahler goodbye, Rex. Um, no, not yet. Oh, the other things I gotta say is thank you all for the, the amazing fan art that we went through. That shit was awesome, glorious, and the very kind donations, of course. EFAP 102 will be with you next week. Who knows what we'll be covering? Um, we'll catch you all there. Thank you all for watching. Good night. Bye.